Hello. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, so I only have a minute because someone's let me use their tablet um, for a second because um, all the tablets are used up until I scheduled. So but they let me use some of their time. So I just wanted to tell you I love you and happy birthday. And I can, are you still going to come to the visit or are you going to be busy? No, yeah, I'm still going to go. Did you accept them or no in time? Yeah, I accepted them. Okay, what have you been up to today? Nothing. Me and Courtney went to the beach. Ooh, Courtney at the beach. I love this new Courtney, man. I know. Courtney <laughs> drives. She goes to the beach. This is the Courtney I missed out on. So t tell her <laughs> when I get out of here, she's going to have to go to the beach now. <laughs> this time a few years ago, she was sitting there with that suntan lotion hiding underneath the tent. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we haven't been able to come out for like since Wednesday, and we only got to come out for three days. I was freaking out. I was losing my mind. I've been. People were fighting. They were beating up cops. They were fighting each other. I mean, it was crazy. We've been in here since Wednesday. Oh wow. Yeah, and we only got to come out 30 minutes Wednesday, and we've been here just doing nothing. Like, can't even, like, walk out to do anything, can't shower or nothing. I've lost my mind. Like, I have been so crazy. Like, I literally thought I was just going to keep banging my head on the door at, just to take me to the mental place because, like, I was crazy. Oh, God. I was like, I was like, I have to get out of here before May 1st. If y'all don't quit out and crazy, I got to get out of here before May 1st. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, what are you going to do for the night? Um, I don't know yet. Well, I did two visits go because I... Okay, well, I did two because in case you couldn't make the one or the other, or even if you could only do like five minutes on each or something like that, it's cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, well, she's going to let me come at 6.15 and then 7.15. We'll see whichever one works or however we do it. You know what I'm saying? I okay. love you and miss you so much. Did you get your birthday card? I'm about to get out the mail right now because I'm going to see with you. Okay, cool. I had uh, someone draw the card, and then someone drew something for me, and then I sent it to you, too, and put it in there so you can hold on to it. I know the birthday card. I huh? traded some I, the birthday card. I traded some noodles and candy and all that stuff and coffee to get you the card made. Aww. I know because the ones you buy were just plain. So these, I wish I could have got the guys upstairs to draw it. If the guys upstairs would have drawn it, oh my god, it'd have been so bad. But like, like better than good. But um, I couldn't get them because of where I'm housed at now. I can't get the real good guy that's the drawer. But he drew the other thing in there with my name on it. Wait till you see, wait till you see that. He drew that with a little pen, like a little two-inch pen. Wait till you see that when you're going to be like, holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, well, tell everyone hello. Um, uh, I'm... Just say hi. I miss everyone. Love everyone. I love you so much. I miss you so much. I wish I, I, wish I was there with you, but next Thursday I will be because I should be able to have my trial soon within the next six months. Yeah. But I love you so much, okay? I love you too. I love you too. All right. So, Courtney, love her too. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Happy birthday to you. It is your day. From all this day forward, I'm going to love you in every way. This is your day, your day. Happy birthday to you. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm sorry if it's late there. No, I'm so glad you called because <laughs> I got really pissed off at El Paso County and their stupid regulations. <laughs> Man, I'm just over this. We have been, I've been, I've been out of it. 
We haven't been out of our cells since Wednesday, our group. Oh, really? Yeah, so Wednesday, we got out for 30 minutes. That was it, right? And I've been so crazy. I've been all over the place. There have been people in my room, people outside, people everywhere. I don't even know what's going on. Then our group didn't get to come out because meds and maintenance and mental health came, so our group was the only group that didn't come out. Then our group was just chilling, sleeping, and next thing we know, the sergeant runs in here and locks the whole ward down. And we're like, what do we do? Well, a deputy, the same deputy, got assaulted twice, and then there were fights and cells. And but they had us, everybody locked down. I'm not making an excuse. I don't think you should be fighting, but like everybody's been in their cells. So roommates are getting mad at each other, freaking out, beating each other up, and the, I mean, it's yeah, been I was, crazy. I was I was worried because like um, so I got I got admitted back into the hospital. Oh God, um, no. Yeah, well, luckily I'm back out now. Thank God. Well, I was but, so mad I didn't get to call you on your birthday. I was pissed. Oh, I was like, I was waiting for it because I had to. I was, I was in the hospital like all day for my birthday, and I was like, I oh, want no. to go because I'm sorry. No, oh, girl, it's okay. I figured, you know, where you're at, there's probably a lot going on, and then I remembered what was coming up the following day. So I was yeah. like, I hope she calls. But yeah, no. Um, and then I Harley's think, birthday was is today, and I was losing it. Oh. I, I, because oh. I was like, please, I was like, we have to come out. I was like, please, I'm begging anybody, whatever, I don't care. So someone got me, uh, someone let me use their tablet to call because I was so freaked out. I hadn't talked to Harley in days. She was worried because she said somebody put on the news I was in a wheelchair. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> and I was like, she was freaked out, about to cry. And I was like, Harley, I'm not in a wheelchair. It's your birthday. Uh, and I it only got talked to her for five minutes at that time, but I, I just got the video with her for five minutes. But it has been pure, holy, H E double L. And I have been losing my ever live of mine. And I was like, it's your birthday. I didn't get to call you. I'm not going to get to call Harley for her birthday. I'm just going, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I mean, I was already oh, in the verge, well, like 75 cents, 75% checked out. I had drawn this keyboard all over my arms. I was talking to people. I mean, I was. <laughs> That's you know what? That's why I got admitted to the hospital because what I can't, I can't what day was it? I don't even remember. But I was trying to like do something at the house. I was really tired and you know, sometimes you get really tired and you start like talking like when you're going to sleep. Yeah. So that's what mm-hmm. it was. I was like I was, yeah, I was like starting to dream and then um I kept blacking out and falling down. So Taylor took me to the uh Cape Fear and mm-hmm. they didn't think it anything serious even though i blacked out like sitting in a wheelchair there and fell on the floor they're like no she still has to wait so it mm-hmm. was like yeah she took me to womack um basically what i found out is this is how it's going to be for the rest of my life just because i have a um, i have sickle cell so oh, wow. yeah it's just finding ways to manage it like eating more iron and crap like that but it was it was, it was shitty because that's not how i wanted to spend my birthday and then i think it was, was supposed to be in florida yeah, it, I was. And then I think it was the 28th. I was laying in the hospital bed. I took a nap. And then I reached over and grabbed my phone. I had four missed calls, and one of them was from you. And I felt so freaking bad. I was like, no, I hope she doesn't think I'm ignoring her. <laughs> yeah, because I called you on that. We literally came out for 30 minutes. And I was trying to call you and Hartley real fast. And neither one of you answered. And I, I didn't know we were going to be locked down for days and that I was, you know, losing my, my mind again. I can't be like that. It just... It's too dangerous mentally. I check out and check into another world, and I I just can't be like that, you know. Yeah, if ever if you're ever trying to call me, if I don't answer on the first ring, you can seriously just keep calling and calling. Because more All often, right. like I'm usually pretty good at getting my phone, but sometimes if I don't, it's usually because I probably sat it in the other room or something. Yeah. But I don't want you to ever think that like I'm ignoring you or anything. No. Because I was no. so worried. I told Taylor, I was like, the timing is so bad. I don't want her to think I'm like trying to well, ignore her or anything. Because I was <laughs> like, I'll just, I'll just call her tomorrow on her birthday. You know what I mean? That's how, and then shit hit the fan, man. And I just, <sighs> well, okay. So this is what happens. This deputy. Now, this is not an excuse to, to cause any, you know, assaults or anything, but she will not give you tampons and pads except on your timeout. So if you go out at 5 a.m., you can't get none to your next day timeout. And she thinks that tampons can last eight hours is what she said. No way. And then these are the Dollar Tree tampons, tampons. So, like, these girls were literally, when I tell you, like, bleeding everywhere, 
and she won't give them any more tampons and pads. And then the their uniforms, you can't just trade them out but once a week, you know, unless you get a good deputy that would do it. Now, again, that's not an excuse to attack a deputy at all. And I like this deputy. She she legit does good jobs, but, like, she just refuses to give out hygiene. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and when you got women in here on the pier and bleeding everywhere, they lost it, you know, and it was just – Two times she got assaulted, and I mean, but she beat the crap out of the one girl because <laughs> the girl was punching her, and she's like, bam, bam, bam. I was like, oh god, what? Yeah, the, then, the yeah, the deputy started. I mean, she was pounding her in the head, but the girl was swinging on her. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! So that happened, well, and then the other girl jumped on top of her. Uh, the right before that, and they had to hog tie her out of here. Then we're up there watching the code because someone had a seizure. Then they had a, this one else had a seizure. And as the other person was having a seizure, the girls across the hall was fighting themselves. I look out the window, and there's my friend. And she's over there banging the girl's head against the door. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I was just like, I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And the people got mad at me. They were like, you're not supposed to snitch. I was like, first of all, I weren't snitching. I was freaking out because my friend was over there banging the girl's head against the wall. And, like, in my mind, I was like, this, she would have killed her in there if somebody hadn't have been, if we hadn't have been like yelling because I know that girl. She would have killed that girl yeah. and she would have had herself a attempted murder or a murder charge because she would have killed her in there. Well, and there's a difference between like, snitching and like being concerned with somebody's like well being. Yeah. Like snitching being, you know, like facetious or having malicious intent, like yeah. telling somebody, hey, I think they need help is like concern. <laughs> like, right. And I wasn't worried oh. about her at all. I mean, I was actually, you know, when you you have a fight, you cheer people on, just like we watch wrestling, you know, whatever, whatever. But I knew she had lost it because I could see she was adjacent to me. And then when she started banging, you know, the girl and I was like, uh oh, I was like, she's gonna, she's gonna hurt that girl. So you know, I was glad that the deputies did get there for the girl's sake because you know, when you win a fight and you done and knocked them out, then it's over. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't keep and- you can't keep beating on them, you know. That boggles my mind about, like, you know, the tampons and stuff. They can't expect y'all to, like, have mm-hmm. one in for eight hours. That's how you get toxic shock syndrome. Yeah, and see, well, here's the thing. Oh, it's the deputies don't do that. They bring you toilet paper and stuff like that. But this deputy just does that. And she's, uh, she's, um, uh, she's gay, which, you know, is fine, whatever, whatever. But so apparently, I don't know, maybe she just doesn't understand women's life and tampons. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. But she, we and I, and I was like, first I was like, well, our group hasn't been out in how many days? So yeah, you, you know, probably should start passing them out. I had to wait four hours to get toilet paper because we were supposed to get it on our timeout, but we never got to go out. So I was just like, okay, okay, wait, wait, be patient. You know, finally I had locked our door. She came out. I was like, look, I really gotta go. <laughs> I was like, please, oh bring my toilet God. paper. She no, just won't bring I'm, it. I'm telling you, there is something else with like this week, like. It wasn't good for you. It wasn't good for me. It's no. like the you know, it's all like sucky. I I um I wrote you a letter while I was in the hospital. I brought my phone with me, so I sent you an email. So hopefully, you'll get it pretty soon. Um, did you ever get that? Did you ever get that goodie basket I sent you? That what? I had ordered a little uh, like no, a candy basket. I asked, and uh, the deputies all said to me, they're like, "Oh, we don't know what the policies are right now." And I was like, "Well, my name shows up now," and she was like, "Yeah, just." You know, maybe get someone to reach out and ask. Cause we really don't know. They said they didn't know. So I was like, okay, cool. I was like, because I got commissary and didn't get it. And I was just like, okay, well. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll call them tomorrow because I called them tonight because I, I, I think they sent me a video chat request, right? Yeah. And then I got denied by the staff. So, like, I sent you one back and I knew it would get denied, but that was me just kind of trying to be like, hey, call me instead. Yeah. So I denied my request. And then when I went back on my app, like, they took off the whole scheduling. Like, I couldn't schedule a visitation at all. So I called customer service, and I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, well, you've been suspended for suspicious activity because you've requested too many visits back-to-back. And I'm like, okay, um, how long is this going on for? And they're like, uh, it, could be, it could be over by tomorrow or, like, till uh, Tuesday. So I'm like, okay, well, can she still call me on the phone? And they're like, yeah, that's different. She can call on the phone, just no video visits. It'll probably be over tomorrow. But then oh. I called El Paso, and, and the dude I talked to, he was nice, but he legitimately told me, the communication here is really poor, we don't know how to talk to anybody here, so not a lot of people know the 48-hour law, and they probably won't know it for the next couple of years, because the communication here is terrible, and I was like, 
Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is, yeah, you're, you're right. This is our communication set. Okay, so we were locked down for that long, right? So they, they mm-hmm. came in here and said, you can send the request or whatever, and then the person was like, I'll go around with the iPad and uh, approve them. So because we were locked down for so long, how could you send 48-hour requests? Just so happened by the grace of God, I had sent Harley's like a week ago. It's the only way I got to see her for five minutes. And so they were like, we'll come around and approve them. Well, my account was reset because when I had to log in, they asked me for a picture again, and they go in my account all the time because they'd be looking, trying to be nosy. You know, they already get it anyway, so I don't know why they need to keep doing that. But whoever goes in it, whether it's GTO or whoever, I had to reset it, and I had to redo a pin, redo my picture, like all kinds of stuff. And I was like, okay, well, maybe they approved it, you know. You came in here and said, hey, we'll, you know, we'll do it because you guys have been locked down. Because I asked her when she walked around the other day, she came in in her, in her dress uniform or whatever, and she was like, yeah, I'll go back and approve it. Well, they're just not communicating, but they're telling us, yeah, they would go do that because we were locked down for so long. Yeah, and I I'd asked the dude on the phone, and I was like, I don't know if you can do this or not. I was like, but can you let her know, like, it wasn't me rejecting the visit, like, it was the actual service that like like suspended me and he said no we're not allowed to do that so then yeah. like i called taylor and i was like i'm so fucking pissed right now i was like because like i don't i didn't want you to think that like i was like you know no it's not it's the communication <laughs> and like i was right because you they came in here and told us we could do it and then we do it and it cancels you see what i'm saying yeah that's uh and then they had logged in the other day and approved harley's and then when I get to get on the visit with her, it cancels. And then they call visitation. And they're like, oh, it wasn't no whatever. I said, the lady canceled it on accident. So she told me to go reschedule it, and she would approve it. <laughs> so that's it's not like I'm sitting over here just doing it on purpose. You, you know, if you say we can do it, I do it. Remember yeah, the other day when I did it? They said we could do it because yeah. we had been, yeah, we had been locked down. And the girl went in there and approved it. <laughs> That's why I asked the dude, too. I was like, there's been some times where, you know, we do, like, the 48 hours. I was like, there's been other times where, you know, one of us will send a request 10 minutes out and it gets approved. So I don't really understand, like, where's the discrepancy between this? And he's like, I I, can't, I really don't have the answer for you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> wonderful. And then the lady that I talked to on the customer service line for the video chat app, she told me that El Paso County allows you guys to have, like, the messenger service. Like, you can send, like, basically yeah. a text message type. And then they canceled it on Yeah, I told her. I was like, I've tried it a few times, and it always says decline. So then when I called El Paso and asked them, he's like, oh, yeah, we, we got rid of that service. Nobody's allowed to use it. I'm just like, oh, they, they don't even communicate with the company they work with. Oh, yeah. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. I'm telling you, like, yeah. I, I mean, so I, you know, my question to them was, the law says you can't be locked down more than 72 hours. Well, they, then the lady was like, well, if we have to maintain control, I said, who are you? You're not getting control of our group. You, It's like cops. So this is what I gave. I said to her, I said, 99% of cops are good cops. I said, you got the bad apples. We don't have systematic racism in our country, and we don't have bad cops. You got some bad apples. You got some bad people who are prejudiced. I was like, it's the same with us in here. The majority of us in here was doing nothing. We were just sitting here chilling. We can't control that this girl comes out, freaks out, and starts to fight the cop. You have one minute remaining. You know what I mean? We can't yeah, help, the, the, help the people start fighting. It's just like, that, that, that's not us. We didn't do that. It's like group punishment. One person screws up and everyone else pays for it. And we're not even a team. We're not We're not a baseball team to be, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I could see if we were like a baseball team and we had to all go run or do sprints or something. But I'm just like... Our group, literally, when I tell you everybody was up there legit quiet, we were ready to come out on our all time. The next thing we know, we, we, were, we were like, what? We didn't even do anything. Oh, I would lose my mind. But I, I am so glad that you called me because I, like, I was trying to figure out how I could like, get this out to you. Like, it's, it's not me. It's them. <laughs> I know. I know. It's so crazy. And then Harley told me about the wheelchair thing. I'm sitting there like, baby, I'm okay. Like, Yeah, I read that too. And I was like, what the hell? And, and the girl who it is, her name's Danielle. It was her, not even me. That wasn't even me. Oh, then maybe they mistook her for you or something? Yeah. Wow. Thank you for using Global Telling. 
Well, hello again. I, I was sitting here that like, I that real quick. Back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get my brain back to normal because it has been out there in left field for three days. And, yeah, I was, the deputy came and she was like, yeah, you know, you were just jumping around in your bed, running around naked. I was like, there ain't no telling what I was doing. <laughs> oh, no. She was like, yeah. Oh. She said, I was like, yep, stalks and then left the building again. I said, yeah, because it, it just I started going crazy. And I, I made this keyboard on my hand. And I was trying to, you know, use it to, like, get these suckers to leave me alone and stop bothering me, you know. And I, I just, I'm telling you. But, like, and I asked them to help. They came by. I was like, look, I was like, I'm getting, like, really worse. <laughs> I was like, I've asked you guys for four weeks now to please let me take anxiety meds. Please. Like, at least start there. I said, and then I'll start back there, and then I'll consider the other meds. You know, I said, I've been praying about it. And the lady, the guy came back, and he was like, I mentioned it to them. They said, kite. I said, I have kited. They told me, no, I have to kite. So then he came back. He was like, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. I didn't read the rest of the notes. Uh, they said that you weren't going to be able to get them. And I was like, why? Yeah, why? Because, why are because I'm not an addict? Okay, I, I said so it like, loud. I got, I got, I, oh yeah, I got your letter. I got a letter from you. I think it was yesterday when I got back, and I read it last night. Um, I read where you said that they won't give you ben, they won't give out benzos there. Totally understand why. Yeah. Um, there is another medication. I'll put it in another letter to you that you can ask about if they'll actually take the time to work with you. It's called Rimron. It's for anxiety and it doubles as like it helps you sleep. And I don't know. It's like it pisses me off. They're not willing to help you because. Your mental health is deteriorating so fast, like, it's not, how can I sit by and, like, watch this happen to you and be okay with it? That's what I don't understand, you know? I'm not an addict. That's what it is. The, you know, the, the state is rehabilitation, restoration and rehabilitation before incarceration, right? Okay. So, you know, they spend all this money on mental health, and on most of the mental health are drug-induced psychosis. Most of it. There are some true people that have it without drug-induced psychosis. But I, I'm just, I just don't fall under that category. So I don't fall under them getting their money, their grants, you know, keeping – I just don't fall under that category. I had just saw yeah. the, girl, the girl from the Air Force just came back in here, just left three weeks ago. I, she came by. I said, what the hell happened? She said, I can't do it. She said, I did good for two weeks, and she said, I got on meth. And, I'm, I mean, and I've seen it consistently. So many people that I talk to, I pray with this girl all the time. We sung Revelation song, song, you know, all this stuff when I was in the other ward. I mean, literally, did Bible study with this girl, everything. I was like, you can do it. You can do it. And the devil, man, I'm telling you, Satan, <laughs> I never realized how bad drugs is, but it is bad. These people are addicted. Bad. It's, it's hard to quit once you stop because it, like, literally changes the chemical compound, like, the way your brain functions. Like, it's... Yeah. I've known a lot of people that have gotten addicted to things, especially like um like opioids. Those are the really hard ones. Mm -hmm. But um oh, and they have them in what? here. They get them in here because people bring them in here in their private parts, you know. And I'm not going to snitch about it, but like I see when people do it, and I hear, and I just be like, whatever, ain't my business because I ain't got none, ain't want none. And then I notice people go to changing, they go to doing this, they go to doing that, and I go to praying for them because I'm just like, you don't need that, like it. But they get bad. And I tell you, it makes me feel like I'm on drugs because then they're on drugs and they go to being, you know, all over the place crazy. Then I feel like I'm over here high. And I'm not even. <laughs> my I'm my like, thing is that, right, so they, they're not willing to help you. And, like, obviously anybody with common sense can see, like, you, you need help, right? Yeah. Well, let's just say worst case scenario. Do they not stop to think about, like, if you continue, continue to get worse and something were to happen, that would be on their hands. Like, do they just not care? Are they that negligent? No. Like, I nope. that they don't because don't everybody worries about me being in a wheelchair instead of my mental health. You see what I'm saying? Really? <laughs> it's not funny. So, like, I read that to in the news and I was like, what the hell is that about? Harley told me that and I said, wait a minute, Harley. I said, it made the news that I was in a wheelchair. And she was like, yeah, mom. She was like, I don't know what in the world. So I read the rest of the article and then she said, people started to text me. Has your mom told you what happened? Is she why she's in the wheelchair? And she's like, no, mom would have told me, but she hasn't. And I was like, yeah, because I'm not in the wheelchair. I, I read through the article because I remember I remembered what was on the 30th. So I was wanting to see how it went since I hadn't really heard from you. 
And I scrolled through and I read the part of the article. I don't, I can't remember who the lady was, but I guess she asked Al if you had any physical disabilities. And he was like, no, why? And then they were like, oh, because she was in a wheelchair. And I'm like, well, what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> Oh, like, this is something's not right here. Who? Someone asked him, was I in a wheelchair? Yeah, hold on. I'll look it up right now. I've got my compass on me. Hold on. Oh, oh God. Dear. This is the craziest stuff, man. But, like, I asked for help. To help with my brain. And that shit don't help. Like, I can't get that. You I'm telling I'm you, I, I would be more than happy to call down there and talk to them for you if you would like me to. I have no problem doing that. Well, I'm going to talk to Caitlin about it again because she told me to ask again. And so I'm supposed to let her know what um, what happens when I ask again. Because on Monday, I told her I was going to ask again. Just keep keep asking, and if they keep giving you shit or not like complying, yeah. I literally yeah. I have no problem calling down there and being like, yeah, no, I okay. appreciate it. No, I'm gonna let her know and see what she thinks to do next because um, she told me to keep doing it and document it and keep up with which person comes in, and that's what I've been doing. You know, yeah, write it down every time. Every time that you ask for help and they don't help you, write that shit down and have it yep. hand. I have been. Okay. I've done it through the whole process. Here's that, here's that part of the article. It said, before the hearing began, individuals in the courtroom said, Keisha had refused to come in person to the hearing. There were no available booths for her to join virtually either, as those were scheduled for other inmates in time. A clerk also asked Al if Letitia is physically disabled, to which he answered no. However, the clerk told him that she had been seen in a wheelchair. <laughs> I read that, and I was like, what does that have to do with what this is about? Because that's literally, even if you were in a wheelchair, that's totally irrelevant to what this was about. They're crazy. Somebody They're made a face you. The guy came, and I told him, I said, no, I'm not putting there. I said, you want to go see that dude, and he shot us? And he was just looking at me. I said, no, I'm sick of this. And he was just, like, looking at me. He was like, oh. He's like, I understand and get it now, Miss Duck. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I said, bye-bye. Because <laughs> yeah. I like him. I like him a lot, the guy that came. Like, I mean, you know, it's really cool. And I was just freaked out. I was going all over the place. And he was like, why you got your keyboard? And I was, like, telling him. And he was like, the lady that deputy came at, she was like, you were talking about somebody trying to read your mind. And people had shot you. And I was like, yeah, I'm pissed. And I don't know. I was I was so crazy. I was I didn't, and I didn't have meds to take because they won't give me in. So you know, what am I supposed to do? You, you want me to go in public like this? You know what I mean? When I'm mentally not okay like that, you want me to go in public to make the news, me being a lunatic? You know what I mean? It's, That's not okay. It sounds, it sounds to me like it's almost like a tactic they're using. Like, do you feel that way too? Like it's a whole bunch of what? Like, like it's, it's almost like like kind of a tactic they're trying to use. Like they're trying to set you up to like show up to court. When you're feeling that type of way, that way they can make it, you know, they yeah. can put it in the public, like the whole wheelchair thing. So and I should have to. to. If, I'm in a, if I'm not 100% mentally there, you're not going to put me somewhere to laugh. Luckily, I was able to, because when the other night deputy came by, she was she recognized it. And she said something to me. And I, and I snapped out a little bit, and then she said something to me again. And she was just like, you know you can't go in the front of a judge like that. And I'm just sitting there, you're right, I can't be running around, I'm, passing, I'm running around naked, I got, you know, keyboards on my arm, going crazy. Like, that's not, you're not going to put me out there like that when I'm asking for help, you know? Right. No, and I kept telling her that. She said, she even agreed with me. She was like, you, she was like, you don't want to be, she said, because anything you do, they're going to record. She said, you don't want to be there like that. She said, but I can't give you advice and tell you to go or not go. Right. I but, but you don't need to be there. Go ahead. That same article that I just read to you, I had seen where it said that you have a hearing on the 5th of... You have 60 seconds remaining. Hearing Wait, on what the is what? That? Yeah, hearing I said you have a hearing on May 5th at, I think it's 3 o'clock your time. When? I mean, but what day? May 5th. For the same thing? I don't know. It just said that you you have to reappear in court on May 5th at 3. I wrote on my calendar, so I'm going to ask you about it when you called or what? whenever you call next. But they better give but, me some medicine because I cannot go somewhere and be... I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, I'd be... I'm not, I'm not coherent. I'm not, you know... And I've been in court like that before, and Colette had to come over and get me because I threw up in my mouth that time. And that's why well, she I'll be there. I'll be there on WebEx. Since I figured out what time it is, everything, and I have the WebEx access, I'll be there on WebEx. But I can't be there personally, but I'll be there for you digitally, if that helps. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later, okay?
Oh, yeah. If you want, call me tomorrow. Okay, I will. Okay, cool. Right. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Fine. How are you doing? Yeah. All right, I guess. What's wrong? Oh, really nothing. Just, you know, trying to make it. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Are you in a wheelchair or something? No, I don't know who started that. I'm not in a wheelchair. I have no idea what anybody was talking about with that. That wasn't even me. That was some other girl. Okay. <laughs> I I got asked that yesterday, and I was like, what? No. Well, I mean, Harley got upset about it. And- I know, and yeah. I told her, I said, I don't know who started that, but it's not me. And I told Harley, if something was to happen to you like that, they're supposed to call uh, her or somebody. Yeah, no, I don't know where that came from, and who knows, you know what I mean, Aunt Brenda, that's, yeah. that that's doesn't make right. any sense. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's- let me call Aunt Brenda, too, because I know she's probably like, what in the world, Tishlin ain't called me. <laughs> Tell well, me no, about I, it. Yeah, I, I, Harley just called me just a few minutes ago, right before you did. Yeah. And, 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 um, you were calling me and she was calling me, so I grabbed your call and I figured I could call her back. Yeah, yeah. So she, um, yesterday was her birthday. Yeah, no, I know. I, I got to talk to her for a little bit yesterday because, they had so much going on the last few days. I was just so crazy because we were we couldn't come out for seventy some hours, yeah, and it was just bad because people were, you know, locked down so long, and it was just everybody losing their mind, you know. Yeah. Do you need do you need you some books or something, baby? Oh, no, I'm all right. I can't even like focus, read, sit still. I can't even. I can't even hardly remember. I'm just. You're yeah, exhausted. I'm, yeah, I'm not doing well. You're you're getting exhausted, and I know you are. Yeah. And I when I say exhausted, I mean. I know what you mean. It's already taking a toll. Yeah, I mean. Look, wait. I got some news to tell you. Right. You may. You may get. I don't. I told them that you couldn't get mail, mm-hmm. so they may put some money on an account and and stuff for you. And when you call me back again, I'll let you know because the guys want to let me know. Mm-hmm. The Indian Affairs um, in Florida is got in contact with some the tribal in Colorado Springs, mm-hmm. so they're going to get involved in what's going on with you. All right. We can get mail, legal mail. We can get mail. You just have to do it through that P.O. box in Durham, North Carolina. In Durham? Yeah, you mail it to Durham, and they send it to us. Well, you'll have to send me that. Or can I call them? Will they give me the information where I can mail you mail? It's on the... It's on the... I Actually, my mom sent me a card, finally. Like I got, like, three cards from her at once. And it was right before they cut the mail off. So I sent uh-huh. her the paper that has it, and I said, hey, because I only had that one stamp left, and I said, can you send this to everybody and tell them this is where they have to mail everything? And so I assume she didn't, if you don't know. No, she didn't send me nothing. Okay, well, then I'll get it to you then. Um, <laughs> you think she, if she's got it, I'll go up there and ask her for it. But She should. I sent her the letter, and on the letter it had a little strip stamp. And on the stamp, it said, this is where you have to mail inmates at now. And it gave the address and how to do it. And I said, hey, can you t- take a picture and send it to everybody? Because I know, like, uh, some people from, you know, um, I, I went to school with, uh, they had all, like, some people had wrote me and stuff like that. And so I just figured my mom sees them out and about places. She could just give it to everybody. You know what I mean? But I don't know what I was thinking. I, I guess I was just being stupid thinking that, you know. Yeah, because she doesn't, she didn't, she she doesn't, anyway. Yeah. That's right. another, yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll make sure you get it if if she doesn't, if she doesn't get it 
to you or whatever, I'll make sure you get it. Or I'll have Harley send it to you because she can look it up online. Okay, I'll have I, when I talk to Harley in just a few minutes, I'll tell Harley to send it to me. Yeah, tell her it's um, updated on the website here uh, on the El Paso County website. It's updated about like the mail and how you have to scan it in or send it to okay. Durham. Okay, and and the other thing is 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 they they're probably getting in contact with you. Uh, it's an advocate, you know, for you. Um, and then the other one um, I'm working on is, and my friends helping me work on this one here is. It's uh, um, Innocent something. The Innocent Project? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and yeah. I got in contact with them, and they said you would have to be sentenced first, first and then they yeah. would take the case. But, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, I know who they yeah, are. But, lady, but the, I told a lady that if she would work with me on this and help us out, yeah. that I would give her a little piece of money, but I can't pay an attorney $150,000. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. And she says, if you, and, and me and her's talking, so I've got to get back with her next week. Yeah. So I told her I could give her some money to help work on it, but I can't give her a, a whole, I yeah, don't yeah. have it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I told her I just didn't have it, but I do what I could do to help out. Yeah. So if you, Harley, Harley's beginning to get like you right now. Are crazy? No, she just she she just she's lonely for you, booty. And I'm I'm gonna be honest. Harley is lonely for you. She misses you, and 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 I'm glad you can Facetime her though. Now I'm glad of that. Yeah, At I got to do it last night, and I got uh I didn't. I didn't get to do it for long because of how much time we were on lockdown, but I told her it didn't matter. As long as it was, you know, 10 minutes, I was okay with that, you know, because I was freaked out. We'd been locked down for so many days. I couldn't talk to her. I didn't. And then I heard about this stupid thing about a wheelchair, and I said, you know, her and Aunt Brenda's probably freaking out, don't know what in the world. I said, but Aunt Brenda's got enough sense to know, you know, if something happens that, oh. that, that they'd be contacted, you know what I mean? So I was hoping that, you know, you would be able to tell her that, you know. I told her that. I said, baby, if something was to happen to your mom, they would contact you, her mom, or me. Whatever yep. she's got on this. They, I said, even if she goes to the infirmary or a cook yeah. or anything like that, they're supposed to contact us. Yeah. Yep. I said, You're don't worry about it. Or anything, yeah. None of us has been contacted. Don't worry about it. Don't just, just forget about it, Harley. It's okay. Yeah. I said, they will contact us if something was to happen to her. Yeah. I said, if not, we could sue the coffee out of them. I it's said, hard because she don't have her dad either, you know, to, to, to be there. You know what I'm saying? And so really all she's got well, is you plus, you know, Miss D, you know what Ms. I mean? Miss D. Yeah. Miss D. She depends on Miss D a lot, too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And so, she's so she used to a, having me, you know. Yeah, she is. She is. That's why I said she, um, she's got her little boyfriend. He's really nice. Well, he ain't a little boyfriend. He's older than her, but he's really nice. I like him. I know, because I saw the flowers, and he was like, hee, 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 hee. He he told her two of them. Oh, did he? I was laughing. I was like, Harley, because I saw him in the background on the picture. I was like, wait, what are those? And she I, like, she didn't want to show me. I said, where's the flowers? She just went to laugh, and I said, hey, 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 where are they? Let me see. And I had already seen what they were, but I was yeah. playing it off with her. And she's like, hey, my he, friend. He <laughs> did. He is, and he stays in the in the same place where she stays in a different apartment and all. But but he's he's really he's really nice. He cooks for because she can't. Cook. I was gonna say, well, she got that from me. <laughs> he told me he said she can't cook, so I cook for her. So he he's he's really he's. I think he's good for. Her. He you know will. What I'm saying? She can clean like heck, so she better be doing the cleaning because she's telling me that. She's like, Mom, she said that was my thing living with people. She was like, they're just not clean. She's like, you raised me to be so clean. I was like, I did, and you better be. <laughs> yeah, I got I got on her about um, uh, I, I got on her about her bedroom when I was down there. I said, Carly, this extra bedroom, you got clothes all over the floor. It's not. <laughs> I said, next time I come down here, this room better not look like this. I said, you get these clothes up off this. She said, Aunt Brenda, I'm working on it. I said, baby, you've been in this apartment for how long? 
I said, these clothes, she, I said, if your mama was to see these clothes, she would, she would have a fit. I said, when I come back, don't you have these clothes on these floors? Yeah, and I was gonna see. I'm gonna need the. I'm gonna need my um, clothes for um, like trial and stuff. And so Harley was supposed to be trying to ask somebody to get them. What clothes? My clothes are at um, at Kim's house. Uh-huh. Say what now? My clothes are at Kim's house. Wait. I know you went to court the other day, or you supposed to went to court, but you didn't show. But I did, that wasn't. I was not in the mental Wait. shape to go to court that day, and the deputies recognized that. Like, I was out of it, like, checked out into another world. Okay, listen. The clothes and stuff that y'all left out there in your personal belongings. No, ain't Brenda. Kim has them in South Carolina. Now, not all your personal belongings she don't. I don't, I don't have any of those personal belongings because, um... Whenever he left or whatever, he sold everything, got rid of everything. That's why we were supposed to be going to court. But I don't, I don't, Amber, I really don't care about that stuff because it's just going to be one of those things where it adds more stress. And I'm already mentally trying to like hold on every day. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah. So you want, you want to go to, you want, now I told Harley and I've told Harley several times. To get the clothes, let me know when I can go get all your clothes yeah. where we can pack your clothes up nicely and I can put them in the attic yeah. or I can put them in one of my buildings where they took care of, put all your belongings, yeah. get them away from Miss Kim's house or wherever they're at, yeah. and where she can have her garage space. And yeah, Harley and that's what I not, need to do, you know, because I'm going to need Harley, her to pack that up soon. Like, cause I'm going to need it here. Harley's not no initiative to do that, and I've asked her that ever since she's been where you're at. And well, why don't Harley, you get Harley Kim's number? It. Because I, I've Harley said she's messaged her, and she just but Kim keeps telling her like, okay, well, I'll set up a time, but doesn't ever reach back out to Harley. And so I don't know what's going on. But the, the point is, when I was talking to Caitlin the other day, my uh, investigator, she said that. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm going to need probably a month's worth of clothes, dress clothes, and I surely have them. I mean, I have freaking a twenty thousand dollar closet sitting there. You know what I mean? And so, and then you can just put them in a suitcase and bring them out here. You know what I mean? When you come, and then that way, you going to huh? You gonna let me go? Well, I'm saying, well, you're gonna come. Uh, you can come out here whenever I get. You know, get ready to do like, uh, get ready to set up for trial. Because I talked to him about the speedy. I said, I don't understand. We have a right to a speedy trial in this, in under the Constitution. And he said, now is the time we can start bringing that up. And so I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, the people in George Floyd have already done their case. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And I'm like, they're working, they're working his case. They already done. done. He's already done. He got found guilty, and I mean, like, but I'm saying that was not even a year. So it's like, and he said, now we can start bringing that up or whatever. So it'll be like at least a month long, and so like I'll need that much clothing, you know what I mean? And I have it, so it's not. I mean, I have nice clothes, <laughs> so I, and that's why I was well, saying you I'm, could put them in a suitcase and bring them out here. The clothes and stuff is not going to be an issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I got a cousin that stays out there, and she don't stay too far from where you're at, yeah. and even she told me, she says, Brenda, if she needs something, yeah. the only thing you can do is call me and tell me. And I you have one minute remaining. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to get you. No, so no, I'm we'll saying you could put them at her house. You can fly out them. and leave them at her house, you know what I mean, or something like that, you know what I mean? Right, right. I can I can do whatever I need to do because she flies here all the time. Yeah, or and vice so, versa. You know, okay, cool. So we'll, we'll do something. But I'll have Harley to get me Kim's phone number, and I'll get up with Kim. And yeah. I'm going to go get all of your clothes. Okay. All right. That way, like okay. you said, because, I mean, it's nice clothes to just be sitting there when I, I can use those. I mean, you know, I don't I'll, need I'll to go, buy them. I'll, I'll take care of your clothes. Don't okay. you worry about your clothes and shoes. I'll take care of all that and make okay. sure you get up there. Okay. Well, okay. it's going to up. All right. Love you. Hope you're doing okay. And I am, uh, Stay and safe, I'm okay? And I'll talk to you soon, okay? If you don't hear I'm from pray- me, just keep praying for me because I keep losing my mind. And I'm trying. Ain't Brent, I'm trying. I, I pray okay. for you all. Time. All, All right, right love, you love you guys. All right, bye. All right, bye. 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 bye.
Thank you for using. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? I am good. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm okay. Feeling any better? Yeah, I got a little more sleep last night, but I don't know what my deal is. Like, I'll fall asleep for, like, two or three hours, and then I wake up, like, just wide awake, ready to go. And then, you know, 9, 10 o'clock rolls around, and I was like, crap. <laughs> I, I was so curious. I was like, wait, how can she have that? But I guess it's not. I thought it was just only in African Americans, but I guess it's not, huh? So did I. And I, I um, talked to the doctor about that, too. It's predominantly in, like, African American genetics, but it's, like, 4% of, like, the Caucasian popularity can have it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> out of all the people. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, I'm one of the lucky 4%. <laughs> I mean, out of all the white people, I mean, that's very, very, very small. Yeah, I mean, it's dumb, but it's whatever. I just got to try to find a way to work around it. But Yeah. Um, I was going to tell you, I wanted you to take down my aunt's number. Um, okay. You know, she's not far from you. But the reason I thought it would work out is because, you know, sometimes I can't get her if I don't get Harley and I sometimes get you. Is they were freaked out about this whole news wheelchair incident, you know what I mean? I mean, Harley apparently yeah. was losing it, and Aunt Brenda didn't tell me, like, how severe she was, upset about it. But um, I just figured, you know, sometimes if they have a question, maybe if I talk to you or, you know, you've talked to them, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I would absolutely would, like that you, you. You don't have to explain. You just tell her you're my friend from North Carolina Hope Mills, and you don't even have to really, you know, go there okay, with that, yeah. you know, because she would be like, what? Because she knows, but let her know you're not – because I got a lot of friends name your name your actual first name, but um, you can just tell her not the ones from South Carolina, but you know from North Carolina. Yeah, Hope yeah. Um, and uh, her number is nine one zero. Nine one zero. Three seven four. Three seven four. Six five six eight. All right. What was her name? It's Brenda, and she lives right there in Lumberton, like literally off exit seventeen. Like right, oh, cool. yeah, right there. Okay, the dogs yeah. and all that. But um, if you would also text her for me and just so I just hung up with her and just say I forgot to ask her about uh, if she'll put um fifty dollars on the account for commissary. Yeah, I can do that because she's been taking some of the money like out of the bank and putting it in there. Because I she pretty much helped raise me. That's my aunt that pretty much helped raise me. And, uh, yeah, I can I can toss you some money too. I can put like if you like I can um, put like twenty five for you. Yeah, no, just save it for a rainy day because she can uh. She can put the, the 50 on there. And just okay. warn you now, she's very old school, like, you know, like she's kicking it young, but not, you know what I mean? But when I say kicking it young for her age, she's but she's very old school. So sometimes when you talk to her, she's got that uh, type A personality. So you just kind of have to, like, overlook it, you know what I mean? Because she means well. <laughs> she's just very stuck in her ways, old school country, you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. That's, that's just in case, I always try to warn people because my other friend, you know, she they clash because they both have the same personalities. And I tell mm-hmm. them, I say, you both are like, you just, that's, that's why whenever y'all talk to each other on the phone about something, you can't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I try to, like, warn people because she means totally well. She's just very old school. Like, she'll get on Harley like, those shorts are so short. Don't let your booty hang out. You know, you know that's the style these days is ever yeah. short. You know what I mean? That's but my, grandma. my grandma's that way too. She's got, like, like you said, the type A personality, and mm-hmm. she's like she's really assertive, but not like yep. she's mean and like you know maliciously. That's just how she yep. is. <laughs> but she would do anything for you. Like I said, if something was to happen and you had to stop in Lumberton or something, you know, you know that's what I'm saying. She. She's definitely so helpful. It's just you just have to overlook sometimes that she's overbearing. And sometimes it gets to Harley where Harley has to be like, all right, Bridget, I need a break. And then they're, you know, fine. <laughs> you know well, I, mean? I really but, but I want to tell you, too, I, I, appreciate, uh, I appreciate you giving me her information. And, you know, because yeah. things have gotten crazy before in the past and I've not had anywhere to go. So it's actually really reassuring going now that, like, I have yeah. somewhere to go. You'd be, yeah. And I try to call her I, once a week at least just to keep her – you know, in the loop on things, and then, or obviously, and she talks to Harley pretty much, like, every day, and then I was going to tell you, message Harley on Instagram, but you, I'm going to give you a code to say to her, and she'll know that you're legit, just say, hey, I just hung up with your mom, you know, she's been trying to call you today, and I'm her friend, blah, 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 and just say, she said that you, she'd, she'd give me a code so you know it was, like, legit, and I weren't some random stranger. Okay. So, let me count. Let me code. <laughs> I got to count the codes up. Me and Harley have interchanging codes that we do with stuff to like know is legit. We used to have one if like she was ever being held up or something, 
she would say a certain code, you know what I mean? And I would know it was like an emergency code, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we have like different stuff. Let me think. Let me count what code we're at now. Hold on. That's actually really smart. I should do that with my kids too. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, you, I mean, you never know. The girls could be, they, someone could they could make them call to say something. And if they say something like, oh my gosh, mom, you know, I can't wait until we go back to McDonald's. You would be yeah. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, and you'll be thinking in your mind, you know the code, but then you're like, "Yes, tell me what you want, what kind of happy meal you want." You know what I mean? Then you go along with it. And me and Harley make them up for different situations and practice them over years, especially when she started like walking home to the neighborhood from school and like that type thing, you know. And she could even send it to me on her phone, like in case someone had, you know, made took her phone from her or made her text something, she could say something, and then and I would recognize. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's so smart. But like, yeah, I don't know why I've never thought it. of that. Definitely do it. Even when they were young, I had hardly doing it. She had a cell phone at five because I was teaching at the middle school. She was at elementary. And so, like, she had to walk across from the elementary to the middle school. And, like, she didn't come straight to my classroom. She went with the other kids and waited. And I'd make her send me a code telling me, you know, like, hey, like, I'm here. Because you never know. Because they had to walk through the neighborhood to get to our school. And I was like, there could be some crazy madman. Take them. You know what I mean? And she'd be able to, you know. No, I don't something. feel so bad. I got I got my oldest daughter. I got her a cell phone when she turned six. Yeah. Cause where we live in Hope Mills, we live too close to the school for her to ride the bus. So yeah. like I drive her to school, but when she gets older, you know, she's gonna want to probably walk or ride a bike. And yeah. I'm like, I want her to have communication capabilities with me, and she actually uses that phone pretty well. Except for she likes to text me when I'm sitting right beside her. I'm like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Harley did all through her life too. And the thing about it too is you got that. Uh, they got so many apps these days now where, you know, like if someone's been in an accident the phone knows that the car's been jarred, you know, like those type of things. And so yeah. as they get older, you know, they've, you know, you've got that GPS on them. I know that sounds crazy because I would buy a Life 360 Harley all the time. And I kid you not, one time she was coming down Mark Shuffle here in Colorado Springs and there was a car following her like crazy. So she pulls in to a place, but pulls in and doesn't realize she pulled in frontward. And I could, oh. tell, I could tell she pulled in frontward. Um, and because I was sitting there like, Harley, do you just pull in frontward? Because the app that I, the way the app had it was showing that, you know, that was a, the way her car was pointing, like the direction. And I knew the road. Right. And so I, I immediately I grabbed the phone and Harley, we're on our way to get there where you are. Cause it was, she was trying to pull off in a lit, a lit area. I said, but never pull your car in backwards, like pull it at an angle where if they try to block you one way, you can go pull out. And so like, you know, like little crazy things like that. I know I went off on a tangent about that, but, like, it helped her because uh, she was, it was just somebody, you know, being stupid with lights and, you know, acting crazy, but I try to always give her those tools to, like, you don't got to, re- you got to look out for yourself, but it's other people, <laughs> you know, yeah. driving and, and walking and be cognizant of what's going on around you. And I mean, we even had exit plans, girl. And we went to movie theaters and, like, because <laughs> not because of what's nowadays. There's so much stupid crap going on. Like, nowhere is safe. There's a it was, I think, it was in Colorado, it was King Super. Some dude went in there with like an AR and just shot up a whole bunch of people for no reason. I know. That was and see, fun. this is what makes me so mad about this situation because how paranoid I am about stuff. And so I just tell people that like, you don't realize how protective I have, I am of kids. Like we had all these plans when when G set the fire. Lena knew immediately. She was already at the door. Boom. She knew the plan because she knew the exit plan for a fire. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. I'm so super careful about them type of things. So I don't even know how, you know, people don't see this. But anyway, so the code is, hold on, let me think. Um, the code is put Sadie, S-A-D-I-E. Okay. And, I'm writing. and then put and, okay. then put Ty, T-Y, and then put okay. dash, dash, uh, put, hold on, put fish, F I S H. Okay. And then put or, and then put Yuma, Y U M M A. Okay, so I have okay. anti dash fish or is it Yuma, Y U M M A? Yeah, Yuma, Yuma. Yeah, okay. she'll know. She'll know what that means, and just say this came from you know, like this came from your mom, so you know, like legit. I just talked to her, and you know, she would okay. know that, that you would I'll know that. Her, yeah, I'll, I'll give her my cell phone number too, just in case. Um, she ever needs to like, get a hold of me or she, you know, has questions or anything like that because I'm not too far. She's, she's in uh, South Carolina, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, you can just tell her just in case, um, you know, uh, anything happens, like, again, with the wheelchair situation, if you've talked to me or I've talked to her, you know what I mean? That way uh, we can worry and just tell her. I also gave you Aunt Brenda's number as well, you know, that way. Okay. That, and then she'll know, like, you're legit, legit. She might take a, a little while to write back or something, or she might, you know, confirm with me again still, but she'll know that that's actually, like, you by the codes, you know what I mean? Right. Somebody yeah, didn't break in your account. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was going to tell you yesterday real quick, too. Um, so I remember what I told you. I still, I will, we sold my car, so my husband could get the truck for something, all the other crap. Yeah. Well, started using that against me pretty well. Um, <laughs> he wouldn't let me use his car to go out anywhere, like, if I wanted to leave, we got into a fight. So, yeah. like, the day that I got out of the hospital, I went to the car dealership, and I went and bought myself another car, so now I have my own mode of transportation again. Good. So if I need good. to leave, I can get out of here. <laughs> good. Good. Like I said, yeah, you- if you need any okay. help, like somewhere to stay or something for a little bit, just you know, my aunt gets to know you. I'm telling you, she's she'll help on that she loves kids, and I mean, she never could have kids, so she always took care of us, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was good to know because I remember when you told me about that the other day, and I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, how the heck did I get there? Because you know, Taylor has the car. Yeah. But I found something in my price range, and it worked out really well. So I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna pull the trigger because I can afford it. It's pretty fancy, too. It's too fancy for me, but I like it a lot. Good. I got a, yeah, uh, the 2021 Chrysler oh, 300S. 21? Dang, girl. Um, yeah. I was going to um, ask you, uh, of court, what what was the judge that day on court? Who was the judge? Let me go look that up. It was not my yeah. regular judge because it was in another court, right? Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, Judge Werner. It was somebody. Yeah. Else. Okay. Then good. Then I then I know. Okay. Then I, then I'm not worried about it. I just wanted to make sure because I was like, I didn't think it'd be the same, but you know, I, was just, I like I read sure. last night after I read you so that little part about that, whoever that lady was asking about the wheelchair thing. Uh-huh. Um, oh man, if I were oh, the judge, Judge David Miller was the guy's name, but. Oh. The whole, like, thing with them saying that, that's not even true. It's like they're doing that on purpose for publicity to make it, like, a big, you know, media to get the attention to get people talking and going. And that's it's stupid. I mean, it's slander. You well, it's probably... also people's medical stuff. Like, why get in people's medical, like, privileged information? Why does it matter? If it's privileged, why ask somebody that? You know? Yeah. And that's, like, there's this an article by, uh, I guess, News Channel 5 out there. Wow. It pissed me off to read it because, like, it, it wasn't really, in my opinion, it wasn't really about, like, you know, the divorce. It was, like, mostly just talking shit about you. And I'm like, that's it's fucking slandered. It's, it's annoying because we're all supposed to be adults here, you know? <laughs> like, but you know how it goes. They're doing it for the media. They're doing it for people to like it and talk about it. And well, why would, all that like, other stuff. what is the point of even being interested in that? Like, you're that nosy, you're interested in people's finances? Yeah, isn't that stupid? Like, I don't, I never understood that either. Like, I mean, I don't really, money's not really a thing to me. I don't really care about it one way or another. But some of these people online are like, holy crap. And then <laughs> I read something online, too. I didn't really think about it until I read it. Like, you know, they said Al's never really gone public and talked with the media about anything. He stayed very reserved. But after, or on the 30th, he got, he hooked up with the news channel and basically explained how he's sunk all this money into all this debt and blah, 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 and then, like, put out a GoFundMe and is asking for help paying his bills. Like, you can't come out and talk any other time, but you're going to come out and ask for money. Like, that's baldy. <laughs> he makes $10,000 a month. You have one minute remaining. 10000 People on Facebook are like, this is, like, BS. Like, we know that. You know, he makes a decent amount of money because of what he does for a living. Like, I'm not I'm not denying, like, he might have some debt, but, like... Go to the line. Has- 17 years of service, 03. 17 years of service, 03. Plus add your BAH and everything. It's $10,000 yeah. a month. I got, I got the BAH in Colorado pretty high. Too, BAH is twenty twenty two hundred dollars here. Oh, God, yeah. That's, that's not even your cost of living. Yeah, Wow. So yeah, he no, needs to stop with that bullshit. <laughs> and he took all that money. I got the paperwork. He got thousands of dollars that he paid off debt. And then lied and said that we got a forged a loan. And, and I, have the emails, I have the email saying that he agreed to loan and signed on his email. But I got it locked down because they're coming in here. But I'll talk to you soon, okay? 
If I don't call you for the next couple of days, it's the two days that we hardly get to come out. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Thank you for using. Hello? Hey. Hey. You went in from my call yesterday. I did. You had to, it didn't work. What? Whenever it says that, it just doesn't work. I hit zero and it never works. Uh, what are you up to? I'm at work. Or at the beach? Mm-hmm. Is it warm? Yeah, it's windy. It's raining here for the first time all year. Mm. But you know it doesn't really rain here, so it's the first time all year. Yeah. But anyway. Well, I thought I'd call you. It should be my free call, right? Yeah. I thought I'd call you on my free call. How's Sadie? Good. Gave her a bath last night. You what now? I gave her a bath last night. Oh, little baby. Alright. Well, I think it's probably about to hang up. I love you so much. Okay. okay. And I'll talk to you again. I love you. Talk to you again soon, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Now, Link. Thank you for using. Hello. Hey. Oh, how's it going? You know, having a rough day. How are you doing? Uh, well, I'm kind of having a rough day, too. What's, what's going on in your world? Oh, uh, we only have 30 minutes to come out. You know how that goes. Oh, wow. That's, that's really crappy. Is it just because of, uh... Like the um, handing out medicine and stuff like that kind of thing, or yeah, just medicine. And also hope that all the people that come in and they like they give you, you need the time back. You don't even get an hour. That's really crappy. Mm-hmm. Um, makes me crazy. It's actually kind of. Oh, what did you say? I'm sorry. I just said it makes me so crazy. Yeah, I bet. I, I actually it all day. Go ahead. I was actually just thinking about you right before you called because um. I got a Barnes and Noble gift card book, and like I was gonna use it to buy you another book, but I didn't know like what kind of books you would like to read. So I was actually writing a note to myself to ask you next time you call what kind of books you would like to read, and then you called, so I was like, "God, good timing." <laughs> um, I like Sherry Lapina. She's got one that I haven't read. It's called Unwanted Guests. I think that's what it's called. Write that down. Or if you can't find out one, I think um, Patterson has. Um, it has to be, remember, it has to be soft back. You know this, but uh, Patterson, yeah. has, Patterson has a judge and jury, or he has like his 16th one in the women's, the women's murder club. I can't remember if it's 16th seduction or what it is. Okay, I'm sure I can like punch it in on the website. It'll come up if I put like a couple keywords in there. Yeah, like any one of those, whatever you find, this okay. or whatever. Yeah, I got a twenty-five dollar Barnes and Noble gift card for buying my car, and I'm like, well, I'm, I don't really need. Yeah, right. I was like, I don't really need any books right now. And I remember uh, Caitlin had messaged me like last week or so and was asking about. Um, oh yeah, because I told her. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I told her I was like, well, I was like, gonna get you some more books here soon, but I hadn't really had the time to really ask you. But yeah, I'll look today when um I get done doing the the girls with lunch or whatever and see if I can find those for you. Have you um Have you talked to her? I haven't talked to her, um, not since, like, last week. Yeah, okay, okay. I was wondering if she was coming any this week, but she might be. I, um, I did send out those messages yesterday. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so your aunt read it but didn't respond. That's typical. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll write to me first, or she'll I figured. wait or something. Yeah, yeah. And I figured there's probably going to be like, oh, who the heck is this? And then um, I messaged Charlie on Instagram, and um, I had to send him, like, two messages because there's, like, a limitation on how much it could send. Yeah. But I gave her my cell phone number, um, and I told her, you know, like, if you want to, you don't have to respond. If you want to, like, check with your mom first, I totally get it. <laughs> but, you know, here's yeah. this and that and whatever. And then she, like, heart reacted to all my messages and said thank you. So, yeah, okay. I'll let her know to you for sure whenever I talk to her because, you know, how, like you said, you have to. Even though I give them certain oh. things, you still got to make sure because 
you know how crazy people are, man. These people oh, yeah. Are crazy. I mean, like, They're so obsessed, you know, and it's like, you know. <laughs> you hear something funny. It's, it's really not funny. It's ridiculous. Um, I guess somebody made a fake Snapchat mm-hmm. using your name and was, like, messaging people, and they're like, how does she have a cell phone? I'm like, because it's not for Snapchat. <laughs> like, oh, my God. God, these people are freaking nuts. <laughs> Beyond nuts. I mean. Yeah. It's just so crazy. It's yeah. like it almost it almost seems unreal, and I I feel bad for you because I can't I can't imagine having to like put up with that crap. Yeah. Do you know if um if uh, they filed a, a sealed document? Um, I can go look. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's fine. Let me go look and see. Hold on. Oh, man. I'm going to be so stir crazy all day today. Oh, what did you say? I'm sorry. I said I'm going to be so stir crazy today. It ain't even going to be funny then. What's everything the, uh, so loud and everything. I mean, it's just, whew. See, that's why I, I couldn't handle all the, the noise of the people. I don't. It's too much. I don't know how you do it. I'm banging my head consistently, like. I mean, but in the other world, it was like that, too, because you had the people that were screaming and yelling and beating, you know, the the people that were going crazy already, you know? Yeah. Uh, Either way, you're going to, I'm going to hear it, you know, it's just, I can't even just think sometimes, or then I'm thinking too much because I'm trying to take all that out, and then there's, I don't know, they were telling me this morning that the, the mafia is trying to get my brother, and I just... It's so ridiculous, like... I mean, I understand where you're at. Like, it's kind of a tough spot to be in because you're in there with a whole bunch of other people that are not really respectful to others. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're going to be loud if they want to because they don't care. And, and rude, that totally that sucks. rude to people, the most rudest people, you know. Oh, I bet. I'm sure they probably have very, um, they get, like, their little personalities going in there and think they're, like, the shit or whatever. Uh-huh. You know? And it's just, like... You're not going to solve any problems just arguing like that. Like, you can't even just have normal conversations. Like, someone told me yesterday to get the cleaner. They said, here, you want the cleaner for the toilet? I said, sure. She said, well, come get it. So I went to go get it, and someone else had already took it. And she starts screaming, yelling, like, why is everybody coming over here to take the cleaner from me? And I was, like, thinking, I said, Jesus loves you. You have a good day. Let me know when you're doing that cleaner. I said, let me know when you're doing that cleaner. I was, like, this is crazy. Let me walk away here. That's the best way to handle it, though, because... I mean, I don't even know, like, how well I would do because I'm, like, I'm not an aggressive person, and I'm sure that I'd probably get, <laughs> like, I'd probably get back in some corners if I was there. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The difference is, trust me, I'm no, I grew up not having to be, you know, you couldn't be a punk living in Lumberton. I mean, you're talking about the number one crime county per capita in the state of North Carolina. <laughs> you know, so you, could, you couldn't be a punk, man, for sure. You <laughs> But, you know, like, as you get older and mature, especially when you're living for Jesus Christ, you got to, you know, for quarrelsome people. I was just in the Daily Bread this morning about, you know, you got to just pray for those people. Still give to them, still do whatever, pray for them, because it's almost like the hardest thing to do. But that's, I mean, that's oh, I know. what Jesus did, you know. When I was in high school, I was friends with this girl for, like, since middle school. And then, um, like, I got a boyfriend who was real serious, and I spent a lot of time with him, and her and I didn't hang out as much. It just made her mad. So we quit being friends, and then she, like, totally turned her back on me to the point where she was, like, threatening to stab me in the parking lot when I, cause I would drive to school in the mornings, like, junior, senior year. She would, like, meet me in the parking lot and, like, tell me she was going to stab me and, like, shoot me and all the like, crazy crap. Yeah. She got kicked out of school, like, senior year. But, like, a few years later on Facebook, she found me and, like, apologized. And I was like, yeah. we, we were young and stupid. Like, I'm not holding any grudges. Yeah. And, like, now we're cool again. <laughs> but then um, there are some people you it is hard to forgive, you know, because I, it took me the longest time, like, to forgive my mom for letting us live in such, you know, abuse. And then, you know, like, I still haven't faced that, which is probably why God hasn't completely opened up the rewards in my life yet because I haven't, you know, um, forgiven my stepdad because, you know, when he used to, like, molest me or whatever, he would always try to get me to, like, he to molest me and he would want me to try to do something to my little sister. And then he would take the knife and, like, just, like, rub it across. And, like, if you tell, like, rub it across your arms, your neck, you know, whatever, whatever. Or make me stay in my room and lock the door, like, you know, 
like being trapped in a cage. And so, like, that would be, like, a lot of times when I'm in the cell, I just start having, you know, like, freak-out moments about it, like I'm in that same situation, you know what I mean? And it's hard yeah. to give that. But, you know, the grace of God says that, you know, you have to because of what he's done. But those are the, some of the, sometimes those are hard to forgive people in those kind of situations, you know, so... I I I totally get that. I've not I've not been through a situation like that, but my mom and I we don't talk. Um, she's very <laughs> I'll still even some time on the whole story with my mom and I, but like I I've struggled with that too. Like I want to forgive her, but I've just not been able to bring myself to it yet. And I feel terrible because I just I'm getting older and I haven't got to a point where I'm comfortable enough to say you know like I can let it go because I still find myself holding a lot of resentment towards some of the stuff that she did to my sister and I when we were kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she well. she kicked me out when I was seventeen. So I've yeah. been I've been home my own since I was seventeen. Um, real too. quick, I looked up. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, my mom was picked the man over me, and it was always like that. If I told her, he would abuse her and like you know stuff like that. The guy she was dating then, and one day I had like grabbed a baseball bat and I was like, if you don't quit, you know, beating on my mom and on my little sister, I'm about to hit you with it, you know, whatever. And she, you know, got mad at me and called. Um, the police department, but my stepmom worked at the police department, and she knew we were in an abusive situation, so she just sent somebody out there, you know, acting like he was going to solve the problem, but he just got me a lift. It took me too long. Oh, wow. Yeah, because she knew. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm sitting there a child, you know, and of course yeah. you're going to defend your mom. I mean, you're sitting there beating my mom, throwing us out, throwing her out the windows, and, you know, like, stuff like that. Like, my mom let us live in that kind of environment because she always you know, chose a man, you know, and even when it was at the expense of us and our mental health and, you know, well-being and stuff like that. So it's hard in life to have empathy for certain things because you have such, you know, hurt from that, and you're just like, that's normal for you at this point. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, I I totally know. Like, my mom wasn't, she didn't really pursue men, but she had these, like, really unrealistic expectations and dreams. Like, she had told me that. She had a dream, and Christ came to her and told her, like, she or she was going to be his bride, and she needed to move to Oklahoma and, like, pursue some kind of relationship with some, like, late-night TV evangelist dude. Oh, <laughs> and she wanted me to go, yeah, she wanted me to go with her. And I was going to my senior year of school, and I'm like, I want to, like, finish out school here. I've been going to the same school for, like, you know, six years. So the next day, she threw all my stuff in black garbage bags and threw out the apartment and, like, get out. <laughs> I had to leave my so. senior year, too, and that hurt out. It was the most detrimental thing because I had, you know, I was starting on the basketball team. I was on softball. I was having so many colleges look at me for softball, and then they made me move because it was not a safe situation living at my mom's. So then my dad made me go there to go to school with him. And that was the worst because, you know, I went to school with the same people all my life, and then you take me out my senior year, you know. Yeah. I I, got, I kind of got lucky, like, I got my friend let me, well, my friend's mom let me live in their garage. So, I mean, I didn't have, like, heat or air conditioning, but it was a place to stay. And I had my own car. So I was able to finish out my senior year of school, but it was tough because, like, you know, I didn't really, I didn't have a job. I didn't have money. So, like, getting food was damn near impossible. Yeah. And then, you know, in the winters in Indiana, sleeping in a garage. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I, I feel you here because we don't have heat here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate that. Did you see if anything was on there, um... Uh, I just pulled it up. Sealed? The only thing I see was there was some paperwork filed on April 23rd. Okay. Um, it was a notice to the court of law library refusal. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Are we supposed to be filing more paperwork? Or? Uh, will you just uh, message uh, Caitlin and ask her, see if she'll respond back real quick, if, um, if, um, if she... If, she would is she is she coming this week? Okay. Yeah, her, um, yeah, just, on, on I just I'm just my my mind is too too much right now and I just I need to get out I need to get out of the cell for a little bit because we haven't been out in like a week except the total of like an hour and something in a whole week. I'm I'm messaging her right now. <sighs> Okay, okay. I sent it out, so hopefully she'll get back to me. She usually yeah. gets back to me pretty quickly. Yeah, hopefully sure. Well, I'm going to go get my toothbrush and stuff like that, and I'll call you right back just to ask you that question, okay? So that way. Okay. You have 60 seconds remaining. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hello? Hey, baby. How you doing? 
I'm okay. Um, just seeing how you're doing. And tell you I gave my friend your number. Uh, she doesn't live far from you. She lives in Head Meals. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just wanted you to know it was somebody that I really did give your number. I didn't want you to think it was some random stranger, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've I seen it, and, and uh, she, uh, okay. Harley got hers, too. She emailed Harley, texted Harley okay. or something, too. Okay, cool. I just and, wanted you to know, because I know how you know all these people are, you know, crazy. I didn't want you to think it was somebody, you know, randomly making up something crazy, you know what I mean? Well, she kind of threw me off when she did do it, but, and Harley, I, well, I, kinda, I told her, and I gave Harley, I gave her a code to tell Harley, so Harley would know it was like Yeah, legit. she said, she did, she said, Harley called me this morning, and Harley said she did, and she did give her the code, and so, yeah, yeah she, she knew it was legit, but okay. anyway, uh, I, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get you some money sent to you, baby, because I know you need some for your canteen and stuff. Okay. And when I ask you stuff like that, you need to let me know you're running low. I don't know, never know how much money you got in canteen. Well, Kiss the last man. time I talked to you, we talked about it, but then so much was going on, and you probably, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot going on with my brain, your brain. It's a lot, you know what I mean? So we just forget. And... <sighs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some money. I'm, I'm going to get with her. When I get to the house, okay, I'll, I'll have I'm, Harley's going to call me tonight, and when Harley calls me tonight, I'm going to go ahead and give her my credit card and tell her to go ahead and send you some money. Okay, okay, cool, thank you. Then, okay, so you'll have you'll have you some money in there. I'm going to send you a hundred and fifty dollars, so that'll tie you over for for a while, a couple yeah. of weeks anyway. Yeah, and like, okay. and I had told her too. I said, you know, sometimes I talk to her when I can't get Harley, and sometimes I talk to. Her her when I can't get you, and I said, because she was worried, too, about the whole wheelchair thing, and I said, well, take down my aunt's number, that way if you talk to me and you know I'm not in the wheelchair, you can tell them, or vice versa, because you know how craziness is, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so, so I, I, you I, uh, worry, and she won't worry, and Harley won't worry, you know? Yeah, Harley called me that night, and she was just a crying, and I calmed her down, I calmed her down, yeah. and I said, Harley... Something happens to your mom. They're supposed to call some of us. Me, yeah. you, Deb, or somebody. They're going to call some of us and let us know what's going on. Yeah. I said, don't worry about it because nobody's got a phone call. Don't worry about it. She's yeah. okay. Just just yeah. calm down, darling. Calm down. Yeah, and, I, and I said, my friend, she was worried, too. And I, she's like, I couldn't get you, and I didn't know, you know, what to believe. And I said, well, let me just give you my family's number just in case. And that way, you know. Somebody would be able to, you know, to know or whatever. That way, Harley wouldn't be freaking out like that, you know. So, yeah. anyway. Oh. Uh, Baby, are I you just, okay? No, man. These people were all driving me crazy. Uh, are they trying to tell me that the mafia is trying to get my brother? And I just, it's my, it's too much in my brain. I can't get it to stop, you know. It just, I, mean, I don't, I don't sleep. You know, I don't, I can't sleep. There's too much going on. It's, it's, and then too much going on in my brain, and it just don't ever stop. And I don't know sometimes, you know, what in the world is going on or what's not going on. If, you know, if people are attacking me or not, or you know, they're, they're the they're 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 or, or the people that are planting the bombs. I checked all the whole entire uh, desk and tables to make sure because I didn't know if they planted those bombs or not. You know. Yes, uh, Calm down. Calm down. I know. Calm down. When you get like this, you ask the Lord to intervene. Yeah, I do. Okay. I do all the time. And, and he usually does. It's just, you know. He don't usually does, baby. He does all he the does. time. I know. I, mean, I, I talk to him every day, all day. He's all I have because I'm always by myself. You know, I don't. I only get to come out with people for like thirty to forty-five minutes, no more than an hour, because they don't. We don't get to come out but a little bit of time, and and then I just go crazy. You still got your radio? You still got yeah, your radio? Yeah, I got my radio, and um, we I can listen twenty hours a week. So I try. I had to start spacing it out because I was running out. I was running out after two or three days because I was trying to stay focused on the radio to you know get rid of it. But the batteries don't let you get one set a week. And it's 20 hours, so I had to start doing it where it was like only three hours a day, you know? Yeah, okay, okay. As long as you got your batteries, and like I said, I'll send you some money tonight. Okay. I'll have Harley to send it tonight or in the morning, whenever she's going she, 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 she to call me tonight. So I'll, I'll make sure she sends you some money so you can get you some batteries and get you okay. some food on the canteen and stuff like that, okay? So you yeah. Just, 
my head when feels like someone's constantly you... biting it, and there's ringing in my ears, and I just keep banging my head just so to stop. But yeah. Anyway, um, I gotta go. We gotta go in because we only get a few minutes out because they had so much going on. And I, we've only been okay. out for like an hour and something in like seven days total. <laughs> Baby, you just calm down. Calm down, and like I said, just try to calm down. When you get like this, baby, just calm down and count to ten and relax and breathe in and breathe out. Okay. And I pray for you every day and every night and during the day, I pray for you. I know, thank you. You're going to be all right. I know, gonna I know. All right. Hurry, well, you I'm going to try to you know, walk around for a little please. bit because uh, I don't, these people well, that come to my window and they try to get me because they try to be out there in the woods and I, and I, and I just, I got to get away from them. So I, I, sometimes if I just go in my room, they can't get me, you know, and they try. Maybe there's nobody, listen, there's nobody going to get you, baby. There's <sighs> nobody going to get you where you're at, okay? You're okay. Nobody's going to get you and nobody's going to hurt you. You're Okay. If it's where you're at, it's got you like this, baby. You just relax, okay? You're okay. Okay. Just relax. Hey, okay. just, you, you, you guess who's at my house cleaning up for me? Who? Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie said, hey. Hey. She said, hey, Stephanie. She said, hey, she loves you. Love her, too. Tell her that uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see her again. She said she couldn't wait to see you again. She said she couldn't hear either. Okay, I'm going to go, okay? I'm going to go, okay? Bye. I got to go. Baby, okay. don't. I, I can't I love you, of, baby. I can't cry in front of these people, okay? I got to go. Bye. I love you. All right, bye. 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 Thank you for using. Hey. Hey. Hey, so she texted me back. Um, I asked her if she'd be coming in this week, and she said she's going to try to. But it doesn't look good because she's got two trials going on and she's got a kid that's homesick. So I told her to let you know. So. Okay. But I did order, I ordered you all three of those books. Um, they should, it said they should be there like by the end of this week. So I'm hoping you get them sooner than later. Oh, thank you. And I, um, I, um, Oh, sorry. I was I had a, break, a mental breakdown out here, and I had to run to my room because you can't let people see you cry and get upset, you know. Or I don't like to see yeah. them see me. I don't like to let them see me freaking out walking around here. But um, I called my aunt, and she said she got your message. Uh, she said she waited because she wanted to talk to Harley first, and she said she talked to Harley this morning because Harley was like, "Oh yeah, she's legit. She gave my mom, you know, she knew whatever, whatever codes or whatever." Um, so so my aunt knows now because I I called her real quick to tell her. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I figured, I didn't know if either one of them would respond just because, you know, they don't know me. So, yeah. I just, they probably won't really know what to do. I want to talk to you first. Just totally, I totally understand that. I'd probably do the same way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Harley's so, not, Harley's not one for, uh, you know, being responsive on uh, messages online anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I would message her and be like, Harley, hello, your mother's texting you. Hello, your mother's on Instagram. Hello, hello. And she's like, oh, sorry. I was, you know, I was going to write you back, but it was blah, 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 blah. You know. <laughs> there was one time, it was, it was last year, like, around winter time. Uh, she was like, she did an Instagram live video. And I was like, folding laundry, so I watched it. And I don't remember what she was, she was talking about, like, makeup or something. But she had her eyelashes done. And I was like, how do you have your eyelashes looking so nice? And she told me that she gets them, like, um, like sewn on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was like, cool, I didn't know that was even a thing. <laughs> yeah, she does $90 worth, but they last and they look good. You know? Also, yeah, so she said they last a really long or a decent amount of time, so. Yeah. Well, that and, was a pretty um, cool idea. Yeah, so I was just going to tell you that real quick and just uh, just let Kayla know, just say you told me, and I said, okay, thank you, just tell her I'm, I'm, I'm having you know, a rough time. We, I've been so out of it, but uh, I'll talk to her whenever, if she can come next week. Okay. All right, I'll let her know that right. I relayed the message back to you. Okay, cool. All right, and I'm going to go because uh, we got to go lockdown, obviously. But uh, you have a good day and with the girls and tell them hello, okay? Okay, yeah, I hope your day gets okay. better, okay? Okay, bye. Uh, bye. Hi. Link. Thank you for... Hey. Hey. Hi. 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 H
How are you today? All right. I just I just got up. We didn't go to bed till like I don't know seven a.m. Oh man, you're up all night. Yeah, it was it was crazy. <laughs> I think, by the way, that thing you had me look up yesterday. I didn't see anything when I looked it up um, yesterday, like morning. But I think I found it last night. <laughs> oh yeah, that wasn't the one. I saw it on the news. That wasn't. Okay, one. that wasn't it. Yeah, that wasn't the one I'm looking for. Okay. The news. Yeah. The news totally took that out of. They. I was just. I just saw it. And I had my radio on the channel, and I heard my name, and I was like, "Oh God." <laughs> and I walked to the TV, and everybody ran through the windows. I was like, "What are they saying? What are they saying?" And someone yelled, "She's just." Just talking about court or something. I was like, oh god! I just went back to my bed and was like, <laughs> I was like, please, people, enough people are obsessed. I don't need more. Yeah, you have like a little like a fan club that seems like because I was on Facebook last night and that's where I saw it at and I was like, oh, I wonder if that's the one that she was looking for. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that one. So I don't. Since I guess they're not coming this week, I won't. I guess I won't find out. But um, yeah, it's yeah, not, they yeah they had been we've been. They've been to about that one. It's been like about like a month or so. But um, who are we gonna have? Um, who are we have representing you now? Is it gonna be the same people as before, or somebody different? No, it doesn't guarantee that. You don't have to have somebody. It's just a request. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah the, the article I read online wasn't very um, it wasn't very descriptive. It just however what the headline was. It just was talking about um like a request for a uh, council or something like that. Yeah. What the, is the, um, the motion, is it typed or is it written? So I found one that was, it's handwritten, it looks like by you, but they, oh, okay, they yeah. blocked out, they redacted most of it. Okay. So it's like the first sentence is the only thing we have on there. <laughs> okay. And and then there's a typed one, though. There's, a, there's a typed one that says basically that like they accepted your request and that's what the hearing is for tomorrow. That who accepted my request? I'm guessing the judge. Okay, so oh, that one. okay, I'm, I'm oh, so my <laughs> So there's a hearing tomorrow for that. This is where I'm getting all crazy because I, I don't understand. I, I can't. Uh, the people that tell me stuff here, you know how reliable the communication is here. It gets too yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't want to rely on that. <laughs> Let me, I got my Chromebook, I'm coming upstairs real quick, so okay. I can downstairs. Yeah, because I remember, I think last week when we talked, I had seen the thing that said you had a hearing on tomorrow the 5th, but I didn't say what it was for. But that was so the for that. That's what, let me see real quick, because I looked it up last night after I saw the article on Facebook, but I was like so tired, I didn't really actually like read it, read it, but I could have sworn the typed one said that that's what it's for tomorrow. I think mm-hmm. that got added on top of the other one, so I might actually be there all day. Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, some time out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it's during my out time. Oh, is it? Okay, that, I didn't three know. O'clock? Didn't you say 3 o'clock? Yeah, that's what it says. Let me see. Okay, let me see something real quick. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, the appearance for council is set for Wednesday, May 5th at 3 p.m. For Is that for District 15? Let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay, then that's why it didn't show up till yesterday then. Yeah, because okay. I looked up yesterday morning. This wasn't on here until, like, later in the evening, my time. Like, it was, like, 7 o'clock my time. Okay, that makes sense. Because the one I didn't go to court when I was crazy that day, that was the other judge, right? We, we talked about that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Miller or something like that. Okay, yeah. So this is actually from my judge. Yeah, uh, Judge Werner. Yeah, he signed it. Okay, what did what is what does he say in there? Mm, let's see. Okay, so it just says that this is basically a response to the letter they received from you. What, I uh, sent the letter. The motion. Yeah, the motion. That? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. That's why I got. I'm. I'm trying to get it all <laughs> They have it. They have it listed as a letter, but it's it's the motion. And but they, re- based on the- they redacted the motion, right? So people can't read what's on there. Right, yeah. All, the, all uh, okay. you can read on there is just like the first sentence. Like, this was like your name that like you're requesting counsel and everything else is redacted. 
Okay, then that's that's good on that part. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that they had a. You can tell they whited everything out. Oh, well, that's good because nobody really needs to know anything about like why <laughs> or what else yeah. is on there. Yeah. But yeah, this one here just says based on your request, they're reappointing uh, the public defender, and then all the codes and things like that, and then the appearance date is tomorrow at three. Um. Fine. But my, my request. My request was not reappointing with the public defender. Yeah, so I, I saw that. So here's where it gets tricky. So the, you requested a state attorney, right? Yeah. I'm 90% sure state attorneys work for the prosecution side. No, so no, no it's not. It's not. No, I, I, um, no, no, it's different here. You have Is public it? defenders and then you have court-appointed state attorneys. Oh. Yeah, it's different here. So... For example, Caitlin, my investigator, she works for the defense, and she works as a court-appointed defense tr- defense investigator, and so does a bunch of attorneys. You see what I'm saying? Oh. Well, you might want to talk to them about that tomorrow, then, when you go, because the, it looks like he's signed it as reappointing the public defender. Okay, well, then, because I don't, I don't want reappointment of the public defender. I'd rather keep working with Caitlin and them and do it myself. I would definitely bring that up tomorrow then because that's what it says on here and just be like, that's not what I was wanting to do. <laughs> but it says it on their plane today. Yeah, I know because I, I read yours and this one it's different. You read what? Right now. I read the one that you wrote because, like I said, it's just the first sentence, like in the one that you wrote. Appointment of a state attorney instead of the public defender. But then the response they filed to that is that they're giving you a public defender. Yeah, well, I don't want that. I'd rather go keep going by myself then. Yeah. Definitely, I'd, I would bring it up tomorrow. Because it doesn't say anything on here about, like, who they're, like, appointing yeah. to you. So can, you to have can you message Caitlin and tell her that I'm confused about the response and because uh, I didn't request that? And can she tell me if somebody's going to be there tomorrow? Yeah. Let me message or she at. Okay. Because that is not even what the motion was for. Let me type this up real quick and then I'll send it out to her. Okay. Because I don't want to lose Caitlin as my investigator right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's what I was wondering too because I didn't know, like, if they were going to reappoint, like, a public defender, if they would let you keep her or not because, you know, it doesn't say anything on here about that and... That would suck because she seems like she's really, like, she's helpful. And and she's already she's, got all my, like, information stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and if that's the case, shoot, I'll just, I mean, I've got more done with them than anyone. You want me to ask if she'll be there tomorrow? No, if, if, if uh, Josh will be there tomorrow. Okay. Because that's who my question would have to be asked to, I guess. All right, I just sent it out. So hopefully, she usually gets back pretty quickly, so yeah. hopefully she'll get back pretty soon. Uh, yes, I don't see anything. Let me see there's something else. On. Oh, no, it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, like the the motion thing or the the thing they sent the the thing that the judge wrote up basically it's really short and sweet and doesn't really have a whole lot of information with it. It's like one page. <laughs> but it, it just says uh just reappointment, that's it really basically is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh she she said, she said that Josh is going to be there tomorrow for you, yes. Okay. And she said that she doesn't know about, she said she didn't know about, like, the response, but it's, like, right here. I'm going to tell her to look this up online so she can see it. Can you tell her to please look that up online? Because that is not what I, that's not what I asked for in that motion. Yeah. I'm and, I, to, and they're in trial this week, so I don't have a way to ask him a question about that. Yeah. And I don't want to, like, just show up tomorrow and not be, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, I mean, I'll have to sit there all day and wait because they'll pick me up tomorrow morning. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm telling you to go look where I'm looking because everything's on here. Yeah, just make sure you let her know because that's not that I'm saying that that's not what I put in the motion. That I'd rather stay per se. Hmm. Yeah, I, just was, I was looking at it right now, and that you and I were both kind of confused about it because I, like I said, I could see yours, but I can only see the first sentence of what you wrote. Everything else is redacted, <clears throat> and the yeah. following after that is theirs. Okay, she's she's typing back right now. Oh, she's typing. <laughs> I love the thing about the iPhone. Someone else writes. Yeah, you can see their typing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I got the uh, <clears throat> invoice for the books. I heard you. They should be there on the tenth. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm over here, freaked out about this because I put it as plain as day that it was. If not, then I wanted to stay that, you know, per se. So I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to lose her as an investigator right now because she's got she's going to go get that stuff. She's got like I mean, you know what I mean. I trust her. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna ask if she ever did that that trip that she was supposed to go she, on yet. Yeah, she's been planning on it. It's just that she was waiting on. She, I told her don't go May. May's not a good time to go because you got like all the bite weeks and stuff like that. And then yeah, going to Mexico in May. I mean, you know. Hey, tomorrow's Cinco de Mayo. I just yeah, that. I know. I know. I know. She, it'd probably be better for her to wait till the fall to do both. Yeah. At least, you know, after school starts back for most playful places and stuff like that. She didn't want to go to the beach when it was, she was like, I don't want to go when it's scorching hot. I was like, well, darn, you better wait till, like, October. <laughs> okay, so she messaged me back. She said, she said, okay, gotcha. She said it's a bit of a confusing process. That will involve some further discussion tomorrow. And she said, it's probably best if we don't speak about it on the recorded calls. <laughs> okay. So I said, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, okay. So we'll well, I know about. someone's there. You know what I mean? That was my main concern that I'm freaking out because I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, there because that'll be helpful. What now? It's good that uh, Josh will be there tomorrow because that'll be, that'll be helpful. Yeah, yeah. Because he already knows what I have written in there. You know, we had already talked about it, so. Yeah. This would be interesting. I'm going to, I think hopefully I can get in through WebEx tomorrow so I can sit in and see what's going on. <laughs> hopefully. I uh-huh. people don't screen share through that one time. <laughs> so that's the only court tomorrow is at 3. That's it. That's showing up. That's the only one that I saw. Um okay. Let me go back and double check because I have to look at a different spot for the other times. Let's see. That's the one I see on this page. Were you supposed to have another one or? No, no, no. I'm just making sure because I am <laughs> ask these people stuff around here and they be telling me stuff and I'm like, what? And then it don't even make sense. Yeah, that's like when I called them that one day and they flat out told me like twice, like our communication here is really terrible. Like, yeah. that's awesome that you're aware of that and you're not fixing it. <laughs> yeah. So I- you have one minute remaining. All right. Well, it's going to hang up then. I guess tomorrow I'll be there and I'm, I'm just going to be, my anxiety is just going to be dirty, dirty. Well, try to get some rest. Try to think about it. At least you know that Josh will be there. So that's, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everything will go good tomorrow. But I will keep you in my prayers. I'm not sure everything will go well for you tomorrow. Okay, cool. But yeah, we'll say our prayers for you tonight, and I'll I'll try to get on WebEx tomorrow so I can watch you. Okay. Um. Right. I don't know. Tell her. I, can you tell her? Okay, I said I'm probably not going. But okay, bye. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. bye. I will tell Link. Thank you for using. Hey, I didn't mean to just be like, hey, gotta go, bye. I just freaking out. I just, I'm freaking out because I'd rather you just denied it and then, okay, denied your request. Okay, cool. Then I'll keep doing and doing. <laughs> that was good. I, I heard you say, like, you know, tell Caitlin I might not be there tomorrow. And I was like, yeah. hold, hold on, wait. And then I hung up. So I, I texted her. Yeah, I'm not. And yeah. I let her know. And I she mean, said, uh, yeah. She said that she's going to try to show up there tomorrow if she can, is what she just texted me. 
I, but I, I'm, I'm not going to be there, <laughs> so don't, don't worry. <laughs> you're, you're not going? No, I'm not. I'm not. That's what I was telling you. I'm not, I'm not going. Yeah. That's not. Well, uh, I don't know. That's not what. If I, if you, I mean, just deny the request. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why I need to go there. I have to go through all that craziness of people following me and all the people I had to worry about hunt me down and all that stuff. If I could go through all that process, just deny it, just to send me there to for something I didn't even ask for. It it could be just a misunderstanding though, and you know, if you show up tomorrow and kind of explain what it is that you want, that might help get you what you want, you know? No, no, no. Whereas no, if you don't Okay. You don't think? Yeah, no. Just tell her don't worry, please don't yeah, don't worry about it because I'm not going. Thank you. Uh, okay. Just so that I'm not going, and thank you so much. All right, I'll I'll let her know. Yeah, I just I'm just I'm not I'm not gonna put myself in a situation mentally sitting there all day long. I gotta worry about looking for stuff and hiding out for stuff and all that, just for something I didn't even ask for. So no, uh uh-uh. uh. No, I, I understand. It's a lot of extra unnecessary stress. I get yeah, it. too much. Then I go into a different mind situation, and I don't, I don't like going there. I don't like being in those places because I don't have complete control. You know what I mean? I, I get it. What you have sixty seconds remaining. But anyway, what do you think will happen? It's like you don't go. Like what happens next? I mean, I mean, I, 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 guess I don't. I want to. I want to deny it. Then I, I don't understand. I mean. It's plain as day, and I even had an attorney look over it to see, like, hey, does this make sense? Yes. Okay. Well, just just think about it and pray about it. And, like I said, I'll be saying my prayers for you, too. And okay. All right. Just try to get some rest and decompress a little bit. Yeah. If you don't hear from me in a couple of days, I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Well, day, okay? Please keep in touch if you can, okay? All right. Bye. Bye. Hi, Hell Link. Thank you. Hey. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm trying not to freak out, and I'm, I'm about to freak out, and uh, I just, um, oh, I feel like I'm about to What can I, I do to help? Oh, I don't know. There's nothing. I just, I just, I just, I don't know. I know there's a lot going on, and a lot of it's really confusing and stressful. I, I totally get it. But if you just stress yourself out more about it, it won't make anything better, you know? Like, that's something I work on with myself, too. I get stressed out about things really easily and just keep stressing out about them. But overstressing yourself won't fix the problem, Yeah. you know? So just take a couple deep breaths. And like I said, I know you don't want to go tomorrow. I think it would be best if you did. Because, I mean, it could go one of two ways, you know? You could get what you want or you might not. But if you don't go, then you know for certain that you won't get what you want. No, I already, I, I, he's already reappointed them. So that means they'll be there. But that's the thing, though, on the paperwork or on the thing online, there was nobody's names mentioned. So I don't know if anybody's going to be there or not. They're going to have to try to figure that part out tomorrow. Yeah, no, I'd rather just stay doing what I'm doing. I, I It's a whole lot better that way because at least I can see stuff and do stuff and ask questions. I get answers. You know what I mean? Like I just, but there's only a, there's the only other one way to fix it, and I just, I just, I just got to call everybody. I just got to call everybody today. I don't know. I am. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want you to freak out because I'm freaking out for you too. <laughs> um, I don't want you to freak out. I know it's a lot to think about. I know there's a lot, like, riding on this whole situation. But you have to stop and think about, you know, everybody else to think about Harley and stuff like that, too, you know? I don't need to worry about Harley. Harley doesn't care about me. Do you really think that? I don't think that. I don't think that at all. I tried to call Caitlin, but I guess they might be in court. I was just going to tell her, like, I'm freaked out. Can somebody please come talk to me for, like, ten minutes? Yeah, she she actually just texted me, like, five minutes ago or so. She said that she's in trial with Josh today. Yeah. Yeah, I know they got trial. I just wanted, I'd rather, like, had someone talk to me first before showing up there. You know what I mean? 
It would have been yeah. Do you, well, I mean, if Josh is going to be there tomorrow, do they usually, like, in situations like the, these, do they pick you up and bring you there, like, right on time, or do they bring you there early so you have, like, time to talk with them? You don't have time to talk to anybody. You literally walk in a room and everybody's already there and he's already starting court. Oh, God. Yeah. That's not... I don't know if they gave you time to, like, kind of prep or if they just, like, get, like, drug in and drop you right in the middle of it. That sucks. No, I got to go in, get rest- I got to get unrestrained, and then sit down and restrained again, and blah, blah, blah. Because I still have to be restrained when I go to the courthouse. That, I didn't know that. was stupid. Yeah. Do you, I mean, I don't know, because, like, I mean, Judge Werner seems like he's a nice guy. From what I can tell, like, he seems like he's pretty well-rounded. Fair. Yeah, yeah, I know. It just, it's not bad. It's just that I'd rather you just denied it. If it's a no, it's a no. I'm okay with it, except a no. Just say no. Okay, cool. You know? Look, yeah, like I said, maybe there's some, maybe there's some misunderstanding, because, I mean, I I don't know what you put on the, on your motion, because like I said, they took pretty much all of it offline. Maybe there's something in there that I didn't understand correctly, or yeah, but he's not going to, if they redacted it, he's not going to talk about it in front of people because it's redacted because it's protected. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. <sighs> um, and, like, I told, yeah. like, I I didn't want to even turn it in right now because I'm waiving that hearing. Yeah, the one that's coming up in, yeah. like, what, a week or two? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, I didn't they- even want it talked about now because I'm waiving that hearing. Did they make you, like, turn it in when you did, or, like... No, I no, they didn't at all. I just said, hold on to it until we think it's, the time is right. But, like, I definitely wanted to waive the hearing. And, like, I mean, uh, I'm not dealing with the public defender's office because they have policies that I don't agree with. It's, it, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, dece- I'm not going to deceive the court. Like, deceiving the court. They want to make up stories and do all this stuff, and I'm not doing that. It's either going to be done the right way or not. Like, I just, I'm not, I'm not being a part of their fiasco that they go down with. And they're trying to do this other lady like that in here, and she's like, I'm not going to lie. I totally understand, like, how you feel, because I'm i not a huge fan of, like, public defenders either, just based off, you know, things that I've read offline or, you know, on news articles, things like that. I totally get where you're coming from, and I know why you wouldn't want to have them again. Because, I mean, look at the first time that you had them. They never came they, here. I never once in person had a visit from them. Never. Yeah, and didn't they try to say, like, they did or, like, they had made attempts or things like that? Like, it would have been documented if they did, and, I, like, everyone knows that they didn't because it was mentioned last year because of COVID they couldn't come in or something like that. Yeah. Like, visits were restricted because of coronavirus. But it was their office. They done it. But the yeah. thing is, people are doing all this stuff, but you got the vaccine. What's the point of the vaccine? It's like the president going on TV, do a speaking for the first time this year. Everybody in there, you know, did not step foot 5,000 feet from that from that, sin, that place without having the COVID vaccine. But you all sitting in there 10 feet apart, apart with masks. Like, what's the point? Then why yeah, the vaccine? I mean, and they gave the vaccine here. Feel- well, and on top of that, too, like, shouldn't they do video, like, video visits? Well, they did, but then the thing about video visits is they wouldn't, have, like, I could never see anything. How could I see? Oh, they really? Wouldn't do, they wouldn't do any of that. They would just be like, well, you don't really need to see. Yes, I do, because that's the type of learner I am. Yeah, and that's I'm a visual kinesthetic kin- learner, you know? Everything that they had access to at that time, they should have been giving you access to as well. And the fact that they didn't, like... I think that, that says a lot, too, because, I mean, they weren't trying to help you get a hold of any paperwork, were they? No, and they could have communicated with the jail. Then none of that stuff would have been going on about sitting there, can't hold a phone, you know, yeah. talking to them. If if you would have called and asked to speak to the commander, because once he found out about it, he was like in shock, like, oh, whether he really was or not, at least he acted like he was and was like, oh, well, you know, basically, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I, so, mean, I mean, I think everyone from the outside, like, I know I could definitely see it. They weren't really working their hardest. Like, I had been saying that for a while. Like, I didn't really think they were really putting much effort into what their job was, you know? They wouldn't I don't even know come why. so they could see that video 
when Caitlin came right in. I I like her a lot. Like she's she's so nice. Like I said, she she texted me about twenty minutes ago or so and said that she was gonna try her best to come in tomorrow so she could be there for you. So I, like she's she's putting a lot more effort in the time that you've been working with her than the other people you had were. <laughs> And yeah. I mean, if she if she could be there for you tomorrow, like I think that would be that would be good. Her and Josh both. I mean, I know they can't really they can't speak for you, but I mean, having somebody there like with you as moral support that might help. You know. Do you think you could ask her? Is there any way that Josh could call to the jail? and t- and like kind of give me like heads up of this because I'm losing my mind. And I, I, I'm, yeah, let me, and let I, me put you on. Like, after, up. I know he's got trial. Just say, hey, she, she knows he's got trial, but just, I need to, like, because they're not going to give me that time tomorrow to ask him any questions I have about what in the world. Yeah. Let Is there any way to make a call for 10 minutes up here after trial or anything? Because they'll take me down and let me talk on the phone. Okay. Please, I, I'm just losing my mind about this, and I am. And you know, I don't take medicine. I don't have any. I don't have any impulse control. That bad impulse. Yeah. And that's that's the bad part. Is the obsessive compulsive and the impulse control that I don't have control of sometimes, and I just. And All right. I just messed up. Starts right. going on in my head, and I can't. I can't. And then I can't function right, and I start losing my mind, and I end up like I was the other day, and and I'm trying to uh, prevent that from happening, you know. And uh, well, I think you're doing you're doing a good job because once well, you've come really far already, like you're you're not you're not freaking out right now, you know. We're actually talking about this a little bit. I I messaged Caitlin for you, and I asked her if she could ask Josh to call you today when he has some free time, that way he can kind of give you a idea of, you know, what to expect tomorrow. Yeah. Um, wait and see if you just respond here. Um, but I mean, you're doing, I think you're doing well handling this. And I know being under a lot of stress sucks because I get stressed out super easily. So I know what it's yeah. like. But, I mean, sometimes you got to take yourself out of that box, especially in a situation like this. This is, like, super, super, super important, you know. And I just, I don't know. Because then I'm going to lose I mean, all the, like, ability to, you know, they're not going to come in. They're not going to help me. They're not going to, they're going to sit there and, you know, get rid of, um, like, their time. And I know that's why that stuff was redacted, because there's proof of all the things that they had done that was just against case law. Caitlin, and I, Caitlin even, just I looked up case law. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I said I looked up case law and everything, and I read the things, and I was like, no, there's there's a case that says you can't do this, can't do that, and it was everything that they did to me. Caitlin messaged me back real quick. She said, um, said, A, we can't call into the jail. B, he won't be able to come see her today, unfortunately. And then she said it would just be better for her to come than throw her hands up. Caitlin and I are kind of like, like we're kind of on the same page here. We only want the best for you, and I totally get your side of it. I understand. You know, you don't want to deal with the extra stress if you show up there, and it just ends up, you know, them not giving you what it is that you're asking for. But like, you it's won't know. Unless say no, you don't. don't don't do this with the other people. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm not going. So I, I'm. That's my decision. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not going. It's not even what I. It's, uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not going through that. I, um, no, I'm not going. So, sorry. Right. I understand. I I understand it. I I totally get it. And I, I think that you can definitely handle yourself on your own. Like I totally do. I think you know if you just want to keep going as you have been with you know Caitlin and Josh, I think you'll be just fine doing it that way. Also. I just want to make sure you know that. That's what I want to do, but he's already appointed then. So now it's like you have to hold another hearing. This is stupid. Like, if you didn't, just say no. (laughs) That's that's why I wondered, though. Like, you know, if, so let's say, like, 
if they were to reappoint you like, you know, a public defender, right? Are they going to take yeah. Caitlin and Josh away from you? Yeah, because they are, or, yeah, they're state appointed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's such a it's such a shitty situation, and like I hate I hate the fact that there's not much I can do to help. It is driving me insane because I I hate it like when people are under stress. Like I hurt like my heart hurts for you, and I hate that I can't really do much to help. Okay, well, can you just tell her I said that I really don't care, and I'm just not going, and that's my final answer. It's just I want her to know that so they don't have any surprises that I'm not going to be there because I'm not going. I'm done with this. Yeah, I can, I can let I'm her not know. Dealing, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with those people anymore. Just tell her I'm not dealing with the PD anymore, and I'm not going. I'll let her know, and, you know, I'm sure she's, I'm sure, I'm sure she'll understand why, too. And, like I said, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that you'll be able to do fine like you have been. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't want anything, you know. Well, I mean, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, you know, when you, if you don't go. I mean, they're probably just going to be like, okay, well, that's it, whatever. And then, like, it never yeah, happened again. Yeah, that's all they're going to do. You have one minute remaining. You know, whether I'm there or not. So, what does it matter? Well, if you get some if you get some free time tomorrow, will you try to call me? That way I can, you know, check up on you, make sure you're doing okay. Because I know you're under a lot of stress, and I just want to make sure you're doing okay. Well, I won't get to come out if I don't go to court, so I'm just, I, I'll try to call you the next day. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm try to, away. whenever you have some time, just try to call me that way. I can know that you're, you're doing all right. Like I said, I know there's a lot going on in your world right now, and, you know, I can really do say prayers for you, but I'm going to be able to do her, her prayers for her just to thank, to thank them, and that um, I'm not going, and just tell her thank you. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will talk to her. I won't get to talk to her ever again, you know what I mean? I mean, what do you mean? Because like, she's still going to be working with you, isn't she? No, she can't. Once the public defender is appointed back tomorrow, she's not. She doesn't work with me anymore. You see what I'm saying? So I won't ever get to see her again. Well, if you don't go in tomorrow, are they going to appoint anybody to you? I don't think they, I don't. they already did. Thank you for using Global Telling. Link. Hey. Hey again. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I won't get to see, like, I won't get to talk to her again. You know what I mean? Yeah, but. I don't, like I said, they haven't put any names on the No, paper. it was on the news. I'm telling you. I, that's how I found out. It was already on the news last night that the the defendant office had already been reported and it showed the picture of the lady and from the police oh, really? office. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. That's why I was asking you that because I was like, I saw it on the news and was like, huh. Was okay, like, yeah, because I, I hadn't seen that part. I hadn't seen anything about that. I had just seen the one article on Facebook and then the document on the court website. Um, yeah, no, they, well, they showed I, it here. That's why I was trying to get clarification because I was like, when I heard it, because the radio works with the TV, you know what I mean? And so yeah. when I heard it, I was like, huh? I was like, I didn't ask for that. And then <laughs> I was like, I, at first I was like, well, maybe they got it wrong, you know? And then as they went into the story, and then I was like, oh, okay, well, then I wanted to stay for a say then. And what if tomorrow... If you if you don't go in, it sounds like the from what you've seen, they're going to have somebody like appointed to you. What if you go in tomorrow and say, This isn't what I want, like I would just rather act as I have been and they can just take those people away that way you don't get stuff with the public defender. Well, he he knows that. That's what it said. That's why it's redacted. But he okay. he knows that. It's in there like I mean in plain as A is in English, I mean I mean, I don't know any other any other way to say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just I don't understand why. You know, if you specifically ask for one thing, like why they pick the the exact opposite. You know? Yeah, you can just deny it. That's my thing. Just be like, oh no. I mean, plenty of motions have been denied. Didn't just say, oh no, motion denied. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. I- like I said, I think Judge Werner seems like a pretty nice guy and well-rounded. I just wonder what, you know, is he the one that makes that decision? And if so, like, what what was his thought process behind it at the time? <laughs> like, I don't. It's super it's I'm stressful. I'm just, I'm just not going, and I just wanted her to at least know that 
I appreciate I appreciate her help, and at least she knows. So, because she's already seen stuff, so she she knows. So, I mean, at least I know that, and at least if something was to happen to me, she she would know, and you know, another person would know, and at least it would be known public. You know that you know the truth. So that's all right. At least someone on the outside besides a family member. You know. Well, I don't I don't want you to do anything. Silly, you know what I mean? I don't want you to get too stressed out and do anything. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's just, I'm just saying, you never know. I mean, somebody could have a heart attack, stroke, who knows, you know? Oh, I, I know. I've I've actually had two strokes. <laughs> They're not fun. Yeah. yeah I hope so, you don't have one. Yeah. But I don't, you know. The, the PD's office is not going to come in. So They're not going to have access to it because I'm not giving it to them over the the WebEx, I'm not, you know, I'm not you, and like, oh, here, take all my information and do what you want to do with it. No, I'm not doing that. See, I don't even know if this one will be on WebEx or not, because it didn't say whether or not it would be. No, I'm talking about uh, the PD's office when they come in. They come in on WebEx. Oh. And oh, everybody can hear you, yeah. Everybody can hear you in the booth you're in. I could hear people, this dude was charged with armed robbery, three booths down, and I heard everything he said. Oh, my. <laughs> See, how I got in was different. I found, I don't remember how I found the little, like, access code to get in. Like, I got in completely different when I found out how to, like, get my way in there. <laughs> and, like, you but can hear that. everything. It's, it doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's private in the terms of people can't log in, but all you got to do is stand in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. You know, and all that stuff. It's just the point, like, I'd rather just stay by myself and at least by myself. I could have got a lot further along. At least for a while, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But whatever. I just, as long as she knows, you tell her I said thank you and I'm not going. And I really am not. I I know you probably think I changed my mind tomorrow, but I'm not. I just, when I put my mind on something and I make it up, I'm not going. You know, and that's just, you know. I'm the same way. I'm very, uh, I'm very like hard headed once I've made my mind up about something. It does not waver. (laughs) Yeah. I get it. Yeah, no. Do you think that, do you think that, they're going to expect you to not show up tomorrow? Like, do you think they, like, think they might do that already? And it might be better to show up to prove them wrong? No. That's why I not. thought about, too. Not. There's too much of a mental, just too much mentally. Then I got to go with the fact that it's going to be news and all this for nothing. I'm not doing it. He's already ruled. Leave it alone. Why do I need to go? You know what I mean? I I totally, I trust me, I get it. And why I do I need to hear it to be, be to be to something you already ruled on? Why yeah, do I need no, to hear like, it? I, I totally, I understand your thought behind it, and I, I get it. I hope you don't think I'm trying to be like pushy or anything. I no, just, no, you know, I'm I trying know. to make sure you got all your bases covered because I only want you know the best for you in the end of all of this. You know, yeah. so does Caitlin, and so does Josh. I mean, I don't really know much about Josh, but he seems like he's a pretty okay guy. <laughs> yeah. Um. She she said that she would let him know, you know, too about tomorrow. But he's, I guess he's going to be there tomorrow. And okay, he, he told her I was. He told her I wasn't going. Yeah, I had messaged her earlier and let her know. And okay, you know, she she had told me she thought it would be best if you did. And then I hadn't got to message her back yet because he called me again. Yeah, but I can let her know that you know you don't want to go and kind of explain why. And I think she'll understand. It's a lot yeah. of unnecessary stress. Yeah, and then just tell her if he's already ruled on something, then what's, I mean, what am I, well, he's not going to be like, oh, never mind, I changed my mind. You know what I mean? I mean, so, the other thing I, the only other thing I could think of, because I'm trying to, like, cover all the bases here, could you, if they appointed you a public defender, right, like, could you be like, well, I don't want them, and then get rid of them? Is that an option? Yeah, but he already knew I said that. It was already personal. So you'd have to be pro se. Yeah, it's just an extra step. Yeah, it's just, I mean. It's frustrating. I, I get it. I'm just trying to, like, brainstorm here and try to think if there's any, yeah. like, no. way around this for you to make it easier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, had, do, I know that, do I know that you want to waive that hearing coming up? Only reason why I'm asking is because, like, on the news they're making it sound like it's going to happen. I know. I told Josh, and he said that I just show up on the day of it and just say I'm waving my hearing. Oh, okay. That might be what it is then, yeah. The, the date might be set for that first day then. Okay, that, that would make sense. 
I mean, I yeah. asked. Do I need to fill out any forms beforehand? Because it's my right. It's yeah. the defendant's right. I've looked at every statute there was, and it's the defendant's right to have it or not. Because the defendant is the one that gets, you know, whether or not you can, um, they can hold you or not. They're going to hold me regardless because it's hearsay. I mean, you can go yeah. and say, you know, such and such told me they robbed the bank. And they'd be like, oh, cool, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I I know. I Hearsay is uh they say you're not supposed to go off of hearsay, but everybody does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't do that at a, at a trial, but, like, you know, you can do it for that. So what's the point of that? And then it's just going to be turned into some craziness that don't even make any sense, and you can't even defend yourself. So, no. No, no, what you said makes sense, though. Like, why they would have that? Because you need, you need to go in and wave it in person. That, that makes sense. I get that. Yeah. Um. But, so then after that, did it go to trial? They it, yeah, they said a trial date is what Josh said. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, the bright side to that is that it'll kind of bypass through a bunch of that unnecessary bullshit, you know? Like, you're not going to sit there and listen to however many hours or days worth of them doing whatever it is that they have to do, you know, when you wait that, that hearing. And then yeah. just kind of get all this other extra BS out of the way and get you to where you need to be. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you think that you've got everything you need for, like, when trial rolls around? Do you think you got... I saw everything, yeah. Yeah, I already know what, you know. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Well, I, I could totally understand why, It you just know. pisses me off because, like, the Joe made that thing about law library. And, like, do you know that law library's on the tablets in here? So it's Oh, like, really? Yeah. Well, I think they give you access to the law library on the tablet. I do have it on a tablet. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, so it's just like they made a point out of something that was not even like you could log into the law library on the tablet. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just dumb stuff, man. Worry about I mean, dumb stuff like that, but then it doesn't matter that they have not, you know, done what they were supposed to do, you know? At least, I mean, if there is any silver lining to all of this, at least when it's all said and done, you'll have a really interesting story to tell people, <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's one way to look at it. I try to have a positive spin on things. Um, mm-hmm. At least you've gone through some things that not a lot of other people have gone through, so you'll have an interesting story to share with people. And uh, who knows, it might change the way things go in the future for other people who are in situations like yours, you know? Yeah. So this has been... This has been a lot of extraness. <laughs> I'm sure you know it's gone on for too long, and you know it kind of gave you a rough hand to work with from the start with the defenders that you had from the beginning. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank you for all your help in this, no matter what. You know. But, you know, I'm always here to help, and like I said, I know I really can't do much, but I try to do what I can where I can, because you know, even though you and I have not physically met, I do consider you a very good friend of mine. And I hope you know, like I said, I'm not trying to be pushy or, like, bossy. I'm just trying to help brainstorm to see if there's any other things that would work out for you. But whatever you choose to do, like, I mean, I'm I'm supportive of whatever decision you make. Yeah. I know you can handle yourself, so. And just I remember this. If something was to happen to me, just remember, uh, text uh, Harley in the future. You know, like if I had a stroke or something, who knows, you know, because considering I'm in a wheelchair and didn't know I was in one, whatever, but. Just tell her yeah. green, green Nike shoe, and Caitlin knows green Nike shoe, and uh, she knows where to find it. It's in a green Nike shoe, and she'll put two and two together. Okay, green Nike shoe. I'll, yeah, it's hidden the green I'll, Nike shoe, and uh, and she'll know. I'll put a little note in my phone that yeah, way. Yeah, just to remember can... the, the phone. The phone is in a green Nike shoe. So. Okay. Well, please just. Take the rest of today and just try to, I know it's hard, try to relax. You know, if you've got any books to read or any puzzles to do or anything like that, get some paper and draw some doodles or something. You know, just try to find something you can to kind of maybe take your mind off the situation for a little bit. And then, you know, God is always looking out for you. He's looked out for you this far. He's not going to quit doing it anytime soon. Oh, I know. And I, know I, I know I'll go to heaven, so I'm not worried about it. Well, don't be talking like that. It's not your time to go yet. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying if it was, I'm not worried about it because I know I'll go to heaven, so. 
don't know, girl. I just, you know, don't don't stress yourself out to the point of, you know, like having a heart attack or something like that. It's it's so not worth it. I'm speaking from experience. I've heard that I had a stroke was from stress. So it's so not worth it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I try not to. You'll be, you'll I mean, be okay. I mean, you don't know when you're going to have a heart attack. That's why I was using that as, like, a, like you don't know. I mean, shoot. <laughs> and then I don't know yeah, if these people, like, what these people finally get to me in the window. You know what I mean? Then what am I doing then, you know? Yeah. I mean, just try to try to think of some, you know, focus on good things. Think about, you know, what six six days from now you'll have three new books to read. <laughs> I got you all three of the ones that you yeah, want to read. Oh, thank so that'll be something to you. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Like I said, I got a, a gift card for buying the car, and I wasn't going to use it, so <laughs> I used it to buy you those three books. So that'll give you something to do, and that was a passing time for you, and help be a distraction, and then hopefully you'll get that. The goodie box that the girls and I ordered for you. It's, it's a whole box full of candy. <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to go because I'm, I'm a lot of ways and I can't break down in front of these people. But um, just make okay. sure you feel said thank you. And it was nice to meet her. And I really appreciate all her help, okay? I will. I will. Please just take some time for yourself today. And like I said, decompress, okay? Okay. okay. You have yeah. one minute remaining. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, oh, good. How are you? Uh, I can hardly walk, but I'm good. What do you mean? The people on transport, they always, every time I'm transported, they cause a problem for nothing. It's the transport people, and I can't even hardly put any weight on my right leg. I just hop down the stairs on one leg. They're stupid. What do they do to you? I, I can't. They sit there and make you go on your knees at court and pull that chain. I tell them that's metal. And so when they did it and pulled, my knee popped. And then I got back here and I was trying to, like, I got ready to walk down. And then it started hurting more. By the time I laid down, I went to sleep last night. It, it was mm. it was pretty bad. But, you know, I don't, I'm not telling them that. They know. But. There's nothing to say but just pray for them because, you know, they think they have all power and authority, but yeah. they don't. So I just pray for them, you know. Yeah. Um. Did you see that I put the money on your account? Oh, you did? Okay. Did you get it from me, Brenda? Yeah, I did Um. $150. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah, they forgot yeah. to bring they forgot to bring I got, everybody. I got, um, go ahead. Go ahead. I got um I got a second job. Guess where I'm working? You got what? I'm a server. Guess where I'm serving? Where? Soho. What? No way. Yeah. And literally the tips that I get, like twenty percent gratuities added to everything. So I'm gonna be making so much money. Wait, I thought so, but you're still at New Wave, right? Yeah, I work at New Wave, and then I work at Soho. Well, you need to be putting money up because you know when the seat is good money right now. That's on season, yeah. Yeah, I know. I have to save three thousand dollars for next semester of school, so you got to pay three thousand next semester. Yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna get like thirty five hundred from financial aid and then I think they're gonna give me extra thousand. So maybe I only have to do two thousand, but I'm just gonna save as much as I can. I don't understand. Why did so the rates went up but the FAFSA money didn't go up? Yeah, I guess so. It's just not making any sense. I mean that's way above poverty level that they're assigned to FAFSA. Yeah. Way no, below. Crazy. I mean that means no, everybody's having to pay for it because that's like, yeah. man, that's 300% poverty level. I mean, that's, God knows. The rates yeah. are extremely high. I know. And yeah. they're trying to raise everything. I'm to so, so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm so mad. I ended my math class with a B. Oh, what? And literally, How did you do that? Ev every, literally every single test. Well, so my first test, I got yeah, a 92. My second test. Yeah. I get 10 before. Yeah. So my 
my first test, I made a 92. Can you hear me? Yeah, your first test, you made a 90. Hello? My, my yeah, first test, I made a 92. Made a then I made a 98. And then I made a 100. And then my very last test that I took today, I got a 70, and it brought my grade down to a B. Oh, no. Maybe so is it a 10-point scale or a 6-point scale? Every single test uh, it's a 10-point scale. Dang, so that dropped you to the 80-something? Yeah. Dang. But, I mean, still a good grade, so whatever. What What was the 80, 80 I'm not that mad about it. Huh? What was the 80 what? What was the final that you had 80 what? 88. Dang. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. The 70, did you just not get that section? Um, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. What happened was, is this one time I was, I was being like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. So I didn't do extra practice with every single other test. I did extra practice. And that's how I did so good. I didn't do extra practice. So it's kind of my fault. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. But my other my other classes, I don't know my final grade is yet because it's not done yet. Done with. Mm. Oh, sorry. My leg was hurt for a minute. <laughs> what is Sadie doing? I Huh? I, what I did today is I put a bench. I put a bench in front of our one in front of my window, mm -hmm. so she can see out the window. And mm -hmm. she's like in love with it. She just sits there all day and stares. And this bird flew by, and she tried to like chase the bird through the oh, window. Uh, it was so funny. She's gonna break her head going through the window. I know. It's hilarious. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, I'm seeing how you were doing. Uh, they gave me a new attorney. I know. My lawyer told me. Oh, did he? Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, he said that. I don't know if I can say on the phone. Well, I'm not having that hearing, so. And I'm getting a new attorney. Uh, I already knew it yesterday. I just guess they don't say the person's name until Monday. But no, no, do what you're supposed to do. Keep yeah. doing what you're supposed but to do with your said, attorney. You know, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. That's what he's there for. Most importantly, do what God says, you know. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. understand why you can't get some of your stuff back. That doesn't make any sense to me still, but whatever, you know. God will yeah. find a way to um, replace He said us. that, he said that, yeah, he said that Albert dropped off some of my stuff in his office and it has like your diploma and like some of your softball plaques and like pictures and stuff. So, um, and Brenda is going to buy a storage out there that we can put the stuff in because we can't ship it because there's some of my bins. I guess I have some bins too or something. He yeah. said it'd probably be like six hundred dollars to ship all the stuff that I have. So, yeah, she said she's gonna get a storage and have someone bring it there or something. So, yeah, huh? But, but your your lawyer did not talk to him other than that, right? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, no, it was just that Albert you. had sent a message. Yeah, Albert had sent a message about that he had some of my stuff, so he needs to either we need to get it or he's going to throw it away. So yeah, he, yeah. so my attorney, the attorney, told him just to bring it to his office. Okay, okay. Yeah, because you know he's going to be he's ignorant. So just your attorney says to protect you. So I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure your attorney did that. I just wanted to make sure, you know. Yeah. Cause you know how you know how Albert is. He's a narcissist, so he'll try to convince. <laughs> he'll yeah, try to he convince was calling the world. Albert. He was calling. 
he was calling Albert all these names because he like lied and told. He said that he had tried to talk to him. He didn't answer, and Al- and then my attorney was like, "He's such a freaking," and then he started going <laughs> off. <laughs> I was like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad someone else here in Colorado sees it. They'll all get to see it pretty soon, but I'm glad someone else starts to see it. Because he is totally our narcissist. He will make that shit up, and he will, like, you know, that's why I didn't even, like, deal with the stupid stuff, because I just told him. I said, look, you're not taking Sadie from me. I don't give a crap what you do with anything else. You don't touch my money, my retirement. I don't want anything for you, you know, and I says, and... In the end, with us a civil suit from all this abuse, I wanted a document that he cannot come back and say I owed him some of it. <laughs> I mm-hmm. said, I don't care about the rest because I'm going to win my case yeah. and screw him, you know. And you know, I finally got Katie as my ESA dog. You finally got it? Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Yeah, well, my doctor, my doctor wrote the letter, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the letter now. So what you do is keep the letter, get a couple copies, keep the original. And so, like, if you go to hotels, uh, stuff like that, you bring the doctor's note with you. Um, you know, if you – now, some of them can deny ESAs, but they can't deny service animals. So, remember, they're two different laws, right? Right. So – Right. You, yeah. So, um, but, you know, you could also tell them if you, like – I mean, I mean, you know, you go on a no vacation right now, but I'm saying, like, you can just be like, it is very detrimental to my mental health that she's with me, so please, I hope you – you know, accept this as my doctor's note. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what she she made in the doctor's note. She was very descriptive and used all these things. And she was like, and this falls under, if anyone has tried to deny her, this falls under, under the Disability Act, of this, this, and this, and the fair housing and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so she did a good letter. Cause she, and you shouldn't have to pay, like, you know, I mean, I know you're still at the apartment now, but I'm saying, like, if you were to, like, get a place with somebody, you know what I mean? Like, let's say you and Charlotte got a house. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't, you shouldn't have to pay a pet deposit now. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not considered a pet. Yeah. Yeah. That type of thing. That's good. Because she understands why you need it. I mean, God, you're in, I mean, that's what people don't understand. Like, people be sitting there looking at me like, you're so smart. Yeah, da, da, da. I'm sitting there like, you sit here and be segregated. 20-some hours a day. You, I had no human interaction for 13 months, and now I only have human interaction for maybe 30 minutes extra, you know, that I actually get to be around people, but I don't talk to a lot of people, you know, other than the people I do Bible study with. And then you sit there, then I'm beside mm-hmm. this lady with dementia. I got the lady downstairs under me who's in a wheelchair, and she's batshit crazy. I mean, you got all that, and then you take on top of everything. I have no family nearby. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, every time you turn around, mm-hmm. stupid shit's on the news that half of it ain't even true. You know, like, you got all that. that put anybody in here and make them stand up for 30 days, and I bet you money they'll be bad shit crazy. Mm-hmm. And that's what just, like, I'm sitting there like, <sighs> like, people don't get that. Like, Hello? No, I'm not, like, yeah. you know, mentally retarded or something. I'm very brilliant. But, like, you put somebody in somewhere and you make them sit there, I promise you, you if you stay in your bedroom, Holly, for 60 days and don't come out, I promise you there'll be people in there you don't even know about. <laughs> I know. Your mind can't take that. I mean, you think about, remember when the hurricanes would come and we'd stay in the house? You know, at first it was good because you could relax, and then after two or three days people were like, oh, heck, no, we got to go somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. So. Anyway. All right. It's gonna hang up. Oh my! Did my fr- my friend? I gave her a code to message you, right? So you know it's legit and it's actually her. Yeah. I know her from North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Good. So I told her. I said, tell her this yeah. because if not, Holly, I think somebody's done broke in and hacked something because because she, she was telling me. She said someone made a fake Snapchat. I thought I'd tell you, and they've been snapping people saying that they're inside the facility and stuff like that. And she said, I'm sitting over here like, what's wrong with these dumb people? She, this ain't her. <laughs> I was like, well, what? what? Yeah. Well, I was freaking out because they put my address out on the on the. I know. I was too. Work. I was too when I saw that. I was pissed about that. I thought of all the things you're going to put the deputy's addresses at the jail, but you can't put yours somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? But that right. was that was pretty shitty on their part. They did that on purpose on their part. You know what I mean? They did that to be shitty. Yeah. 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 But it's cool. Just keep... I was literally... Everyone was so mad. 
Amy was so mad. Miss Didi was so mad. And Brenda was mad. Like, they were ready to fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I figured it. I, I figured it was. Like, I, I figured everybody would be. But the only thing I did was I got on my knees and started praying to Jesus because I knew there was nothing we could do. Because when people start doing ignorant stuff like mm-hmm. that, they're just trying to get the devil to attack you and attack other people. But you don't got to worry about that because you got a prayer warrior praying for you every single day, all day. You have one minute mm-hmm. remaining. So you don't worry about the ignorance of stuff like that. You know, like the song says, joy will come in the morning. Oh, I got to tell you about, I didn't ever get to tell you your birthday, the song to listen to. It's Alan Jackson's song. He wrote it for his daughter because she just got married. And it says, you'll uh-huh. always be, you'll always uh-huh. be my baby. You'll always be my baby. you got to listen to it. I think I always know that song. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't. No, 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 no. Okay, not that one. Not Little Girl by Tim McGraw. But I know, I know. But you always be my baby by okay. Alan Jackson. He just wrote it for his daughter for a wedding. And then the gospel song I like now is okay. I like the We the Kingdom. Listen to the new We the Kingdom stuff. I am a child of love and all that. Okay. That's a good one. Okay, okay. love you. Talk to you later. Love you, too. Bye. Okay, bye. Hey. Hey, how are you? I am good. How are you? Uh, well, I, I can't walk on my right leg because, of course, you know, I got injured in transport again yesterday. Oh, no. What happened? Just, they just, okay, so they make you get on your knees and, like, they pull this chain to pull you through this door because, I mean, obviously I have to be pulled by some chain like I'm a dog. And then I tell them, I can't do it on my left leg because I have that shot wound. And so I have to put all the weight on the right leg. And then they done it and pulled, and then it popped. The back of my leg popped. Yeah, well, I was operating off adrenaline because I didn't sleep. You know, I didn't eat. The devil was trying to get me not to go to court. He was making me be crazy and all that. And the Lord came to me and was like, get up. You're going to court. I got plans for you. And I said, all right. I was so happy because I sat in on Web- WebEx and I heard that you were there. And I was like, yes, that's so awesome. I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, the devil had me, man. And then, you know what? When I woke up this morning, it was Psalms 88. And I knew when I, that was my daily bread. And when I saw it was Psalms 88, I said, yep, that was God telling me. Because, you know, Psalms 88 is about, you know, the psalmist is talking about how Every, nothing's going right right now, and there's this, there's this, there's this, and then, you know, as you lead into the next psalm, it's showing don't give up. This momentary affliction, you know, is getting you prepared for this, this, and this. And so I knew it was God being like, you just didn't trust me that I had it planned. Because see, like, that's what I was trying to do the whole time. What happened? And I did it right. Yeah. I followed all the statues. I turned in everything that was wrong, and I knew I had did it right. So I was upset that I felt bad about that, you know. But then yeah. I was like, I lost my faith in, in Jesus coming through in the end. You know what I mean? But he did. Right. You know, so. Well, it was a stressful situation, too, and there was a lot going on at the time and a lot riding on, you know, what happened at the end of that hearing. But, yeah, yeah I was sitting on WebEx and I saw your uh, your previous two attorneys pop in, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, they're done. They're gone. That's what I heard. I was like, thank God. Um, did, you, did they release yeah. that, that they were done? So they release that there you will have a new appointment of counsel. Um I would have a new one. You'll you'll have a new you'll have a new attorney. Um Yeah. You already know who it is. I just was wondering if they had released it. Okay, cool. They haven't released who it is yet, but I know but I was told I can't say anything until it's like officially out there, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I already know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like, That's so awesome. Okay, cool. I said, but you I know, put two uh, and two together, right? You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. the person who told me, um, they they told me, okay. and I asked if uh, if you knew or not, and they said they didn't know if you knew yet or not, but just to wait until you found out officially before saying anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no. okay. I, yeah, I know. I put two and two together uh, when I came back last night, and I was in pain, and I went to God in prayer again, and then... He came to me again last night, and he was like, I already told you. I already got this done, what we talked about. Remember that dream you had? And sure enough, you reminded me of that dream because, remember, I mentioned that person on that dream because God had sent me that person as an angel on that dream. And Uh they they weren't, yeah, remember I was telling you about that name because that was the person at the person, yeah, so. Yeah. (laughs) He just told me, remember, that was what he told me was going to happen, and. I tell you what, he brought me, 
I told him, I said, Jesus, I said, man, I know I was crazy. I've been right or die, believing, doing everything I'm supposed to do, just like I didn't act ignorant when they done me like that yesterday. Because the man, he was, he pissed me off. Let me tell you what he did. You're going to be pissed off about this. I was freaked out. Like, I was all over the place, you know, and the stuff in my head was going crazy. I had one side of my head telling me, don't go to court. They telling me they were going to take me to Mexico and all this stuff. And the other side of my head was just like, you know, go to court, stop doing it, you know, whatever. So I was talking back and forth both sides of my head. He grabs me in the hallway now with another deputy, which she's a cool deputy. She just kind of looked at him like, oh, my God, you just crossed the line. And he said, stop being weird. And I was like, I just looked what? at him. I, yeah, I stopped and looked at him. And I said, sir, you don't know what's going on in my head. He took his hand, pushed it in my back. Now, I'm in restraints now. Took his hand, pushed it in my back, and pushed me down the hallway and told me to show up and quit being stupid. Are you serious? Pushed me down the hallway about 600 feet. And then um, I get to the room, and I, had went, I went into a manic phase at that point. Because I'm sitting there like, I'm in restraints. I don't disrespect y'all. I didn't do anything wrong. I can't help what's going on in my head. You put your little ass in this cell for freaking 30 days, I promise you, they will admit you to the asylum. Yeah. Well, you know, the people that, the, the whoever that dude was, like, they don't understand because they're not, they're not there. You know, they don't have to go through what you go through. On top of the fact that they have that, you know, mentality of, you know, they're an authoritarian. So he probably thinks he's really badass. Well, he does me like this all the time. One time I was in SD and I was freaking out because they came and got to me in SD for no stupid reason. Uh, I was talking on the toilet, so yes, I was, you know. <laughs> they took me to SD or whatever. But it was like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe he had just came in on his shift or something when I was in there. But uh, I was just freaked out because there was ants in there, and there really was ants in there. He comes yeah. in, in the door and said, stop acting stupid. There ain't no ants in there. You're making this up to be to put on a show. And yeah, there was really, right to say that. And I, there was really ants in there, and I was just sitting there like, there's really ants right here. Like, what are you talking about? I haven't came to the point of seeing ants yet, so, I mean, no. They were literally yeah. Ants. What an so, asshole. He, he, he does me like that. I'm putting in a grievance on it. It isn't going to do any good because, I mean, I'm just going to have it noted that that's the 16th time I've been injured in transport and what he did mean. You should not step the line and cross over professionally to interfere with someone's mental health because you're yeah, not qualified no. to. It's, I'm not, there's yeah. no malingering going on here. I am not crazy, but I am in, induced to this environmental psychosis because what I have to, you know, go through. Now, it doesn't mean I haven't had issues in the past, but a lot of those issues can be handled with coping skills. But when you don't have those yeah. coping skills here, you're going to be crazy. This girl just came out a minute ago, and she was like, I'm going crazy because people are going crazy, you know. So it's just like, you get But what is this guy thinking get off calling people stupid? Like, what a, what a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, and I tell them I cannot get on my list movie because of that shot wound. I cannot do it. If I do it, the bone, it's something I didn't get treated properly. Okay, so yeah. the bone, whenever I bend it and put pressure on it, it feels like something's, like the bone's poking into me. It's just not right. Oh, wow. It's like the bone's not right. And so, I mean, I'm fine, like, you know, push-ups and, you know, jump, you know, burpees or something like that. It's just taking the knee, bending it back, putting it on there. Now, that same knee is the knee I injured in softball. Uh, so I slid oh. in the second. I slid in the second. Jack that knee up a softball, still ran the third, you know, still back the next inning before I had pain. So that's how must have happened yesterday. I went through that second court hearing, walked back here, got in the van, came back here, and then once I get back inside, the adrenaline died off because I was happy that, you know, I, I didn't yeah. get up. The drill I was died. so happy. <laughs> and then I stopped in the hallway and I told Officer Brian, I said, I can't walk anymore. And he takes the feet restraints off of me. And he's like, you all right? Because he's good. I like him. He's like, you all right? I was like, yeah, I don't feel too good right now. And then as soon as I got back to my room, I started getting queasy and I laid down. And then that was it. I couldn't even hardly get up to the bathroom or nothing. Because, you know, my adrenaline was running and I couldn't. I didn't feel the pain, really, until I actually sit down and, like, laid down. When I went to sleep, that's when it really got bad, you know. Yeah, that. 
sucks. <sighs> I mean, I know you said he's, he's filing a grievance. Might not do much, but I mean, I'll have it on record. complain. Though. Yeah, you'll have it on record, and then if you know more people are complaining, especially about like the same guy. Yeah. Yeah, that might get him out of there. But I mean, no, yesterday. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I was okay, just going to say, the same guy, him. he's done it all the time, so, you know, they're never going to stop him, but I'm going to keep records, but, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, keep records definitely for, for your sake, but yesterday I was, like, it was getting close to a 5 o'clock here, so 3 o'clock your time, and I was like, well, I'm going to try to pop into WebEx and just, like, listen and just see if I hear anything, and then the hearing before yours went on for, like, a really long time, so I was, like, prepping dinner, and I had it on my iPad, and I was listening, and then they, uh... The judge called, like, your name out, and then they're like, yeah, we're going to go on recess, and you get her in here, and I was like, did she she show up? Did she show up? My hands started to get all sweaty, and I was like, oh, my God, I hope she did. And then Taylor was, like, walking, I was coming out of the garage, and um, I had told him, like, you were thinking about not knowing, and I was like, man, I think she she showed up. And then, like, a couple minutes went by, and everybody got in and started talking, and I heard him say that you were there, and I was like, thank God, I got so excited. (laughs) Like, How long was the WebEx on before I got in there? Oh, my, there was somebody in, what, you mean, like, the recess time? Oh. Uh, or the case before yours. Because there's there some case before yours that was, like, really freaking long, and I was, like, half listening to what it was. <laughs> like, some other dude's case. But they, they went on recess, and you couldn't really hear much of anything, just, like, people talking. Like, not you couldn't make out what they were saying. There was yeah. a bunch of people, like, chattering in the background. I guess they were getting everybody in and out of the, like, the room that you were in. I started oh, going into shock when I heard, not like shock like as in I do, but when I heard that those attorneys were there, I started freaking out. I, could you see me turn to Josh? No, so they they had the camera set up to where they, couldn't, they could not see anything. It was audio only. So okay. nobody could see anything. Yeah, so because I turned to Josh and I was like, I'm, I'm, about, I'm having a meltdown right now. I was like, I cannot deal with these people right now. And I leaned over to that lady and I said, I didn't know he was going to do the conflict here and right then. I said, I want the fair conflict here in this time. And she goes, I'm not assigning anyone else. And I said, well, wait till we get into conflict here and then. And then when I got in there, as soon as I mentioned that stuff about what they did about the Black Lives Matter, you should have seen her face. She didn't know it. She's their supervisor. She, oh, really? <laughs> she did not know it. Her face went like, her eyes went like, oh, my God. They immediately backed it down as soon as I said that, and then I told them about they never shared stuff on the computer, like, you know, I could just never see it, and then I told them about the whole religious thing and how they tried to talk to me about my religion and, like, how if that was my belief, they didn't support it. That ain't none of your business. You just tell me that's not yeah. your belief, and I go on about it. I mean, you're not right. here to counsel me about my, about my Christianity because that's me. It's like I'm not going to push you into it. I'll mention Jesus to you, but I'm not going to push you into it. And so yeah. like, when I said that and I said she showed up with that Black Lives Matter shirt on, that lady's face, she turned red <laughs> as crap. And then the attorney that done it, I'm not going to say her name, but she done it. She was on the web, she started backtracking it. And then the Judge Bain looked over at me and was like, holy shit. Like, basically, like, you know, that was his face. Like, I can't believe this. No, I will say they did close out the WebEx. They closed out the WebEx for the conflict hearing because I didn't think they were going to do it right then and there either. And then I heard a Judge Werner be like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and, like, get this started and, you know, kick everyone off WebEx. So I was like, oh, wait a second. And then, you know, everybody got booted off. And I'm like, ha, shit's about to get real. And, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't know this was going to go down. I already knew it was going to go, like, in your yeah, favor. Yeah, that's why they rejected that stuff. And that's why Jesus was like, I told you I had it under control. And, you know, my judge yep. has been fair. He's been fair to the due process you know, so far. And so I like that, and I'm glad it was. I had to go to another judge. That way he didn't ever, you know, get brought in the middle of it or anything. That way, you know, I went to the Chief Justice, you know, who's over it. That's who Judge Bain is. And he was fair about it. Because, you know, you had to prove that there was truly conflict. You couldn't just go in there and be like, you know, I don't like him or, you know, I don't trust them or, yeah, you yeah. know, we don't get along. You can't do that. You had to have legit, and you had to back it up with case law. I was running so rampant that the lady recording had to be like, um, um, <laughs> could you slow down for me? And I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so mad right now. I can't calm down. I said, I'm, I, 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 I was all over the place. <laughs> and I said, sir, yeah, all I'm that. Gonna you, I said, I'm going to tell you right now. I said, sir, this part of the competency thing, a lot of that had to do with the fact that the stress I was under from those attorneys. I said, it was affecting my mental health on top of what I was already dealing with. I said, when you put those two together, yeah, I was batshit crazy. But I didn't say batshit crazy. I said, you know, I said it in a smart way. 
but yeah <laughs> yeah no i uh all all of that that's definitely like that's they kept that out of the public and there's nothing about any of that on the news just that you know there was a conflict down that you're going to be appointed to council <laughs> did you see that guy that came on the news before i did i don't know if you got to see the news here but the guy that came on the news before i did the pueblo guy that was um you have one minute remaining he was sentenced to six no. years no, he I was didn't. On, he was on the van back with me. He gets on the oh, van. Was it? Yeah, he gets on the van. He goes, "What's up, homie? Me and you gonna be on the news tonight?" I said, "Really? Who are you?" No. <laughs> he, he tells oh. me his name, and I was like, "He's like, they hit me hard." I said, "How hard?" He was like, "In the ass." I said, "What do you mean in the ass?" He said, "They gave me sixty." I said, "Oh shoot." He said, "Well, I see you tonight on the news." I said, "You too, homie." <laughs> Um, super, super quick, your Aunt Brenda messaged me today. Uh-huh. Um, she put $150 in your commissary, okay. and then she told me that uh, she's going to be out of town uh, next week, but the week after she wants to meet up with me and get coffee. So I was like, sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely do that, do that. And we'll talk about that later before you go meet her. But uh, tell her thank right. you, and I love her, and I'll call her tomorrow. Okay, yeah, tomorrow I'll morning. let her know. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. I'm going to set a All visit right, now. Okay, all right, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hotel link. Thank you for using. Hello. Hey, you're alive. <laughs> you're just always busy and working. I didn't want to bother you. I just. It was only like, yeah, but then you quit trying. It was like, no, but I knew. I, I, I got I got moved in the population, and when I got moved in the population, it's so different here. You only got four phones and like twenty people. People. Yeah, and so. There's only four. So, oh, so it's less phones or something. Well, see, remember, I went out by myself, so I could always use the phone. You know what I mean? Oh, now you got to, like, share with other people. Yeah, we only have, like, two working showers that have hot water. And there's, like, anywhere from 16 to 20 people on your out time. And then four four phones that work and two don't, you know. So it's just one of those things where you kind of You guys just, like, take turns and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And it was just... Plus, when I got in here, I was so... Oh, I a like, culture shock because it was the first time I got to touch a tablet and I finally touched a person, you know. So I was very crazy beyond imagination because I hadn't been around humans. And uh, it was pretty yeah. weird. I was freaked out. Like, someone went to grab my hand to be like, you know, hey, here. And I was like, <gasps> what the heck? <sighs> you know. So. Are you doing better now? And um, Do you like it? Do you like being out there better? I mean, I still only get, like, instead of one hour, I might get, like, an hour and a half or two because they lock you down for so much. And, like, there's negatives. Like, you can't sleep in here for sure because it's always going to 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. There's stuff going on, you know. There's people fighting in their cells. Mm -hmm. There's people beating up cops, you know, that type of thing. But at least you have a partner? No, no, no. I can't. I'm no cellmate. I don't get a cellmate. So I'm still by myself, you know what I mean, except on my time out. But um, I could at least have the radio, you know, and that's that helps. But they haven't given us any batteries in two weeks, so we're about to lose our minds without the radio. Because you can't watch the TV mm. without the radio because you can't hear it. Because you have to turn it to a certain station to hear what's going on on the TV. Mm. So I've been watching The Masked Singer, trying to keep up with it, because I've always liked it. So it was weird, like, watching the TV was weird. Like, I was... Oh, that that is. Totally. Yeah. You're like a caveman. I know, and then of course I'd have to see myself like, on TV all, like all the time, so then it was even mm-hmm. more of a shock, you know what I mean? Wait, you're on TV all the time? Huh? You're on TV? Oh, because you're on TV. I know, but I can okay, see I don't it see you on TV. I mean, it's yeah. here. I'm on TV here every week, so. Yeah, I'm here, over here they don't do that, so. Do yeah, and then I'm on, I'm on court TV here every week, so like you can actually see it. Oh my God. And so then I just uh, turn my radio to a new station. Yeah, and uh, you know I'm gonna tell your mom that I thank her and I love her because she was the only one that had confidence in me that knew what I was that knew I knew what I was doing. Yeah, she she said she's smart. She knows what she's doing. And I had to do it right. I had to get case law. I had to prove it was a conflict. I couldn't just be like, oh, you know. You told me you're like, I got this and I was like, all right, you got it, you got it. I tell you. Well, you're smart. <laughs> yeah, and so. Someone got... posted Harley's freaking address on the internet. I was like, you little bastard. Well, you know, they did that on purpose, you know. But it's annoying. There's a man greater than that who's got her protected because her, her mom prays for her, for her every day. So 
you know, he they just gonna do that on purpose to Harley. And as you can, you can expect. She's doing plans. good. She's doing pretty good though. Yeah. Um, yesterday, Sadie ate hand sanitizer, and she called me freaking out, asking me what to do. I was like, take it to the vet. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Well, as long as they didn't have alcohol in it, she was just been sick. Or she might have been drunk. She, said, she, read, me, <laughs> she read me something. She, I think it was alcohol. She was reading me the percentages and stuff. But I was like, just watch her first. And I was yeah. like, well, actually, call my mom. My mom knows all that shit. Call my mom. She's like, okay, I'm going to call her I got to go. I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> and, then I, and then I checked on her. And she didn't answer me. Yeah. She, um, they drink hand sanitizer here to get high. So I guess if these people make it. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I get to see so much stuff. I sit back and be like, what? I, I, I swear to God, Amy, I think I'm high. I literally think I'm high every day in here. Because <laughs> I'd be like, Kinda what fun. the heck? <laughs> you should write a book. It'd be pretty funny. I'm telling you, I've already, I've got so much notes about it. And the lady that was beside me has a dementia, and she's always cussing at everybody. She calls me a skinny hoe, but the next thing you know, she asks me for Kool-Aid. And then she cusses everybody you know, out. She's racist as heck. She'll be like, I don't know why they got these old white, crusty women up in here. They need to wash their stinking ass. <laughs> Is she a black lady? Yeah, yeah, and she's 74. And, uh, oh, my God. What did she do? Yeah. Uh, she just always or she just been in there for the a cops. while. Yeah, and she always fights the cops. She'll be like, hit me, you bee, hit me. I'm going to whip your ass. Hit me. <laughs> That's so funny for like an old lady. <laughs> I know she's crazy. She has to come out. She had to come out by herself because she just starts running around the ward, mooning people, and then she'll take her clothes off. I mean, it's crazy. They came in here what the other night. The they came in here the other night and had to restrain her and take her out of here. We ain't seen her since, so they must have moved her. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. I tell you, I she think they put her in the ward. Yeah, they probably put her where I was at before because she was over with me before. And then this one girl keeps putting really out, and really then the other girl keeps like, the other girl. I don't, well, you need to be good and don't get beat up. I don't talk to people. That ain't none of my, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan of theirs. Like, you know, they hate me. So that's good because then I just don't have to speak to anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, everybody hates you. I mean, no, I'm, I mean, I'm sure because the news makes it seem like, you know, some monster that I'm not, but. I still pray for him every day, and I did a lot of praying. And like, Do you have anybody in there that like has your back? Uh, no, not really. I don't. I don't need anybody. I got Jesus. I put on the armor of God on the day. You think that one person would open up their mind and not just believe everything? Well, I did have one person I did Bible study with. It's not that that. It's not that some people take. Some people have my side. They come and tell me in secret, but they come and tell me like, "Hey, just know I'm cool with you. I believe you." You know, whatever, but because of what I'm affiliated with, I can't be, I can't be talking, you know what I mean? So I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm cool. I'm like, good, I ain't got nothing to do with gangs, y'all go right ahead. <laughs> do you have them in there? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I rode back on the van the other day with the dude. Where are those people? You got any people in there? Any what people? you. Ah. Eduardo got any of his people in there? Protect. I don't. I don't got mm. I don't need his I don't need any protection. I got Jesus. I got the dudes upstairs. Yeah. I mean you've they, made you've, you've made it this long, so Yeah, and plus too I got I got the dudes from Charlie. They um when they talk to the girls here they they basically say, like, Hey, leave her alone, that's our girl, you know, type of thing. And most people do once they say that. Because okay. I got some of the people that is in so East crew up there. Who are those guys? They're p- affiliated with E. So yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so they look out for me when it comes to that. I rode back on the van the other day with Will, <clears> and uh, I wasn't gonna say anything. I just sat there with my mask on. He was like, "Oh," I was like, "Oh God." He was like, "Me and you are gonna be." In oh, the so y'all tonight. are still doing math? Huh? Yo, God, yeah. This y'all are still doing math. Are, are y'all getting um vaccines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get it though. Yeah, I didn't get it either. And then I ended up literally. That's why I told Harley. I was like, Harley, tell your mom to call me. Like I had pneumonia and I had COVID and oh. I the entire month the entire month of April and like this past Monday was my first day that I worked in mm-hmm. a month. I was in the well, hospital. I figured y'all everything. Like, 
Well, yeah, but no, I, I was up until then, and so then I literally sat around the house all day. I was like, oh, I'm sick, so I literally can't do anything. Just trying to find it because I literally couldn't leave the house. I couldn't breathe. And that's all you don't play. The first week or two. I got pneumonia. When we yeah, I still have. <clears throat> it sucks. I, I, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, why am I having a hard time breathing? Because I, at the time, I felt okay. I was in Ohio, and I woke up one morning, and I was like. No, I'm like, I, I, I'm having a hard time breathing. It's weird. But I felt fine, and then it it got worse. And then I got a COVID test, and they're like, you're negative. And this was right after spring break. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go to school. Well, on, I went to school Monday and Tuesday, just not feeling good. And then Tuesday, I coughed up a bunch of blood clots right at lunchtime in front of all the children. And they sent me to the hospital. So then when I finally had to get home, I just pretty much had to sit at home. And inha- I'm an inhaler still. Like, that's just... Well, get them both together when your system hadn't even healed. Not then you might have been worse. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you couldn't really fight it off. They um they gave the shots here to anybody who wanted them, but I didn't sign up for them because I felt like I just needed more time for them to do like corrections and research and stuff. You know. Yep. You too. I said the same thing. And exactly. Me and my mom were like, "No, oh, this thing came around too quick." No. Like, yeah, and then I was telling Harley, how like, know yeah, look how long it took the flu shot. And I was like, you're right, you're right. So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we never it? took the flu shot. Anyway, yeah, no, she said no. And I was like, yeah, don't. I never don't. took the flu shot. Oh, one year I did, and then I got sick. Then I got that's, the flu. That's the year I got the flu. So I just kind of <laughs> was like, some of us girls in here were all saying the same thing. We're like, y'all going to give it to us right now. Let's just wait till y'all do it like six months or something, you know, like two, maybe two, 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 why do you let all these other people do it? Two or three years from now, maybe whenever they've got it like fully done, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Do I have to do it now? Like now that I already had COVID, do I still have to do it or no? You don't have to, but uh, you but can, can still you get, get it again, again with the strands. Mm. So the strands mutate, but I would, I would still wait it out. Your system is going to be good for now because you yeah, just had all that. So this is going to be like the flu shot. There's probably going to be a new one every year. Yeah, probably. And yeah. gonna, it's going to take so long to get the first round called up that shoot, it'll be time for people to get extensions, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I'm just wait. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, uh, if, you're, if other people in there getting it, you're really not even around people, you're fine. Yeah, I'm out around people for my out time. Like, right now, we got about, like, 15 people out. But, I mean, they make us wear a mask and walk around. And I'm funny, I don't drink out to people. And, you know, I don't do all that other stuff. You never did that anyway. No, I never do that. Someone came the other day to use my spoon and started stirring their coffee, and I was like, no, I'm good. And they were like, I didn't use it in my mouth. I said, I don't care. You put it in your cup. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I'll get another one. <laughs> and girl, I tasted Jolly Ranchers for the first time. I had eight three bags. And I got so sick. Yeah, I got so sick. And I ate the three bags in, like, two days. I ate three bags, and I was so sick. Do you need any more money on your, like, account to get stuff like that? Well, I had... Harley put some last month, so I did that because I, I can order actual food now, so that's the good thing about it. Um, so, I mean, you know, if you get time and you run across some extra, I mean, I won't say no. <laughs> but, um, like, she'll be able to show us how to do it? Yeah, and, I, and you couldn't ever get that video thing to work? Uh, and I have WebEx or something like that on my phone. No, the... Isn't that the thing... The getting out thing so I can video chat you. Yeah, I have to look at it again. Some, or, I'll probably send it to me again. She told yeah. me, she's like, yeah, you just press the button. I'm like, oh, nothing's happening when I press the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I video chat <laughs> yeah. her. Yeah. 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 When I can, and then I video chat with my friends in North Carolina when I can. But they're the only two people signed up for it. Which is good, because, so, you know, I tried to this, it. Huh? Well, there's a bunch of people on there signed up, but I just deny them. Because, see, what you have to do is you have to, uh, enter, in, you have to enter in your ID and your social. So it verifies that you're actually who you are. Which So I like it. You know what I mean? So I don't have some random person on there, you know? Can you, like, send me the link for it again? Or just go to the app. To it? It's just gettingout.com. Okay. okay. That's it. Just gettingout.com. Uh, and then I find your name. Yeah, and you can download the app. You just find my name, and uh, it'll show you like um, 
like all the stuff you can do, you, you have to, because we can't get mail anymore. Everything has to be through the app. Um, oh. Yeah, so I get pictures through the app. I get mail through the app. I can video chat. I can watch, look at the news. Is um, it green? Getting out yeah. visits? Green? Yeah, getting out. Oh, blue. There's a getting, oh, on the app, there's one. You have one oh, minute that's... remaining. On the app, there's what? It's the one says, on the app store, it says getting out social networking and then getting out visits. Probably, that probably, right? probably visits, yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably visits. Tell me, tell me is what it is. Okay, hold on. I'll be done then. Right. Yeah, so try that oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah. then how will you know if I have it? Will you call me again? I'll tell you. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you get set up, it approves you after you send your ID and all that, and I can schedule video chats with you. And it's just like being okay. on FaceTime. Oh, and you can schedule it. Cool. Oh, yeah, cool. we used to be able okay. to do it, like, right then without having to schedule, but people were taking advantage of it and, like, staying on it for six hours, so now you have to schedule. All right. Do you know my phone or pin? Do what? Do I have a phone or a pin? Do you have a pin number? It's your, it's your DTL stuff that you log in for your phone. It's the same people oh, that your phone is with. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Yeah. So right. you use that. I'll figure out that out. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll talk to you later, girl. Talk- okay. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hey. Hey, I Forgot- did it. <laughs> oh, you got the app work? Yeah, I set up a visit for 6 o'clock your time, 8 o'clock my time tomorrow, but I got to figure out how to add money to it. Okay. All right, so wait, so let me see. You have to do it on my out time. So let me see when I have the oh. out time again. Are you allowed to set it up? Or do yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, I can so do it. I, I send them on my out time. I okay, am. I'll just send it to you whenever I have out time. So you go back to work on Monday, right? Yeah. So, so what I time get, do you I'm, get out of work? I get out of work at like three 3.30. I'm in the car driving home. Four right. to six, Tuesday, Thursday, I do tutoring. And then every other day, I just come home after school. Okay. I'll, um, I'll look at the schedule because ours rotates every day. It's like today we're 8 to 11, tomorrow we're 11 to 2, like on and on and on. And um, Yeah, so pick a, yeah, pick one of the days like that okay. it's the afternoon. You set it up and then what, do I accept it? Like will it tell me? Like, hey, you and set yeah. it up. Yes, and so what you do is you just add money to your account because it's a different account than your phone account even though it's the same okay. people. Even though it's the same people. Yeah, it's different. like, Click every button on the app. But it's actually cheaper. The video visits are cheaper than phone. <laughs> video is cheaper than phone? Yes, yes. 15 mm-hmm. minutes is only 375 on video. Yep, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, yeah, so you just add it onto your phone account, or you can transfer it to my account either way. Uh, either way, but put it on your account, and it just comes right out of yours, and then visits 375 or whatever. But, and you can actually see you know, the person, and it's just like a, a FaceTime. But anyway, I just wanted to call you back to tell you to tell Mom happy happy Mother's Day, and thank you for being the one to believe in me because I told her I got it, and she believed me. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell her. She'll love to hear it. So Wednesday, so- they'll actually officially appoint him as my attorney, but... Um, who is? My new attorney, I already, already knew, know who it is, but they'll officially appoint them on Wednesday, so... Oh, like they are, you like who it is? Like you're okay with oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I already knew. I knew that day uh, pretty much. Um, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew. It, so it's a private attorney instead of a public defender. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. And then do you have to pay for it? No. So my investigator would be the same, the girl that came in, the one that's been helping me do everything. Uh, Edie Carlisle? She, no, this is Caitlin. Uh, okay. She's my Picard or something like that. It's listed online who she is. She's my investigator, but um, she's the one been coming to help me with everything. And she was help. She was the one to help me get all the evidence and everything like okay. that. So she, she's really good, and um, she's gonna fly uh, to Mexico uh, so she can interview, talk to E and uh, stuff like that. So she's she's gonna be staying on, but it'd just be paid for out of the private account instead of the public defender's account. Because there was a true conflict. And, you know, I had to, I couldn't just be like, oh, you know, I don't like them, you know, whatever, whatever. I had to have, like, case true. law, true yeah. information. So that's why you needed the law library. Yeah, and and they made a big deal about me not going. Okay, so they gave me a tablet 
on the tablet we have law library. So why did I need to go to the law library when I already had it on the tablet? Uh, so they just made that be some something that it wasn't just because you know that just that's just what that's they what used to do. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, well, because they wanted me to go at two thirty in the morning. I was like, man, I got to be asleep. It's the only time you can sleep in here is from like two a.m. to five a.m. So I was like, no, I got to sleep. <laughs> I'm already stir crazy when I don't that sleep. Was, I bet they're trying to take her in the middle of the night. I mean, and the thing about it is, is, like, you can't function. Your brain is not, like, operating enough to, like, do what you need to do, you know? And so I was like, forget it. So Caitlin started coming in, and she got everything on a hard drive, and so she she would just help me. And I told her, here's what I want to do. Bam, 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 bam. She said, all right, let's get started. And we accomplished more. I accomplished more in the three or four weeks, four weeks, than I ever did. <laughs> so, that's what just tells you so getting applies, people. Like, because she was actually here in person, you know what I'm saying? And so it's actually yeah. to speak to people without, you know, in privacy, without, you know, people listening or, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And so I just had to do it the right way. It just took me through the process of doing that, but I had to do it the right way. So, because I couldn't just go in there and tell Judge Bain, like, I don't like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you- I told them what they did to me about the Black Lives Matter event, all kinds of stuff. I didn't know about that. Yeah, that was bad. Like, I was on the phone one day telling Harley, I was like, hey, I said, uh, you know, remember that stuff that was going on in the Black Lives Matter with Melissa and them, right? Remember that? Um, when they were, when she had them going out of town. And spending oh, yeah, money. going to the route. Yes, yeah, she yeah. was taking them. Yeah. So I was telling Harley, like, that's dangerous. Don't be a part of this. You know, I understand you have friends who are, who are who are mixed, and that's fine. I'm not trying to tell you, you know, those kids have always been in my house. I've never had a problem, and, and they're mixed. You know, I'm glad. I want, we are not a racist country. We just have some racist people in this country. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I was telling her, it's not safe. Don't beat her, whatever. And so Katie fussed me out about it, and I was like, what do you mean? I'm a parent at the end of the day. I don't care about any of this. You can take everything from me, but you can't take my salvation and Jesus, and you can't take the fact that I'm a parent. (laughs) And so I said, so I'm going to tell her what I think is right. So then she got mad at me and showed up in a Black Lives Matter shirt. (laughs) I mean, it was just. So unprofessional. Yeah, you're not racist at all. You're Native American. I, just, I know. I'm just... sitting there like, but it was just the point, like, and then the religious thing, she tried to tell me, like, you know, there was some stuff with now our religious stuff, and she tried to talk about my God. And then when she done that, that was it. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to let her talk about yeah, my God. That's no. it. I that's, learned my lesson there. That ain't happening. <laughs> you know what I said? I mean, they could choose what they want to do, but you ain't going to come tell me you know, something about my God that I'm doing. You do what you want to do. Uh, people want to be atheists, be atheists. They want to be Catholic, be Catholic. But don't come and tell me that I'm not going to do something with my God, you know. And so it just got, and there was more to it than that. That was just simple stuff. There was a lot of case law to it than that, you know. And I guess they retracted that from online so people couldn't see it. But And, you know, once I got those other people, I was able to talk to the jail about, like, hey, I can't listen to attorneys if you strap me on the telephone you know what I mean and yeah. like then they started helping me they started being like all right you can go to your visits without it and like all kinds of stuff so that's something that they could have already done they could have talked to the jail about that but they refused to and it was mm-hmm. making me worse mentally from the stress I was going so stir crazy from the stress of it you know like the whole thing being in a cell basically by yourself alone for a year I think anybody would have went crazy <laughs> It, in height, it, it heightens it. You put anybody in here. Let me tell you what. I put you in here for ninety days straight. You would be already ape shit crazy. <laughs> it just freed up. I was like, well, when she starts talking crazy, I mean, she who knows what the hell they're doing. I mean, I'd be I'd be crazy in a week. I bet. Like, I know, and that's what people. Some people don't get, but you let them sit there. And then on top of that, I play cards with myself, talk to myself. Then there's people in my cell that become real people. You know what I mean? <laughs> because, yeah. because I'm never around people. <laughs> then I started thinking there's bombs being planted and like all oh, these crazy shit, you know. And it just, you know, it just it's like, woo, Lord help me. You know what I mean? But anyway, okay. all right. I just wanted to call you back to tell you that, and I love you guys. And tell everyone hello, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day from Steeler and Doggy Heaven. I know, my boy. I know. Well, I got Remy now. So we'll I do know, fine. I know. You'll do fine. All right, until Steve, I was about to say, tell John. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm forgetful. 
Tell John. I mean, God knows. Stupid fellow. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'll okay. get a video visit sent to you. All right. Bye, girl. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Thank you for you. Hello? Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Good. What trader gets you for Mother's Day? Trader is taking me on a little trip, and we went up, we're going up to Virginia to visit a friend. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to over to Pennsylvania to visit another girlfriend of mine, and she's got cancer really bad. Oh, no. What kind? She has uh, aneurysm mm, in the brain. Fine. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go spend I'm gonna spend a couple of days with her, yeah. and then I'm gonna go back home. But we're just out doing a little road trip. All right. Well, and then my other my other my other baby got me some flowers. Harley. Who? Oh yeah. <laughs> Harley bought Harley bought me some flowers and brought them to me the other day. Oh. And yes, yeah, she's so sweet. And she was supposed to come to your visit, but she didn't come today. When? She's at work? Yeah, I figured. This morning, she, she's at work, baby. I know. I, so to check, I always call and check up on her. She was uh, going into work. Oh, okay, so she couldn't make the visit. So that, that, was, that, that was probably what it was then. Okay. Um, cool. And she don't get off until, well, I don't know what time she gets off today. I told her they should be busy today. She's working at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, and I told I told her they may be busy today, you know, and all. So, but she's supposed to send you one hundred and fifty dollars the other day. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I um. Okay. Apparently, there's some. I don't know if this is true, but this is what they're telling us. There's some shortage of batteries in the country, and so nobody's had batteries. Well, that's. So. That's a possibility, too, but I just wanted to let you know, I, I gave Harley the money to send you, and I said, you send your mama $150, and I gave Harley $25 to go out for, um, what was it? It was a birthday? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I told her to go to, she wanted to Olive Garden, I told her to go to Olive Garden for her birthday. And cool. I said, and then I gave her some more. I gave her some more money, and I said, now this this goes towards your bill. Yeah, she um, what was I gonna say? She told me she went there. And I was like, well, that's good. She said she had to get her get the car inspected. I said, yeah, make sure you do that. Yeah, I said, she Cause you know, ain't, ain't Bernie yeah. gonna play about letting anything lapse? And she's like, I know. No. She did. She got it inspected, and while she was there at the house, we went ahead and uh, ordered stickers for it. So the sticker will come in the mail in a, probably next week. I'll probably get the yeah. sticker next week and just send mail it to her. But uh, while she was there, I weren't at home when she got there, um, and I, I I told her, I said, Harley, go see your Grandma Deborah, and I'll be home in a little bit. Go visit your Grandma Deborah. Yeah, yeah. Um. And she did, and um, Deborah gave her a hundred dollars. Well, I'm surprised at that. Deborah gave her a hundred dollars. Dakota gave her, I think Dakota gave her fifty. Deborah gave her a hundred. Yeah. But I, I told, I, I the only reason I have Harley to go when she comes to see me, if Deborah and them sees her car there and she don't go, I don't want no static. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I, I tell Harley to go to her if just for a little bit, go and make a show because I don't want no static and no hard feelings. Yeah. No, she said she got to see the babies and she rode them on the four-wheeler like around the house. And... Yeah, she did. She did because she asked me could you go back up there. I she got there doing her inspection and her doing her stuff online for the tags. I yeah. let her do all that. And she asked me could she go back. I said, yeah, baby, you can go back. And I kept Sadie. Oh, Sadie's so sweet. <laughs> Isn't her, and get, her and Trader get along so good together. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. They get along so good. They both probably be one on each side of you, don't they? 
Oh, yes. Yeah, and jealous of one another, too. Oh, my God, they're jealous. But they are so good for each other. And so, I, you know, I told Harley, I said, now, when you come, you can always leave Sadie with me. Yeah. And if you ever have to leave Sadie somewhere for a day or two or whatever, you know, in case something comes up, I said, you can always bring her and let her stay with me and trade her. Yeah. And it'll help Sadie, yeah, too, Sadie, learn from Trader, you know? Yeah. And Sadie has calmed down so much since Chance, Chance is not around. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, she has just calmed down. She just, oh, my God, I love her to death. That's good. Well, he was so, you know, like, always biting at her, and they were always, you know, biting each other. And, they know, they loved each long. other, they but they, they loved each other, but they fought. Yeah. Yeah, they fought all the time. But anyway, um, did you uh, have, I, I didn't get you nothing for Mother's Day. You know, nothing oh, like don't that. worry about it. You helped me out with the stuff here, and so that's, it's, I'd rather have food and, you know, not have to starve to death and have me some candy and stuff like well, that. Well, so, no, yeah, fun. and I mean, and I mean, I just, I figured, you know, hey, with Harley and you and, yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying my best to keep oh, no. the float. I appreciate it. Even though you don't have I'm any kids, to... we are pretty much, you celebrate Mother's Day today because you don't do nothing but help raise us all anyway, you know? So, yeah. I yeah, was going to say, I, 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 um, I told Harley that she can go ahead and fill out that, uh, Colorado Pura application for me and she but she might have to put your have it mailed to you so you can look over it because I know she might not know exactly which form to fill out. What's it for here? Well it's the Colorado Pera because I can pull out uh I have that eight eight plus years of retirement. It they'll take thirty percent of taxes out of it. Um, but uh, she needs to know which form it is to fill out. She said there was a couple forms, but she weren't sure which one it was. She needs to. She needs to go ahead and send me that, and let me go ahead and get my attorney to fill it out all for you. Yeah, and she's a, she's got and the my, paper my that she attorney, can find. My, yeah, yeah, and my attorney won't charge for it. Let him look over it, and make sure everything's right. Yeah, and, and he won't charge. Let's 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 do that. Tell Harley just send it off to me. Okay. Talk to her today. Okay. And yeah, just, I will. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and get my attorney and do that. Um, and I'll. Yeah. And, and let, let, let me let him take care of all that because that way uh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And, That's and, fine. and we'll do it the right way. Yeah, so they got now, to talk now, the South Carolina the one. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Wait, the South Carolina one? So there's a South Carolina one and there's the Colorado one. So there's two different, because I didn't transfer the South Carolina one to Colorado. I left that one there because it was grandfathered in on, like, a separate thing. Because, you know, my plan was to go back there and retire, you know, before, this, before all this. But, anyway, uh, so that's a separate form than the Colorado, Colorado Para. Okay. Okay, just, just, just tell Harley, go ahead and send it to me. Yeah, um, and I'm not worried about it. They'll take the 30%, what is it, 30% taxes or whatever, but, I mean, they're going to do that anyway, you know what we, I mean? We may, we, may, we may be able to get around some of them taxes. Okay, all right. That's why I said let him go ahead and do it. All right. Um, and everything. Let's, let's let him do it and all. Okay, so I'll just um, I'll tell her that. Okay. Yeah, I told Harley, I said, Harley, from now on when you do something, when it's concerning money or anything like that, you need to get with me. Yeah. You don't, you really don't need to get with Miss D or nothing else because I'm the one supporting you and looking after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I told her, yes, I, said, I told her the other day, I said, let me, let her look over it, you know, but, you know, I'll let her know what you said. But you, you know what I'm trying to say? No, I, I know, I, I agree with you. I'm not worried about I, you doing said, anything wrong with it, you know? I, I said, there's some things that's okay for Miss D. I said, but when it comes to your taxes and this and that and the other, you need to let me try to help you because I'm responsible for you in a sense. Yeah. Because I'm looking at you and I'm taking care of you. If something's to happen to you, Miss D's not going to dish out ten, fifteen thousand dollars Wait, but she has, I mean, she has, uh, she has insurance on her. That policy on me and her. So just that's why I try to remind every three months it's not due again till June. 
But you, but you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, I know. I just wanted you. That's why I was letting you know that so you can remember that the policy is yeah, on I, the I, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I know all that. Yeah. And I was just trying to tell Harley. Sometimes she'll go do things and then she'll tell me about it. And I said, Harley, why did you do that? Yeah. She says, well, me, I said, baby, run it by me. Just run it by me. I mean, you know, it might be okay, but just, just run it by me, darling. They yeah. just try to stay on top of what's going on too here. Yeah. You know, and, and don't keep, and don't keep me in the dark, please, Harley. Don't keep me in the dark. I said, yeah. now, if you keep me in the dark, then something happens, and I don't know nothing about it. I'm gonna get upset. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. That's just, that's just another. That's just Harley. She's Harley. learning. She's learning. She's learning. Yeah. She's learning. She's learning. She's learning. She's learning. I got to give the youngest credit. She's learning. Yeah. I mean, under the circumstances, you know, she's having to, to you know, learn a, a very valuable lesson. You know what I mean? And, and she she tells me, she says, hey, Brenda, you don't cut me no slack, do you? I said, no, I'm not going to cut nobody no slack. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, baby, I love you to death. Do anything in the world for you. I said, I do, Julie. Now, are any of you young enough to me think I can do? I'll do it for you, but I don't play games. I yeah. said, I'm serious when it comes to business and taking care of business. I said, and that's how you're going to have to start being, Harley. She's a good girl. She, she, You raised her good. I don't care what nobody says. Well, nobody you can't say anything bad because I know I did a good job. She, <laughs> I worked so hard. She, the Lord Jesus, she, you know. She, yeah. And, and Daddy was strict on you. Daddy Fred was strict on you. So you you had it you had it strict to and me. Yeah. I mean you know so we got that in us. Got that er, in us. And everything should be okay. I mean, a little while we'll, we'll be, be all right. we'll be all sitting back, not even more worried about remembering all this nonsense. You know, I know it a hundred percent. I got. Did you hear? I got the private attorneys now, right? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I I don't. I remember. I told you I don't watch the news. Yeah. Harley don't watch the news no more. Yeah. I told Harley quit watching the news. I told Harley stay off of Facebook if she could. Yeah. And and, and all this stuff. I said just stay off that internet stuff. Does Harley just stay off of it? And and so she's trying to she's trying to get where she can get all her information off of off the media. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I told her, I said, that's, you need to get it off the media or they can't pull your name up or nothing like that. Yeah. So she can send her, her to see letters. letters. She, on that. she can send C's yeah, to see letters. Yeah, her attorney's working on that for so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that that was right. one of the things I told her. Now, I can go get your clothes. He released your clothes and stuff. He my clothes are with Kim. Clothes. No, my clothes I are with Kim. Some of your clothes, Albert, is got, and he took them to Harley's attorney's office. Oh, uh, well, then that ain't, those aren't really nothing of importance. The ones that are well, mainly he, important are the ones at Kim's. Me. Okay, I'm going to go get them from Kim's. I'm already in touch base with her. Okay. But anyway, the, the other clothes that's out there is Harley's and some, some of your stuff, whatever. But anyway, I told Harley that I was going to fly out there and get a U-Haul, and I'll bring them home. Okay, well, it shouldn't be a lot, so you shouldn't have to have a big one. You could probably even get away with just pulling something if you wanted to get a rental car or something. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is fly out there and get a car or something, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to wait till you you start your trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to wait to that, and the lawyer, her lawyer said he... You have one minute remaining. Anyway... The lawyer said what? I, he would put them in a storage if he had okay, to. Okay, cool. Someplace. He's got them someplace put up for it. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, cool. I, and I he's love, taking care of I her. I love you, baby. Sister. Love you, too. Yeah, you yeah. Drive safe. I, I love you. And you happy, mo happy Mother's Day, darling. All right, you too. Drive safe, okay? All right. Bye, baby. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Love, love you, baby. Tell Link. Hello? Hey. What's up? Oh, not much. What's up with you? Just calling to say Happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you. 
Well, I sure do appreciate it. Praise the Lord. Well, I have two. I have three, but only one said that to me. Who's on the world? All the crying going on. That's that young Dakota. He, he needs his legs tanned. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What are y'all doing today? Well, Curtis brought me up here to Miyabi to eat. We sat waiting for them to um, call us because they was awake. Oh, cool, cool. All right. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Gracious, he needs, tell me he needs to control his kids. That's trying to get this in here for me. Back in here, please. Yeah. Well, I hope y'all have a good day. I just started a call. See what y'all are doing. Hold on a minute. Let me put the window up while I can hear you good. Say what now, baby? I said I just wanted to see what y'all were doing. Where's she? Yeah. She didn't come with y'all? No, she, um, I believe Dee went to see his grandma because his grandma's like 90-something years old when she's not doing good. Yeah. So he went, they went there. Um, she was going to church, but she got where she won't go now. Mm. Why not? You know, she got, she got saved, and then, well, you know, you can't hang, you can't still hang with your old friends, because, you know, that'll pull you right back into the world. Yeah. Yeah. So she's yeah. not going to church? She ain't been the last, um, what, two, three months? Mm-hmm. Well, it might be a little bit longer than that, but yeah. But um, so you know they really uh, you know when they get a certain age, they have time for the sales. And yeah, I just I don't I try not to say nothing anymore. Yeah, and, you know I seen Harley the other day. Yeah, she told me she drove the four wheel. I was like, oh God. She was like, well, just around the house. It was just around the house. I was like, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just around the house. I was it's like, last time y'all did that, y'all wrecked. I was like, no. Yeah, that little bit. Jazz can drive a little bit better now, can't you, Jazz? <laughs> Are they driving an automatic? Yeah, it's automatic. Oh, all right, I was about to say. It's a, it's a, what like is a that thing, Cody? <laughs> Dakota, like what's your full like wheel? Uh, like a 400. A, a what? A renegade. Oh, so it's not like a 1,000. It's yeah. the big one. The big ones, but not yeah. powerful as far as taking No, off. no. He's got it cooked down. When they when they ride it, he cooked. Jazz bees are fussing because he won't give her no speed. Yeah. He's got it, he's got it cooked down for when she rides it. Right. And then, too, they, they were riding in young ones, too. Yeah. And Kenny... Yeah. Um, Sonya's little girl fell in love with Harley. <laughs> they said they said she cry and cry when Harley lives. How old is she? She's two. She'll Aww. be three this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's weird because um, Harley ain't never really been around a lot of babies. <laughs> no, but she was had Miko missing with him. He, hey, he weighs about as much as Harley. Hmm. He's a big thing. He, is he? Well, he weighs, he weighs more than Kenley. He's big. He's in a 2 team, and he ain't, next month he'll be a year old. I know. And, Good God, he's in a 2 He looks like he's about to bust out of here. What in the world are they feeding him? He, you know, he when he was born, he weighed 9 pounds, 5 ounces. Yeah. So, so he's a big boy and everything. But uh, you doing good? I mean, considering. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. 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 You know, God, you know, God's there with you, honey. Like they told the day this girl told the day about her testimony, and it took 14 years. You know about what she was going through with. So, oh yeah, I already know. God, he already, God he already showed with the other thing that happened last week, so I already knew. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, baby. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I already, I he had already told me what was going to happen, that I was going to get the, the the good attorneys, and he made it happen. Did you? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't be getting no, I, I defriended from the, all them people that was putting all that stuff out out there on Facebook. Yeah. And I, and, and, and I try not to get on all that. Because when I get to reading some of the comments, I get so upset, and I be yeah. wanting to say something yeah. back. And I know I don't need to say nothing back. Yeah. Because there's no sense in sitting there arguing back and forth with them. Yeah. A lot of Christians so. do it, too, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And <laughs> and, and, because, and God don't want us to do that. So, you know, I'm standing on the promises of God. And, you know, I took it to the altar. And if I don't, if I get on there and argue with the people back, what I went to the altar about for you and it's everything, gone. Yep, it'll be gone. it's gone. Yep. And I, I'm, I ain't going to do it. That's why I don't I'm even say anything it. anymore about when I get abused and transport and all that stuff. I just come back and pray to God about it and leave it at that because there ain't no point in saying anything. It'll come later. You know? no, it will. It will. It's going to come later. And and, and they, they just don't realize you're messing with God's children. He'll pay a, a heavy penalty. Yeah, yeah, Mom, I already know. Mom. I already yes, know. I, I see know it. Too. Like the song says, I see the evidence of his goodness all around me every day. Amen. Well, I got jury duty starting tomorrow, and I'm, I'm trying to think I could to get off of it. <laughs> Tell him it's, uh, so, what's going on with me is causing you emotional stress, and you'll be biased because of how I'm getting treated. I might have to do that one. They'll let me go because I really don't want to do it. I would. I'd tell them you saw how the system is working, and you're you're really biased about it right now, how they do your daughter, and, hey, you're probably not fit for the job. And I know I ain't, because huh, I, I just say, with everything that's going on with the stuff on the TV and all this here and everything, I'm just like, it's just a mess. And I was, but you know what? God's going to turn it around. And I'll, and I'll, yeah, the devil tried to get me not to go to court the other day. He was like, don't go. You're not even going to get what you asked for. Da, 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 da. And I wasn't going to go, but then they came to get me, and it was like I wasn't even the one walking down the steps. It was like mm -hmm. something took over my body and left. And, mm -hmm. and then I get there, and he holds the other hearing, and then they grant me the, the private attorney. So. Well, praise, praise God, then I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, because those people were already coming in here, and, like, they were already helping me, and they got to see that it, I was totally innocent. So they were just like, you know, keep praying, keep praying, and I did, and it answered, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, so and, thankfully, and yeah. then he ended up giving me that girl that was helping me, the investigator. God ended up giving her to me so she could stay on the case and then a new attorney, so... Well, that's good. That's good. God's gonna make a way back. You, you coming yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm claimed it. I'm claimed it. I have. I'm claimed it. I, I just get I so stir crazy in here, and I start losing my mind. Yeah. I mean, anybody would. You just sit here for on all the time, and you don't get a, your human contact. I mean, I come out with people now, but I only get to come out like an hour and a half with them, and then the rest of the day I'm by myself. You know. I know I'd be crazy. I, I've done it being crazy. I ain't even gonna lie about it. I, I know, I don't know why that's so shocking to people that it's a hard thing to do. Like, everybody thinks it's like, oh, don't be, there's nothing wrong. I'm like, you sit somewhere for 23 hours and have nobody to talk to. You invent people to talk to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. Because even just say, a person, even if you can be in the same house, Mm -hmm. And and not and not really talk much to one another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's think about when hurricanes come. You know how hurricanes come yeah. at first is peaceful. Everybody's glad to be resting, and then after a day or two, you start to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like I got to get out of the house. You know. Oh, no, that's true. And that's just think, true. I didn't have TV. I didn't have radio. I didn't have human. I didn't touch a human being for thirteen months. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So I mean, when I. Think, and, first touched one when the investigator went to grab my hand to like shake it I'd like freaked out I was like what in the world yeah mm. that's why people people that's not in the situation need to be thanking God instead of criticizing 
and mom, drugs are bad. They're so bad here. Like, I can't even put in the words the addiction problems that these people have. I never saw it in my mm. life. I never knew it was that bad. Mm. I, just, I sit there and pray, and I'd be like, how in the world are you that addicted? And I don't understand it, you know, but I, I, I'll never it, understand it because I've never been addicted. <laughs> so I, I know. It's, never, it's I'll bad never here. It, you know? so, it's, um, it's bad here because they call it dog food, but it's heroin. And it's taking out people. And you so know, heroin's what? there now. It's there now. Oh, it's it's been here for a while. Mm-hmm. They, I'm Scott. How many people in the last year to two years have died mm-hmm. from heroin? And uh, because mm-hmm. hey, I didn't. They like I said, they call it dog food. I didn't know what name of God it was. I had I had to ask Julie, and she freaked out on me. Like, Mama, what do you want to know? I said, Well. One of the oh, one of the youth at the church was telling me that her mom was on it, and I I didn't want to question her, so I waited. I left from around her to ask Julie. Right, I don't know. that's not like remember and, Julie with the skittles. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling her. That's what I'm. Saying. I wouldn't have known either. I'd have been like, why are people eating dog food for? I, mean, I, know I like dog I'm, food, but you know. That's what I was trying to figure out and everything, but drugs are bad everywhere. And it is killing not just the young people, it's kid taking out the old people. Mm-hmm. You know, p- pills was in taking them out. And That's they, the last and thing I remember was pills, yeah. It still is, but the heroin is really... It's and I, I was, Yeah, well, they got meth here, but not like, you know... Yeah. I think That's why they here. stopped our mail because people were sending in meth strips inside of the papers and stuff like that. Or that's what I was told. I I don't know how true that yeah. is, but I was like, well, darn, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, oh well, trash. Yeah, oh, I tried, God, for no some idea. reason I couldn't. I tried, but couldn't get it done, and Harley was supposed to do it. But then they got on the full wheel and. And I, I didn't say nothing. Then she got ready to go, and, and I was I didn't, you know, push yeah. it. I said I tried to get it, work on it again, trying to get it pulled up. I don't know if it was my internet. They had to reboot my internet, so it could have been it. Yeah, yeah. And, and Harley's um, attention span with stuff is very small. <laughs> well, yeah, bless her soul, but she's still doing good, bless Yeah, I know. She's she's still still be because I told her, I've been on her now for a month about getting that paperwork filled out so she can pull my retirement out. And mm-hmm. she's like, oh, Mom, I write it down. And I just, I said, I know, I know, but you got to take the initiative to do that. I mean, I'm yeah. for you. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, but you got, you know, too, that, that's a lot. This has been a lot on her. Oh, I know. And I, I know, but God already know. took care of her, though. Every day uh, when I put on the armor of God, yeah. I put it on for her, too. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did too, and I was so proud of when I, I told her, I said, if you'd have told me ahead of time, I'd have went and seen you get baptized again, but yeah. but when she told me, I was like, Harley, why didn't you tell me ahead of time? And I yeah. could have, you know, made arrangements to, you know, be down there, so, and she was like, well, Grandma, I didn't think you could come. I said, I'd have tried to make arrangements, you know. Yeah, because they did the first time, I, they did it. In the you first have first one time. minute remaining. Right outside of Elisa's house. Who did it this time? Um, the church where she's going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did it at the actual church. Yeah, I guess they done it at actual church. All I know is they, yeah. you know, they dipped her down and everything. Yeah. And she's excited about working with them girls and everything. And I, I'm glad she's doing that. Well, she's always she always wanted to be like Sadie Robertson, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she sure is. And brought the dog in the house the other day. She told I me in the phone oh, the other day. She's like, I took Sadie inside. I said, well, tell Grandma she's your ESA now, so she's legally allowed. Uh, that's what she told me. I said, Harley, Harley, Harley. I said, you're lucky, baby. How's it you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, this is going to hang up. And uh, I'm going to try Harley again because I haven't been able to get her all day, but I know she's probably working. Yeah. She all right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Thank you for using. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you yesterday. I was stuck at work all day. I literally worked from 11 to 1.30. 1.30 in the morning? Yeah. Dang. But guess how much money I made? How much? 
seven hundred dollars. Seven. Seven zero zero. Yes. How did you make that much money? <laughs> because with Soho, twenty percent is added to every single bill, and I worked for like fourteen hours. Holy smokes! I pray mm-hmm. to God that you did good and everything. You know, because I was like, <sighs> I, was like I cried. I, I cried. At- I cried for the first couple hours, and I said, I'm going to quit, and then, like, got better. No, <laughs> Once don't I do that. I figure out how to do everything. Yeah, and, and, and working in service is always going to be stressful. People are always going to talk junk, and you're so, like, I know, because the kitchen lady yelled everybody. at me. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to give my manager my check so I can get my money. You what? Wait, hold on. I have this for you. I wasn't talking to you. Hold oh, on. I'm sorry. It's so loud in here. Sorry, I had to give him my thing so they can give me money for my tips today. Well, you need to put that money up. I am. I have to save for school. Yeah, and then like $20 for me for books. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> or you could just do my uh, iHeartRadio thing. <laughs> I know. I thought about that last night, and I was like, oh, my gosh. She worked till 1 a.m. and made $700. Sushi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I do have uh, one. I was telling the guy you worked at the sushi restaurant because he was going to let me back out last night to call you because I was freaked out. I was going to get five to the bar. Five hundred? Instead of one because she helped me out a lot. No, hold on. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can give this to her. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Perfect, and I'm all set. Awesome, thank you. Okay, I'm back. Did you make money today, too? Yeah. But not as much, obviously. No, I made 200 today. Oh, my God. You're going to be addicted. <laughs> I know. I'm like, wow, this is so fun. Well, I remember I used to do that giant crab and we'd go spend everything. <laughs> I feel I, like you, I had so much, Mom, I had so much money flying out my pocket. Not literally flying out yeah, my pocket I know what you last mean. night. But I had like, and then I like, I looked and the guy was like, okay, you made this much money. I said, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I'm like, are you positive? And he's like, like, you're not going to hunt me yeah. down and, and send like, the police oh. to my house. <laughs> but like, I'm done with that. Know, they right? they stalk me enough. You sure? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I forgot the clock out. I have to go back inside. You walk all the way out here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, I, I know. Because I was giant so crab, but I, but I knew I had my teaching salary, so we'd just blow all my giant crab yeah. money. <laughs> Remember, we'd be at Reebok and Nike mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, I had totally for. Wait, I, I hold on. I lost track of what I'm doing. That computer is out. I got a clock out. Wee! I know. It was crazy, though. The kitchen lady yeah, yelled at me. Yeah, money's always good like, this time of year. May, June, July, August, September, the money would be good. You just got to know October, November, December, January, February, you know. You'll have to go in some days and only make 30 bucks. But you have one minute remaining. You know what I mean? Well, this is my free call. I'm going to go call you back on this, on my um, on my account, Okay. I'll give you a okay, few minutes to finish good. up there, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. No link. Bye. Oh, my God. These are the loudest people I've ever met in my life. Oh. <laughs> my head constantly rings, 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 rings. It's like, do we have to really talk this loud? Just like, can't you just stand there and be like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Not, hey, Like, I, I'm telling you, I'm, I feel like I'm high every day. I'm around people that were raised in the barn. That's what I feel like. No respect for people. It's like, where was your parents? Did they not whip your ass? That's funny. It does. It drives me absolutely insane. Like, a disrespect to people, to each other. It's like... Man, no wonder people can't function in society. <laughs> right? 
God. I mean, I know I grew up in a pretty tough uh, county, but I tell you what, though, they might have done crazy stuff like that, but it didn't stop my mom from getting a broomstick running out to you and beating her behind. Or grandma <laughs> getting a twig or something. You wouldn't do it but once. And here I feel like we need that, you know. We need that switch sometimes. Anyway, well, that's good. I'm proud of you. You made that money. Well, I was thinking about that. I was like, mm, she's probably passing out a lot of sushi today. Yeah. So my feet were so tired and my body was so tired that I couldn't even go to sleep because I was in so much pain. And then I had dreams and I kept waking up in the middle of the night thinking I forgot to put in somebody's order. <laughs> You'll have that. You will do that. You got the right shoes. You got those slip shoes, but with the cushions, right? No. Well, you probably need to buy you some. I'm surprised they don't make y'all have those. They just said all black. They're the non slip but it's not. It's okay. I just have these Adidas shoes. Okay, well, I know you made some money, but you need to. You can go to Walmart and get them for 20 bucks. Okay. And they got different styles. They're not going to be the cutest by any means. But it ain't about that. They got different ones going to cost more. I mean, if you want something fancier, then they're going to cost more. But you need those. They even have some without shoestrings that you can just slip on. But those have the, um, and those are sometimes the better ones, so you don't have to worry about stopping and tying your shoe all the time. And you'd be tripped and yeah. drop somebody's drinks or something, you know? Yeah. So. Those, those, I'm not. You think I'm going to tell her? But what you do is go get you get you those and then stop on the aisle with the Dr. Scholl's in them and get, change out the soles in them. you got to take the soles of those shoes out and put the Dr. Scholl's in there. Scholl's in there. Or sometimes you can buy the, buy the Dr. Scholl's that will just go in on top of yours, just depending on what kind you get. And I'm telling you, it'll make a world of difference when you're standing up for 10 hours, 12 hours. Okay, I'll yeah, have to so, do that then. Yeah, do that because if you, even though Adidas's are good shoes and stuff like that, but they're not made for that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. But I'm not telling you, Brenda, that. Yeah, because I, I only got these because I got them for $20 and I need black shoes. And they're like, you said black shoes. And I was like, ugh. So I like yeah. grabbed them. And I was like, $20, okay. Yeah, and they're fine for like, you know, a short shift or. You know, it's something crazy, but when you're talking long days or a lot of work or busy, yeah, I mean, and what I would, you know, what I do with giant crab, it's different at Soho because you don't smell like crab, but I would just take everything off and put it in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because it was the hardest thing to smell like crabs then. It's different. Sushi, I mean, I know yeah. tuna still has that smell, but it's not like the crab smell that just gets stuck on you. I just smell like soy sauce, that's all. <laughs> yeah, soy sauce. <laughs> Hey, I could have some soy sauce right now. I could just drink a bottle of ponzu and I'd be totally okay. With some cucumber and tuna. Mm. No. People yeah. will order stuff that you usually get, and I'm like, oh. I know. I thought about that yesterday. I was like, oh. huh? Oh, Harley. Okay. I dropped my phone. I dropped God, my phone don't I scare me. Do not scare me. Be careful driving and don't own the phone. I am. I put you in my cup holder. Are you at a uh, 21st or 38th? 21st? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, were you working down? Yeah, were you working downstairs or upstairs? Downstairs? Yeah, you probably have to work downstairs for a little while. Yeah, they haven't called me upstairs yet. Yeah, that'll come with a lot of experience. Because up there, you're lighting. They be lighting alcohol and fire and stuff like that. What? Yeah, so, like, people order special things in those couches, and they'll light the alcohol and fire. And then, then like, it's just part of the presentation, and it makes it stronger and all that type of thing. Which you don't need any alcohol. Like people, huh? I feel like people, like, like expect more to in their upstairs. I will yes. Yeah, and you got to get more experience. You got the classy part. It's not that. You just got to, uh, and you've been in fancy restaurants, so you know how that goes. So it's just about the experience with, because you're going to be carry, you would be carrying around twenty drinks at once. You know what I mean? Right. 
And people don't be playing if you spill a little bit out their martini glass because, I mean, they probably paid $12 for that martini. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's you so spill a little bit. Because, like, be... Everything is, so, everything so, is expensive. so expensive. So, like, I, I get, like, $30 tips on one table. Yeah. And you think about it. You spill a little bit of a martini glass, you're spilling three dollars worth <laughs> so i'd be pissed like where's the rest of our martini you know right and that's the thing about it is when you make mistakes always blame somebody else <laughs> i know right i mean not in a bad way be like oh my goodness i'm so sorry it must have not crossed the kitchen's mind i will go cr- i'll go fix that right away or if you forgot to put that in you they're used to it you know people worry used to, oh, my goodness, I really thought I'd keep that on the computer, but you know what? I'll make sure it gets in right away, no problem. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've done that, went through the whole time. Yesterday, and I freaked out. Yeah. Because she, well, she yelled at me for no reason. She brought me a chicken billy that had no steak on it. I mean, she brought me a, ste- a steak billy with no steak on it. It was just a bread. Mm-hmm. And she, yeah. And I was like, what is wrong with you? And why well, didn't say what was wrong with you? Yeah. Like, oh, that was awkward when I brought it out to the table. And then... Um, and then I heard a crying from this one table, and they're like, honey, it's your first day, you're fine, because it's the table with chicken billy. And they're like, that's not your fault. Oh, then she asked my cash app, and she sent me money on cash app, and she was like, I want this to be yours, and I don't want anybody to take out of it. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> you use them with your sensitivity skills. <laughs> hey, whatever you got to do. <sighs> you know, and yeah, sometimes was, when people yeah. when people act like that or like the kitchen is going to get stressed because they're having a hard time, and you got to think they got a lot going on, and so you got to say, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you're having a bad day, and this is messed up. It don't matter whose fault it is. Let's fix it." And sometimes it takes biting your tongue doing that because both of you are in this to make money. Because if they get it out to you right and your bar gets the drinks to you right, then your tips are good regardless. Because even though it's automatic gratuity, people can add more. They can add an extra 10, yeah. 15, whatever, and they could also go to the manager because it's against, it is technically by law against the law for anything under eight people to be added at that amount. Even though it's automatic, they can go say they know their state laws and take it off. Yeah. So just always be like, and most people out of state don't argue with that because up north, 20% is nothing to them. They tip 30. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Just always make sure, you know, the customer's always right. And I'm sure they tell you all this. But trust me, from experience, I sit there many days and be like, this is some evil lady I'm waiting on. But, hey, girl, how you doing? And always compliment the women first. If the woman is there with her man, compliment her first because you will get a good tip. Okay. Yeah, always see the girl. She's in the dress. Be like, you look gorgeous in that dress or that's a gorgeous dress and, you know, or something like that because it also helps the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe not tell her she looks gorgeous. She might think you like her, but <laughs> say, say, that's a gorgeous dress, or, oh, my goodness, your hair looks great like that. You know, that type of thing. Don't ever tell the guy that. <laughs> I know. I know. Or you, or you don't want to get the tips. I mean, if it's, like, a group of guys, like, six guys are on a bachelor party or something, they'd be like, oh, my goodness, where'd you get that shirt? It looks great on you, even though you know it came from Vineyard, you know what I mean, or something like that. Yeah. But that's how I made all the money uh, when I worked all the Harley things is when the women and men would come up there and I was working all the bike weeks, I'd check out the women and be like, oh, my goodness, girl, you look good in those chaps. And they'd be like, do I really? And they could be like 200 pounds, <laughs> but I would still say it. Yeah, because this one table came up and they had a Harley jacket and everything. They just came from that and they came to come. And I was like, hi, my name's Harley. And they were like, oh, that'll be easy to remember. And they gave me extra money because my name's Harley. I know. Uh, by week started? Harley week started? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably, because it usually starts right at the Mother's Day and goes. Yeah, because when my investigator was like, I got to go to Myrtle Beach so I can do interviews and get that stuff and yada, yada, yada. And I, she was like, when should I go? I said, well, don't go May because you're going to have Harley week and you have Black Bike week. <laughs> I was like, no. I was yeah, like, I promised you. I was like, she's like, well, I want to go when it's not, like, hot. I was like, well, girl, you better wait till, like, November. <laughs> I was like, because right now you're talking about these people don't know what it's like with the heat, man. They be rocking around here talking when it's hot in the rooms, and I'm looking, it's, like, 68. I'm in there, like, uh, uh. Oh, my God. I'd be walking oh, around with 
long sleeves on, two uh, two pairs of socks on. So yeah, because it looks like it's cold out there today. It has to be because I put my milk on the windowsill and it got ice cold, so it's got to be cold out there again. Did what? you get your Did you get your card? Yeah, it's cold out there. Did you get your card? Your birthday card? Yeah. Remember I told you. You didn't ever tell me. You said you were going to go get it. You didn't say like, "Hey, I got oh. it." Oh, you see the difference in the two artists, though, right? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that? Uh, the one who drew that one is the one that I was on the phone with that time with you. He drew the one that says my name. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm talking about he's, like, a badass drawler. Like, oh, my God, like... I mean, I'd never get a tattoo, but if it was, I'd be like, he'd be the only one to do it. Even though I'd never get a tattoo. Though. <laughs> yeah. But if I was, what else was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you something. I don't know. I'll be having so much to tell you that I couldn't get you. Oh, I was going to be like, is that my Bessie? Is that Tessie? Huh? When, when you answered yesterday, I was going to be like, is that my Bessie? Is that Tessie? Is that a song? I don't know. I, one night I was waiting on Sunday night slow jams to come on because he didn't come until 8, and somebody came on singing that. And that's my best friend. That's my best friend. Like that. You have to listen to it. But She's like, that's my best friend. Is that my Bessie? And that Tessie? But apparently there's a shortage in the world of batteries, and uh, we haven't had batteries. What? So we're losing our mind. Yeah, there's nothing to listen to because we have no batteries. We can't listen to the TV because we don't have any batteries, and the radio runs off the TV. Like you have to turn it to a certain station to hear the TV. Oh. So I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God, everybody's like, batteries, we need batteries. I'm like, heck, yeah, we need batteries. I never knew we wanted batteries, shortage. I mean, unless they're lying to us, but this is what we're being told, and we haven't had any batteries, and... Yeah, I really need them because I always listen to gospel music most of the day to tone out some of this noise because it it, it has me like, I mean, I just be. We were not having a battery for a month ago. We were? A month ago. Okay, well, maybe they had the storage room or something and they ran out there and just can't get refills or something. I don't know, but we need batteries. <laughs> we need them bad. None of us have them, so everybody's just... You have one minute remaining. You know, wired up because we sit in there all day for 20-some hours and we can't... I mean, and you're sitting there looking at the TV, just don't know what they're saying, but just looking. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, no, this ain't, no. This ain't like watching a cartoon or something where I could figure it out, but yeah. Anyway. Right. All right, it's going to hang up. I love you. Put your money up. Save it. I know you think about shopping and things like that, but I promise you you're going to get the chance to do all that and make up all this time. All right? And we'll, we'll get to go shopping many times. All right? I love you. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hotel link. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Did you have a good Mother's Day? I did. What about you? No, I was all over the place. I didn't get to talk to Harley, so I was like, ah. Oh, you did it? I was getting ready to ask if you got to talk to her. No, she ended up working, but then she was supposed to be off to have a visit, but didn't show up. So I called her and called her and called her, but then she said they had her work a double, and she made $700. I was like, okay, well, that makes me happy. At least I know you made the money, and you're getting taken care of, and, you know, it's not about me for Mother's Day. It's about you, and, you know, da, 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 so. That's some good money, though. I mean, that's good for her. Yeah, she's working at the sushi restaurant, and she says she went to crying. <laughs> and I talked uh -huh. to her a little bit about it. I said, you got to understand, when people go out for fine dining, because that's one of the most fine dining restaurants there is at the beach, because, you know, it's got a, um, a rooftop overlooking the ocean and stuff like that. I said, you know, sometimes people get rude, and or sometimes people think they're entitled, you know, and sometimes people are just assholes. <laughs> you know? Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, I bet. And so we talked about that for a little bit. And I said, always, you know, just apologize to people, compliment them, you know, even though if they're in the wrong. 
she said that the kitchen lady pissed her off because she gave her a cheesesteak without a steak, and so she looked at it and thought, who would order a cheesesteak without steak? Like, that's weird. So she carried it on out because she was taking it out for somebody else. And so the lady was like, where's my steak? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, she said people... back to the kitchen. The kitchen was like, Well, where did the steak go? And I was like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I just carried it out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, some people they they order their food funky. Like, I mean, I know I'm of... like that. So, <laughs> like, I'll get a have... chicken with no bread, and I'll be like, Can I have two tomato slices as the bread? Oh my God! You're like you're like me. I don't eat chicken on bread. Like I'll get a chicken sandwich. I'll take the bread right off of it. <laughs> me. And they'll be looking at me like I'll be like, "Can I have a piece of lettuce for that too, or either some pickles?" Because I just make me a sandwich like that. And they'll be like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, no, like I'm the, I'm the same way. And Taylor thinks it's so weird because he likes like actual chicken sandwiches. I don't yeah. I don't like chicken on bread. It's just weird. I know. And, and then then know? I'll go to a fine dining steakhouse ah. where it's like forty dollars for a steak, and I'll ask for ketchup. And uh, they'll be looking at me like, ketchup? We just season this. We season this for 24 hours. I don't give a shit. I always have ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Ketchup goes good on everything. It's not as A1. Like, I'll put A1 on anything. And that's actually what I had yesterday was I went to the store. Um, I got steak for, for Mother's Day and Taylor Grilled. But I put A1 on it. And he's like, what? Is my is my cooking not good enough? And I was like, dude, A1 goes on everything. <laughs> I know. I used to have to do it too. I put A1 on mashed potato, you name it, like a baked potato, all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, so I thought I had mashed potatoes yesterday, but it went on mine. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh. But anyway, so yeah, I talked to her about that, and she said she made 200 today, and I was like, that's good. I remind her, though, I said, remember, you're going to make bank money up until, like, September, October. After bike week ends in October, you know, you won't make any. I said, so not at this job. And so yeah. Said, make sure you, you know, spur it out. Because I told her, because she's used to me having it like that, but, like, I pick up a summer job at, like, Giant Crab or, like, a fine dining restaurant or something, but I also have my teaching salary. So I could just go blow everything I made waitressing, you know what I mean? And that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> but it was different. I was explaining to her, I said, that's, that's a different situation. You know, I had a career and da da da, da So I think she got it. I've never done, I've never done waitressing. I've only ever worked retail and pharmacy. That's it. Yeah. I don't know that I could ever do it. I don't know if I could put up with the people. <laughs> I know. I worry about Harley because she's so sensitive, you know, but and she'll cry easily, and she's such a good girl. But I told her, just always go to the Lord with it and go back and do your work. Um, I was going to see if you could uh, check. Um, I didn't get my debut bread for June, July, and August. And it says, oh, you did it? No. Usually we have it by now because it's already, like, almost the middle of May. So I didn't yeah. know if you could check to see if we're supposed to renew it every three months. I mean, and if we do, happen. could you just put my name in the thing? They, it says go to Daily Bread, like the online, rdailybread.com or something like that. It, we yeah. don't get time. But, um, because I was like, man, we haven't got June yet. And I'm like, I've already went through, you know, March, April, May. Yeah, I'm on their, I'm getting on their website right now to see what, what they say on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to, um. I might, I might have to take you up on calling the Willpath thing because, so I messaged them, and they they sent someone by. Yeah. And the lady came by to the door, and she was like, oh, I just got the name to come over here. She said, no one filled me in on what was going on. Really? Said, yeah. Yeah, she was like, so I'll go check. But she never came back, <laughs> which is what everybody oh, wow. can, right? So, uh and put two and two together when I say this, okay? You're going to have to be smart thinking about what I'm going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Ever since I've been here, I've had a van. Okay, 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 I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and also has some high-quality H2O. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because I, like, I love water, you know what I'm saying? Like smart water, you know, all of it, you know. Yeah. And when I went to the state hospital, I even had Sarah's quilt, you know, and cause I like I like quilts, you know, Sarah's quilt, and uh, you know, the van, because you know I never know how to drive anywhere, or yep. Sarah's quilt. <laughs> I had to cover up because it gets cold here, you know what I'm saying? And uh huh. 
I've had it, you know, and uh, I think since I haven't had it, because I, well, my insurance canceled, you know, you can't drive around a van without insurance, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. my insurance <laughs> canceled, and I haven't been able to get access to it, you know, whatever, and, you know, just other circumstances interfered, and that's been since April, and I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm having why I keep having these little mini uh, meltdowns. And because during that time frame, when I had the van, I only had it maybe for like 10 or 15 days, and then I couldn't have it without it, you know? Maybe yeah. Days without it. I think that was screwing me, you know, uh, that's, considering the um, circumstances. That, yeah, that, that kind of, you know, off and on the van, that'll definitely um, that'll mess with your head. <laughs> Uh, okay, but I'm gonna call you right back. He's they're gonna send uh Kim up in here and I'm gonna call you right back. We have to just stand in front of ourselves and I'll call you right back. Okay. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. No bye. Link. Thank you for using Hey. Hey, sorry. Everybody was trying to figure out this whole battery situation because apparently batteries show back up but then they credit everybody back, so we're all like, Can we get batteries? <laughs> oh I was wondering, I was like, I don't know if they got you know, locked locked up or what was going on? <laughs> and then there's some shortage in the South in North Carolina, actually, of chicken and ketchup. Chicken and ketchup? <laughs> yeah, chicken and ketchup. I saw that on the news. I went to like the app Fox News, and it was like uh, North Carolina, one of the states with a shortage on chicken and ketchup. I was like, oh heck, I'd be going crazy. <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen that one yet, but I haven't really done the news today, so I'm sure I'll see it later on today. I know. I was like, so the man was like freaked out. He went up to the chicken store in North Carolina, and they were like, sorry, sir, we don't have any ketchup or chicken. He's like, well, uh, <laughs> this is the chicken place. <laughs> and, and it was like an actual news article, so I knew it were no, like, joke, joke. And I was like, oh, my God. My mom is a... It works at Nash Finch, and she's a buyer for the chicken in North Carolina. So she buys all the chickens for all the grocery stores. Uh, okay. Wiggly Wiggly, Teal, Food Line, stuff like that. And so she would always come home, butterball chickens, all kinds of chickens. We always ate chicken, you know, like when I, you know, when I was little. And then even when I was older, she would always come to Myrtle Beach and bring big things of chicken. Yeah. I was like, I was like I'll have to talk to my mom. It's a <laughs> chicken plant, because there's a chicken plant not far from you, actually. And Roland, I mean not Roland, um, Red Springs, like going towards Red Springs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've, I've heard of some people who said they've uh, they've worked out there. Like um, yeah. when I worked at the pharmacy, I've met people who worked out there. Yeah, my yeah, my granddad used to work out there, and um, not my granddad from the casino, but my other um, on the other side, and he um, used to like run the chicken plant, and I'd be like, man. Let's I was like, I'm just surrounded by chicken. <laughs> you know, I ate chicken all the time. So that's what we were all doing. And then the news, they were trying to figure out about these people that sh- got shot at this birthday party here in Colorado Springs, like six or seven people. Oh, wow. Was that today? It must have been last night. Yeah. And then I guess the seventh person just died. It was six, but the seventh one just died. And so I was oh, like, God. oh, God. I was like, it's not me on the news. So just, I mean, I don't want any think bad happening but I was just like at least everybody's watching something else right now <laughs> yeah yeah I just looked it up that, that's crazy yeah seven people passed away yeah it's none of the kids that somebody got the kids safety but it's adults but I mean still it's somebody's you know family or whatever but man I tell you I don't know if I don't know if it's that someone shot them or, or someone got access to something but I support the oh. second amendment but some people are just not responsible gun owners. Like, That's aren't. the truth, yeah. Like, I know in our situation, like, I'd always get an Albert about that stuff. He didn't care. He just, he'd always leave his gun, lay inside his bed in a zipped up, just in a zipped up case. And I'd always be like, dude, you need to lock that up. You need a gun safe. It's funny how he told people, or the people said something about a gun safe, and I'm laughing, like, they don't have no gun safe. His ass didn't. <laughs> he didn't freaking, he's in the military and didn't even know how to freaking keep his weapons or uh, you know under control oh. no knowing him he probably went out and bought a gun safe after you know everything that happened and now he's gonna be like yeah i've, I've always used this <laughs> yeah well guess what the video was saying no you didn't because <laughs> uh body games <laughs> oh. would be like uh no that's a lie uh, 
I was pulling up an article about that shooting thing in Colorado Springs and some ads started to play. Yeah, no, I'm sure he seems like the kind of person that would do that. Go out and get like a little, yeah. you know, and be like, yeah, I've, I've used this my entire life. <laughs> I've always yeah, had this. Harley said, her attorney said, he is a big fat liar. I was like, he lied on Harley's attorney. And then Harley's telling me about it. And I was like, yeah. I said, you should see some of the stuff. I remember how much he lied. I wanted to sit there and be like, dude, do you know I can prove this wrong? I can prove this wrong and this wrong and this wrong. I mean, this dude was sitting there trying to tell his attorney that he didn't, uh, buy, Sadie wasn't a gift. I said, it's okay, hold on, wait a minute, it's on the phone. It's on the phone, don't worry about it, because it says, this is your Christmas and anniversary gift, it's Sadie. So don't even yeah, take my dog. That's the dog, yeah. It's, I'm pretty sure it was, like, in the original uh, divorce paperwork that was filed. I'm pretty sure it's even listed in there that she was given to you as a gift. Yeah. I'm just wow. Like, whatever. He, yeah, he tried to turn around on one of the papers that came here and said, just like he tried to turn around and say he didn't know anything about a loan that we got together, but he paid off his bills with it. I'm sitting there like, I got emails saying that you, we agreed to do it because you had all the debt. You you had all the debt from when you were married to Landon and you wanted it consolidated because I got tired of you having all this debt that Landon left you with. And so you, we agreed on it on the email. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> No, what he was saying because remember how I told you like he came out it was like it was April thirtieth he came out and talked to the news about all the debt that he's in and you yeah. know throughout the fund me thing he said he's got he's got two cars that he's paying on that he can't even drive I guess they're the police have them yeah but there's like, a point for them to even have them how many cars does man have <laughs> well he took Harley's so that was on him. And then his his truck, right? They, yeah. they shouldn't even have any. They're, 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 see, here's what they do. They take that stuff because they want to, uh, like, sell it or say, oh, sorry, we can't give this back to you because uh, this is what one of the attorneys had told me. And so they do that uh, because that's what they want to do. Like, for example, a camera that they took that wasn't was from Miss Dee Dee's house. What does that even have to do with that? It's their camera, their their computer. They just took it. Wow. And so they do that on purpose so they can just say, oh, we need to keep this because this has to be evidence and yada, yada, because they want to sell it after a certain amount of time and stuff like that. That's why yep. they do that shit, but there's no reason to even have that. That he He's sitting there, like, doing that when they didn't, there's no reason for them to have that. They're doing that on yeah. purpose. Yeah, because they'll, they'll hold that. I know I know they can hold vehicles for up to a year, and then after a year of being impounded, they'll sell them at auction. Yeah, well, it's already been a year, so, I mean, he's been paying on huh. But, see, here's the thing. He had his truck anyway. That's on him. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, all those credit card things, we had consolidated and paid it off. Then, if he went back and charged them up, that's not on me. Then he got a Jeep and wrecked it. And the word... You have 60 seconds remaining. The word was he wrecked it because he was um, under the influence of something. <laughs> you know... I <laughs> but of course, he got away with that. He got away with it. Was that was that after everything yeah. That happened? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's okay though, because that other iCloud, I sent everything there always as a backup, always. That's everything. A good idea. I, I did it. Yeah. I had that other phone so he could see my one phone, and he wouldn't know I was recording or saving something or something, and I'd have it just just lighten it up. Because That's I good. do, he's full of shit on everything he says and plays this, you know, whatever role. But anyway, so I think, don't we have a visit tomorrow? No, it's the next day, right? Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, so what I was going to tell you is about that uh, will path or whatever, yeah, because I'll be yeah. telling you about that then. Cause oh, thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, Link. Hey, Leticia. Hey, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Good. Did you get to see your mom on Mother's Day? Yeah, uh, my mom's not doing good, Leticia. She's not? I'm so sorry. I thought about you yesterday, but I figured you'd be with your mom, so. I was. My mom's got cancer. Wait, she's got cancer now? Yeah, I don't want to cry. Um, oh, God, I'm so sorry. That thing that I got a phone call, it said it was from you, and they were saying... Colin and Terry, and you have a song for me, and I know what you're up to. 
I came from Colorado, but anyways, that day I found out my mom had cancer. Wait, was it me that called? It just sounded like you, and I said, Leticia. I go, this ain't Leticia. And then they said, well, you know my code name. I go, I don't know no code name. It was awful. It was just awful. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's weird. I mean, if it was me, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I could have been crazy and out of my mind, but I don't, I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you, about found out, oh. you found out you had cancer, okay, okay. We can deal with this. We got this. It's already stretching her body, Leticia. God. Mm. And you're already dealing with that with your dad. Yeah, I am. There's nothing I can, you know, people can say, because I'd be lying to you if I said it's going to be all right. I'm not one of those people that believes in telling people that it's going to be all right, because I just don't. All I can say is I hope, you know, that your mother knows, of course, about the Lord, Jesus Christ, and that she, something has happened that she, you know, be in a better place, you know, and that's what's most important. So if she doesn't, just make sure you, you know, let her know all about him, you know. Yeah, she's my best friend. You know that. Yeah, I know. It, you know. I'm going. I'm going through all different emotions. I go through denial. I go through anger. You know what I mean. I'm just. But when I'm with her, I don't let her see me. You know what I mean. Yeah, and people don't understand that. Like, people don't understand how people can block their emotions like that. But I'm that type of person. Like, I can turn my emotions on and off because based on like surroundings. Because I've had to go through so much. You know, and you can't let those people that you love see you hurt like that, you know, or let people see you be vulnerable because people take advantage of you and that type of thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. I hate that. So it was a hard Mother's Day. Well, I don't feel as bad that I didn't get to talk to Harley because you're going through something a lot worse, you know. No, I just, I I know you care about my mom. and you know, Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, gosh. I'll get, be why, didn't her. You, why didn't you get to talk to your daughter? Well, I called her yesterday and had a visit with her, supposed to, but then she didn't show up, and I was like, okay. But then when I talked to her today, she said that they ended up asking her to work extra, and it was Mother's Day, so she knew she could make, you know, double the money, and she ended up making a really good amount of money. So I was like, no, I just didn't want you to, like, it made me feel bad because I've never not spoke to you on Mother's Day, you know, and I was like, it's not about me, it's about you, but... I knew once I went to the Lord with it last night and gave it all to him, he was going to touch her and know that I love her and miss her and all that. And see, he blessed her with making good money last night and, you know, getting to meet people that, you know, were you know, super nice to her and, you know, all that kind of type of situation. Because some people recognize who she is, you know, back home and, you know, like adults or whatever. And so he handled it, and I was okay after that once I got to talk to her today and find out everything was well. And I've been a little okay today, last couple of days, because I feel like a weight of the world was lifted off of me that I finally get to have, you know, the right attorneys and stuff. So that that has helped me so much, like mentally, you know. Oh, I, I'm I'm glad you got an attorney now. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I had that's... to do it. You know, I had to go through the channels of doing it the right way, and I couldn't just, you know, say, oh, I don't like them. You know, I had to give them, like, real legit stuff, you know, and I just kept it, let God handle it, and he came through for me on that one because that takes a lot of the weight off of me. And then I've been in and out taking my medicine here, like, I'll take it and then don't take it and take it, and I think that's what screws me up, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm not used to being around so many people. It just, I think I'm still in some sort of, like, shock, you know? Like being oh, around. that's right. I forgot yeah. you're in general population, though. That's right. Yeah, and it's, it's just, I'd rather be in here because, you know, we can have a radio and we can have food. But uh, it's just always, I, I'm more of like a, a person with autism, you know? Like, I don't, uh, the stimulus, I don't have autism, but, you know, like a person who, and, you know, it's autistic, sometimes that stimuli sits there and affects them when it's a lot going on. They like the more quiet to their self type, you know, aspect or whatever. And 
it just gives me these ringings in my ears and headaches. But I got to just get back on my anxiety meds and stay on them and quit. Like, what? the psych meds I was taking, I would always take them, not take them, take them, not take them over the years. And I just, I got to just either do it or don't, you know? Yeah. Are the um, are the people there nice to you? Um, they've learned to. I think they see right. my character, and they get to know that the image that they portray is totally not even right. You know what I mean? But because a lot of them are affiliated with gangs and things like that, so we don't hang out by any means. But they don't. Be, yeah. You know, they don't cause problems. Some of them mostly came up to me, and they'd just be like, "Look." I'm beginning to believe you more and more and see, like, believe you in terms of this is not you. And, um, but due to my gang affiliation, you know, I can't, whatever, whatever. And I just be like, hey, I respect you, whatever. You know, you don't got no problems with me. I got no problems with you. You do your thing. I do my thing. Yeah. You know, so. That's good. Yeah. And I don't even know if they have real, I don't even know if these are real gangs they're talking about or if it's just, you know something they've made up. The cop told me yes day before yesterday, she was like, It ain't I ain't even no gang. I was like, Well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I don't know, nothing these people be talking about when it comes to gangs, so that's it. But yeah. That's pretty much it. And then we've been on a battery, so we haven't been able to listen to the radio, so we're all like stir crazy and then people were fighting in their cells like crazy and People were fighting the cops, and they came in here and they uh, pepper sprayed people last night. I mean, I just feel like oh my god, yeah, I just be looking out sometime like, am I high right now? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> like I don't even get high, but like, am I high right now? I have to stop and ask myself, like, is this real? That's why I get so confused I... sometimes. You know, like if something's really going on or not, because I start. I like I start spacing out, and one minute there's people outside the woods, and the next minute there's these people doing this, and I'm like, is this really going on? Like, are they really adding this crazy right now? You know? Well, I can imagine you go from you know from where you were to General Pop, and next thing you know, people are being pepper sprayed, and you're in the midst of it all. You know? I know, and I'm choking in the vent because I was convinced beforehand. Well, I still am convinced that they be putting the stuff in the vents to like sedate you or make you read your mind and stuff like that. I'm so convinced on that anyway. But then they put the pepper spray and it rises and I'm over there choking like, oh God, open the door, man. I'm a die in here. You know, so I don't... <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but... It is. I don't never know. And then this one chick, they taste that chick eight times. She was pouring blood from her private part. She tasted oh my God. everything and it didn't even faze her. What? Yeah, like it's like she had a demon in her, and I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, telling you, you're gonna have to read. You're gonna have to read my book in the end about it because of some of the stories I have. You'll be like, no, this didn't really happen in real life, and I'm be like. Oh yeah, you're writing a book, aren't you? I keep everything going nonstop, and I mean, obviously, I got at some point, you know, take stuff out, put stuff in, edit, and all that. But that'll come later. But yeah, like I keep up with stuff like that, and I keep putting it in a Manila envelope. And I'm telling you, I read some of it after I've written it, like, and I'd be like, "Oh yeah, that happened. Holy shit, that they were crazy, you know." And there's this lady with dementia, and she's 74, and she cusses everybody out. And she was telling them, you know, like, "Come here, ho, hit me, ho." Oh you know? no. Yeah, and then she, the other day, she attacked the cop, and then she ran around and mooned everybody in the ward. And then, she's 74. Yeah, so she comes by me, and I'm at the window, and she's like, don't even look at me, you skinny hoe. I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why did you just laugh? <laughs> yeah, she said, she looked at me, she goes, I don't know. And then she came back and asked me for Kool-Aid, and I gave it to her, and then she said, I don't know why they got all these crusty white women working up in here. She said, I'm sick of looking at white women. I was, like, just standing there, like, and, like, sometimes anybody that's blonde, she thinks apparently her husband must have cheated with a blonde lady because whenever a blonde comes in there, she beats on the door. She said, you, she'll be like, you F my husband, ho. <laughs> And the cop would be like, I don't know your husband. She'll be like, I don't know your husband. I don't know your husband. And like, she's like, open this door. Open this door. I'm going to beat your ass. 
I'm telling you, I oh, had to sit back man. And like, Yeah, and then last night, some girl spit on somebody. And then she was like, excuse me, uh, this chick just spit on me. Next thing I heard was, code 20, code 20. Everything was pepper sprayed. I was like, oh, heck. And then the one girl, oh, she came out to get the cop, and she was like, do you remember who I am? And the cop's just standing there like, okay, get back to yourself. She said, remember me. Next thing you know, bam, she knocks the cop out. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, I think I'd be doing that, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. I just stand at the door and just be like, is this real life? Because, you know, in the other ward, I had stuff like that happen. But it was mostly, like, naked people be on the window. Like, the one lady was naked, and she was showing everybody her private parts. And she was like, I'm naked and wild and, like, all this stuff, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I kid you not. I tell you, this is real shit, man. And no, I, I like, believe you. I do. I do believe that. You know, it's real. And they would take their shit and rub it all on the doors. And like, oh. <laughs> oh you're God. just sitting there like, are you kidding me right now? Or they're peeing the cups and throw it underneath the things, like trying to flood their cells. And like, I oh. mean, I just have to sit there and be like, you, y'all wonder why I feel like I am batshit crazy? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So that's I mean, a I... day in the life of CJC, you know? I guess so, man. Yeah. Well, thanks. I need that giggle. I really did. Yeah, I tell you, for sure. I got plenty of them. You know, we'll have to keep them, keep talking about them in the future. But, yeah, it just, it, I I just can't even, like, put it in a word sometimes. When I sit there and call, like, my family, and they just feel like, it just be listening, like, is this really happening? And I'd be like, yes, this really happened, okay? And then they'll be like, how do you know which one's real or which one's not? Because sometimes you call us and say crazy shit. And I'd be like, hell, I don't know. But I'm just telling you, this is really going on. <laughs> no, I believe you. That crazy shit goes on like that. But you're in an all-female jail. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Things are like, okay. <laughs> you hear, never mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there about the woman yeah. that was bleeding. We got put on lockdown the other day. We didn't come out ourselves for 70-some hours. Really? Because our group got screwed twice, and then we got a 24-hour lockdown when the girl beat the cop up. Because when the girl beat the oh. cop up, the whole ward, well, I wasn't saying anything, nor was my tear. They weren't saying anything, especially people on the bottom. But they were yelling, that's what she gets, that's what she gets. Well, okay, let me tell you what she does. She won't do anything. Okay, she'll give you tampons, but she'll only give you two per 24 hours. And so the girls are like, we can't use two tampons for 24 hours, man. You know, like, we'll get that toxic syndrome. And, you know, like, come on, we're women. Like, these are cheap Dollar Tree tampons. Like, so yeah. the girls were, like, freaked out. So all of them got together and waited till she opened the doors for lunch. And one of them just came out and clocked her. And I was like, oh. You have one minute remaining. And I just sit there and I was like, God, y'all are crazy. I was like, I never met so many crazy people in my life before. And they had to well, stop all the mail because they were putting uh, drugs inside the... Uh, is that is that why you can't get mail no more? Yeah, we have to send it to North Carolina first. Like, through the oh, term address. Don't... Yeah. Oh, wow. People are sending okay. drugs in? Girl, this place has got more drugs in the streets. Really? That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. I just need chilling in my room. I don't got nothing to do with it. I just, like, <laughs> got bring, nothing to do with it. They bring the dog in there, and I was like, you can check my room. Check everything. Shit, you can check it five times if you want to. <laughs> you ain't going to find her in the mine. Wow. Yeah, but anyway, it's going to hang up. Well, I'll call you again soon, and prayers for your mom and for your dad, but, mo- you know, mostly your mom because I know how close you are to her, and I don't, <sighs> I don't know what to say other than say I can. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hello? Hey, is that my Bessie in the Tessie? Yeah, I was just thinking about you when you were going to call me. <laughs> well, we didn't get to come out at all yesterday because, you know, sometimes we just have people that do us like that. So we just pray and keep on going for them. Me and Sadie just left Marky Common, so she got her nails trimmed. Aww. And she can break. She freaked out when they were trimming her nails. She didn't do that with me. Yeah, she was freaking out. <laughs> yeah, 
literally walks around Market Commons, and now she's tired and panting. I don't know if you can hear her. I think she deserves. She burnt some calories. I think she deserves a pup cup. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'll You're get like, her some dog yikes. Some dog I what? I can't get her a pup cup. I can't hear a pup cup because I know I'm gonna I'm gonna give in and buy Starbucks and I can't do that. Why are you not buying Starbucks? No, I mean like I just bought a, I just bought this smoothie from this smoothie place and it's really good so I don't really want to buy Starbucks too. Oh, and I've been I see. trying to like tell myself like Harley that's five dollars for a drink you don't need to do that. Well, especially when now you I mean you could make it you know what I mean? Yeah. And you making it. Is a whole lot cheaper, and you can play around with yeah. it and make all the different drinks that we invent, and Starbucks steals from us, and then they market them and they get rich off of them, you know? I know, right? Yeah, so, I mean. I was telling Miss Dee, I was like, for the first time out of all my jobs, like, now when I get money for my serving job, you know how, like, normally when I get money, I always just want to send it? Yeah. Well, now I'm just like, man, I'm not touching that because you know what I had to go through to get this. <laughs> That's how you got to think of it. And then when you get a bunch, then you take some and you say, okay, well, because you also have to reward yourself to make sure you're giving it to God, too. That's most importantly. Because in order for it to be replenished, you got to make sure you're paying your tithes. But, uh, yeah, so... Then once you get a bunch, be like, oh, okay, I worked really hard. I had to go through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and I'm going to go treat myself and do something, you know. Yeah. But make sure you're paying your tithes. That's the most important. Hey, you can breathe. This one's your mouth. What? Uh, she's, like, dying over here, and I'm like, you're fine. You can breathe. Just close your mouth. Do you got the air conditioner on her? Yeah, I have it on full glass. I'm freezing. Aww. Can you hear her? She's just a baby, though. She's always a baby. And why do I have to find out everything from everybody? But you don't tell me. About what? Okay, you didn't tell me that you got rebaptized. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot that I did that. But you didn't tell me. And then I always have to hear everything for other people. And I just be like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I'll be like, oh, my God, I've got to knock her out. <laughs> yeah, I did get rebounded. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I don't know anything. Let's see what else tells me. So I have to call other people to be like, hey, give me the update or Harley. I didn't tell you that. No, you don't tell me anything. You just laugh and be like, hee, 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 hee. I feel like I told everybody I got that high. Except your mother. Which I would have thought, other than Jesus Christ, would be the most important person outside of Sadie and I'm Jesus concerned. Christ. I'm going to have to start writing down things that I have to tell you, because I feel like once I get on the phone, then I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have to work today? No. Finally. Okay, okay. What's Charlotte been up to? Who? Charlotte. You and not friends anymore. You and Charlotte? Yeah. What? <laughs> She's decided to go off the deep end and go crazy. What do you mean? Like wild? She's just... Huh? Like wild crazy? Yeah. Charlotte? Yeah. Man, y'all been friends for how many years? Yeah, I know. We're not friends anymore. Did y'all, like, have a fight? Huh? Did y'all have a fight? Well, this, this is how it happened. It's the most stupidest thing. So I texted her. I sent her this really long, cute paragraph or whatever. And then at the end, I was like, I'm going to pray for you. Like, I'll, I'll be praying for you, whatever. And then she texts me back. She goes, all you can do is pray for me. And then in my head, I'm thinking, I was like, man, that's the best thing that I can do. What are you talking about? But it was just one of those moments where, like, God showed me how I can't have, like, unequal yoked friendships. Or else, like, they're just not going to work because I couldn't even explain myself to her, like, like, yeah, that's the 
best thing I could ever do for you, you know, because she doesn't understand. I don't understand. Charlotte was raised better than that. I don't, what, what happened? I mean, is she just, because she's staying by herself, going crazy, or? Yeah. And you have to think she's with her sister now, too, so. Oh, yeah. I wondered how that was going to work out. But when you said you prayed for her, was she doing something wrong and she was telling you about it? No, she was just, like, going through a lot, I guess, or, like, just, like, stupid things that she thought was, like, the end of the world. But, of course, you know, I can't compare her things to stupid things. But I was just telling her, and, and, like, I would always ask her to, like, hang out and stuff, but she never wanted to do anything. And I was like, well, I'm not just going to come and sit at your house and, like, do whatever you're doing. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to get you out of the house, you know, to make you feel better, but you don't ever want to do that. And I was like, for me, I don't even do nothing crazy. I just go to the gym or I go shopping or, you Which know, is what something. she's always doing, too. So that's what's shocking. Right. And then she got mad. She was like, feel like you haven't been here for me and I was like I have but every time I ask you if you want to talk about something you don't ever want to talk about anything and then if every time I ask you to do something you want to do something then you don't want to do something and I was like so I was telling you that I was thinking of you and that I was praying for you and now you're mad at me because I said I'm praying for you well I want you to do me a favor you promise yeah you need to text her and just say, hey, been thinking about you. I always love you. We've been friends for too long to let stupid stuff come between us because God's grace is sufficient for anything. Just say, I'll be here if you need me and leave it at that. I already told her that. Okay. You promise? Yeah. And then what did she say? Uh, I don't remember. It was a while ago. Okay. Well, you need Dude, to do a check in. And that's what it's about, learning to be molded into being a leader for Christ, is you have to continue doing that. And sometimes that's hard being the humblest. It sounds like you've been humble and you've done the right thing, but you have to continue doing that. Let me tell you what this lady did to me in here. And it tells you what about God's grace and being humble. She won't ever open the door when she's working for me to come out for breakfast. So I just ignore it. So then all the breakfast is gone, and she'll be like, oh, did I give you breakfast? No, and she knows she didn't. And I'll just be like, oh, no, you didn't. She'll be like, oh, I have to go call somebody. Okay. It's time to get clean uniforms. She don't open my door. And then I'll have to wait until, like, medical or somebody's in here to be like, hey, do you think I could get a uniform? And she'll be like, oh, I didn't open your door. No, and she knows she didn't. And then she'll do that with hygiene. She won't never open my door to come out to get, like, toilet paper. I mean, I had to wait, like, 10 hours yesterday for toilet paper last night, you know. And I didn't say anything. So then she said something, and I said, you know what? She, she said she was mad because our political views and religious views were different. And I said, what is she talking about? I never even talked to this lady about that. I have no idea. She was obviously just taking out her whatever the heck she was going out on me. She takes it out on me. But I just looked at her and I said, you know what? There is a difference between our religious views. You're right. I said, because and I said, a true Christian don't treat people that way. And I said the same thing you said. So I'm just going to pray for you. And I walked back in my room, shut the door. I was like, I don't need that toilet paper. <laughs> I said, I'll wait till 5 a.m. to get toilet paper. And you know me. I, I mean, I got to have my toilet paper. But my point behind telling you that yeah. is I still went back. And pray for that lady soul because she walks around in here, and I see her as one of the biggest Christians in the jail that works here. But that's not that's not honoring God's people, you know. And so, trust me, you know me. A few years ago, I would have been like, "Well, screw you too," <laughs> you know. Yeah. But when she comes back in here again, I'm going to still be like, "Hey, hope you're having a better day. Let you know I prayed for you again," you know. I don't know what I mean. Yeah. That's the hardest thing you got to do, but you got to do that, especially with Charlotte, because we got to remember for Charlotte, Charlotte, you have, God has made you stronger, and he thinks you're a tough warrior. For some reason, he thinks I am, too. Because sometimes people who he thinks is tough, he gives a lot of battles to. And Charlotte really hasn't been through anything like that. Think about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's not been through any strong battles. At least not that I'm aware of. I mean, they've always had it made very, very beyond privileged, even more than you were. You know what I mean? And it's just like, 
she never had to deal with that. So she doesn't have those skills that you've developed over just taking it to God, leaving it in God's hands, being strong. You're one of the strongest people, of the, your friends your age, and going through probably some of the most difficult things right now. Mm-hmm. God's holding you and using you because you always said you wanted to be leaders of something and you wanted to, like, be the youth group or, you know, do a spokesperson thing or be on TV about something, you know. But that's the only way he can make you that way. And you're going to come across people that that do that. But Charlotte has always been like a sister. So just keep reaching out. Tell her I ask about her and I love her. I mean, you know, I know it don't mean much right now, but I've always told that child I love her like a kid to me, you know. Because you don't really know what could be going on deep inside that she's not saying. She could be struggling with identity, which is probably hard for you to realize because Charlotte's a beautiful person. But sometimes even the most prettiest people struggle with identity. You know. Yeah. But just just to live that and have you talked to Tona? Hmm? Have you talked to Tona? Not really. Is he still staying at the apartment, or did he move? Yeah, he's still staying there. Yeah. Well, they're going through things in their life right now because, you know, they're not living at home. They were raised better than that, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that people don't make mistakes, you know? Yeah. What is her mom? Is her mom like, I mean, she might just need some therapy. Yeah. Her mom, has you, have you talked to her mom? Yeah. You talked to her mom about it? Yeah. So what did she say? She was just like, we have to just give her time. Oh, and she's right. Yeah. But, and I know sometimes to you it feels like, well, why? I got to be the one give in when I'm doing everything right. Trust me, that has been the hardest lesson to her. I'm sitting here saying the same thing, like, why am I having to continue to do this? Like, God, when I'm doing what you say, do. But you just have to keep doing it. Yeah. Trust me, I have to keep praying every day for people who persecute me. And just remember what Jesus said, if they persecute him, they're going to persecute you. Yeah. So, anybody that is of the world, they don't have to worry about that. But if you're of God then you're going to be persecuted, you know. And yeah. you know, I think she's grown up about around God all of her life, and Sean being strict on her, you know, and then now she don't have to worry about, I don't have to listen to Sean, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, that's your life lesson for today. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you're right about don't put yourself in position with people who are doing the wrong things, but still be there for them. Don't turn your back on them, but, you know, don't put yourself in that position, this position. You have one minute remaining. I went through that with even Amy, like, Lowry, when she went crazy and freaked mm-hmm. out. She was my own sister, and I had to be like, girl, you don't went crazy, you know? And it took a while. It took months before I spoke to Amy, and that's hard to believe that I never, that I even had went that long when we were younger without talking to her. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she was, like, sneaking out and partying and doing stuff, and I was like, oh, God, no. Me and Tila were like, nah, we good. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, all right, love you so much. Have a good day with Sadie. Tell her I love her so much. Okay, love you too. Okay. Hey, there's a new app for the, um, read those emails. There's new apps you have to use for the visits now. Oh, okay, I'll look. Okay, bye, love you. Okay, bye. I'll link. Thank you for using Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> I mailed you a letter back. <laughs> oh, okay. I was actually going to ask if you've been getting my letters because I didn't know whether or not they've been sending out correctly. Yeah, I just got one. I think they said oh, like was it? a couple of weeks or something that they are like bringing it all at once or something. I don't know how it works. Apparently was it somebody the one that was bringing wrote... drugs in or something. I don't know. Oh, no. Was it the one that I wrote in April or the one that I sent out last week? Uh, no, it had to be April, because it was, uh, I don't know, though. It was, yeah, it was, no, it was the one where you talked about being in a hospital. Okay, okay, yeah, that would have been, uh, that would have been back to the end of April, because I sent one out, uh, yeah. last week, too. Okay, good, that, 
I just want to make sure that my letters are still uh, going out now that I have to send them to that other address. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I am. Um, I've had so much going on. Oh, my God. So, um, so check this out. So, well, there was this girl that was talking at her door, and she was like, you know, just saying stuff randomly to different people, whatever, whatever. And uh, she was claiming she do to see a nerd, right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, sitting there listening, and because uh, I call them Missy and others, I don't say the whole name because I just always, I always have a, I say purple instead of purple, like being silly and stuff. But anyway, um, so I'm just sitting there listening to this conversation, and I just feel like, oh, so I go, oh, and she says something about Emma, and I die laughing. I go, oh, how's she doing? And then she goes, oh yeah, girl, did you hear? She was talking about her baby daddy and somebody and somebody's friend or something. Anyway, so then she goes. Yeah, she uh, had a hearing or something, um, WebEx and all this. And I was like, oh, did she? I said, how are the girls oh. doing? I go, I go, how are the girls doing? And she goes, oh, they're so good. And I, said, she, she, I was like, yeah, because, you know, their birthday is coming up uh, May 15th. And she said, oh, yeah, that's right. It is. She said, that's right. I got to make sure I tell them happy birthday. I go dying laughing because I'm sitting there like, first of all, I know the birthday is August 15th. <laughs> because I remember several times being in Mexico. I've been on like, you know, the eastern side of Mexico because, you know, the Cienotos and all that are on the western side of Mexico. But I remember being on the eastern side of Mexico before. Uh, one time when we were there, I think it was in Cosmo, actually. And uh, she had came or whatever for a little bit, but she had to leave because of their birthday. And I remember we were like, oh, Leo's. I'm pretty sure it was August 15th. I know it's August. Because it was like Leo's or whatever. <laughs> so I just started laughing. I didn't say anything. And then she starts talking again about something. And then I said, oh, how's Oviedo doing? And she was like, girl. She said, they shun him out. She was like, you know, he's not really an outsider. I died laughing. I was like, well, <laughs> kind of an outsider, considering he is blood and a son. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just sitting there, I'm sitting there just dying laughing at this conversation that this girl is saying. So then I start getting paranoid, thinking she's like a narc or something, you know? Yeah. And so then um, whenever I got ready to come out, she was like, because we didn't get to come out yesterday, so it was before that. And, she, and I forgot to tell you the other day. She was like, What's up with all the 21 questions? And I was like, oh, I'm just curious that, you know, your knowledge. I was just testing your knowledge. I said, because, you know, sometimes some people come in here and claim that stuff, and I just be like, if I ask them a question, like I ask her, did she know? Like, I said a chant, and I said, did she know the response to the chant? She didn't know it. And I was like, okay, well, first of all, I really don't know the chant like that because I'm not blood. I was like, but I've been around enough to, like, pick it up because I'm not stupid. <laughs> and so I was just sitting there listening to her. Then she comes up to me. She's like, oh. I already heard. I said, heard about what? She said, I heard about you and Edgar. I was like, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> yes. She's like, I already heard about it. Someone asked me about it online before I got arrested. And I was like, oh, oh wow. Cool. Yeah, and she goes, and by the way, I'm supposed to let you know that he said to tell you that you haven't called him. And I'm sitting there like, okay, first of all, he did not tell you this. I know for a fact he did yeah. not. So I'm sitting there like, okay, this chick is totally a narc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just like, man, I looked at her, I go, man, they think I'm stupid, don't they? And she just looks at me like, huh? And she kept trying to, like, yeah, come uh, over. She kept trying to come over and be like, can I use your tablet? And I was like, uh, no. I was like, you think I'm dumb that you think that, um, I, I mean, obviously my thing was, at least they're going to make you be a narc. Give me some real intel, not like you don't even know certain people. Like, come on. Do you do you think that maybe she's one of the, what do they call me, an informant? She could be, or she could be just somebody from some other crazy part, you know, who knows. Yeah. Was, you know, she'd be free. But then she started coming back, throwing up crypt signs. No, oh, sure. God. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, what, does this girl think I'm that stupid? I mean, obviously, <laughs> she must do. I said, first off, I don't call it, I don't say Edgar, and she says it like that, and she's saying it with an American accent, and I'm just trying to make it sound Spanish, even though she is Hispanic, but I'm still sitting there like, looking at her like everyone knows me knows I call him E <laughs> so, you know wow. I mean I'm just like sitting there like looking at her but I thought she'd find that funny because I was when she tripped me out she's like oh yeah I'm gonna have to tell them happy birthday and she was telling me that they were staying with this person I go oh who are they staying with and she went to say the name and I was like I don't know that person I was like oh okay well I have to find out who that is I'm sitting there like she made up some bullshit answer 
It sounds like she was maybe trying to get like, information out of you, thinking that thinking that you would think that she knows all of these people and that you'd be like, oh, yeah, and start telling yeah. her all kinds of stuff. <laughs> she said Anna, like, Arisoli or something like that. And I started thinking, I got wait a minute, that might be the only thing she had right because um, I feel like uh, Emma's, I only knew Emma's Cordona, but, like, I feel like uh, her mom's last name was, like, Arisoli or something like that. Era, huh. I, 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 or Arenada or something. I feel like I remember that being her mom's last name. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. there's, this, there's this backwards. I call them middle names, but really the dad's name is first. But, I, you know, America, I say middle name because it's the second name, but really it's the first, you know, because they don't backwards. Right. But I was like, I was like thinking, I was like, oh, I have to look that up because I'm pretty sure her last name is Arisali Ar- or something like that. I can't remember, but... I do remember seeing the A before on one of the many IDs, but <laughs> but anyway, I was like, "Dana, I was like, I think I'm just an idiot in here." But um, yeah, it was That's funny. Great. Yeah, yeah, I think she was yeah. trying to get information out of you, like thinking that if she just said a couple of the right things, that you would start being like, "Oh yeah, yeah you know, this, that, and the third, and just trying to get information." Yeah. But <laughs> you know, that's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but. Oh. I contacted the well pack, by the way. Oh, you did? I did. So I reached out, yeah, I reached out to them, and I didn't say your name or anything. I just kind of explained the situation, like, hey, you know, I have a friend that's at El Paso County, and just kind of gave them a brief overview and then asked if there was anybody who could, because uh, I sent them an email, asked if there was anybody that could, you know, call or email me so we could talk about it. And they emailed back and said that I would have better luck contacting the facility. So I tried to call El Paso, but I guess they were probably busy. So I went on their website, and they have, like, a contact us where you can, like, send them a message. So I emailed them, too. Um, I didn't the say your name or anything. Or the facility? The facility, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I emailed them, and I told them that, you know, I have a friend there who, you know, you've dealt with well past, but they haven't been very helpful. And then I asked the you know, facility if there's anybody who could call or email me so we could discuss the matter further. And I was waiting to hear back from them. And I figured if I don't get an email back by Monday, then I'll try to call down again and be like, hey, <laughs> I called yeah. an email before I heard anything yet. <laughs> I called them again because, girl, I didn't. Yesterday I was like, I could not get out of bed. I was just in that depressive state where I couldn't even hardly, like, breathe. And my chest was hurting so bad. And I was just, like, semi delusional. But I kept trying to, like, sing gospel music to, like, to stay okay. And uh, she came in and checked on me a few times, the day deputy, because she's pretty good, the day deputy. But um, so she just kept coming in, was like, "You, you all right? Or come to the door?" And I was like, "I don't know." I was like, "I, I was like, I feel like I'm having like some sort of almost like not like a withdrawal or anything, you know, because I've never been on drugs. I have like a withdrawal, but it felt like I was trying to like find something to calm me down, and I couldn't, you know, like I'm searching yeah. for it mentally, physically, and you know, I can't. So I sent him another kite today and was just like, hey, just wondering why you still can't come talk to me, but I, I, I don't understand. You know, because I don't want to come out and tell him, you know, yeah. uh, like, hey, I, I really already had all this, this, and this. <laughs> yeah. You know, because then I mean, they'll be like, what? And then I'm not snitching because I'm not a snitch, you know. So. Yeah. I hope, like I said, I contacted them all past, but they've been made aware of it. So now once I get a hold of El Paso, somebody there, you know, they'll be made yeah. aware of it also. So hopefully that'll kind of expedite the process of somebody coming in and actually helping you aside from just asking questions and not following up, you know? Yeah. And then I was freaked out because I've been trying to figure out sometimes if stuff's real or not, right? So, like, so I counted it. Over the last three days, four girls returned that were already here and got out. And so the oh, wow. one girl, yeah, like they just get out, come back, you know, drugs or whatever. And so the one girl, she reminds me of my sister. So then I couldn't, I was confused if it was my sister or not because I was like, in my mind, I was like, okay, first of all, this is my sister. But then the other side of my brain was like, your sister wouldn't be here. Like, <laughs> you know, why are you freaking yeah. out, you know? So I was freaking out about that because I don't never really talk to my sister. I mean, the last time I talked to her was she, I actually was like a day before I got arrested or two days before, uh, she brought me a suitcase because when I had, um, when I left Colorado, um, I left one of the suitcases at the hotel 
And so my sister, I mean, my mom and my aunt flew the suitcase to North Carolina. You know, so I just okay. still leaving it, still leaving it in the hotel. So then my sister drove it to me in South Carolina. And then I, um, that was the last time I see my sister. Actually, I didn't even, yeah, because I got arrested, you know, like the next day or whatever. And they took the suitcase and the van that I was in and everything anyway. But that was the last time I seen my sister when she brought me that suitcase. So I was sitting there trying to figure it out. I was, like, freaking out. I was like, oh, my God, you know. And I, I was just having such a hard time with that. And I was like, okay, stop. This is not your sister. <laughs> it was just like a struggle. Like then, I, then I have to deal with this deputy, okay. So she thinks she's trying to be, like, a butthole. You know, she... Oh, God, people are so loud. Oh, jeez. Anyway, so, um... She um she won't open my door for breakfast when she works. So she she says she won't open my door. So then sometimes I'll get up and be like, oh, where'd breakfast go? And she'll be like, oh, did I not give you breakfast? And I was like, no. <laughs> what? What is, so, what is she, I know. Then she does it with jumpsuits. So when we get jumpsuits, she won't open my door or whatever. So then she does she it with hygiene, you know, last night or whatever. And she was like, so I was like, do you, did you, like, forget my door again for hygiene? I just really need toilet paper because I've been waiting, like, eight hours. And yeah. so, um, so she was, like, she, she opens the door, and I go, just never mind. I'll just wait till 5 a.m. Because at this point, she was, it was, like, almost 2 o'clock. She's trying to open a door, and I'm just sitting there, like, you did the whole ward, but didn't do me again. You did on purpose. It's obvious, but I'm not going to stoop to your level because you try to, like, get me to stoop to your level. Then she was, like, well, our political and religious views just don't match. And I'm just sitting there like, well, what, what the hell does yeah, that have to do with anything? Yeah, even if, that's, even if her political and religious views don't match up with yours, that, that's not a valid reason to not open your door and give you breakfast. And, you know, I know. That, that's BS. <laughs> so I was sitting there and I was like, when did I ever talk to this lady about any kind of political views or anything? Like, I was like, I have no idea what she's talking about. So then I start thinking about it. And I was like, I was like, oh, God, you know, one time Joe Biden was talking, our fake president, and um, yeah. he, was, he was talking, and um, I, I had things in my ears, and I was like, oh, yeah, Tim Scott's coming on, represent South Carolina, and she probably heard me or whatever, and so I think Joe Biden is trying to make this country a communist country, so I was just saying it to myself in there, you know, I was like, oh, gosh, he's trying to make this a communist country, we've got socialism, he's like Bernie Sanders over here. You know, and he's really pissing me off now because he's screwing with Israel. He's not supporting Israel, which I'm going to tell you now, that's God's country. And so he's just about to be really mad <laughs> if he won't support Israel. You know, so I'm just saying this to myself because I listen to Sean Hannity, you know, talking and stuff. I said, she must have heard that and took offensive to it and thought, you know, I was whatever. But I, I talked to myself and my friends in my room, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <sighs> Man, that, that's crappy, like. I don't know why she thinks that she You have one minute remaining. Yeah. I don't know why she thinks that she can do that. Um, Real quick, did you get your books yet? No, uh-uh. I asked them about them, and I didn't get that or the tree box, but then they told me that the tree box, they were like, oh, we don't deliver those anymore. We don't know why they're on the website. <laughs> so I thought I'd tell I, you to make sure you get a refund. Yeah, I, I messaged them yesterday, the the snack people. And they yes. said they... they package they said it got to the facility and that if you don't get it by may 19th i need to contact them again and they're going to investigate el paso county <laughs> okay this is the communication thing so i thought i'd tell you i don't know who to believe about nothing but i wrote you my letter i wrote you a bunch of stuff that has been happening like miscommunication you're gonna trip out and be like oh my god who is in charge but anyway it's gonna hang up <laughs> but, um, i'll talk to you again well, soon. yeah i hope you have a good rest of the day okay you too bye-bye <laughs> bye tell link well, hello again. Hey, I forgot to tell you to, to uh, you because you said you have to do the visits, right? Like schedule them now. Because I went to go try to do it, and like your name pops up, and it was like can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like, I tried to set one up for Friday, like two days ago, yeah. and then I went through, and then I got an email yesterday that it got canceled. So I went back into the app. And I tried to like reset it back up, but it was saying there was no visitation time. Like they blocked them all out. Let me well, let me log back in and see if they fix that yet. Yeah, because I went up and talked to the lady who's over it. She's actually working in our ward today, over it as far as on the jail side. 
Yeah. She was like, yeah, it was counseling people. If someone scheduled for the same time, it didn't recognize who could pick up what, something. And so it was just counseling everything. And I was like, yeah, okay. We already know this software is a piece of crap. But. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't just leave it with the one that we were using, like why they had to change it up. <laughs> yeah, especially you just figure it out and then they go to being like, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to go through my email and find the app thing here that we sent up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, because I was like, I went to the store yesterday and I got email notification that it got canceled. And I was like, I wonder why. <laughs> well, no, the first thing is, it's still a separate okay. account. It's still your getting out account. Like, Yeah, that's, that's what I don't get. Now, when I set up my account for this thing, like I had to send, I had to send in a picture of my driver's license front and back. I had to give them my social security number. They had to do, like, a background check. Yeah, to, to this app, what, whoever runs it. I'm like, it's weird. But it's the same people. That's what, I, that's what I told Taylor. I was like, I don't get why they're making me do this again. Yeah, okay, so when I log into the app, it says no available time, visitation location, so, like, is, oh, hold on. It's not even giving me the option. It's not, last time I scheduled the visit on here, like, it let me schedule it for, like, an online visit, and it's not even coming up now, so that maybe there's something wrong with the app. I don't know. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I was just going to tell you to do it for 7.15 on my next time out, because tomorrow's 30, then the next day, 6 to 9. But I wonder, hold on, let me see if I can still schedule it through the old app. Let's see if I want me to do that. Yeah. Because, like, it took, it took effect on Wednesday, but we had the video chat on Wednesday, and it worked on the old app. So I'm going to see if I can set it up on the old app so people will go through. Yeah. You had yeah, seven fifteen. Well, that would be oh. today. For the, that'd be Sunday, right? Yeah. Let me see. Nope, it's not even giving me, it won't give me the option to let, it won't let me schedule on the old app anymore. Oh, God. These people are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dom, I'm getting ready to, or I was going to call El Paso here in a few minutes and uh, ask them because, you know, that the company, the secure pack company, they told me yesterday, like, the package is there. So I'm going to call down there and be like, hey, you know, I contacted them. Like, I paid for this. Like, I'd appreciate it if you could at least give it to her because I know you guys have it. <laughs> yeah. And if they try to say something about what they said, then ask them, well, why is it showing up online like that? I mean, yeah, it wasn't and like, like, and I got different stories from different people. Then the one lady was like, oh, you have to be housed in Echo. I was like, well, I was like, it doesn't make any sense because it never showed up before until I got housed here. So why wouldn't a computer recognize that? Like, I don't, y'all yeah. recognize everything else. Like, you tell us we can only send $35 because we're housed in this ward, which that's why yep. I, I didn't, I had to wait to get stamps because, you know, they charge you, girl. Let me tell you, you know the packs of tuna, right? Yeah. The little pack. Tuna's you know, like what? Like a dollar, right? Yeah. She does on the machine. $3.60. Good Lord. I ordered oh one gosh. the other day because I was like, oh, you know, like I got to eat, I don't eat their meat here. So I was like, I need some protein or whatever. I was like, you know, I, I saw the ounces say three ounces and something. And I thought, you know, I knew what that meant. But for some reason in my mind, I was like, oh, that can't be right. You know, for $3.62, it's got to at least be two or three servings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. I think I, it's $3.60 for that one little tuna packet that you eat out of. Oh, my gosh. I, I, was, I told Taylor about the the time they threw away your toothpaste and chapstick and how much it cost yeah. there. I was like, that's insane. <laughs> they took four people out of this ward to prison last night, and you thought it was Christmas. They were, like, cutting cartwheels, like, hallelujah. They were like, oh, I'm <laughs> eat food that doesn't cost an exorbitant amount. And they were like, yeah, I'm telling you, soup's only 50 cents. They were like, and you can yeah. have a job, and you can work out, and you can do this. And they were like, and you could go to church, and you could talk to people, and yada, 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 yada. <laughs> They were like, cut, like, yay! What was all of I was like, what is going on? They're like, yay! Praise God! <laughs> I was like, I, I bet. I know. I was you like, know what? Okay. The other thing too, like, I got I got the email from uh, Barnes and Noble because I signed up for like a uh, email and text alerts uh, yeah. for the shipping and tracking all that stuff. So it was Monday, no Tuesday. Tuesday I got the email that it was delivered to the facility, and I could even see the name of the person who signed off like for receiving the package. Okay. Like, I know your books are there. I'm just like. I, I definitely, um, yes, and it says on the, their website, the jail's website, that they hand out mail at their discretion. But I'm like, how yeah. long do I need to hold on to it for? <laughs> well, the lady that does the um, 
that comes and collects my books because she just came and collect books it just yeah. yesterday. And I was like, hey, I said, aren't you a books deliver? She said, I actually think you have a lot here. She was like, but you know the process I have to go through with your books. And I, without her having to tell me, I knew what she meant. I was like, all right. Yeah. So have to go through and make sure there's nothing in them. <laughs> and they copy the names and titles and all that stuff, you know, and all that. But she was just basically saying, give me a few days, basically. I was like, all right. Cool. Yeah, as long as as long as they, they got there, which, which they did, which is good, and as long as you get them, that's good, too. Like I said, I ordered you the, the three books that you had gave me that one day that you would like to read. I just ordered all three of them. That way you'd have some, some stuff to do to kind of pass the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Josh but. was like, is this all you read? I, was like, I, I never read anything beforehand. I said, but when I got here, that's all they were, you know? Yeah. So when I, I was like, and I know once they got there, that's all they read, you know? So. Let's see, you know, reading a good book that'll help, you know, kind of kill some time when if they don't let you out, you know, like why didn't they let you guys out yesterday? Well, they had meds and and all this stuff, and then the lady that comes in, if she comes in at ten, she would not let that group out. She will walk around oh, really? here, claim it takes, claim that it takes an hour for her to check and do hands and face and check, make sure everybody's alive and all that stuff. So I was just. I was like, well, we ain't coming out. Cause she's coming in, we ain't coming out. <laughs> is, that, is that the one that gives you the trouble? No, no, no. I actually like this one. The, she just don't give out hygiene. <laughs> she's, oh. the one, she's the one that won't give tampons and stuff, and then the girl end up going out and punching her. Yeah. Oh, it was that lady? <laughs> yeah, oh, she, man. Yeah, she does that a lot, and they just, you know. But then it was so crazy because the girl was freaking out because she wouldn't give her her food. Like, what she did is she went around and gave everybody her food. Then she made her wait, like, 20 more minutes before she served her food. And the girl was like, she's not feeding me. She's not feeding me. <laughs> I don't know how they get, like, I don't know how they get away with, like, treating people like that because it's, like, a direct violation of what they're supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Well, they do what they want to do here, and they don't ever... You could kite all day long. You can grieve them all day long. It doesn't matter. That's what I just be telling people. Like, you're wasting your time. I just do it just to be having a document of dates and times. I was like, but you're really wasting your time if you think you're going to get a response back. And everybody's always like, we never heard anything, or they write back a bullshit answer. I was like, that's what they do, because they wrote that girl back and said, the handbook says it will be getting... You'll get it on your timeout. It does not. She showed everybody the handbook. We all read it. No, it says... <laughs> As needed, you get hygiene as needed, and they pre- pretty much take it and turn it into whatever they want to want it to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know, like, like just go along with it. All, you know? Yeah. All all the times that I've called up there to like talk to somebody about you know whatever, like they're they're very nice. Like they've yeah. always been very nice to me, but they've not. None of them have been very helpful. Like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and they'll flat out tell me too. Like they don't even try to hide it. Like the the one time that I called and. That dude, like, flat out told me on the phone, like, yeah, the communication here is terrible. Like, well, if you know me. it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. They came to get me and restraint, had restraints, and I came down the stairs. I was like, why do I got to get restraints? They're like, you have court. I was like, uh, but I thought it was WebEx. And she was like, it is. And I was like, I've been to how many WebExes, and I don't have to be restrained. I, d- I don't understand. She was like, yeah, but because it's court, we have to do it. I was, just, I was like, never mind, I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> I went back in my room, and then she came back, and she apologized. I'm sorry. She said, the communication didn't get to me and let me know that you didn't have to, you know, do it here in the building. I was like, it's been like this, like, two months now. I don't – how did the communication not get out? Just, yeah, you would think it would be common sense if you're sitting in front of a computer, like, in the facility. Like, you probably don't – I mean, I guess I, I understand, like, the protocol, like, it's, like – an inmate has to leave the building, but, like, if you're yeah. staying there and getting on the computer, like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, oh my like, gosh. what are you going to do? You're going to run to the door and beep and be like, I'm an officer, and they're going to look at you on the camera and be like, you're right, you ain't going out. <laughs> 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 like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's was like, that, um, secure, was you know? hearing on Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I tried to log into WebEx. It was, like, 5.25 my time. And I was like, oh, snap, I forgot. So I logged into WebEx, but nothing had started yet. And then my phone died, and I wasn't at the house. I didn't have my charger, and I was like, dang No, I think it was done. (laughs) Oh, okay. I might have gotten there too late. (laughs) Yeah, it had to be, because I literally was there for five minutes. Oh, really? It was just like, because I guess he had already submitted the entry of appearance. 
like oh, okay. to the court system or something. And the judge had already signed it. He just had to officially say it. So he literally just said, hey, you know, Mr. Tomini, how long do you need for the presumption of grade hearing? Which he already knows I'm not having it anyway. But he just has yeah, to Yeah, I was going to... I was going to ask how that was going to work out now that he's going to be, like, your attorney. Like, if you were still going to waive that or if, like, he was going to do it, like, how's it going to work out? Yeah, I am. He told me that he was like, there's some things that are totally your decision. There's some things that I have to make as a decision, you know, that I think is best. He was like, you know, that's just one of them. I'm going to let that be your decision. So when the... I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm here, and I said, there's a right to a speedy. I said, and I'm ready just to go ahead. I said, so, yes, I want to go ahead and pass that. And he's like, well, let's just um, set it anyway. He was like, and then we'll figure out, you know, the process from there or whatever. Because we have, a, like, a plan and play for some stuff. And so he was like, let's just um, let's just do that first and talk, you know, and then we will we can put that in there. Like, it, we're in no hurry to tell them that, you know. Yeah. I mean, they hear me saying that. I'm saying, but, like, we're in no hurry to be like, do it right now. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. When um, when is all like? I know they. I know was it like two weeks ago? I know they kind of delayed everything until August. Is it still like no? We did it September on purpose, and you'll see why later. Oh, I'm excited. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, we did that. Um, What on? He had a trial schedule, so I don't want to say on purpose and you know mislead the fact that he's no, he's but. We talked about it being September for a specific reason, but then at the same time, his trial schedule was booked a lot anyway, so it just made more sense. But if yeah, you're going to wave it, out. yeah, if you're going to wave it, it really, you know what I'm saying, it wouldn't matter anyway. It was just, you know, getting some stuff into play now. You know, like, I got those, uh, order of those records from uh, South Carolina, and that's all good to go. We just got to get the ones from Canada. Like, I got the information from Canada, but... We just haven't got the records from Canada. Um, so, like, he just wanted all that stuff, you know. Yeah, that. makes sense. I mean, that gives, that gives him, like, plenty of time to get all that stuff because I'm sure it hopefully shouldn't take that long to get those records from Canada because, you know, yeah. from here to September, it's a decent amount of time, and then, you know, he well, can catch up to – Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, and then on top of that, you know, how well Path is acting here, that's giving him more of a, you know, rope to kind of just be like, well – you keep doing this, doing this, and doing this, and, like, I haven't had nothing since April. And so, like, I can feel that I get two or three days or I'll just stay in there. And I'll, Like, yesterday didn't bother me staying in too bad because I was already so super depressed, and then my anxiety and depression, and I went man- manic, and then I came back down. You know what I mean? And so, like, I can feel myself getting more and more like that each like each day, you know? And I was like, that's why I, I got to get something done because if I don't, I mean, it's been since April. You have one minute remaining. It was funny because <laughs> when I told him that, he was like, "All oh, basically, he was like, oh, that makes sense now. Why like, you were, like, basically on such a good behavior at the state hospital. I was like, heck, yeah, because I was ready to get the heck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I was like, now, oh, I said, they tricked me like that in Florida, and I gave them my wrong name because they put me in a, a mental health hospital in Florida, and I gave them my wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one. That's funny. I don't blame you. Hell yeah, because um, I like being around them. And that dude was trying to be, his name was Gray, and I was like freaking out. And I was like, what do you think? You're Meredith Gray? <laughs> From Gray's Anatomy? Yeah. I was like, I got to get up out of here. I said, I was like, man, I'm just on some H2O up in here and some high quality <laughs> stuff, man. I got to go. I got to be on my best behavior like a good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> And he wrote a report. He wrote a report. Oh my gosh, wonderful behavior. I'm like, heck yeah, you would be too if you were about three sheets in the wind. (laughs) Yeah, no joke. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Link. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, I just got home. It's about to be a while. You should. You just got home and what? I was doing uh, some DoorDash, you know? Oh, you are? I just got home with all the dogs. The dogs are attacking. Oh, my God. Wait, how yeah, many dogs are there? What? How many dogs are there? I thought you only had one. Three. I have Lenny. Alyssa has Coco. And then I have a foster puppy. His Wait, you got a foster puppy, too? 
Yeah, he might be going to a new home, though. He's Ooh. meeting a possible new dad today. Boxers are loud. Hey, hey, get out of here. <laughs> How come my air cards aren't connecting? Oh, because my Bluetooth's not off. So, I got that thing to work. Yeah. You told me how to do it. But when I go to Connect Network, it doesn't give me any option to add money to that account. Like, it only does the phone account. It doesn't give me a choice for the face sign. Is that the, um, the GTL Visit Me app? Go visit was the name of it, I think. I think it says go visit. But then you told me to go on the regular website to add money. So I went on the regular website, but it's, it's only letting me do the phone. It's not letting me, it's not giving me another option for the GTL. Okay, so they, they sent us a message so everybody could get the right out. And they said go or write website. They said go to GTL visit me. Okay. And that should work. Because I guess people were having some of the same problems. But it's supposed to be on GTL. Visit me. They changed. Okay. The so you're, the middle. So, okay. It is different. It does look different than the other. Yeah. One. I don't know. They did. They just came here and told us that we can't have t-shirts anymore, long sleeves, or no socks after May 31st. So they do some crazy stuff. T-shirts? Well, wait. You can't have long sleeve t-shirts. Yeah, no socks. Or socks. Why? What's the reasoning? I don't know. They just came in and handed us a letter, and so they'll be confiscated on May 31st. Because it's too warm, or? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> well, that, like, what? I just don't understand. Like, what is the reasoning? <laughs> well, they can't right, say so because yeah, people try to hurt themselves. Guys. Because if you wanted to hurt yourself the same as a pair of socks, you could do it with your pair of pants. <laughs> so it's not, true. It's not logical. And socks? Yeah, and don't you all wear pants? Like, aren't that what you're, like, required to wear or something? Yeah, but I'm saying if you were in your room, you take your pants off. So, like, if somebody really wanted to hang themselves, they're going to figure out a way. And you know what I mean? Socks. Oh, you know I saying? just thought maybe they were like, hey, the weather's nice. You don't need them anymore. I don't know. No, they just, just like. Does your weather one, still suck? This one girl, she took her cover and braided it. And made this contraption and pretty much hung herself. So, I mean... Did she die? No, but she had to go to hospital. But then the one dude did it. He did die because he tied it around his leg, and then he straightened his leg out and it cracked his neck. So, I mean... These people are kind of stupid. It's no different, you know what I'm saying? It's just that they always have to come up with something to have some form of control, you know what I mean? Because, you know, our country's about to turn into shit hell because we ain't supporting Israel. And so, you know. So, what is, I don't know what that means. Like, you know I'm not good at, like, government and stuff. What, I don't know what that means. Like, what about, like, why Israel? What's up with those guys? Well, first of all, Israel is our biggest ally in the Midwest. Uh, in the Midwest. In the Middle East. And then they have a lot of our intelligence stuff there. And uh, they give us a lot of information on Iran. Well, you got Russia and China supporting Iran right now. And then you got Gaza borders, they're shooting missiles at each other right now. But then you got to remember what Israel is and what the city of Jerusalem is. That's the Holy Land. Okay. Uh, you know, because we got this president who's a socialist and he wants to make everything be, you know, communism. So. That's what um, Mills, uh, our social studies teacher, was talking about communism the other day. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> We're about to be like, like I, don't even know what, I don't even know what a communist is. <laughs> so then he tries, then he's drunk trying to go into this, teach me a communism lesson. I'm like, yeah, you should just tell me this when you're not drunk. I'm like, yeah, you're well, losing me, buddy. It's kind of pointless. He's trying to be just like Bernie Sanders and crew. And what's his name? Jazz Blast, the jackass, or whatever his name is in Congress. And so yeah, so. so it's funny you still know all this shit and you're in jail. And I'm like, I well, don't know. Well, I, I have my radio and I'm a huge Sean Hannity fan. Oh, you do have a radio. I forgot you just have that. Yeah. So and I mean, you get to go, well, now you get like a laptop and stuff, right? Well, we have the tablets. We can get news and stuff. It's the same. 
but yeah, mm-hmm. I, mean, I listen to Sean Hannity, and me and him agree totally, like 99% on everything anyway, so. I mean, our president puts on the news that we're a racist country. No, we're not a racist country. There's people who are racist all around the world, but it doesn't make the country yeah. racist. That doesn't work, yeah. I mean, that's just like, there's some bad cops, so that doesn't mean every yeah. cop is a bad cop. Yeah, exactly. That whole concept, too, so... Yeah, so yeah. we'll be doomed from hell anyway. So, you know, they got all these people trying to get their last minute controls in here anyway. So they want to take socks and all that. But it's okay. Years. Well, we don't support Israel pretty soon and the world starts falling the hill and back. They're going to wish that they had a... <clears throat> Tell them, girl. Write a letter. Know, you ain't got nothing else. You write a letter. <laughs> what else you got to do? I don't care. I mean, freaking <laughs> Biden would be sitting around... Playing with himself or something. He he ain't paying attention to America. No. Oh man. I don't. I haven't seen like anything that he's done so far since he's been president. Like I haven't. And he's got this whole he's energy done. thing going on in his mind that he thinks he's gonna have going on, and it's like, what the heck are you talking about, dude? Right now. He's, they Is that why someone came into my house about getting solar panels? It's like a government program. That I can well, get in on if I get solar panels or something? People are trying to make, because see, you know the gas shortage in those states, right? That's going on. Well, Yeah, that, the was that the thing where someone stole all the, or, or something different, where the the pipeline was hacked over here in my state? Yeah. Well, but then here's the problem. He's, they're trying to let the um, EPA come in and, and shut down some of the coal mining and all that stuff in states like West Virginia. Then you're going to screw over Montana and all them states like that. And, like, they said there's a print sending it to the Supreme Court to rule on it. But mm, who knows? This is just craziness out there. I'd be, I'd be hearing some of that stuff, and I'd be like, oh, all hell is breaking loose, man. So, so you're, you're almost just like I'm better off in here? Like, I mean, well. you don't. You, you're about to be in a communist country. I mean, have your social studies teacher tell you more whenever he's sober. You're about to be in it. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's also not the smartest, though, Tisha. So he might he's have moving that part to Guatemala. Down, he what? Yeah, he's actually he's moving to Guatemala to do teaching an international school. He got oh. a two year contract there, so he's going to do that next year. And then my other teacher friend, that's an English teacher, she's going back to Pennsylvania. So I'm not gonna have no friends anymore. Well, don't feel bad. I don't have any friends either. My friend, you are 2,200 miles away. <laughs> You're 2,700 miles away. And we could just be a happy hour today, but, you know, we can't. So. Yeah, we could. F them. <laughs> you know what? Damn it, you ruined our happy hour. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And you now and now your freaking court, they got me back again. What? You got your court date got pushed back again. Oh, like, I'm going to be in there forever because they keep I'm not having that back. hearing. But we're not having that hearing. The the one on, in, what is yeah. it, September? Yeah, we're going to. Oh, we're not having that. that? No, we're waving oh. it. We so just then what will happen? Do you still have to trial. wait until September? No, we got to wait for something else before we do that. Okay. And then we'll I just feel bad you have to just keep sitting there forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I got, I got Tawini as my attorney now, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean... He seems cool. I mean, he seems like he cares himself, so... And he's one of the best attorneys in the state of Colorado. So. Good. All right, good. Yeah. So, and, and then you did the other the girl go to Mexico? Well, she's supposed to come next week because she don't want to go when it's hot. And I was like, because she's going to go to South Carolina, right. too. Well, not hot. Oh. You know, these people in Colorado can't deal with that humidity. They don't know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, my God. So, uh, we'll just, we'll talk Show about that, but, uh, it doesn't matter, though, because she can still log into my iCloud, so it don't matter. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, but, she, but she I just want to make sure everything's on. okay with all of them down there, too, you know, like, we don't want anybody to hurt Harley or anything. No. No. They, you ain't got to worry about that. That's already been taken care of. Okay. Yeah. She's... She, not, I guess Sadie survived, so. Yeah, it might not seem like it, but on the outside surface, that's been taken care of. Somebody bought it Harley, they're going to be a hard thing going on that's going to not be good. And that's that's good. the deal I put out there. If I'm not a snitch, you better take care of my child. <coughs> yep. <Better. clears throat> I'll beat their ass, too. I don't care. <laughs> I'll 
scary they are. I'm coming for them. Yeah. So. Yeah, they had this girl came up to me the other day, and she was trying to talk about something. And uh, she had all of her information wrong. I was dying laughing because I was like, man, you think I'm stupid? I was like, you're a narc. I was like, we're an informant. I said, but they didn't give you the right information that you're trying to get information out of me from. I was like, you don't even know dates. I didn't tell her this, but I was just laughing. I was like, you don't even know dates. You don't even know people's middle name, last name. You don't even, like, <laughs> you think I'm stupid. Was she, like, I'm trying to be laughing. your friend or something? Well, you know, she was talking randomly in the ward, but then she was saying, and then she, cause then she came to me and she was like, she said something about Edgar. She was like, well, first off, I was like, I don't even call him that, so I know he didn't tell you to tell me that. I was like, because I already talked to him, like, not long ago, and then I had even done it with Caitlin. I was like, so I'm... I know better because <laughs> uh, I had already yeah. told Caitlin about that conversation and we went over it and everything. And so she was, so the girl was trying to say that. And I said, anybody right my nose, I don't call Oh, like that. Edgar talked to me. Oh, okay. Oh, because I talked to him a couple gotcha. times. Yeah. And so. Um, so she was trying to say she talked to him or knew him right. or something. Right, and gotcha. I'm just sitting there laughing. I was like, <laughs> so I asked her what the code was. How would some random person in the jail talk to him like that? Well, like? she's claiming that she's claiming she's got affiliations with the Cianors, and I'm like, okay. So I asked her what was the code, and she was like, well, you know, I can't tell you that. And I was like, first off, <laughs> I was like, you could. I said, if you're an outsider. I said, if you're an insider, you don't. You have a different one. I said, so you're coming to me as an outsider, then what is it? Because I'm an outsider, too, so, you know, what is it? I was just laughing. Are you, uh... I think I'm stupid. Like, are you sure you trust these people and stuff? Like... Trust who? The Mexicans? Is that what they're called? Mexicans, or are they called Hispanics? I know you can't mess up the... I'm not worried about it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what... They do, or they might. They plead the fifth, but don't plead the fifth. The evidence shows it's not me. That's all that matters. I know, but what if you get subpoenaed later on, and they think you broke their trust? Then what? No, you plead. You plead the fifth. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why you have a Fifth Amendment. You don't have to no. say anything about anybody else. You don't. You don't have to tell about their involvement or anything. I mean, you don't. That's, you don't know anything. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but in, they're in Mexico, right? Like the other country. Like, is that one of the countries where like you can take other people from and bring them to our country? You know, like some days, some countries you can, but some you can't. Or something called extradition or something like that. Or what's it called? Well, he has he has dual citizenship, so it doesn't matter. Ah. Okay. He has dual citizenship. I mean, most people in the family do have dual. How do you get that? Oh, you yeah. either one of your parents can be from the United States and one from Mexico, and then the child would have okay. a citizenship. Or you marry gotcha. a U.S. citizen. Someone or, from, gotcha, okay. Or a U.S. citizen. Is his wife American, or is she Spanish, too? So You have one minute remaining. Are you not allowed to tell me? It's okay. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, Edgar's, so my Edgar? Yeah, his wife. He doesn't, he doesn't have a wife. No, his. Oh, I thought that he his, did have one now. No, his granddad's wife, she was born in America, in Los Angeles. And mm-hmm. uh, she has dual citizenship. So that but gives she, him it then, because it's the son. But she she got, they caught her in Washington at the border. Well, why? I mean... Trafficking stuff in the United dual States. Cit- yeah, but I thought if she has dual citizenship, she's allowed to come to the United States. Yeah, but she was trafficking, supposedly, allegedly. Oh, yeah, you can't traffic. Yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> that's frowned upon. Yeah, yeah, that's frowned upon in our country. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, sometimes, yeah, they have to do what they have to do, I guess. Yeah, I just watched a whole, like, show called Un- Unauthorized Living, and it was, like, drug trafficking go down in, uh... I don't think- Thank you for using Global Telling. Telling. All right. Sorry. Anyway. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so I was going to say, I was like, you don't mess with people like that, though. Like, you don't even give them real relationships. I sure as heck wouldn't. Well, you don't even give real relationships. You see what I'm saying? Like, I say granddad, but I'm not going to tell you the real relationship. You see what I'm saying? So that you just yeah, don't. Gotcha. You don't say that type of thing. Like, that's just not how they do it. They don't be playing, man. I mean, your body parts end up in places it shouldn't be. I mean, they have this. I remember one time. Yeah. 
I was in uh, I was in Mexico one time, and I don't remember how long I was there or whatever, but uh, they had this thing going on. I was terrified. That's why I'm terrified of Mexico. But anyway, so they had these little houses, and they're like underground houses. And uh, so they'd be taking – I didn't ever go to underground houses. This is what one of the guides – one of the guys that were like there with us had told us and he said like about crossing them and stuff they take people to these underground houses or whatever and basically like demolish them <laughs> that's crazy but I believe it though that's no it, it's definitely okay. real then you know they do the tours I haven't watched too much TV they so for tours what they do is like on planes and stuff like that sometimes and you get to certain areas you go on these certain things they put they put stuff in with the fuel so that your plane, like, goes down and lands, and you land in the middle of, like, the crazy part or, like, the mountains or, like, the, I think it's, like, the Palpamoas Mountains what? or whatever. Yeah, and so, like, they get you down there. They take all your American money and stuff like that. They drug you and, yeah. Sell the women for sex, probably, or take something. Take advantage of you, like, you know. Come to your. Well, you're making me really never want to go to Mexico. So come to your house, and you <laughs> might be like whatever, terrified, force you to give them stuff. Like you're smart. Think about it. They don't. It doesn't now, matter. Is this all? Is this like all of Mexico? Is just like certain parts? Like there's bad parts and oh, there's good parts. Pretty much all of Mexico, because <laughs> there's different mm-hmm. cartels around different parts of Mexico. So like the Sinaloa is one like the Tijuana side all the way down to, like, Guadalajara and all that. And then you got different ones. And they, like, don't cross each other, right? Right, because one time that happened, there was a cross, and, like, uh, Edgar was, I had, I had went to Florida, and I had met up with him, whatever. But anyway, so there was something going on in Mexico, he had to get back. But it was about one of the leaders' son had crossed over to the other person's territory, so that son captured the other one's son and held him. Well, he sent a message to him and said, hey, I know where your son is at. Your son's in a prison that I have control of. So if you want him to be alive tomorrow, then you better let my son go. <laughs> mm. Maybe, maybe crazy. But no, there's good things. Like if you go into like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta or something like that, yeah. just stay in the tourist areas. Don't, you know, don't get in the car and. You know, like one time. Well, I'm not going anytime soon. So. Yeah, one time me and Albert were there, and that was when remember they Albert was so drugged up, up in a wheelchair, and uh, they came and got me. He was like, "Do you know this man?" I was like, uh, "Why? What do you do?" And he was like, "So drugged up." Uh. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like video recording him. It's on my phone, like, and I'm maybe, video recording maybe. him. <laughs> I had him in the shower, and I was taking the water, throwing him on in the shower, like, "Wake up! Wake up! Wake up!" Like, what is wrong what with was you? Wrong with him? That he had to go in a wheelchair. They gave drugged him or something? Okay, he says that someone put something in his drink, but I'm telling gotcha. you, he asked him for something, and he drank with it, and he went crazy. But so like we had got a rental car because I told him I said hey I said I need to go see somebody real quick or whatever and he was like you're he's like where are you taking me I was like we're you don't have to go I mean if you're scared stay here you know what I mean he was like no I want to go so we get in the car and we leave the resort you have to tell them when you're leaving the resort you have to be like hey I'm leaving I'm going to this place this because they want to know if you don't come back. You're just an American missing. They want to know where you want to go. Right, right, right. And plus, you didn't yep. want to know, you know. So I got in the car, and, you know, whenever, whatever. And I talked to, I knew a little bit of Spanish getting the gas because I know they try to teach you with the pesos on the gas because they don't give you gas in gallons, they give you in liters. And so, you know, like mm. we did that. We got on the back roads, went on dirt roads. And, you know, Albert was all like scared. I was like, oh my God, we're going to die. I'm like, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Anyway, so we did whatever we had to do, whatever. Then, that would have been me. I would be like, we're going to die to you. <laughs> we did whatever we had to do, whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, and so then, okay, Albert had nothing to drink with these people now. Nothing. Whenever we went there, we had nothing, no, nothing at all. He gets back to the resort, and then, like, an hour later, I'm going out taking pictures to GoPro. Next thing I know, he's in a wheelchair. I'm sitting there like, okay, you could have blamed people so that we went. He had us taken something. Yeah, I said, you want to blame people we went and visited when they gave you nothing, talking to us, said nothing, unless you asked them for something and you took it. Like, come on. You didn't come stupid. Yeah. And, like, he always did that, you know what I mean? Like, on the cruise, I remember I told you that, or was it, it was somebody I told but um, he um had put, I saw that white stuff in my wine glass in the Bahamas. And I looked, I was yep. like, what is yep. all this stuff in there? And he was trying to drug me. Is <laughs> so, it like yeah. cocaine or is it like a, like I don't a, know. 
Like the a fire. fentanyl, like a, what's it called, the roofie. It could have been fentanyl or something. Who knows? In 30s or something. Who knows? Fentanyl will kill you. Well, you know, that's that's pretty bad. Like, but see, that was the thing about, uh, for Albert, he knew that stuff like that he didn't have to worry about. Like, it's, it wasn't going to be showing up, you know, next week on his test if he uh, had tests or some shit like that, you know. Oh, I didn't know that that happened. Yeah. And so <clears throat> that's just where you get involved in that craziness like that. And see, mine weren't even nothing to do with that. I just was running sports gambling bets everywhere. And it was totally legal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, my horse, you wouldn't have been on the derby. All oh, right. Because we were at the derby one year. And I made I made a cotton of money off that. You know? That just happened. Yeah, though. And the guy, they, he tested, they said the horse tested positive too much drugs. Uh-oh. So yeah, did he get his title taken away then? I think they're investigating it, yeah, because it was a triple crown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah. So, like, all that going on, you know. Like, why would you drug the horse? Because you know they're going to check that shit. Anyway. Like, I don't well, understand you can why get you a certain amount. Like, so There's a certain amount you can take because the horse is obviously having a train, 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 and they want it to not be in pain. So they let you have a certain amount of certain stuff to keep you from having, like, you know, your muscles, you know, tightening up as a horse. Because they don't, you know, they don't want to hurt animals. That's the whole point of it. But if you give yeah. the animal too much or the wrong stuff, then that's when it kind of whatever. And I think that's what happened. But the, the guy, the rider was like. You have 60 seconds remaining. Anyway. So I thought I'd just tell you that before I hung out and I'm in the middle of a conversation about, oh, my God, God these people were yeah, crazy as heck. <laughs> but, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm glad I got to talk to you again. So yeah. Did you say I guess? Huh? Did you say I guess? Yeah, guess. What? Oh, I thought you said I guess. I'm glad I got to talk to you. <laughs> like, no, I'm, oh, glad, yeah? I'm glad I got to talk to you. <laughs> All right. I'll talk yeah. to you again soon. <laughs> tell Mom hello. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Global Tell Link. Thank you for using. Hello, hello. Hey, it's not working for me to add money. So I was like, oh, God. Oh, it's all good. I still have like 20 bucks on my account. So you're good. Okay. I was like, oh, man. What's up? (laughs) Well, not much here. I just came back inside from me and the girls were out back. We were playing with uh, Chalk and the dog outside. How's your day going? Oh, it's okay. I've just been laying down all day, not much motivation to do anything, and just kind of doing my little wired-up thing right now until I go back into my zombie mode again. Did you, uh, how how was yesterday we got off the phone? Did you, did you sleep last night, or what's going on? Yeah, I did. I just stayed in bed all day until they opened our doors at 3 o'clock. I wasn't sleeping. I just kind of just, I don't know, just have no motivation to do anything. I get, I have days like that too sometimes. Yeah. And then I just keep getting so like anxiety sick, like drawing up and my stomach and just like pressure on my chest and, you know. What are you, what are you anxious about? I don't know. I just think that, well, okay, so I hadn't saw any of the people trying to bother me anymore until this morning. And then this morning where I like, I don't know, the sun had came up or whatever. No, I was looking outside, and sure enough, those stupid people were out there, and they're trying to get me again. I'm just, I don't know. Who who was it, exactly? It's these, like people, people? With the, it's these people with the cameras, and they just have all oh. their cameras. Yeah, and I just hate yeah. that. They just stand out there with their cameras the whole time, and I just try to get away from the window. You know. Do they work for, like, the news station out there, or? No, because they wear these like ninja things under head. Huh. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of scary. Yeah, they have like these ties around the head, like black band black bandanas or something, you know. Yeah, I would be uh, trying to keep out of the window too. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. When did they uh, when did they start coming out? Was that yesterday or just today? Well, they hadn't bothered me in probably like a week or so. And they came back this morning, and I'm just like, I guess they had vacation time or something. Who knows? Yeah. I would just try to keep your distance, you know, as, as much as you can. <laughs> yeah, and then they turn, they're they taking our socks away and our long sleeves. What? Yeah. Now, how do they expect you guys to keep warm? Because I know you said it's cold in there, and I can imagine. How do they expect you guys to do you have blankets at least? Yeah, but... 
they have like all these little holes in them from people tearing them and braiding them and fishing with them and stuff like that. What's like what's their reason behind taking away like I, I I guess I can understand the sock thing just because you know you told me about the socks and stuff, but why the long sleeves? Well, they try to do too much with people and like hurting themselves and stuff. But here's the thing: if somebody really wants to hurt themselves, they're gonna do it. They're not gonna talk about it. They're not gonna threaten. They're just gonna do it. And there's nothing yeah. that you're gonna be able to do to stop them. I'm sorry to say that, but they're they're just not a true person that wants to do that. Is driven by a different force. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah. you still have your pants, you know, and things like that. So it's not like you're keeping them. You still have covers that people tear and do things with. So it's not like you're keeping them from doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I, I've never understood because, I mean, taking away the long sleeves, if somebody really wants to do it, like, they'll just use their pant legs. Yeah. And you can't, I mean, we can't walk around without pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. They probably wouldn't like. They probably wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, like if somebody really wanted to do that, I mean, they'd go in that shower and use all that concrete in there and bust their head wide open or something. You know what I mean? Or yeah, they, or they would jump off the stairs or something. Yeah, or like pens, like riding pens. Or I mean, there's so many ways that somebody's creative enough to creative enough to do it. They're gonna do it. And most times, if someone's planning to do it, want to do it, they're gonna come up with a way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's dumb because, you know, the long sleeve thing, I'm sure that helps keep you guys warm. Yeah, and I'm not saying there. don't protect people or whatever. That's not what I'm saying, but... Oh, no, I I know. I, but go ahead. It's always just somebody doing too much around here. They don't have communication for the right shit, but boy, they do it to take away stuff. <laughs> right? Did you, uh, have they brought you your books yet? No, they the mailroom don't come back till Monday, so they should bring them Monday. Oh. Okay, yeah, because I, yeah. I ended up calling them last night, and they just told me the same thing, that, you know, they'll they hand out mail at kind of their discretion when they're able to, so I was just like, okay. But they didn't say they were there, so. What did they say about the box thing? That it was just there? So the, the, the lady that I talked to said that she didn't really know much about it, so she would have to ask somebody else. But I was just like, okay, well, I'll just call back on Monday. <laughs> and get a hold of somebody else who might know. <laughs> that's but. that's how it goes around in here. I mean, the guy came to me to hand me the paper about the socks, and he was like, give this to you, silly. And I'm like, look, and I'm like, okay. If you know these wards enough, you know that the end units do not have multiple beds. They're single filled yeah. for people who have to be single filled. I don't know. It just, but you got to take our stuff away, though. Uh, you would think that the position these people have, they'd be a little bit more, I guess, professional. I guess would be the right word. I don't know. You know, they'd be on top of things, like everything they should be on top of. Have you um have you heard from Harley at all lately? Uh, I talked to her yesterday. She took Har- Sadie to um get her nails done, like clipped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was like, she was telling me that. Her best friend that she's been with, you know, been one of her best friends she's been with for fifth grade. She said, "We're not friends anymore. We're not ask about her." I was like, "Huh?" And apparently, oh. the girl, the girl is like wilding out and drinking and partying. And with well, the girl, I mean, her and Harley grew up together ever since elementary. But her parents are pretty. Harley lived middle class life, but her this girl's parents are pretty rich. But um, oh. their family though is, I mean, I mean, I've always. Went to their house for Christmas, holidays, that type of thing. But, you know, it kind of was troublesome to me because she's the lady that was let, taking, that was signing them up to go to these to uh, those uh, Black Lives Matter events. Yeah. And that's the one that I got kind of upset. Like, she had done that, you know, like, they weren't old enough to be doing that. It was it had been different if she'd have been going with them, you know what I mean? And, like, right. teach them. But anyway, so then this girl... Probably said she just wrote back and told her she was like, well, you know, I'm not going to do go do any of that stuff. She said I really just go shopping or Starbucks or the dogs or church. And, and this girl grew up in a church, but she was like, she's just like running from God now. And her dad's been a preacher, you know, like a seeker. Her mom's a preacher in the prisons and stuff like that. And Jill's. 
And so, I don't know, Holly's like, I don't know what's wrong with her. And I said, just give her time. I was like, you know, just be there for her. She's like, I told her I'd pray for her, and she got mad at me. So that's all you can do for me? Oh, wow. And so she's like, you know, like I know, Charlotte, that's the best thing I can do for you. You grew up in the church. You know, like, I don't I don't know what else to do for you but pray for you. And if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> yeah, she's probably just going through that rebellious stage, you know, yeah. that independent rebellious stage to go out and experiment. Yeah. And see, her dad didn't raise her. Her stepdad did. So she's on benefits. She's on military benefits from her stepdad because her stepdad got medical retirement and stuff like that. So uh, they get to go to Coastal for free. They get a, um, because he's medically retired, they get a GI Bill every month, like $1,100. Whatever the cost of living is for Myrtle Beach now might be $1,400. But, um, and all that stuff. So she's never, and she, but she's worked though now. The child's worked. But I mean, she also buys $300 purses, $500 purses, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. But um, I just think it's all, you know, that's what the Bible talks about, about greed and the love of money. Eventually, you can be happy in the world. People wonder why these famous people get depressed and suicidal and all that. And you're like, how can they be depressed? They got all this money, fame. But, you know. Yeah, I was talking to Taylor about that one time because he's like, I don't know why people say that money doesn't bring you happiness because you think about it, money is what gives you the ability to go out and, like, do things that make you happy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I get it to an extent, but, like, money is not really, like, it's never really been a thing for me, you know? Like, it's, I guess I grew up kind of, like, lower middle class, so it doesn't yeah. really, it's never been, like, a huge thing to me. Like, now that I'm older and more stabilized, like, I have more money now than I did growing up. But I could tell, like, there's some people, like, they're money motivated, I guess. <laughs> and it's temporary happiness. I mean, sure. You go shopping and buy you a couple of new outfits and you put one on and make you feel good. And you're like, oh, yeah, girl, I'm going to go get me some sushi and some wine and hang out or whatever, whatever. But once you come off of that high of shopping and all that stuff, your problems that you have are still there. Right? Yep, yep. <laughs> so, so different true. than an alcoholic or a drug addict. They're, they're still there, you know, and yep. they're not going away. And the only way you can find that comfort and love is in Jesus. That's it. I mean doesn't matter that's why he goes after the people who are meek and lowly because yeah why i try to go after someone who's rich like that because like that song says he used 12 outsiders and his disciples he used moses who didn't even want to talk because moses was like jesus i can't talk to people what's wrong with you i gotta go (laughs) you know he, he uses people that just aren't bold and aren't you know trying to be everything you know so yeah, that's so true. Everybody everybody who I've ever met that's been, you know, somebody who's, like, truly, you know, a follower of Christ and, like, you know, deep into Christianity, like, they're always the people, like you said, it's not always, it's not the ones that are, like, you know, like, super wealthy, like, I'm sure you've seen, like, those mega churches where you can tell the pastors aren't really, mm-hmm. they're not really doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, you have that's people just, who, you know, make good money off of the ministry, but you do see where they end up turning around and they, like, for example, how Andrew Womack's ministry, they give everybody in prisons free books. They donate to all the different prison ministries, you know, like things like that. Yeah. But then his, him and his wife said that no prisoner would ever go without a book. And you can always write into them and they'll send you a free book here. He gives me a book every month. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Like, so you have people that do that, but then you have some, like you said, that are like, you know how the old saying says in the country, driving around their Cadillacs. <laughs> and that doesn't mean you yeah. can't drive your Cadillac, because most preachers have second jobs. But, yeah, you know, if you're just money, 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 money on Sundays, but you're not giving back to the community, that's when people start to have the problem with Christianity, you know. Do you do you remember back? I don't know. I think it was like 2017. I could be wrong, but do you remember when they had that that huge mega flood in Texas and Joel yeah. Osteen want to open up the doors of his church to let people come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Mm. That. I mean, you could tell he's kind of a. I have no mm. doubt in my mind at one point in time he was doing it for the right reason, but it kind of seems like now that he's so you know he's famous for what he does and he's wealthy, he's kind of not doing it for the right reasons, and then. You know, people were in need of shelter, and he refused to open up the doors to mm-hmm. his church. And I was just like, that shows his true colors right there. Well, that's another thing you're not supposed to do, too, is, like, when you do for people, you don't expect something in return, you know? Right. 
and you don't expect it to be, oh, it needs to make social media. But nowadays, when people do stuff like that, they want to put it on social media. And I'm not talking about when bystanders catch it on TV, you know, catch it in the background and put it on there. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the individual that does it wants the fame so they promote it themselves. That's when it's like, yeah. then that's not the good act of kindness. That's not what Jesus would be about because Jesus surely wouldn't be posting it on Instagram like, hey, I just healed the blind. <laughs> yeah, so it's true. Like, I'm sure you've seen it on Facebook where, like, people will go out and they'll, like, find homeless people and then they'll hand them, like, a gratuitous amount of money, but they're mm-hmm. recording themselves doing it to post online. Like, look, yep. look how good I am. I'm giving out my money to a homeless person. Like, yeah. that's just... Do it in privacy. Like, it doesn't need to be talked about if you're doing it for the right reasons. It's the same way with fasting and praying. You know, that's supposed to be between you and Jesus and say, hey, I'm fasting for this. This is what I would like to happen. I know your way is going to be better than mine, but let me just fast about it. But then you got some people that would go around and be like, oh, sorry, I'm in the middle of all my fasting right now. And, oh, just look at my body. And, whew, I look awful. And it's like, I remember people like that. Charlotte's mom used to do that, and she's like, oh, it's, I'm fasting, look at my face, and I'd be like, uh, we're not supposed to be killing me, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. You have <laughs> one minute remaining. You know, but anyway, you never know, you never understand these things. I guess I'm going to go get the tablet and check on my update on Israel, so I know how much longer we got on this earth. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I was reading about it today. You'll, you'll be mind blown with what you read. It's, it's okay. getting crazy over there. All right, I'm going to go check it out and see what it is. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Okay, well, have a good rest of the night. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, it just came out. Obviously, the 13 people had to do their whole thing with chem drugs. 13 people in here are coming off drugs or whatever. Oh. Yeah, so they have to give them, you know, Gatorade manufacturing and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, then they found her. Oh, <laughs> oh God, no. Yeah, so, you know. Oh, man. Is that, like, a common thing? Oh, God, like... yeah. So we'll probably all <laughs> out for, like, an hour, barely, because all that going on. And this is a dumb always... question. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, someone always puts drugs in their private parts. <laughs> Oh, well, that answers the question. I'll get ready to ask. This is going to be a stupid question, but how the heck do I get them? <laughs> well, I mean, I assume because there's signs everywhere that talks about, like, don't risk it, how dangerous it is to put it in your private parts, and stuff like that. Yeah, I was watching something on TV about that a while ago. Um, I forget what it was, some documentary, and they were talking about, like, drug mules and how, like, that works, like, trafficking through different, you know, countries through the U.S., yeah. And how people smuggle them, like, inside of their stomachs and how high the risk is for, like, whatever is packaged in the rupture. And then, you know, they die of, like, an immediate overdose. I'm like, oh, my God, who would do that? <laughs> or you could just figure out what substances mask it and it gets through TSA pre-check every time. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, there's how, definitely how... one that's in probably your house right now that will. <laughs> I'm sure how, uh... in every household. And it's sold at the Dollar Tree. Oh, really? Yep. Huh. I'll have to think about what that might be. <laughs> yeah. It'll hide, like, money, fentanyl, all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. I'm 30. I, and you said it could be sold at the at the dollar store? <laughs> yeah, like, a off-name brand would be at the dollar store, but, I mean, you, I don't mean, I don't, you know, I don't do it. But if I was, if somebody was going to do it, <laughs> they better get the name brand one. Yeah. I mean, I'll have a chance with the off-name brand one, but I know 100% it works with the name brand one every time. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up now. <laughs> curious minds want to inquire. <laughs> hey, be careful. If the feds ever need your computer, they go see all these searches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I thought about that today because this, this, this part's not funny, but my cat got outside like two weeks ago and somebody hit her. And oh, no. just left her, left her dead in the road. So I was really upset about that. But then, you know, it happens. But then this morning, I got up and I went to go take my trash out. And a cat I've never seen before was dead, literally laying in my driveway behind my car. And, like, what's odd about that is I have a very long driveway. Like, it's pretty far off the road. 
so it kind of looked like it was placed there. So oh, no. <laughs> me, uh-uh. me being paranoid, I started looking up what does it mean to have dead cats like put like it by you know at your house. Yeah, and. I couldn't find anything, but I thought to myself, if the feds ever took my phone, they're going to be like, why the hell is she looking this up? <laughs> well, they don't sit there and realize that, like, you see stuff on TV and you just decide to, like, Google it. You know Yeah. I mean? Like, that guy said to me, he was like, what is this A-ordery vein or something? I was like, I don't know. That was three years ago. I don't know. It's probably something I watched from TV. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I do the, I do the same thing. Like if I see, like if I find something or hear something on TV or whatever, and it's interesting, like I'll go on my phone and Google it, like just because I want to know. <laughs> yeah, and like I was even so out of it. Like anytime people would say something that didn't make any sense, I'd Google, be like, "What are they talking about?" And I'd Google that. You know what I'm saying? And and then people can look at it like, "Oh, why are you looking that up?" Because someone else was saying something. So I was trying to see was this real or not because I was struggling so much about what was real, and what weren't real, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even be looking up shit. I was so out of it. I was looking up Disney World. <laughs> I would have to be like, I had to be like looking up Disney World for a second. Next thing you know, I might be looking up how to clean my shirt because I got <laughs> freaking sushi on it. And then the next thing I might be looking up, you know, or soy sauce or whatever. The next thing I might be looking up something random, you know, like all oh, yeah. my ear hurts and blood's coming out of it. What does this mean, you know? But I feel like a lot of people do that. Like, it's probably just human nature now that technology's gotten so advanced. Like, we can just grab our phone and everything is at the palm of our hands. So I've often thought about, like, mm-hmm. you know, when the fed, the feds are involved in looking stuff up and they're like, oh, we have these cell phone records. And, like, this is indicative of this, that, and the third. Like, you can't really validate that because it could have just been a mindless inquiry, you know? <laughs> or you could be clicking one thing, and I do it all the time. Where I click one thing and see something else and be like, oh my god! Like yesterday, I was on, uh, I was uh, on. Uh, me and this girl, she was on her on her tablet and she was asking me how to spell something. So she was, I was telling her how to spell it, whatever. Cause she was trying to look up this news article because it, it don't give you like Google searches and that. You can't do anything that. It's just you can only look at the news. You know what I mean? So she was trying yeah. to find this news article. So I was helping her spell or whatever, and then I saw this cat jump out the window <laughs> out of this burning <laughs> building. And I forget, I forget. I think it was like Illinois. So I clicked that, and then I went to the other cat, and I was like, and then I ended up on, like, God knows what, and she was like, uh, I just wanted to know how to spell. <laughs> I was like, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, just saw the cat jumping out the building, and then I clicked on the next thing. It led me to a fire that had went on somewhere in the country, and I was like, I have PTSD or a fire, so I was like, oh, my God. And she probably thought, yeah. like, what in the hell is wrong? I was like, sorry. But you get like that because you see stuff. Or I remember even, like, if the Kardashians would say something, I'd go look it up. And it probably looked like I was going to get, like, they were talking about, like, people getting face makeovers. I'd Google face makeovers. <laughs> you know, it looked like, oh, why was she trying to get a face makeover? I don't know. I started on the Kardashians, so I Googled it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, like you said, I've done that so many times where, like, I'll type something in and look it up, and I'll get on, like, a news website, and I'll read the article. And then, you know, at the bottom, it's like, up next. And then there's, like, a whole bunch of articles. Yeah. It's all really yes. interesting. I read them and yesterday, actually. In Florida, a 400-pound turtle got hit on the highway in Florida, like, two days ago. And I was like, oh, God, what? How, how, do you, how do you miss that? <laughs> like, mm. yeah. I got my daily bread, by the way. Oh, did the, you? Okay, good. They must have just sent it late or something. Or maybe here they weren't deciding whether they were giving it to us or not, I guess. I don't know. But it did finally came. Oh, I was going to tell you. You can you can look up people's stuff online, right? Like, um. Uh, and the court website, it tells you, like, if you have court dates, right? Because that's how you look mine up, right? Yeah. Yep. Can you, I want you to look up that other dude, not 2-9, but the other one, to see when his trial is. Okay. Let me do that. I, it was supposed to be May, but, like, uh, I don't, I haven't got to talk to him in, like, you know, like, maybe, like, three weeks or so. And I was like, oh, I don't yeah. know if it got canceled or if it happened. And I try not to look at the news and be nosy about people, but... You know, because um, these, these people are infatuated with the news around here. Yeah, I'm looking it up right now to go. Let's see. I can't remember how I put it. Oh, my God, there. I was so, like, I was in the bed all day, just, like, depression. Next thing you know, I was all manic everywhere. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> I was just, like, <laughs> yelling about something to God knows who in my room. Oh, yeah. Have you all going to ask about... Um, Justice and Jasper and all of them have... Oh, yeah, I wrote you about it in the letter. I explained it all to you. 
Okay, yeah, because I, I wrote you a letter, I guess it would have been last week. I sent it out. Um, I asked a couple questions about them because I'm was, I was wondering some things about them. I didn't know if you'd seen them lately not oh, come yeah. around. Yeah, but it's been limited because I, I, I told him I wasn't ready to do the other plan yet. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready to do that right now because then I'll just be... You know, I'll be in a new location. I don't. I'm not ready to go to a new location yet. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I need to be prepared for that. So I don't know. But I read about that. I'm trying to look it up on my phone because I usually do it on my Chromebook. Uh, oh, here we go. This should. Oh crap! Where'd it go? I'm trying to do it on my phone. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can find his stuff. Have you heard from um? The other 29 at all lately? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, the last time I heard from him, he did his COVID test, so uh, he was he's probably already gone. He's probably already at DOC right now. So the other person, it looks like they have a hearing, I guess it would be tomorrow, actually. Yeah, the 17th at 8.40 a.m. Oh. It's a jury be, trial. Says. That, that must be the trial starting. Yep, it's a jury trial, so <gasps> in the... Yeah. <gasps> Tomorrow. That's crazy. <laughs> uh oh. I did put him on my purse today, so I'll definitely be planning for him tonight. Uh, I wonder. It doesn't show me like. It doesn't show me who the judges or anything like that. Because I was gonna say, I wonder if it's that like that kind of stuff's gonna be on WebEx. Probably not. So I don't like, know. Wonder... His is probably his is pretty big. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to look. I think I looked up his stuff a while ago, like, when he told yeah. me about him. I yeah. don't remember what all that. I'll have to go look it up again later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His is pretty big. They accused him of, like, taking cop cars and running, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, yep. I remember, I remember his because I read it, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. all that are things I would be too afraid to do. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> My thought process would be like, how in the heck would you even get up there? Like, get exactly. Up That's exactly what I thought, too, when I first read about it, because I read a news <laughs> article that came out about it, like, at the time that it had happened, and I was just like, my mouth was hanging open the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he would tell me about that. I'd be sitting there like, do what? Is this real right now? <laughs> I can't even believe this is real life, man. Yeah, that's, I thought that too, like, I can't, like, it's, it's real life because it happened. It's just hard to yeah. believe. Hard to believe his, uh, his jury trial is tomorrow. Like, that came up fast. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, he's been here three years. Really? Yeah. yeah. I guess, okay, yeah, because I, I guess the article, yeah, that was a couple of years ago. It's just, dang. He's probably I think ready he's for had, it. Like, I think he's had, like, two mistrials. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. How many mistrials are you allowed to have before they just for throw that it out? charge anything? And other charges, there's limits, but not for that one. Oh crap! Yeah, but yeah, he, I was... like I tell you what, of a lot of people, man, I couldn't have made it. Like there've been some days I wouldn't even been. I felt like I wouldn't even have been alive had it not been for some of them because helping me get stuff, talking like that type of thing was very crucial to my sanity because. It was, it was, it was rough for a while. I mean, it still is, but like they made sure I had like the necessity things that was gonna get there because obviously the people here don't want to help you with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm gonna speak of that. I'm gonna call down to El Paso County tomorrow since nobody's gotten back to me yet about the email I sent to them and see if yeah. I can talk to somebody on the phone about it. So like, hopefully we'll send somebody down there to actually give you some help instead of just saying they will and they're not doing it. Yeah, I know, because, like, I've had to find another method, which is really not a smart method. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, I just, you know, I worry about that because, I, you know, I don't want to be sick or anything. And I just feel like I'll make myself sick, you know, and I just. Oh, I was supposed to ask you this question. This girl was convinced on my out group that she had a stroke, but I don't know. She said that. 
she feels like she did, but because her whole body went numb and all this, and she was unconscious for a little bit, but then she came out of it. But um, I was just going to ask you, was that how it happened? So that's a good possibility. I know with mine, I don't remember anything. I don't remember much of anything that, like, led up to it. As a matter of fact, I don't remember, like, the days before it happened. I was in pretty much, like, a whole other world and a whole other mindset. Yeah. But, you know, coming out of it and kind of remembering how I felt, like, I, it's so hard to explain. It's like my brain wasn't my own, but coming yeah. out of it, like, my whole body was very weak and numb and, like, I was very, very, very tired, like, next level tired. Like, you know how you get really tired when you have, like, the flu or something? Yeah. That's how I felt. And then, I mean, it just took a while. My whole body. You have one minute remaining. Yeah. Okay. It's a good possibility. She might have. She I might want to get looked at. She might be. She could be just freaking out for nothing. But I told her, I was like, I don't think they can tell you here. Don't you have to go to the doctor to find out? Like on an x-ray or something? So they can, they can tell, like, by, like, well, I mean, there's, like, medical tests and stuff they can conduct to see whether or not you have had one. But, I mean, there's a whole, there's, like, a checklist you can go down to see whether or not you've had one. So there might be somebody there that can help her, but I would tell her to possibly maybe want to go get looked at. But it could have been, like, a major anxiety attack, too. It's hard telling. True, true. That's what I was thinking, too. But then I didn't want her to be, like, you know, just got, like, phobias beyond me, beyond my phobias. <laughs> like, mine's bad or <laughs> beyond my bad. So I was like, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't think they could check here unless they, like, see your brain. Because I thought you have to look at your brain to, like, see. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how they ended up, that's how they determined that I had one, because I had to get a CAT scan. Because, like, it should be, like, a blood clot in your brain, right, or something like that? Or yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're able to look at something on your brain. And see Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Man, finally Bessie in a Tessie? You been in your Tessie? No, last time, when you kept calling me, it was funny I had a crazy human account, and I was confused. Well, I didn't mean to call you collect, and then so I called you right back regular. Oh, wow. It's so weird. And I was like, what in the world? What have you been up to? Nothing, just work. You make good money? Yeah. Saturday, I made like two. $150. That's good. And then the night before that, I made like 200 Are you still doing the parasailing? Yeah, I'm going there now. Oh. Um, did you get your Social Security card or find your, find anything online? Um. Yeah, that's how it works. Not yet, but I mean, I've been getting paid, so I guess it's fine. I know, but you're going to need to turn mine in. That's why I've been asking. Oh, I found I found your birth certificate and ID. Online? Um, yeah, like, um, in your email. And Aunt Brenda said she has the original. Well, there's always originals. She just has to say it's original, but it's really not. It's They're all original if you have them made. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? Okay, well, then yours is in there, too, somewhere. So uh, what, what was I going to tell you? Oh, no, man. I'll be having to tell you so much, and then you'd be MIA, and I'd be like, I know she's working. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. Because I need to do my form. For, I was going to do my form for this year. But I needed to know that $1,400, did you get that for me or for you? That would have what, been under my name, right? The, the um, stimulus. I don't know if it was for, it was from you or me. Because I have to check it on this paper to fill out the ones for this year, and I didn't know. I think I did get you. Okay, so you didn't get yours. You didn't get nothing. You, you or you got a separate stuff for you. Yeah. Wait, okay, because I need to ask me on that paper, and I'm like, heck, I don't know. I need to check yes because I don't want to like send off that uh, that form for this year and be like, oh, she told a story. She did get it, you know. 
Yeah. I might just put it, yes, got it, but then put a little mark on the side. It says, like, a uh, question mark. <laughs> so. That one, I don't know. Oh, man. All right, well, have fun on the beach today. Is it nice out? Um, It's supposed to get nice. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, stay away from crazy mm -hmm. tourists. Y'all got a certain area y'all stay in? Huh? Y'all have a certain area you stay in? Yeah. We have like a little tent and everything. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't feel like going. Why? I'm just tired. I know, I know. Don't want to overwork yourself, but... You have one minute remaining. At the same time, if you get you an energy supplement, not energy drink, but like, you know, make sure you got all your vitamins and all that, you'll be fine. And then think about it, you'll have all your money put up. And then when you want to do something, you'll be like, oh, well, I'm glad I worked hard for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you pray to Jesus and get it done. As many days I worked two and three jobs, and I'd be like, well, I'm praying two and three hours of sleep. But and people, people would be like, that's not healthy. But at the end of the day... The only time we ever lack for anything when I have my student teaching. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's just how you got a mentality. Make sure you're thinking of the Lord, the Lord to keep you healthy and strong during it. And I'd be praying for that too. So. Alrighty. All right. Okay. You got this. I love I'm proud you. of you. I'm proud of you. I love you. Sadie's proud of you too. And Jesus, of course, is proud of you. Love you. We love you back. Right. Global Tell Link. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. I dad's going to put money that? in my account this week. Oh, my God. You know, oh. I've been up all night. I'm in my stage now where I just be up, up, up. I've been, <laughs> I was in my room just, like, really rapid for, like, 10 hours. So, you know. I don't know how you, I don't know how you do it. Because when I, <laughs> when I don't sleep for a couple of days, I start to feel, like, mad. <laughs> well, mine just, like, I don't know. It'll last sometimes two weeks. But then when I crash, it's like, chum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's usually like, like, I hate the world. I feel depressed. I don't want to be here. I just, I'm hopeless. <laughs> I get the same way. Like, if I don't sleep for a long period of time, I get I start to get really, like, angry. And I'm just like, I don't want to be awake. I don't want to be doing this right now. And then I'll finally get to a point where I'll pass out. And then I'll get, like, a good eight hours of sleep. And then I'll wake up and be like, all right, I'm okay with the world now. <laughs> well, when I was at high school, they I missed me with manic depressant. And uh, so I'd always be like, that's not me. I'm not a maniac. I thought it meant like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime anybody would ever ask me in the future, like even on jobs, I had principals that would be like, are you manic depressive? I was like, I don't know. They said it when I was younger, but that's not really me. I'm not a maniac. They're like, it's not a maniac. I was like, it feels like one. <laughs> I don't know. Like, so. Don't feel bad because that's why I got diagnosed with like manic depression and like manic anxiety. And like the last time I went to the hospital, like you know, like the symptoms of the medical chart when they release you, so I was like reading through it and it said like manic depressive with like psychotic tendencies. And I was like, hold the bus, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> well, that would be what they end up putting me later on was, which would be schizoaffective. Uh, yeah, so they put me more of it gets so effective, but I just always be telling people no, because I don't be want to turn that stuff over to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> I remember this one guy. He was at the state hospital. And he was like, "You just kept going on all these missions and spending money." I was like, "Hey, yeah." He's like, "Was there any affairs?" I was like, "No." And he was like, "Oh, okay." He said, "You do know this is not called manic depressive anymore. It's called bipolar now." And I was like, "That's not me." I said, I'm not bi I was like, I'm not bisexual. He was like looking at me like, it's not bisexual. <laughs> well, if I hear bi, I start thinking about bi. And I was like, oh. That's like the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> yeah, and he was just looking at me like, well, this is why you're, this is why you're like this. And I was just like, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's why I had to give you some high quality H2O. <laughs> as soon as he said that, I'm like, hell no, nah, man. Because <laughs> I couldn't be like I did in Florida, like, hey, this is my day. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> and the second we tried to keep me there, we're like, no, nah, I got to go. But uh, I was like, uh, thinking about that because I was like, look at, I was looking at something because I had got my, uh, I had asked my aunt how to get the records from my high school because. 
that's the initial person was my high school um what do you call it, like the psychiatrist or whatever high school? Because oh, I'm, so, yeah. I'm so high functioning, smart, and stuff like that. But like, girl, I'd be like two weeks in the classroom. I'd be like, some one minute I was gonna freaking find a cure for cancer, and the next minute I was gonna save the world from aliens. <laughs> 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 and they'd be like, first they were like, okay, you are you ADHD? And they were like, no, it's not. It's beyond ADHD because you're more of like. Not just hyper, but you're in the whole save the world. I'm the best. I'm the highest. I'm my self esteem is like I am the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that though. <laughs> I know, but then though the thing about it is when I get like oh when I crash red, I be like oh my god, look at myself. I feel like a fat. I gained ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get too. Like when I'm in my in my downward spirals, like I'm like my own worst critic. I'll be like oh my god, like you said, like I'm getting weight. Like, I hate my hair, like, I hate my face. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why my weight goes everything. up and down so much, because it'll be, like, 10, I, I would wear, like, 10 pounds, blue 10 pounds, and it gets up and down, up and down, up and down, because it's depending on the mood or whatever. But I hear that bye thing, and I'd be like, no, I ain't bye. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm losing it, man. Yeah, I didn't start having problems like that till it would have been after high school, like, about a year and a half after I graduated, and I was, like, working full-time. Yeah. Um. I don't know what happens. Like, I woke up one day and just everything changed, and I was really, like, I didn't want to believe what they said when I started going to the doctor, and they started diagnosing me with all this stuff, because I was like, no, I'm I'm a normal person. Like, that's not me. And the older I get, the more I'm realizing, like, there's nothing wrong with having these issues. And luckily, we're in a time now where they're starting to normalize that stuff. You know, like, people don't really frown upon it. A lot of people have these kind of things, so it's yeah. not necessarily a bad thing. That was one of the so things I with this football player from Colorado. I think he plays in the 49ers or something, but he was saying that his brother came to him about it, and then he realized how serious it was, so he started wanting awareness going on and stuff like that. And he was talking about they did this study about how many people went undiagnosed because of how they would, like, afraid of, you know, like, stereotype things. Like, you heard me say, hear, heard me say hear the word bye, and I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, because, and then people always be like, are you depressed? I'm like, no, I'm not depressed. But because, like, you know, you hear those words, and it's like, don't be saying that about me. It ain't nothing wrong. You know what I mean? And so you'd be like, I'm not depressed at all. What are you talking about? I don't have depression. But, you know, even in your mind, I mean, sometimes when you go in those forms of if you want to drink al- alcohol or, like, self-medicate, with, you know, some people do it with drugs. I mean, me, I'll just drink a bottle of wine or something like that. But, like, some people just, you don't want to tell people, like, hey, I'm feeling depressed. You're like, no, I just like drinking a bottle of wine. <laughs> but there's really a yeah. reason behind that. It's not because you're just like, not like you're at dinner and you're just like, okay, let me try this wine. If you seriously come home and you're like, had a bad day, and you're just like, okay, let me have a drink. That's different. But if you get in those episodes where you're like, okay, I got to drink this bottle today, I'm going to drink another one, you're trying to self medicate because you don't want those antidepressants because they put you in those SS, what is it, SSRTs and that family of that. And that's what the yeah. guy here said. He was like, your history says a bunch of SSRTs and stuff like that from your uh, medicine. And I was like, yeah, but I try those things and I swear I got the worst depression. But they would be like, oh, that's because at first that's how it's going to happen. Cause you, cause I get so manic, so it's gonna put me in depression states until they regulate you. And I was like, I never made it past that time. I'd give it five, ten days, and I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, cause that's ten problems that I've had, and everyone has told me the same thing. Like you're supposed to, you'll start feeling the good effect from it about six weeks out. And I'm like, I don't want to go through the shit for six weeks. Like, <laughs> no, I, I don't want, ever do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you because uh, the SSRG and SSRIs, like a lot of that stuff. So they put, they try to put me on one. Um, I can't think of what it's called. A bill of fine, that's what it is. A bill of fine, yeah. Yeah, they tried to put me on that, and I was telling my sister about it, and she, like, freaked out, and she's like, that's what, like, you know, all the school shooters, like, all of them were on the bill of fine. And she, that kind of stuff is what makes you, like, snap and go insane, and I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll rethink that then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Donnie, like, all kinds of ones, like, I tried. And then people would, and I was bad for this, because I would be like, if I knew somebody that was like, okay, like say my friend Sarah, her real name is Sarah, <laughs> but um, she uh, she had different ones. She's a, well, she was a nurse, but then she also nursing license. He probably explains why. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> so she would like if, if they had like these different ones or that like, trying or something. That's the, that's how I tried Giadani the first time. 
and she'd bring them to softball or whatever, and I'd be like, okay, I'll try this one or whatever. And I know she probably shouldn't have been doing that, but, you know, whatever she did. But um, I'd be like, oh, my God, this thing makes me feel like I just want to just go jump off a building or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, and then when I'd go to the doctor, he'd be like, I'm going to give you this one. I bet and I already tried that one. He'd be like, how did you try that one? I gave you Zoloft last time. I'd be like, I long story. <laughs> just, <laughs> I've been on Zoloft, too. I hated that stuff. I know. I just, I just can't. And then, like, they want, so, like, the mood stabilizers, you know, they'd be like, so they gave me a Vega one time. And uh, so I took that thing, and, man, I thought I was high as a kite. Like, I was, like, I think it messed up the manic part because I would be even more mania, like at the top of the chart. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, woo-hoo. But then when I'd crash on the Vega, I'd go to my closet and not come out for ever. I remember when my dad used to do that. He'd come in there and be like, why are you in your closet again sleeping? And I'd be <laughs> in that stage of, like, don't come out. And that's why... I had the closet in the bedroom because it was inside the bathroom because I just go all the way to the bathroom, go to the bedroom, stay in the closet for hours, hours. Sometimes he'd bring my cover and heater in the closet. And that would be I've done the same thing. <laughs> go in and I would stay forever because I would like don't and a lot of mine get seasonal too because if it's, you know, spring or summer I could I could control or I had coping skills of just like going to the pool. You know, and trying to like those racing thoughts that would be going on could, like, kind of subdue a little bit. So I just don't have any of those skills here because where am I going? I mean, I can't walk but so many feet, and I'm banging into the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't really have, like, a... Night. Yeah, I'm just banging my You don't have a safe spot. <laughs> no, and I just... I walk to the door, and I can't go any further, and I'm like, boing, boing, boing. And they're like, don't be your head. And I'm like... You don't understand, like, it's just running so rampant that if I don't do this, I feel like, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep standing in here on my desk for hours. So I'm like, get out and off your desk. I'm like, well, I got to do something. <laughs> I've done a lot of research on, like, you know, prisons and jails, like, you know, where people stay for a decent amount of time. And, like, everything I've read online, I've just studied, like, a lot of these places, they don't really make for you know, basic human rights, like, it kind of strips all that away from you guys, and, like, you know, even though some people, like, need to be there, some people don't, like, even if you're there for the wrong reason, like, they should accommodate for your basic human needs, and a lot of places don't do that, so I was talking to Taylor about it, I was like, that's something that I would like to be, like, an advocate for to, like, change, because, like, you know, in the end, like, we're all humans, so being locked in, like, a really small room for most of the day, that's just not right, like, not having... You know, people like that's not right because you can only entertain yourself for so long. <laughs> yeah, and then and they just... wonder why your 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 diagnosis gets all messed up. Because I don't know. I'll, I'll keep standing in here on my desk for hours. So I'm like, get out and off your desk. <laughs> I'm like, well, I got to do something. <laughs> I've done a lot of research on like you know prisons and jails, like you know where people stay for a decent amount of time, and like everything I've read online, I just studied. Like a lot of these places, they don't really make for you know, basic human rights, like, it kind of strips all that away from you guys, and, like, you know, even though some people, like, need to be there, some people don't, like, even if you're there for the wrong reason, like, they should accommodate for your basic human needs, and a lot of places don't do that, so I was talking to Taylor about it, I was like, that's something that I would like to be, like, an advocate for to, like, change, because, like, you know, in the end, like, we're all humans, so being locked in, like, a really small room for most of the day, that's just not right, like, not having access to you know, some form of entertainment, like, that's not right, because you can only entertain yourself for so long. <laughs> yeah, and, and then they just... wonder why your 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 diagnosis gets all messed up, because there's, you know, looking at me like, okay, you were manic depressant when you were this age, and you've that's been consistent throughout your life, you know, whatever, whatever. But then you get these onset hallucinations. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, shoot. <laughs> yeah. If you talk to yourself enough, you sit there and then, and then all these friends that you have, they become real like the people i'm playing with cards with cards with eventually after a couple of days they become real friends <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they have features they have they have you know everything you know what i'm saying i mean did you say something i didn't hear you Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Um, so they have all these different, you know, things, and after a while, you start hanging out with them. Hey, you want some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, that's, like, I think that's 
a lot of the states passed the rule about, you know, like, um, solitary confinement. Like, nobody's supposed to be in solitary for longer than 15 days at a time. In well, some places, here, it, but they don't apply in jails. Yeah, that's, I think that, like, the little loophole there, I think that's stupid. Because, like, I see why they do it, but it's not right. Because, like, how how long you were there, like, that's enough to just drive somebody bonkers. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm still like that. Because here's the thing, which is why it's making my manic episodes even worse. Because... I get to come out and be around people for a little bit, and that stimulus, uh, you know, I'm being all that stimuli and the lights and everything, and I just, like, you should see me. I go over in the corner, I sit on the tablet with my head down and cover my ears because I can't take the noise or none of that stuff. But then you might see me, like, right now, I run to the phone and be like, <laughs> I told you the court reporter the other day had to be like, she, we was in that, we were in that conflict here, and she goes, um, could you please, could you please slow down? <laughs> And you know the court reporter told me I had to slow down. I was typing fast. I mean, I was talking faster than 75 <laughs> words a minute. You, you know, you yeah. get me on the phone when I get in that stage where I'm like, brruh, 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 you know. And, Luckily, I talk fast, too, so I, I understand. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> Can you imagine when I'd be in my classroom with students and we get to talk about something and then we get in something and I'd be like, shruh, 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 and they'd just be sitting there looking at me like, <laughs> they'd be like, our teacher, because I would always tell them, I'd say, they told me, they, they call it maniac disorder. Like, I'm a maniac. I would tell them that. <laughs> and they would just laugh at me. And they'd be like, she's in her maniac state. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think one thing that they should definitely allow you guys, which I guess the weather there's a lot different than it is here, but, like, they should allow you guys more time outside. So I think that would really help, like, when it's warm and sunny out, because they say, you know, sunlight is how you get vitamin D, and vitamin D is, like, a natural source of, like, positive, like, good energy. Mm-hmm. When you start missing but, those vitamins, you have a lot of health problems that, uh, that come on. And so, like, this girl in here, I feel bad for her. She's never had any problems with, like, diabetes and stuff like that. They kind of, they're having to come in and get this girl shot every day because she had too much sugar. Uh, you know, like, and here's the thing about it. They cut her down when she can't buy stuff on commentary. And stuff like that, but like, you have one minute remaining. Here's the thing about it. They don't serve nothing but these sugary cakes. You can't get a piece of fruit or nothing, but then they wonder why there's a problem for diabetes, you know. But then it's like it keeps them in a job. So if they have to come down here and give shots and give people stuff to make, they keep serving that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is that a lot of the prisons and jails, they don't really, they don't advocate for healthy eating, Mm -mm. which I know they have to kind of make a budget for how many people are there, but still, like, fruit is not that expensive. Like, (laughs) what's that? I mean, you're going to sell sell a bag of apples on commissary or something, you know, it's like, and if you can't have, like, if you can't order it because you're in a ward that can, then you need to bring a snack with that or something, you know, but they don't care. Anyway, all right. I totally agree. Off. All right, I'll talk to you again later. Hopefully, by the time right. you know, I'll come out of the stage pretty soon where I ain't like. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, right. all good. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, have a good day. We'll tell Bye. Thank you for using. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Going to work. Which work are you going to? So hope. Oh, be careful. Like, if people be looking at you, like, in the eye, and they be trying to, like, zoom in, be careful because, like, people could be trying to read your mind and stuff, and you don't ever want to let them read your mind or them, like, try to do your thoughts. So, Oh, yeah. Well, they did it to me. Like, they be trying to send people in here to, like, try like, to like, take all my brain. You like, what? They be trying to send people in here to, like, try to get them to, like, take my brain and, like, listen. And, like, they want to just try to see, like, what I'm thinking and, and stuff like that. So it's, like, almost they're trying to, like, insert, like, that recorder in there because they're trying to, like, extract the thoughts. So you have to watch out for those kind of people. Yeah, who did that? What, what um, what was I going to say? Oh, did y'all have a lot of people yesterday at the parasilin? Yeah. Cool, cool. Whenever you work for Black Bike Week, you need to make sure you're always walking out with people and stuff like that. I will. But you know it's going to be crazy down at 21st. Dangerous, yeah. crazy people on bikes. I mean, I mean, honestly, if y'all could ride together or something, they'd probably guess. Or someone could take you and pick you up or something because then people be crazy. Yeah, I'll be fine. No, I know you'd be fine because I know you got Jesus, but, like, I'm just saying, you know, because they'd be parking everywhere and you don't want them to, like, 
Remember that one time your dad hit somebody on the bike? I don't know if you remember. <laughs> no. I have not hit people this weekend. No, don't. They will claim injury and sue you, and you'll never get to drive your car again. That's why I said during Black Bike Week, you probably need to, I mean, I might have somebody drop me off. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. Because, you know, the material they did to your dad, so, like, we were driving on the boulevard, and this dude was like, I don't know, but he tried to take his bike and, like, run into the side, the front part of our car, and then tried to say that Chance tried to hit him, so he was trying to sue us and stuff. But, like, we were like, what the heck? We were driving down the road on the strip, you know? Of course, your dad wanted to go down the strip, and I told him, why do we got to go down the strip? It's black by week, you know? This is stupid. But, mm-hmm. um... But then the dude fell in the middle of the street and everything, like, fell over. I, like, he couldn't breathe. Like, his neck was dry, all this crap. But then then the cop, the city of Murder Beach cop came. When they came, I was just like, dude, this dude is tripping. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And he ended up not giving a ticket. And then insurance threw it out and said the guy was, like, faking or whatever. But, yeah, they be trying to do some crazy stuff like that. So they be trying to get new bikes and upgrade and stuff. So just, yeah. And so a lot of them be intoxicated, you know, and all that crazy stuff. Right. I was just thinking about that yesterday. I was like, oh, gosh, you got to go to a highlight. Like, not look, I mean, you know, you've lived all your life, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm not right there, so it makes me freak out. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Ready to leave Myrtle Beach? I've always been ready to leave Myrtle Beach. Where do you want to go to? I don't know, Florida. I know, me too. I can't wait to go to Florida. Why don't you uh, sign up? Be like, look, I need to go to school in Florida and transfer. I'll be there soon, another I year or so. What'd you say? I said I'll be there another year or so. I mean, I would, but I feel like... I don't have a parking you feel like what? I said, uh, I would, but Aunt Brenda thinks I don't know how to do anything. So. What are you talking about? She's like, she's like, you can't move that far for me. She'll mm-hmm. say all that, but if you got a good job and you got accepted into a school you wanted to go to in a program, she's not going to be like, don't, whatever. She just says that, like, same thing I would say to you. It would be no different than me saying that to you. You can't leave from it, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day... Yeah, but... Like, Go ahead. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um... I don't. I wouldn't want to stay in a... I wouldn't say... Wouldn't want, oh, my gosh, I can't talk. I wouldn't want to stay in a dorm or do anything. No, but you wouldn't have to. What you're paying down, I mean... You could easily, the, the key would be finding a job making you what you're making you know. You know what I'm saying? That would be your key first, building your resume. I, I just don't want to be alone. Like, I wish I had a friend that would do something very Like, I wish I had a friend that would do Yeah, but when I moved to Murder Beach, I didn't have any friends, but I developed friends. I know. But, like, my friend, you know Alicia? Alicia? Like, you met her when we lived in Colorado and she was in New Mexico. Oh, maybe. Okay. What about her? Yeah, she's like, I keep telling her, I'm like, let's move to Florida. And she's like, but she's from Florida. So she doesn't want to go back to Florida because she's like, I feel like I'm not going to be moving forward in life. And I was like, well, I'm not moving to New Mexico or nowhere over there. So. No, God. Don't come nowhere near Colorado. You'll be harassed by these paparazzis. Uh, yeah, but the thing about it is, uh, you just meet people through college, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I met people through softball, and obviously, you don't play softball. But I mean, what you can do is they have this app. It's called Meet Up. I think. I think that's what it was called, and. Uh, you meet up at like public places, and so like yeah. you could do something like my that. Thing, my thing is just like, cause you know how like you probably understand what I'm saying. So like you know how like we've been here our whole life. It's just like I feel like 
I'm never going to move forward if I don't if I'm like here. Well, right. And that's, you're not going to in the terms of jobs unless you want to work in the tourist industry. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you probably don't. Even like just, not even, like, just in, like, like jobs. And especially, like, for what I want to do, but I can't do any of that here. Well, why don't you research areas in Florida that would be very prominent for that? You know I like anywhere in Florida. I mean, I could be in the boondocks of Florida. <laughs> I'd be like, heck yeah. I mean, you're going to make, and you're not going to make like you would make, you know, living in the north, but at the same time, you're not going to pay what you'd pay living in the north. You know what I mean? As long as you stay yeah. away, I mean, you can't stay within eight miles of Disney or you're going to pay a high price rent. But if you go outside of anything like that, I mean, even Fort Myers, you know. Well, I don't, like, think I, would, I don't think I would want to be in Orlando. No, that's what I'm saying. You can't, because if you would, you're going to have to do tour stuff. You know what I'm saying? You want to be somewhere like, I mean, if you want to do Jacksonville, Tampa. I kind of want to be, I was just about to say, I think I kind of want to be in, like, Jacksonville, because did you know it's one of the biggest cities in the world? Yes. And on top of that, you got huge airport, and if you needed to go somewhere, you could always go to NCO, you know, and it's not far to FLL, you know, and then... On top of that, Jacksonville, remember, I was going to live in Jacksonville, but the problem with that was the teaching thing is all the jobs are open only in the inner city part, and I didn't want to teach in the inner city. I wanted to teach in the outskirts. But, you know, you got the, what is it, St. John Bay Center there. Um, mm -hmm. They got that. I mean, even if you had to, like, start out there working, you know, like St. John Bay Center or some retail or something until you could get the no stuff or something. But the key is you need to meet someone that you can get along with that you could share a place with for right now you know what I mean and you could do that dude yeah. just you know don't go beat people without being in public or taking somebody with you like ain't Brenda or somebody you know oh, yeah. I, mean? I mean obviously but um, you could just do that and then you know you could always like put something online and just say you want to move to it there and you want to find someone who's in the area and wants to do whatever. But then you go find their social media, get to know them, that type of thing first. Yeah. And what is the college there? There's a couple. They have a law school there because I remember I, look, I, I like that law school they had there. I don't know. There's a couple. And there's a community college, but there's a, there's a bunch of... I think South Florida has an extension there, too. But... But then you got the University of South Florida. That would be a good area too, but that'd be way south. I mean, you'd be way south then. Their apartments aren't that expensive there, like in Jacksonville. No, you just gotta stay away from. Cause you know where the mall is at. Stay away from that area. Not not 95 to exit off the mall, but like the inner city area. Cause I remember I had this conversation. You remember Brittany Rainey? The mm -hmm. mall. Her dad's from Jacksonville. And her dad had sent, mm -hmm. one time I asked her when I was asking about the teaching things, and her dad had gave her, like, a little synopsis, and she sent it to me one time. And was, like, talking about how, you know, like, these are certain areas, you know, like, with any area, like Myrtle Beach, you're not going to stay on the Strip. You're not going to stay on, you know, 21st through back through the South End, you know what I mean? That type of thing. Yeah. It's going to be like that in any town. I mean, heck, here in Colorado, security was dangerous, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's what you need to do first is, I mean, because if you're having to pay out your pocket for school, shoot, you might as well declare residency somewhere else. And a lot of states will do let you go ahead and declare a residency if you move there for a job. And my thing is, it's like, okay, so, like, I want to finish and get my degree and everything, but eventually, like, I want to get my real estate license, too. Yeah. And I, but I don't want to get my real estate license here and spend all the money. Because they, it doesn't like, like right. real estate licenses don't transfer. You have to get it from which state you want to actually do it. Why don't you just do some research on that? Be like, are there any like programs or, or are there any? You know, how, like when I was going to be the flight attendant and stuff like that, they had the Facebook pages for people who were going to be potential flight attendants. Do that and try to find something that has like potential real estate agents in certain areas. Or, you know, even email some of them and ask them, are they offering any volunteer work if 
you were to move to the area to like go one day a week at the real estate agent. And you would definitely meet people that way. Right. You know, I mean, but the key is you need to have like, where you're not paying more than you're paying now. You know what I'm saying? And real estate is not going to be hard to get your thing because you're smart. And you always have to keep your credit good. Now, that's one thing they don't play about. You cannot have anything. You know, it can't be late. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have a history of that because you're, you're messing with people's money. You know what I mean? So they ain't going to worry about it that can't be responsible with money. Right. You know what I'm saying? But most of the people I know in Myrtle Beach, like, remember Wetzel, he was real estate, but he gave it up because he was just like, unless you can devote your time to travel like he was tra- like travel all over to South Carolina, you know, to stay, he couldn't do it. He didn't want to do it, I guess you could say. Where, yeah, if you want to go all over Florida and do things, then, I mean, shoot, you know. But you also need to stick with that marketing thing, too, because you're good at that, because you could do, like, marketing and real estate, you know. Well, the good thing is, is about finishing and getting my marketing degree, then it's like, well, I know how to market. Like, how and what, like what I would do is I'd look in Jacksonville to see if they were hiring any apartment conflicts. Yeah, true. Because that would be your continued marketing experience your continued experience because eventually when you become managers of those places a lot of people have, like that lady at Seaside I don't know if you remember her when you were little but with the blonde hair that run the place she had to have a real estate license to do that yeah you have to get like your real estate license your property management license yeah both of them yep. like that. and she done that and I think she made really good money because she stayed on property when we stayed there but remember we went back to the second time she had built a house over in Waterway Palms yeah, because when people when people are like that, they get like rental stipends, so they don't even pay. Right, and so she probably stashed her money, and then she built. I think it's where Ray Palms or the Blowers, one of them. She built a house on one of them, but um, but still worked there as a as a person. So you could always start out something like that. It's no different than like a person. You have one minute remaining. A person goes to law school. They start out, you know, working for the court first before they, you know, start their own business. You know, because they want to get right. connections, they want to, you know, grow. It's, it's no different than that, but I would start there. I would start trying to find communities I could join online to get to know people. Because now would be a good time, because most people would be wanting to move and be ready to go by, like, July. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then if you looked into the school, just ask them, say, hey, look, if I'm moving there for a job, what do I need to get in state tuition? A lot of people just say, if you don't own a car in your name, you need a job, you need to turn this in, you need to do that. You could go ahead and, you know have get started on that. You don't got to let them know you're still, you know, taking a couple classes at Coastal or whatever. And you don't have to rush with that either. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to get the right degree and you want to do it right. Because once right. you get a bachelor's degree, you can't get financial aid anymore. So there's no re- – I learned right. that mistake by rushing. I did it in three and a half years, and I shouldn't have because then I don't get financial aid anymore, you know. Yeah. So anyway, I'll let you go to work. I love you so much, okay? Okay, I love you too. I'll think of more things too. Thank you for using Global Telling Link. Good afternoon. Hey, I was going to tell you, I only got like a few minutes, but you want to watch out for these people that be trying to read your mind. And so since you know me, they might be trying to be doing it. So just try to like, you know, if someone tries to approach you and like look you in the eye and like they're trying to like see if you know me or something, you might just want to be like, okay, I got to go, okay? Okay. <laughs> they try to extract okay. your thoughts because they've been wanting to think to know what you're saying, what I'm saying to you, and they'd be trying to strike your thoughts, or if you're, like, feeling anything that I'm feeling so they can get my brain, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, real quick, so what part of Florida was it that your um, husband's family's from? She's from Daytona. Like, okay. Well, Port Orange, right outside of Daytona. Right side of Daytona, okay. Uh, how much do you know about Jacksonville? I mean, I know a lot about Jacksonville, but... How, I know, because it's decent out. We, we have to drive through there every time that we go to or from Florida, so I've been yeah. there quite often. So I figure since sometimes you have a little bit of free time. I didn't even think about this when I was on the phone with Harley. Harley's, Harley's wanting to move to Jacksonville. But she doesn't know anyone, not in Jacksonville. And so I told her, I said, why don't you go online and try to find any of those groups that are like potential people that, you know, you know, want to move to Jacksonville or, you know, you know, that type of thing. Because she wants to get like a place with somebody. I told her, I said, don't worry, I'll get to see Florida in a year or so, you know, yada, yada, yada. And so I didn't know if you could find anything online that might be beneficial to help her. Like, I mean, I don't want her just meeting random people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, since I know you know, I told her there are certain areas. I remember Jacksonville, like in the downtown part. Obviously, you don't want to live there. But there are some out near St. John Bay's and stuff like that. There are some good areas there. And she's like, Mom, I just, I just want to move to Myrtle Beach. She's like, I've been here all my life. you got to think, Harley would live there. 
next was all yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I thought yeah. about it. I was like, girl, you know, probably want to take a trip down. And you and the girls weren't doing anything. Just be like, hey, we'll go check some out. And um, because she, you know, I would be totally down for that. Yeah, I know, she's I mean, got her own car and everything. I mean, you know. And I didn't think about this when I was on the phone with her. And so I can tell her, you know, tomorrow or whatever. Because I remember I was, I thought about it afterwards. Like, oh yeah, her husband's family's from not far from there, which Daytona's not, but like what, an hour and something from. Yeah, about an hour and change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so. She wanted to do real estate and do her, keep her marketing degree. And I said, you know, you want to try to find if there's any, like, apartment places that are hiring for people. Because she worked at her apartment building for a year and did all their marketing and all their stuff. And so I just thought maybe if you ran across something that you could, you know, maybe send her that she could look into, help her figure yeah. it out. Because my Aunt Brenda, she's old school. She'll, you know she'll be worried about her leaving her instead of understanding this is about her growing in her career and trying to find a right, you know. The child's been out in and out of Florida all of her life, so I knew she'd want to live in Florida. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go online and look, and then if I can find anything good that would help her, I'll just send her the link on yeah. uh, Instagram for her to go yeah, check out. and just tell her I called you after so she'll know and cause I, because your husband's family's from that area, so. You okay. Know, be a good resource but uh, I'll call you tomorrow I just we only got to have a few minutes out he luckily let us stay out a few minutes extra so we can make some phone calls because medical, medical and all that was in here and these you've been trying to oh. read my brain and I've been ugh, you know real, but, uh, real quick before I forget because you, you reminded me so somebody emailed me back yesterday from El Paso my email that I sent them got forwarded I guess to the head of El Paso okay. so she emailed me back and she said that she can discuss what's going on with me, but you have to sign a release form that would basically allow me to, I guess, explain more in depth the issues that you've been like dealing with. Okay. So I emailed her back and I told her that I would talk to you next time that uh, you called me and I would let you know that you have to sign that release form. But I went ahead and gave her a brief overview, but I still haven't told her like your name or anything. Yeah. So I told her, you know, once she's able to kind of go in depth with me that I can give her like your name and whatnot and kind of go more in detail about what it is you've been going through. But somebody did get back with me. So okay. you might, when you have time, ask about that release form. Okay. That way I can... I would do yeah, it. that way I can tell them, and then, yeah, hopefully okay. that'll help you out, because she seems like she's really willing to help. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. What was her name? Ah, uh, well, let me do it real quick. Let me I'll speak her and go to my email. Give me one second. It was Nicole Blatnick, B-L-A-T-N-I-C-K. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, cool. That way, in case someone says something to me, I know, you know. All right, we got to go to lockdown. I'll call you tomorrow, okay. and I'll, I'll ask them about that paper. All right, talk to you Okay, later. awesome, cool. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Link. Thank you for Hey. Hello, hello again. We're not the money again. I was like, I always have so much to tell her not to be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I hate how like these phone calls are only like 15 minutes because I'm like, 15 minutes isn't enough time to have a full conversation. <laughs> I know, but uh, what I was saying is like, yeah, so we were hiding behind the um, the tires and we'd be like freaked out. But then you got to the point where he's like, oh, I like shooting and the sh- shots be going everywhere like, Pew! and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I funny. feel like I feel like some people just should not have firearms. Like... <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story. Taylor's dad has a whole bunch of guns, right? And yeah. we just bought this house in 2018. Yeah. So it was like two weeks after we moved in, he came, him and his wife came down because it was our oldest daughter's birthday. So we're hanging out. Well, he brings off his guns. So he goes into the spare room upstairs, like the guest room, and he's like showing off all his guns. And he's got an old uh, 911, and yeah. it was loaded, and I don't really know what happened. But I'm outside, and I hear a gunshot. <laughs> I look at my friend, and I'm like, did that sound like a gun to you? So I come inside, go upstairs. Long story short, he was mishandling his firearm and shot out my freaking window, like, blew out the window. It was a home defense round, and it went through two panes of glass and, like, completely mm-hmm. shattered the window. I'm like, ha yeah, you're not allowed to have guns here anymore. <laughs> and, that's so, and that's the thing is, that's so easy to do. Like, you know, one time, I freaking had my, I had my little, I had a little 380, and I was just like, not that you purposely get ready to mishandle it. I literally was on my way to the airport, and I'm always specific, make sure, you know, because I never want to get caught going into the airport with it, you know what I mean? And so, like, I left it on the back of the car and freaking left. <laughs> and my friend was like, she was like, you're ready to drive off. And she was like, there's something in the back of my car. And there it goes. She's like, oh, by the way, I got to let you know I had your handgun. She was like, uh, you left it sitting on the back of the car. And I was like, oh, my God. I was so worried about making sure it wasn't in my bag to go in the airport that I didn't. That's not nothing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying that I didn't set it down. And it's not just. People can, you know, come up and be like, you see, you did this or something. But people need to be careful with that shit because you could be – it's not like you're purposely trying to, like, forget it or something. You just 
you know, you're trying to do one thing right and don't do the other one. And it's, I mean, it had a safety on it and it was locked inside of a case. But it was just the point, like, of saying that you can easily forget to do something like that, you know. And Yeah, yeah. I have a I have a 382. I have a Smith & Wesson MP380. Yeah. And I try not to bring mine anywhere unless, like, you know, for traveling out of state or yeah. going somewhere where, like, like Fayetteville. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah, because I'm the kind of person where I'll, I will leave that somewhere and totally forget it because I just, you know, like you said, yeah. try to do the right thing and then actually doing something else. <laughs> right. Like, I was the only one that locked our room up in the house. Remember I told you? I was the only one that locked mine in the jewelry cabinet. Like, absolutely yeah. locked. <laughs> you know? So, like, I always try to make sure with everything, you know, you, you try to do that. But, I mean, and the thing about it with a shotgun, though, and he going to sit and go buy somebody a shotgun, and then you say, oh, it's okay. You can have a shotgun. It's okay. Here's how you load it. Here's how you do this. And see, I just never would have done that. That's just my parenting and my way of belief. I just don't, I don't believe in that, you know? But... Yeah, I mean, well, like, with our kids, like, you know, they know what guns are. Like, they're not familiar with them, but they know, like, you don't touch them, you don't look at them. Like, all of ours are put away. So, like, yeah. if you see us, like, with them out, like, you don't go near it, you don't look at it. I told the girls, I'm like, don't don't look at it, don't breathe around it, don't smell it. Like, just stay away from all of them. Yeah, exactly. But, but if something would happen and they would accidentally do it, you know what I'm saying? And let's say Taylor wasn't, you know, being responsible, you know, like, that's, unfortunate people have to go through things like that you know what i'm saying hopefully god forbid that never happens to him i'm just saying but people actually you know really do and that's why you got to keep them in a house locked up you know but, yeah oh no i i totally agree with you and like like i said mine is always put you know out of the kids reach like it's in my room i have it hidden yeah. you know it's out of their reach but only i know where it is but like yeah. right now i'm laying on my bed and taylor's got an ar and like literally just sitting out here on the floor like that's not smart <laughs> Oh, and you got to stay on him about that, because that's... Um, here's this... Girl, uh, I, yep. this thing I know, Harry, that to him last night. I'm like, put that shit did? away. He's like, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I told him last night, I'm like, you need to put that shit away, because, like, the girls don't really come in our room often, but they will yeah. sometimes. It's not yeah. loaded, but I'm like, still, they don't need to be around it. And he's like, I'll, Ew, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. And then he's downstairs right now, actually playing, like, I think he's playing Black Ops right now. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, and that's what... I try to think when I when I heard that question asked, and I'm like, that's the society we in. It is no no longer cowboys and Indians that people have to, you know, do. Now it's these stupid games where you steal a car and you go do this and go do that and go do this and go that. You can't say, well, that didn't cause someone to do something violent. No, it doesn't originally cause someone to do a violent, but it's no different than your mental health. It gets stuck in someone's brain where they start thinking that that's, that's okay. It's okay if I just go around and act like I'm a sniper and I'm, you know, going to, you know, shoot the bad guys and blow their arms off and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the, okay, so I think I might have told you before, but like, so the rumor that I heard online about Al, um, yeah. something about, I guess one of your, one of your guys' neighbors was like somebody that came over often or was like familiar with the family. I didn't catch her name. Oh, it's not Leanne. Yeah, I think I think that yeah. was her name, but she had mentioned that she came over to the house and, like, walked in, and it was shortly after, you know, yeah. what happened. But when she came over, like, I was just standing in the kitchen loading up a shotgun, like, just so casually doing it, and she was she thought it was weird because and of, not only, you know, everything that was going on. And not only was it a shotgun, it was an assault rifle. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes, it was, okay. like, AR-15, or whatever that was. Oh, wow. That, he's a military-grade... Whatever that, Annie was loading a handgun. Yeah, and I remember she said that she thought that was like really strange behavior, just based on what was going on at the time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, very strange behavior, I, right? You would have thought yeah, that. Yeah, I thought that so sounds too. like someone really knows something, and they're about to go get somebody else, or pretending they are anyway. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, right? yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I, I thought that, and then. I thought it was something else, but I can't really like yeah, go into detail on the phone yeah, just because it's a recorded call. Yeah, you just <laughs> that's just that's just like his mentality, though he he doesn't have that association that guns need to be kept in hidden places or or locked up in his world. It's just you know his way or you know he's right and everybody's wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The how static. how did you? How did you tolerate him as long as you did? Like, I how didn't did you guys live with him? That's what people are not realizing. We didn't live together. Oh, really? Think about it. Somebody, I think Josh even asked me this today. He was like six years together. I was like, yeah, but we didn't live together. Think about it. Okay. He used to come over 
uh, to the house. He would sleep in the car, and the kids would sleep in the house. Because in South Carolina, you can't, you're not supposed to, like, stay over at someone's house with your kids until you get married. But that was just up until we got married. So he would sleep in the car, whatever. And the kids stay in the house with me. We do our thing, whatever. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But anyway, so then after we got married, he legit had to get uh, sent to um, Oklahoma for his officer training because he decided to take his commission. So he was gone six months there, right? Comes back. Uh-huh. Okay, comes back. But then we only stay in Charleston for a little bit because then he decides, I'm going to go to Alaska. So we really were only in Charleston a couple months living together. And then after that, I was with the kids at home when he was in Oklahoma again. And then he was in Colorado for three months for training. Then I was I had the kids again while he was in Alaska. So the only okay, time did you get, we ever lived oh, together Did you go to Alaska with him? I didn't go to Alaska with him. Well, we kept our house, and I would just go. I would fly out there for like two weeks and then come home. And then when I come home one time, we came home because that's when we were getting the kids. When Lana texts me, and then she Instagrammed me and said she didn't want them anymore. She was like, I don't want them anymore. I can't do it anymore. She actually told me that, like, on the Instagram. She's like, I don't want them anymore. You can come and get them. So I get on the plane, I come and get them, and Harley flies back with them and takes care of them because I had to go back to Lynchburg to do something for my doctorate. And so Harley takes them back to Alaska, and she takes care of them until I could get back there. And then so they finish out that little bit of school in Alaska, but then they came back with me for the summer and then stayed with me to, and then I taught them through the summer, like taught them up from all the school they missed. And then we stayed in uh, Myrtle Beach and went to school fourth grade year. Gannon's fourth grade year, Lena's first grade year, uh, while Albert was still in Alaska. So me and Albert never oh, lived wow. together. The only time we ever oh, lived together okay. was, then I get to Colorado. I start the whole family, get everybody in school, do everything. Albert doesn't get there to February, but he's really not doing anything because he's just like, oh, I'm so tired from Alaska, da, da, da. So basically, I did everything up until the summer. And then the summer, I took everybody home because Harley was graduating. And then I took Lena to her mom and me, Gannon, and Harley went on a cruise. <laughs> so, I mean, that was the cruise that E came and Ty came. Okay, yeah, because I guess I always thought, I, I guess I always thought, like, when you guys got married, like, y'all moved in together. But, no, that that makes a lot more sense now, okay? Did yeah. He, it kind of sounds like did he pawn the kids off on you a lot? That's kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have a problem with it because here's the thing about it. What we would do is, like, shoot, you know, in South Carolina, we just got, heck, you know, I'd just go sit at the pool. They play all day in the pool. I mean, it, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't a hard job to do. It was the fact of, like, if I'm doing all of it, you know, and I'm and I'm, gl- I'm pr- gladly doing all of it. When I got time to go to, when I got to go to my schoolwork and get my schoolwork done, I need help from people. But all these people that magically said they were doing this and doing this, I'd never seen any of these people for how many years. <laughs> when I had to go to my school, like, I had to keep putting that off and putting that off. And it was like, if it wasn't for Harley, a lot of times, you know, having to grow up so fast and do everything, you know what I'm saying? She'd done everything that I couldn't do when I was going to school and stuff, you know. And actually, to be honest with you, that was the way we liked it. I liked just living in South Carolina with it, with it, me and the kids. And her, their grandparents would get them on the weekends, like come and get them on Saturdays or pick them up from school on Fridays and bring them back to me on Sundays. Their grandparents would go to our house. It's probably huh? easier doing it that way than having to deal with Al. <laughs> yeah, terrible. No, it, was, it was so much easier. I didn't have to deal with the narcissism or anything. And when G found out I was leaving to go be the flight attendant, that's why he was freaking. He was like, I'm going with you. And I was like, you can't, honey. Like, they'll, they'll get me for kidnapping. I can't just you know, get you in the car and just be like, they're going back to South Carolina and Florida with me. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Aww. I mean, probably should have been better off. But at the same time, it was like, he was like, uh-uh, can't we just go back to South Carolina and do what we did and you take us to school and be with us at school and then my mommy and – that's on that work. Then my mommy and grandpa get a, um, on the weekends. And I was like, buddy, I wish we could do that. That was just the perfect life. We we had it made in the shade. That definitely would be on my top list right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I I read somewhere, I don't remember where I read it, but I think it was, like, another neighbor that was, like, talking to one of the YouTuber people or whatever. But they had made a comment that, like, I guess I knew G personally, and I guess they had said that he had said that, like, his dad could be kind of, that's what I'm looking for, not necessarily, like, overly strict, but, like, I guess maybe not necessarily like a fun parent. You know what I mean? 
He wasn't. He it wasn't a restrict. It was that he just if he, if anybody didn't do something that was going to interfere with his officer thing, the whole house had to do it. You know, like you guys are just trying to be a cahoots together to get me to lose my job. That was everything. Oh God! No matter, no matter what we did. <laughs> It could have been, girl, us not getting the right thing at the grocery store, and we were trying to get him to lose his job. Like, that's how bad, like. So as I'm listening to this domestic violence thing, I'm thinking, you're right. That's the controlling part. You're absolutely right. I'm glad you pointed on that because that's exactly what happens to the point where you have to hide your medical from your spouse because he wants to have his mom diagnose you with everything there is in the book because she's a psychologist or whatever she is. Like, come on. Or, you know. Yeah, he didn't have any right doing that. If anything, he should have been there to support you with whatever you were going through at the time. You know what I mean? Not trying to sabotage whatever yeah. you might have yeah. been doing or what you were going through and going to his mom about it. Like, that's just, yeah. that's mental abuse. Or if I wanted to go, like, if I said, which in November, I went to Carson and I started talking to the lady about getting some help again. And he was like, you want me to go back to with you? I was like, no, I'm good. He said, oh, because you're going to talk about me. I was like, no, that, that this, this is not what this is about. And he was like, oh, so let me guess. Now you're not going to be able to watch the kids. And I was like, what? Why does it have to be like that? Like, get I, you wouldn't want me watching someone if I'm not mentally able. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like, why was he not taking that into consideration? And that's like a lot of, that's a lot of what I think, like, maybe men in particular, don't really stop to think about, like, you know, they think of us women as being the nurturers, the providers, like, yeah, that's yeah. what we're supposed to do. That's how God made us to be. But in yeah. the same token, like, we go through shit just like they do. Like, we need some time to ourselves, especially if we're going through, you know, one of yeah. those phases, like, going through some shit. We need some time to ourselves. Like, it's- You have one minute remaining. Well, hey, it's hard to be a good... The right okay, go for hangs up. It's harrys.com. And then okay. slash BN421. I don't know. They got a copy of it here, but. Okay. I, I punched it in on my phone. It says okay. you can get a free one, but I thought I'd tell you. But I did get my books. Thank you so much. I appreciate cool. that. I sent the girls a letter in with your letter, and then I got you a new letter today. So. Oh, I'll awesome. Start. Cool. So. I haven't gotten yeah. I haven't gotten the other one from you yet, but I'll probably okay. get it. I'm thinking like tomorrow or Saturday. I'll probably get yeah, it. For sure. Okay, cool. All right. I'll talk to you again soon. All right, okay, yeah, you have a good night. Try to get some rest, okay? Okay, you too, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Tell Link. Thank you for... I had a well, dollar again. I had a dollar left, <laughs> but I had to tell you one thing. Oh, my God, this okay. smells, almost smells like pot because I think someone used it who just came in and they smell like pot. So now this new phone I just got on smells like pot, and I think I'm high. Oh, <laughs> like a contact high? <laughs> I know, that's what I think. <laughs> I'm sure. I started coughing yeah, when, wrong I, with that. I started coughing when I got up to the phone. I was like... <laughs> Anyway, um, so the visitation people said something about if it doesn't show up, you have to call to set a schedule of visit. I don't know what's going on because now, did it show up any more times? I tried it the other night, not last night, but the night before. I hopped on both of the apps to see who would let me schedule on either one, and it's still showing out. On the first, the one that you see is showing where it won't let me schedule, and on the other one, it's saying like all the visitation times are blocked out. Yeah, so I asked the lady when she came in here yesterday, and she said that you probably have to call visitation to do it and something, something, something. And I was just looking at it like, are you serious now? We're back to this where you have to call? <laughs> it's like they're reversing in their advanced technology. <laughs> yeah, your, I know. Do you so know what your schedule is? So my outside the Mars is fixed, so I can't do that one because it's not a 48. They'll probably let you do it for the next day. What's, what's tomorrow? Uh, on. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday. So Saturday I come out. From uh, 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, so okay. So if, if you do that one, just tell them to do like 6:30 a.m. or something, which would be 8:30 okay. your, your time. And then okay. the next day, um, 8 to 11. Uh, so that time would probably be good to do like uh, 9 or 9:30 our time here. Okay. So All right, know, cool. if you can get that to work, I just thought I'd call you tell you because that's what they keep telling me. And I didn't get that thing. That box, because they said that they don't they don't accept those boxes anymore. So I don't know. Okay, well I will. I'll probably call, well. Okay, yeah, I, I'll call them tomorrow morning. Okay. And see if I can set up a visitation for a Saturday or Sunday. I'm sure they'll let you know if I can get it to go through and what time it'll okay. be. Okay. And then um, I'll also ask them if they can transfer me to somebody in the mail room and ask them about that box. Because like I said, the other the company I ordered it through said it's there. Yeah. And actually, somebody wasn't there by yesterday. I need to call them back. So I need to call them tomorrow and ask them about that because they said they're going <laughs> to 
They're going to open an investigation against El Paso for mail withholding. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I thought I'd tell you that real quick because I was like, I didn't get that either, but I didn't want the girls to ask. And be like, she still didn't get it. And be like, what kind of castle don't deliver candy? <laughs> yeah, it's literally it's just like a box full of candy. So, like, if they're not delivering it, but, you know, the other company told me that it's there, like, what are they doing with it? Just leaving it, like, sitting around? Like, that's a waste of exactly when they money when they your can... money back, yeah. Yeah, or they could just literally walk it down to where you are and give it to you, and then, you know, they could just let me know, like, okay, well, don't do it again. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello? Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing. I just finished cleaning. Okay. And I gave you a bath. Huh? I said, that's good. Yeah. Nothing special. You didn't have to work tonight? No, I worked this morning. Oh, I was going to say, tonight's the money-making night. I know. You didn't make much money. Well, well, no, I worked on the beach today. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, but I work tomorrow at Soho. Oh, so you do work at least one weekend night so you can make some money? Yeah. Good. I would try to work more at um, my job on the beach than at Soho just so I don't exhaust myself. Yeah. Make sure you put on a lot of sunscreen. I do. And apparently I smirked it. Apparently what? Apparently I freckled. Yeah, I noticed that about myself too. <coughs> now that I'm white and hazy without the tan. <laughs> yeah, like my freckles are coming out now that I've been working on the Well, that happens. And that's one of the problems of skin cancer, so just i not saying you got it. I'm just saying that's like one of the things when you're exposed to sun at all, it starts happening. They start really exposing, so. Yeah. Um, keep a lot yeah, of I put on sunscreen. Yeah, because like I can see them on my arms a lot. You can see them on your arms a lot, you said? Yeah. Because my arm is like so tight. have to would have ever knew. Well, mom has them. That's probably why. Oh, yeah, I think dad has them. Yeah, so. Yeah. But your skin is still dark enough that it shouldn't, like, show a lot. Yeah, it's just on my face. Oh, you're, you got them? Oh, yeah, I see. I don't think I, I don't have any on my face. You gotta keep a lot of sunscreen on your face for sure. <clears throat> I'm trying to find out who sings this song. Okay. It's Beers and Sunshine. Beers and Sunshine, Back Porch Nights in South Carolina. Ain't nothing finer. Okay. But I talked to the Hunter Tower. There's Rock. That's what I thought, because he was on The Masked Singer. And it don't pop up with him. It doesn't pop up at all on the tablet. I um, said, that's, because I was like, that's, there's only two people from South Carolina. I was like, it's Josh Turner, Darius Rucker. I know, you, you fixed it, right? No. You you didn't? You had no. to, because it's playing the songs. Oh yeah, subscription plus. I guess I guess it did do it. Good, thank you. Because I saw that and I was like, oh, I didn't even ask her. It's <laughs> like, so good, she finally did something <laughs> without me being like, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you know, you can listen to podcasts on there. Oh yeah. Yeah, you should listen to like Sadie Robinson's podcast and stuff. Okay, is it called Sadie Robinson? It's called Live Original. Live original? Yeah. 
Well, you yeah, can use the podcast um, account too, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to look it up so that I can save it. Maybe it'll go to your thing. Is it called Beers and Sunshine? That's Darius Rucker's title, right? Yeah. That's what I thought when I said, "Dang, nobody but Darius Rucker and Josh Turner." And I knew that right, Josh Turner's voice. I said, "That's got to be Darius Rucker's voice." Where Where are we going? Oh my God! Where are we going? Oh God! I don't even know what in the world is going on in this place. I don't know what's going. On. I think we have to go back in again. All right, I love you. I'll talk okay. to you later. Bye. I love you too. Bye. Oh, we'll tell Link. Hello. Hey, you sleep. Yeah. Sorry, I had to hang up yesterday because there's always someone doing something. And they always be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go this. There's always people running around here going crazy. <sighs> if, it ain't, if it ain't drugs, it's, it's somebody crazy. <laughs> so I had just, I was like, I just wanted to call you back. You want time to get to go to work? Um, 12 o'clock. Oh, well, that ain't too bad. You can get a little bit of sleep. Well, I'll let you sleep. Uh, just when you get time, try to um fill out that form because I really need you to put that money on my account and then um some money some of that money on my account. The the Colorado stuff. Yeah. I'll have to walk yeah, you through this. Huh? We already did. We already gave you the income. You already what? I'm already getting it taken care of. I can't understand you. What? Already getting it taken care of. Yeah, but I want you to. Uh, who's taking care of it? Because I want. I need to talk to you first before you fill it out. I mean, as you like before you send it off. Because I don't want anyone, anyone okay. else to my business. You know what I mean? Mhm. So who's taking care of it? Well, you told Aunt Brenda about everything, so I don't know. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want it to be mailed to her. That's all I'm saying. I want it to be mailed to me here. Sure. Okay. Like I don't. I just agree with her on that kind of stuff. I don't need the Colorado one. Is the South Carolina is the one with the money in it? So I don't want her having like you know, being all in that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. Is about the Colorado one. Okay, well, the South Carolina one is the same company, the same thing, except it's you have to go to South Carolina and print it off. That's the one that has the money in it. The Colorado one doesn't have a lot in it. That would be just enough to put on. Yeah, the Colorado one probably only has a, not even a couple thousand bucks in it. Okay. But the South Carolina one is one. What did you do? Did she print it off? Well, you told her that I had a form that I needed to give her so that she could fill it out. So she was asking me what the name of it's called, so I told her. And she's been calling people and stuff. But they're not going to give her that information because you have a power of attorney. Who's she been calling? I... I know, but she's just getting all the right forms so that I can do it. Oh, okay. I thought you would just say that, baby. Don't be like, well, she's whatever. Just say she's getting the right forms because, I mean, I get she's, you know, can do whatever, but you got to think. I have that thought, you know, thought in my mind how she did me about the house over years ago, so I don't ever trust it when it comes to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know how that goes. I mean, anyway. All right then. I'll um just whenever she does whatever, you gotta still sign it and stuff like that. Just talk to me first before you do it, so I can tell you. Um, because I might elect to not pay the taxes on it. Because you can elect to pay or not pay them, and I might elect not to pay them on there. All right. Okay. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. I'll tell Link. Good morning. Hey, were you asleep? 
Oh, what I was wrong to the wake up sounds like perfect timing. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. I, was, I needed to get up anyway, so that works out fine. <laughs> yeah, I what didn't know what kind of stuff was going to go on, and we would never try it again, because we only came out your space for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I try, I try to get up around, like, on the weekends, I try to get up around, like, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Yeah. So it's, like, I think it's, like, 9, it's 8.30. Yeah, so it's good timing. Yeah. But, oh, man. What will be up to you? You know, I just trying to figure out why I'm in this drug rehab. Wait, what? Why I'm in a drug rehab. That's where I'm at. It's a drug rehab. For real? I mean, you might as well say it is. They done made this board into the drug rehab. And I'm just chilling. Like, what all do they do there? Like... I mean, yesterday, apparently someone tripped. And when they fell, drugs came out of their pockets and everywhere. And, like, I don't know, man. I would I would imagine that probably every word is very similar to that one. Like, no, not like <laughs> that. This one, I'm telling you, I'm, it's drug slash psych ward slash normal people. <laughs> Could you request to go to a different one, or are they just going to no. keep you there? I mean, if I go back to the one I was already in, it's the same thing, except I can't have a radio. So the radio saves my life most days. <laughs> so. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to give that up either. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we only got like twenty, maybe twenty five minutes at most yesterday because all this. And then the day before, oh, wow. some girl wanted to. She said she wanted to kill everybody. So of course we had to. Everybody had to lock down. Cause she and had to call mental health for her. I mean, it's just like, what are we going to, what do you, what was you going to do it with? We we have nothing. They took everything from us. You have nothing. But, yeah, she could start swinging on people or something. <laughs> yeah, but you going to come, she couldn't even get out of her cell. She was in her cell. Oh. <laughs> well, We're all just standing outside, but we all had to go lock down. Like, what, what is she, how is she, what is she going to do? <laughs> Maybe she meant after, like, when she got out next time, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it was, like, a pending threat. Oh, you know what it was? She just wanted to talk to somebody. She's about, like, 90 pounds in a blue suit. I mean, she's here on, like, a little misdemeanor charge, and she'll be home, like, next week. She just wanted oh. to, like, sit down and, like, just, just talk to someone because she's too stressed out of being in her cell. And it's such a bad example because I was like, well, darn. I mean, everybody would start doing that then, you know? Yep. Um, before I forget, I went online yesterday and I used the app thing to try to set up a video visit and it worked. Oh, and there's one set up. Yeah, there's one set up for tomorrow morning. It's from 9, what, your time, 9.20 okay. to 9.35. Oh, wow, they're doing them at increments like that. <laughs> yeah, weird, right? I know. <laughs> Okay. I, I went over there today, um, and there's dudes' names on the visits, and I was like, okay, I ain't even going to say anything, but I know no <laughs> Yeah, there's dudes' names on our kiosk visits, and I thought, well, shoot, then I don't know. I mean, I doubt they're bringing them over here to do a visit, so I have no clue what's going on. So, I'm wondering, like, what all is new with the new system. I think... If I understand the email correctly, I think this is supposed to be more, like, secure, if you will. Because yeah. I think people were probably screen recording or something. They were so I don't know if, like, like screen recording or oh. something, like, on the other system. Yeah. But this will be more secure. And then I think and it's when free, you logged you know. in, you could put in, like, you could hit someone's name. And all you had to have was their pin. You didn't have to do the face. Once the oh, ring, really? Yeah, once it was ringing, uh, it could ring on, like, if it, if someone else was, if you had someone else on that person's account, you could hit that thing and just, like, let's say it said your name. You could hit your name and then just put your PIN number in, and it wouldn't ask for the face thing. And, you know, like, oh, wow. the people were doing that, and it was just like, don't I don't know why. Maybe it was because they just didn't want people to hear what they specifically were talking about, maybe. Probably. But they had yeah, that one probably. around. If they needed to tell somebody something, just do it on someone else's. And it was just like, I guess that was how, like you said, it's more secure, so they don't be doing that or whatever. My business is yeah, already handled, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, like, so when I set it up the other day, it got confirmed. So they sent, like, a confirmation email. And there's, like, all these steps you have to follow to, like, get in. So, like, it's, it's going to be interesting trying to get in there because it's, like, make sure you have Flash Player, like, most recent version of Flash Player. Make sure all other apps in the background or the websites are shut down. Like, any other apps that would use your camera, like, shut them down or it won't work. And I'm just, like, okay. So I'm just going to, like completely reboot my computer, like, turn it off and turn it back on so everything shut off. That <laughs> is good. Yeah, we do weird, weird time increments and then, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think that it's free, too. Like, I don't think they charge for the service like the other one did. Oh, they don't? Yeah, I guess not because when I confirmed it, it said, like, total cost. It said free, so I was like, all right. <laughs> okay, well, they had free ones before, so I bet you they must have just had to go back to that. Well, that probably pissed the company off because they was making money off that. That's what I said the other day because I called and I put money on my call account. And I was like, I was talking to Taylor. I was like, I need to get the money off my video chat app thing that we were using because I got like 14 bucks on there. I was like, you know, damn well, this company was making YouTube bucks because it was like almost $4 for every video visit. <laughs> yeah, and it was cheaper than the phone calls. So people were just like, you know, even if someone was driving, I'd seen a lot of people that would be on there, somebody to be driving, and really weren't even looking at each other, but it was cheaper than the phone call, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they were just like, oh, well, oh. they probably got pissed at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Before I forget, I forgot, I just remembered, uh, Caitlin texted me yesterday. She wanted to let me know that she got to where she was supposed to go, and she waited, but they never brought her, is what she said. Oh, my God. Do you know? Okay, so let her know now that they came here, told me to take my lights off, told me that they would call whenever she got in the room. So I was so upset because I was like, I was like, this is not like them. Like, are you sure? And they're like, they'll call you when you get here, when they get here, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I said, okay, so it hit 1130, 1145, and I was sitting there like, okay, well, what, where they were like, well, she isn't coming. And I was like, what name's on the paper? And they were like, she's not coming. So let her know that they made me take off my lights, uh, had me get to, like get ready to go, and then came back 15 minutes later and said nobody showed up. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll so, let her know. And the deputy worked yesterday. I don't, I, they can look up who there. I don't know that deputy's name. She worked yesterday. But she worked the 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock shift. And I, I knew the lady in the morning told me, she's like, you have a visit at 1130, make sure you be ready. I said, all right. So I brushed my teeth, did everything, had my whites off, everything, standing at the door at 1125. And I was like, are they going to come search me so I can go? And she was like, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, let me call. So she gets on the phone, she calls somebody, she says, well, we'll wait till someone gets in there. I said, okay, cool. So I'm standing at the door, and I was like, okay, this ain't like them. Because Josh had already told me Caitlin was coming. And I was like, if they would, you know what I mean? Like, if it would have been something, she would have called back and said, you know, I'm counseling the room. I said, you know, I don't want, let's let her know. I don't want this to start what happened with the PD's office. Because this shit would happen with the PD's office. And I don't know whether to believe them or not. You know what I mean? But I know she was going to be here. And yeah, so, and it sounds... It's not like she was there and she yeah, just wasn't so able to know, get back I'm to you. I'm concerned about this. The same shit would happen with the PD's office. They would tell the PD's office that I was at court. And the PD's office would be like, okay, cool. And I'm like, thinking, if, I, if I'm at court, why aren't you there? Exactly. <laughs> and so, like, this is the shit that started. And so and I was, and so I was, I was so, like, like fr- frustrated yesterday. Like, I was, I was a mess because I was like, I don't understand. Like, and I said, call down there again, and the lady was like, well, they said no one was in there. So it got almost 12 o'clock, and I said, so you're telling me she was a no-show? And she said, yep, no-show. Wow. No, it sounds like to me that she was there yesterday, is what she told me. <laughs> yeah, so please let her know that, and that I'm, like, was freaking out because this is what happened with the PD's office. Not on her part, but I'm talking about the jail's part. This is the same thing how it all started. So I started, like getting freaking trauma yesterday like oh my god here we go again <laughs> it sounds like El Paso needs to be investigated or something and I kept saying like are you sure she was a no show and they were like yeah 
So I took my wow. I put my white sack on and everything. After literally, I stood at that door like thirty minutes, sitting there like, "Are you gonna pop me out to go? Are you gonna pop me out to go and search me?" Yeah, I'll let her know, and then um, and so then let her know <laughs> I did not refuse. That they had me waiting, saying she was a no show. That was her exact words, and it was a deputy that worked yesterday. Does she know that they used to do that with the PD's office too? Um, I don't know if she used to do that, but please, like, just tell her that I am. I was freaked out yesterday. I was like, you know how you get upset and like cry, but like you're mad crying. Like, I was oh, like, yeah, <laughs> I just felt like I was going through this again. And and I just was like, I can't do this. Like, th- 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 I can't go through this again when we got work to do. I was like, I ain't got, I can't do this. And you know what else? Like, that, the lady from Well Pass, she never emailed me back. Like, I emailed her a second time the other day, and she's not emailed me back. So, you know, I said it in my mind come Monday. Like, if she hadn't emailed back, I'm going to call up there, which I'm probably going to have to do because she didn't take the time to email me back. I don't know if she has maybe been out of the office or what so you know i'll wait till monday afternoon to call but she didn't write me back so i'm like okay <laughs> like she knows that like there's something i want to talk to her about which is importance and you know she told me that okay well we can talk about it but we can't go into like super detail until that form is signed so i was like all right so i emailed her back with more information that she could respond to but she hasn't so i'm like all right like well, and I sent that thing, and, and I tried to ask somebody that walked by mental health yesterday. I tried to be like, hey, can I get? And they were like, sorry, you're not on our list to be seen today, so we can't answer any questions. Oh, but I wow. But I sent the kite, too. So I'm just like, so it was just like yesterday, I'm just standing there like, I don't I don't understand it. And that pisses me off yeah. Caitlin was sitting in there knowing I needed to talk to her and, like, it was just one of the situations because I had everything ready for her that I needed to give her. And I'm just like, this pisses me off. And I just don't want her to think I weren't going because that was the shit that started happening where they would tell the PD's office that, oh, she's refusing her visits. And I'd be like, huh? Now, the only no, time, I yeah, the only time I ever did refuse them was once I got pissed off enough after it kept going on, you know, for... I mean, months, that I was just like, I'm, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, I'll let her know that you were you were there, you were waiting, and that, you know, they messed up on their end. The way she doesn't think that you weren't going or that you weren't there. Oh, man, that makes me mad now, because I knew, I was like, are you sure? Because, you know, she's the kind of person that I feel like once I tell her that, she's probably going to have, she's probably going to say something to them. I'm sure she will. <laughs> well, I want them to because go ahead and set the groundwork that that crap ain't going to happen because I literally was like, this is not like, like this is not like them. Because I was like, if something would have happened, she's responsible enough, and so is Josh, that they would call, if they got held up in court, they would counsel the room because you're, you're, um, reserving that room for us to go in there when, you know, other people could be using it. So they're yeah. just not the type of people to reserve it and then just not show up unless, like, it was an emergency or something. But then, you know, they would call and be like, okay, we need to change it to another day. Right. And I was just standing there at the door like, what the heck? I had everything ready and, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's <sighs> shitty. That makes me mad, too. That's shitty. You have but one minute remaining. This pisses me off, man. Stupid shit. That place bothers me. <laughs> like, El Paso in a hole just bothers me. It just, I, it just, I don't even know who's in, like, the in charge party. is just like, I, I don't even get it. I tried calling the mailroom yesterday. I started calling from, like, 1 o'clock my time to 4 o'clock my time to talk about that package. And every time I called, it would ring once and be like, we're sorry, this party didn't answer. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm going to call them on Monday, too. I'm to try to get a hold of somebody in the mail room. Maybe I can I'm sorry I had to go through all that. That's I'm shitty. I'm going to put it in the system that it happened yesterday, that it's starting again with these visits. Yeah, definitely take note of it. And then I'll shoot Caitlin a text here in a minute and let her know. Okay, cool. All right. I'll talk to you later. It's going to up. All right, bye. I'll tell Link. Hello? Hey. 
Okay, I'm at work. Oh, okay. I just want to tell you I love you. I love you too. And real quick, you don't have to um just let her do what she's gotta do with that stuff. Just don't give her my ID and social to send it off. You just hold all of it to do that, okay? Okay, sounds good. Bye, I love you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, I love you too. Bye. We'll tell Link. Hey, baby. Hey, just seeing if you made it back from your trip. Yeah, I did. I uh, really enjoyed my trip and everything. And okay. and uh, I I just read, you know, they had a shortage of gas. Oh, Connie yeah, had I heard. A, yeah, Connie had a hard time finding gas coming home. But every time I spotted a place that had gas, I stopped and made sure I stayed full of gas. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And I, kept, I, kept, I always kept, kept it off. But... Uh, I got something I want to discuss with you about while I got you on the phone, baby, so we won't run out of time. Yeah. Uh, I called the Colorado place for your um, your your paperwork and stuff. Yeah. It's those forms for Harley. Yeah. Okay. They're going to need, uh, I know you said Harley has power of attorney over that. Yeah. So I told Harley I would get with her tomorrow. But she, she she informed me this morning she had to work tomorrow. But I yeah. told her I would get her, and I got to send them copies of the power of attorney uh, for Harley. Okay. And fill the paperwork and stuff out. Okay. And all and um, that's for Colorado Springs. They're going to ask me some questions and stuff, and I did do a print out of it real quick, tickle in. Yeah. Uh, uh, solid it. Uh, I got things for direct deposit, which we don't know if we want to do that yet. I'll, I'm, I'm not so much worried about that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she just put the bank account. Well, that's, 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 well, we'll, we're going to work on that. The refund thing is, is, um, some of this refund stuff. Do you know what you had? Was it a 401k or just the state employee what? Uh, just the, the state plan, just the para plan. It's just a... Okay. Yeah, when well, see, like, the thing is, I, I don't know if they processed the South Carolina one in the Colorado one yet, or if I have to do... A you got to do them separate. Okay, okay I well did call on that. Okay, okay well then here's the, the thing. South Carolina I, one's I, separate. I, I, did, I did all that so me and Harley could get it done. So that's why I told Harley, I said, I'll go down there and we'll do it all. So Colorado is separate from South Carolina. Yeah. I called South Carolina and they, they told me everything I needed to do, what forms to pull up and everything. So I did all that, where to mail it to and everything. I got to mail it with a copy of the power of attorney. Okay. And fill out the forms. Colorado said the same thing. Now, okay. they also said uh, in Colorado, because of the situation and stuff like that, that there's a possibility they may need some other type of documents besides Harley having the power of attorney. They may have to get you to fill out a form or something. So okay. I told them, I said, well, let me go ahead and send you everything. And then if Harley power of attorney is not sufficient enough, let me know what I got to get from her mom, okay. and I'll let her know, and then that way she can tell the attorney what we need or or, or get it for us. Okay. Okay, so I will get, I will get with uh, Harley it's one day. I told her we needed a day when she had a day off to do this. Yeah. But I got everything wrote down that I need. And okay. All. And I pretty okay, much cool. know all your stuff, but I just want to give you a heads up on that. Okay. Um, and stuff. And she did send me a copy of the power of attorney, but I think I'm gonna need a better copy than what I printed off. I think I'm gonna. That's that's why I hadn't done it. Yeah. Um, and I also, but anyway. So, okay. are you okay? How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. Are you eating pretty good? I mean, yeah. I mean. I tell I'm lacking a lot of uh, a lot of different vitamin stuff. I've been really dizzy and lightheaded and all kinds of stuff. But. Well, um, now 
let me ask you this. Miss Kim was in the hospital. She had, and I didn't get to go get her clothes and stuff. And that's something else I'm trying to work on is go by Miss Kim. Yeah. Kim. And so I'm trying to get all your clothes and stuff because I got a place here in the building, um, um, a secured storage building. Okay. Put your clothes and stuff in. I've already made arrangements for your clothes to be put here. Um, okay. Is there any, is there anything else and the clothes and stuff in Colorado? Um, Harley's out of school for the summer, and I told Harley, I said, you can go with me as far as Texas, Harley. And I said, I'll go into Colorado and get a van and get those clothes. Okay. I mean, whatever you think is this, I mean... That's that's the only I don't want I don't want Harley I don't want Harley going to Colorado. I agree. Yeah. And so I told her she could stay in Texas for a couple of days with my cousin Sharon and McKean. Mm-hmm. And that's right there at Dallas. And I can cross over and go over there and get get the clothes and make arrangements with the attorney. I yeah. think he still got them at his place, but I'm not sure because um I don't um I had never talked to Harley's attorney. She told me the other day that he said he had them there and that you were, um, he would hold them and you were supposed to try to get up with them yeah. or something. Yeah. I told I told Harley to also tell him if they were in his way, if he wanted to put them in a storage or have somebody to pick them up and take them to a storage for us, yeah. that I would pay the storage as long as it weren't towards $300. Yeah. It can't be, you know, it can't be that much stuff. Most of it is just memorabilia stuff. Do you think he gave you all your your well, your stuff like that? Well, I hope so because in that one container was all our photo albums, and then it was a uh, remember that record player I had with all the tapes of me and Grandpa singing and stuff on there. Yeah, all that was on there. It was in the all the memorabilia stuff. It was all that, and then photo albums that I had from you. That was like my. You know, yeah. high school, middle school, and then the ones from Harley when she was little and stuff like that. So that's mainly what it, you know, what it was. Well, he should he he shouldn't have got gave none of that to nobody else. I mean, he no. could have kept that for you guys, regardless of what went on yeah. and what happened. Yeah. I mean, he he should have done that. But um, I'm 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 gonna stay on top of that. The other thing is, is Harley got of school and she called me a while ago this morning. She was at work. And me and her has been trying to get some stuff situated about yeah. what she wants to do. Yeah. She's kind of she's kind of in a rut, and I am too because I'm sold my vehicles. I'm. You I'm, sold the, um, the other vehicle too. I I sold my red vehicle, my my truck I just bought. I turn it back in. I sold one of my motorcycles. I'm I'm just. Are you moving? No, I got. I, I'm trying. I'm. I'm spent a lot of money on Harley Tishlin. You'd be surprised how much money I've spent on that child. I mean, I, I kind of messed up, but it was my fault. I paid cash for her car, and what I should have done is stop payment. Yeah. But instead, I poured out thirty thousand dollars out of my account and paid cash for it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I didn't want to pay all that interest either. Yeah. The interest would have killed us. So, and by me pulling out $30,000 out of my account, plus I'm being given her money, et cetera, I'm, 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 I'm tight. I'm very tight right now. And, and I don't know why, but people believe Tommy had life insurance. Tommy's life insurance didn't cover cancer. I didn't get no life insurance. Tommy, well, Tommy didn't um, have cancer. What about all the other stuff? Did you sell the other stuff that was at the house paid for? Or you just kept that? What house? No, like the stuff that was at the house, like all those other vehicles, you just, they didn't pay that off? Pay what off, baby? I'm sorry. Like the stuff that was already there that Uncle Tommy had been paying on, they didn't... They didn't cover paying any of that off. Well, I mean, I mean, regardless, I mean, if they paid it off, you got to take in consideration too, Tisha Lynn. When Matthew came right after Tommy died, I had I had to get this house fixed. I had to take yeah. So you didn't get that, that money back six, either. 
No, I got that money back. That was $62,000 that I never got back. But I thought they were that supposed was, to give you that back. I hadn't got it back yet. I'm, I'm still I'm still up. That's the thing. That's what I told Harley the other day. I said, Harley, until I get that $62,000, I said, baby, I said, Aunt Brenda's just living off my Social Security right now. Yeah. Are I they going to give you an not- update on that or no? Well, the senator's uh, assistant called me the other day, and they said that they had they uh, they were going to keep in contact with me every two weeks, and uh, they had a guy that does construction or something supposed to come and go through the house and make sure. I said, man, that was five years ago. I know, right? <laughs> you know, and he's supposed to come through my house now? Come on. Wow. So I'm fighting it. I mean, I'm I'm really fighting it. You'd be surprised yeah, how how hard I'm fighting. That's so, um, I mean, I even talked to my lawyer the other day, and he said we got to get together on this. And I said, no joke, because yeah. he's really he's really confused. He says one don't have nothing to do with the other. And I said, you got that right, and that's what I keep telling him. I need my money. Oh, that's crazy. So, that's crazy. so I'm I'm in a, I'm in a, a pinch right now. Yeah. So. And so I told Harley, I said, Harley, we got to do something. I said, and you got to have a place to stay down there at the beach because you don't want to stay in that. And I don't know what she's got planned. We talked about it the other day. And so I told her to think about it. And so she texted me this morning. She said, ain't Brenda, I thought about it. I think I know what I want to do. Yeah. So I'll know more about that later tonight. And we're going to talk it over and see what she's got in store or what she's got in mind. And if it's something I think it's feasible that we can work with, we'll work with it. Yeah. But right now, uh, I mean, and I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to worry you with it because you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it regardless. I mean, me and Harley, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. By the wise well, I know otherwise. she's working two jobs, so she's got the two jobs. She's, she's working two jobs, but think about it this way, Tishlin too. It's seasonal work. I know. I, we already, we and her already talked about that. She needs to save. She has to save in order for it to cover for the whole year instead of six months. That's right. That's what I told her yesterday. I said you may be making these kind of tips at this restaurant this year, right now, because it's seasonal. Once yeah. the season's over, with, you're not going to be making those kind of tips. Yeah, I already talked to her. November, December, January, February. She won't make them. And and I told her. I said now, and and I said, and you don't want to stand that. Where she's staying at now, she said they were going to, um, they may be putting other people in the apartment with her. I thought there was only one room available. Are they cleaning out that other one? Yeah, yeah. From what I can understand, they're going to be, the guy's trying to get everybody, all the apartments, she's trying to make sure there's four people in them. Yeah. Well, I know she's been wanting to leave. She didn't didn't want to leave from Myrtle Beach forever. So I know I told her if there's an opportunity that she can, I told her she should look into it and go to a school if she want if she needs to. Because she's been wanting to move away from South Carolina. She lived there all of her life, ain't Brenda? She lived there since she was two. Well, I tried to tell her that before she started school down there and before she decided to stay down there. I yeah. tried my best to talk her into doing something else. And but you know, it's time, a learning experience. <laughs> yep, it's a learning experience. But you know, it's it's costing costing ain't Brenda too. Well, I mean, she's paying her rent, so she if she'll just have to pay that rent wherever else she goes. You know what I mean? She is not paying all of her rent. Ain't Brenda's pitching in? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm kept all my bills, and my receipts, and I send her money every month. I'm sending her money. How much are you sending her every month? <laughs> Because I thought it all stopped. I thought you weren't doing that anymore once she was saying her own, what she told her. You have okay. one minute remaining. I, I, I send her about $500 every month or a little bit more. Hmm. And don't, don't say nothing to her. Don't say no, nothing to her. No, you know I will, ain't Brenda, because I'm going to find out. I, There's I not going to be no, I, don't I, I say I should, I should have told you. So I don't want Harley upset because right now Harley's got enough going on. So please don't say nothing to Harley. We're I'm I'm we're dealing with it. We're working on it. So uh, I told Harley the other day she was just going to have to. Anyway, 
Remember, and I don't understand like how you're having to send her five hundred dollars because I mean, the bank account she's uh, when she puts the money in there and stuff, and she's for paying the stuff or whatever. I, I'm just I'm just not understanding that. Like I don't. I'm not under. I'm, I'm not understanding why she's not paying her bills on time, and every time she don't pay her rent or her light bill or whatever down there, I get a notice that the bank the checking account has been declined. And I get on Harley. And it- Thank you for using Global Telling. You still there? Hey, I was just going to hey. say, like, I mean, I And guess- then I pay, wait, wait, Go you got to understand this. Then I pay her, I paid her car insurance. Yeah, I know you did then, that. And then the other day I had to pay her um, taxes on her car was 260 some dollars. I mean, you know, I'm trying to help her make sure she her car chip up with taxes and this and that and the other. So... You know that's that's a lot on me too. No, I, I I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just trying to understand it because here's what I'm thinking. You know, and the the problem is, uh, you know, it's just like the the. the I, don't, I don't I don't think she's throwing the money away. I don't think I don't know what she's doing. I don't see her checks. I don't, and I keep telling her. And then and this is what I'm saying too is when she's laid on her light bill or electrical and her rent, I get a notification. Right. And then when I get that notification, if it goes two or three, you're past due. Right. And it says you're past due, I'll call Harley. Harley, have you done? Uh, no, I'm going to today. That's Harley. I'm going right. to. It's past due, Harley. You're getting, you're getting a late fee payment. Right. You know, they, they, they yeah, yeah, whatever it is, but yeah. you know, they still, that late fee, that adds up. Right, right. Then, when she pays it, I get a notification that her card has been declined. The payment's been declined. Now, you know when a payment's declined, she's got that on her card, a fine, a, a extra charge. And then when I say something to Harley about it, she says, Oh, they messed up. They messed up. And I'm thinking to myself, Harley, I've bought this two or three times. They can't keep messing up like this. Something's not right. Huh. You know your rent is due. You know you when your rent is due, you put your money up for your rent and your light bill. So when it comes due, you automatically pay it right then and there. You don't wait to... It's two or three days paid. Because how much is the how much is the rent? Extra. How much is the rent? She told me one time five hundred dollars, but it's five five sixty seventy five or something like yeah, that. Yeah, five seventy five because they did an increase when the new year came. The five seventy five, and then her light bill runs her a hundred and eighty some dollars last month for one person. That's what. That's what I'm telling you. And I called her the other day, and she said, oh, ain't Brenda, it's so cold. I said, put the thermostat down, Harley. What do you got it on? Yeah, but something still ain't right, though, ain't Brenda, because in the whole house, ours wasn't $180. Yeah, but see, she's got three levels, and I don't know if that thermostat does all three levels or just one level. You That's get what, what I'm saying? saying. Something, but something still ain't right with that because then they, because then there's some running somewhere else or something because in the in the house. I, now I don't I don't I don't know now my 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 knees high and I don't have no heat on. Yeah, but Aaron, I'm talking about yours is a different state. I'm talking about I literally was in the same zip code at the farm, and my electric bill was never that high, and I run little heaters all the time. Well, you ask you ask Harley because I mean I don't know what I see. No, I believe I know you. I'm trying to figure what out what I believe you. I'm trying to figure out what in the world because it should not be one hundred and eighty dollars. I don't know if she's I don't know and I told her the other day to turn the thermostat back. Because I'm gonna have her they can, you can look into it with Santa Cooper or whoever because that ain't that just don't make any sense. Because then there then that apartment is burning electricity somewhere else that ain't even hers or something because that that just don't, don't make any I, sense. Now, I don't, I, I, now I'm just I'm just talking, you know, in general and everything like that. So you know what I'm saying? No, I, I believe you. I'm just don't want y'all paying for something that ain't you shouldn't be paying know, for, you know what I mean? Know, but she should she shouldn't be paying no late fees and decline fees either. 
I agree with that, but I'll, I'll, but that's, when the that's, price that's is that much, away. yeah, but when the price is that much, it's already over exorbitant. So that's she needs to talk to find out why in the world is the electric bill so high that it doesn't make any sense. It should not be that high. Well, anyway, she she told me last night that she she wouldn't be able to stay there and go to school and this and that and the other and. And so she threw some stuff out at me, and I said, think about it, Harley. I said, because if you do anything now, you, you're going to have to make sure it's the right decision. You just can't keep changing and changing and changing. You're going to have to get a decision. You're going to have to stick with it and stay with it till you finish school. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah, and I told her, I said, now you can take a real estate class, get your real estate license, and yeah. work. And I just used that for an example. Get your real estate license, do real estate, and go to school part time. Yeah, because there's no or rush on that. Like because that once you stop, it. you don't. Once you get your bachelor's, you don't get any more financial aid. So there's no need to rush. You know what I mean? Once you what now? Once you get a bachelor's degree, you no longer can get financial aid. So if you rush and graduate, and it's not the right thing that you wanted to do, then you're screwed because you can't get financial aid anymore once you get a bachelor's. And see, that's why I told her, I said, if you can get a, a real estate license, and I just threw this out. She wanted to do real estate, yeah. Nails or whatever, whatever. Get you something other. That way you can get you a good job, a stable job, and you won't be working at servers or this and that and the other. You can get you a stable job, and you know what your income is every week, and then that way you know what you got coming in and so forth. Well, that's I said, why right now, in the tourist town, right you, now, that's all yeah. you're going to get anyway, unless you work at the hospital or you work at the school district. That's that's just how it works. It's a big tourist town. So unless you work at a hospital or you, unless you work at, uh, like I said, the school district, the school district is the largest employer in the county, then you're just going to work seasonal. And so that's where I had told her, I said, you know, you need to think about it because, you know, if you're going to move up in real estate, you're going to need to be in an area that's going to be really good with real estate. You're not going to, you know what I mean? You can't just live somewhere that ain't going to be really booming real estate or you're not going to make any money. Mm-mm. Yeah, so. Right, and it was, real estate was just something that I threw out there. And, yeah. and it, I mean, that was just something to throw out there. I mean, she can dibble-dabble, but she thinks marketing, going out there doing these YouTube things or whatever it is, she's going to get rich quick. And I told Harley, that's not, that's not a, big feel no more. People can pretty much market themselves and they're not going to pay somebody a bunch of money to go in there and do their marketing for them. Yeah, I don't know at what point she changed from wanting to do something with medical because uh, I know she didn't want to be a nurse because of, like blood and stuff like that, but like there's still other things. You could do like sonograms, you could do the cardio, whatever, you know, the things of the heart. You can do all those kind of things, technicians or x-rays and all that. So I don't know where she you know, at that point wanting to do that. Yeah, and, and you know, even I even told her, I said, you know, there's a two-year course for a paralegal working with attorneys and doing research work and, and getting out in the field and doing stuff. I said, that's a good thing too, Harley. I said, you got to think career-wise, something that's going to be there, something that you think you're going to be interested in, that maybe even market to a field that you want to go and be a lawyer or be a, you know, or something like that, or a doctor. You can always whatever. do the marketing secondary, you know what I mean, and still have that as. But she know. can't, she just, she ain't got the financial backing to get into marketing. Yeah. And she doesn't have the, the, the um, I don't want to say, it. well, I don't want to say education, but you know what I'm saying. Well, the she, knowledge. The girl can do anything with computers. computers. She can do, huh? The girl can do anything with computers, social media, networking, and stuff like that. So she can. She's 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 really good at that. She doesn't she doesn't have the skills to do it for a big firm or a company or well, of course something's going to pay her big the, money. She don't have a degree for it, you know. Right. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. She doesn't have the degree for it. And see, that's what I keep trying to tell Harley. I mean, you got to have a degree in that before anybody's going to pay you big bucks or big bucks, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I said, and I said, you're spending money on this and that and the other, and you don't really have it to be buying all this stuff. Yeah. I but think anyway, she, I, she did she'll, go to the, the medical stuff. I think she should look back into that because that would like. 
don't know. That would just be like a good, you know what I'm saying, for her or something like that. She's not you know, even good even, at legal because she even, can't write for shit. <laughs> hey, even even if she goes into real estate, she can always get a job at an apartment complex over to real estate. Well, that's what I told her because you have to have real estate license to work it as the managers of these apartment complexes. That's um, what I that's what I yeah. keep trying to tell Harley. Yeah. If you get your real estate license, then you can get a job. My niece in Texas, she's over corporations and companies and business over the real estate part of it. Yeah. And maintenance, you know, she keeps up with all that stuff. She makes mega money. Yeah. My sister in law does the same thing for a couple of plazas. You know, stores and stuff like that in Texas. They make good money. Well, I talked about the lady at Seaside. I said, you remember the lady at Seaside? When we first worked there, she lived there. I said, then she built a house in the Bluffs. She's got her property management license and her real estate license, and she runs Seaside. She's like, yeah, I remember. She told me the other day that's what she wanted to do. She said, I thought about it, and that's that's really what I want to do. And I said, well, you just, the thing about it is, is, the thing is, She's having to pay, you know, with you, you both, you're together, y'all paying for her to live, and it's just, I, honestly, I just wish she had somewhere to stay that she didn't have to pay to live, you know what I mean, but, but this is what we got. You well, know, I mean, I, I mean, I'm here, and she's there, so yeah. she won't, you know, so, and it's like I told her, I said, Harley, I said, I'm, I'm here at home, Yeah. and I'm not down at the beach, and I don't have a place down at the beach, and I'm here. Yeah. I said, and you don't want to live here? And, I, and there's not nothing I can there. do about that. No. Yeah, I agree. She's so I said, I said, you know, and, and I can't just pack up and leave right now. But yeah, I am. Yeah. Going, I told her I was going to Texas for about a month. And I said, if, if you want to take off and go. And she said, I don't have any money. I said, well, me and you can go to Texas for a month. And you can. What about sure. what's her name? Do you ever talk to her anymore, Uncle Tommy's sister that uh, Stephanie used to stay with? Cindy. Cindy, yeah. Do you talk to her anymore? I talk. I mean, I mean, I talk to his sisters. They're having a thing up in New York for his. You know, dad died in March. Oh, did so they're having a that. thing up there. They're having a thing up there for July. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've got people in Texas in bit. You know, yeah. I don't have an issue with her going me to Texas and uh, getting even getting with my niece, the one I was just telling you about. Yeah, she's got two two daughters, and they're around Harley's age. Harley's a little bit old, or younger than them, but she got a son she's Harley's sure age. Her age. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a son Harley's age, and uh, she's in the real. That's the one that's in the real. Carrie, her name's Carrie. And Carrie would be glad to take her and give her some Because um, it would help if her didn't have that much to pay for living. You see what I'm saying? Huh? It would help if she didn't have that much to pay for somewhere to live. You know what I mean? Like you and her both having to pay that, it would help if she didn't have that. You know what I mean? Like that much if someone could give her a better a better deal and help her get started doing something. You know what I mean? Yeah, if she had, yeah, like, that's why I said if, if I, I, I think Harley's, like you said, she wants to get out of South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Her and Charlotte's had a falling out or something, so she wants to get out of South Carolina. And then she told me last night she wanted to go to New Mexico, and I said, who do you know in New Mexico? She does got, she got, got a friend. There, she don't she's need got to a go friend. She's, you know, she don't need to go she to New Mexico. Like New Mexico. She will not she, like New Mexico. She will not like New Mexico. And then she says, Arizona. I said, you won't like Arizona either. There's nothing out there but desert. It is, and it's hot. Exactly. It's like 110 and, is a different kind of heat. And, and I said, there's no ocean, nothing like that in New Mexico. I meant in Arizona. You're not going to like it. No. I said, you won't like it. I said, She likes said, Dallas. She's been to Dallas several times, but I don't know anybody. Well, else. well, that's where Sharon stays. Sharon stays in Dallas. She stays in McKinney, which is like 30 miles from Dallas. Yeah, she, Harley loves Grapevine, Texas. You know, no Grapevine. It's right outside of Dallas. Yeah, and you have one minute but it, remaining. You called me this afternoon, I'll do it. But you just take care of yourself, baby. We don't have but a second or two. And yeah. I love you and I miss you, okay? All right, all right. Love you, too. Don't right. worry about that, young and okay, I know, but I still, I still want to know about these decisions. So, all right. Well, you, you'll find out later tonight or tomorrow. All right. Okay, talk to you later. Right. Love you, bye. Love you, baby. Bye. 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 Hello? Hey, what are you doing? At Soho. Are you working? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
I was calling to find out what you decided to do. Averett was like, she's going to tell me where she's going. I was like, well, I better know. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. She tried to convince me. She tried to convince me to leave my apartment and go stay with her for three months. And I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I told her no already. I said, she is not going there to stay. And then she was like, and we can move to Texas. And I'm like, I'm not living with you, crazy lady. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't tell her that I knew about, like, money or none of that stuff like that, right? So she goes on this long story telling me that she gives you $500 a month. No, she did that one time last month. Yeah. And it's not, it's from, it's from Miss Kathy. But a lot of the times she keeps it, she doesn't give it to me. Why don't Miss Kathy just give it to you? I don't know. But she said she's giving me the next one too, so that she said it comes on the fifth or something. Miss Kathy and Brenda or, said she's gonna, or ain't Brenda. Well, for, it's from Miss Kathy, but she said she's gonna send it to me in the mail if I can deposit it. So why is she lying to me? She is like I knew better, but I was like, she was like, yeah, I've been having to give her five hundred dollars a month. I can't even pay my own bills now, and I don't know how I'm gonna make it. And I'm like, I don't understand why you're giving her five hundred dollars a month because I knew about no, the other mo- about the time. other one. I know, I knew about the other money. That's why I was like, I was just yeah. listening to story. Like, what is she talking about? And then she was just going on about it, and she was like, Carly's moving to New Mexico. I said, No, we already talked about this. She. She's not going like to like Mexico. She told me, and I'm just sitting on the phone listening to all the stories. Then she goes about my money. She goes, well, she goes, I haven't decided if I'm going to do direct deposit on your money or not yet. And I go, how do you, well, hold on. <laughs> I was like, how are you not deci- deciding about my money? What are you talking about? I was like, if it's my money, I get it. Holly needs it, but it's mine. So I decide if it's going to be direct deposit or not. Yeah. So I just like I sit there and I was like I I can't I can't even do this, you know. I know she got the right forms and all that, but I was like, I let her just do whatever she's got to do with the Colorado one because that one don't have hardly anything in it because remember I was only there for what a year, you know what I mean? And so yeah. I was like, I'll just make sure Harley controls the South Carolina one. Mhm. Anyway. Okay, well, I have to go. Okay, okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. bye. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, I am so sorry. I did not mean to, like, decline your call earlier. I was in the middle of calling Walmart, pharmacy, and my doctor's office because I picked up my medication today from Walmart and somehow managed to, like, lose, like, literally the entire bag of it. Yeah. So I had to call my, I had to call my doctor's office to see if I could send over another thing to the pharmacist. Yeah. She said she went to the pharmacy doesn't have it yet, and it's, like, the stuff I have to do. Like, I have to take every day. Yeah. It's my mental breakdown right now. I'm sorry. Oh, hope you're okay. No, it's so frustrating. Like, I just picked it up today, and I haven't even taken it yet today. So, like, I have to have it. And, yeah. You know, wait, they said my doctor was going to send something over today, but the pharmacy closes at 7, and they still haven't gotten it yet. So, I'm literally sitting, crouched over at Walmart, like. <laughs> yeah. Take some deep breaths. The girl's with you. No, they're at home with Taylor. <laughs> Just think about some good fun times y'all are doing, y'all have done together, until you can, until you can get that in your hand, girl. I mean, I if I could you know, give you answers, I would. But girl, I sit here myself and struggle with it, and have no way to even figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is like I feel like a dumbass because like I should be more responsible, you know? Like yeah. I don't know how I lost an entire bag of medication. Like it's stuff I have to have. Yeah, but sometimes you know, I mean, you're doing a lot. You got, got a lot going on in school. Being a mom's already a job in itself, and then going over and board and doing this and doing that. I mean, it is it's definitely easy to do. I remember one time I left my Advan in freaking Alaska, and you know how they are about that. You only get one every, you know what I mean? Every so often. Yeah. It was in freaking Alaska, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Well, well, girl, check this out. So when I figured out, I got home and I figured out, like, because I went from Walmart is where I get my stuff filled. And then I went from Walmart to the house, but I hadn't taken out of the bag yet. And then I went to Food Lion and then I went to the gas station. Yeah. And I came home and I couldn't find it. So I called the gas station. I called Walmart. I called Food Lion to see if anybody turned it in. Nobody turned it in. And, of yeah. course, I'm not going to because one of them is the annex. Of course, nobody's going to turn that in. So, um... I'm like, okay, so I call my doctor's office, and they're like, okay, well, we'll have to, like, sign a waiver, and insurance won't pay for it. I'm like, I don't care. I'll pay with cash. Like, I have a decent amount of cash on me right now. I don't care. I just need it. So they're like, my doctor's like, well, 
confirm with your pharmacy and then get back with me before I close and then I'll send over an electronic thing to like a fill equation. I so I'm sitting here at Walmart and they still haven't gotten it and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Sorry, sorry you have to hear me cry. <laughs> no, girl, trust me, you listen to me do it. That's supposed to be two ways, you know, like you have to always listen. I was calling you earlier because I was, uh, someone came to the uh, line and was like, hey, I saw your man on on the news earlier, and I thought, oh, my man, I ain't got no man. First, I thought he was talking about Albert. I'm like, man, I don't want to see that dude. Oh, <laughs> wait, I was like, the news. I know, well, okay, it wasn't him. I'm like, what are you talking about, my man? They were like, oh, yeah, so I saw that the police chief or something in Mexico had got killed, and I was like, what the heck was oh? Albert doing in Mexico at first? So I'm like sitting there like, <laughs> And he was like, no, dumbass. He was like, your man. I was like, what, man? Are you talking about Edgar? He was like, yeah. I was like, what's yeah, oh. going on there? He was like, well, I don't know what happened. He said, I was on the Fox News page. He said, I was reading this article. He said, and then there's a stupid article about um, uh, members giving people food and supplies during COVID. And I said, do what? Oh, what? What? <laughs> and I, he was like, there is him right there. I said, no way. So I was like, I got to go out and find this. So sure enough, went straight to Fox News, pulled up the article, pulled up the video, and then there comes the, the back end of the video. There he was standing there with his JGL shirt on, freaking bags. No ahead. way. Swear to God, I had that. You have 60 seconds remaining. The bags on there that said JGL was handing people food and like everything. I'm sitting there like, he's got on like a military style uniform. All his face is covered up. Everything you can't see nothing but his freaking greenish brown eyes. And oh I'm my gosh. There, I'm sitting there just watching this video over and over. Oh my. And over. So you got to see if you can find it, but it's wherever the police chief or whatever. Yes. Do you remember what the title was? What's the article title? Uh, I'll give it to you and call you back because this is going to hang up. i got to go add more money in my account, but I'll give it to you and call you back because i got to okay, call no, somebody, yeah. somebody's husband for him, and I'll call you back. Okay. 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 All right. Bye. Bye. Tell Link. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? Just laying in bed. I'm the only one out right now. That's nice. I know, because I used to go, well, I got moved to another ward, so, like, about, like, 40 people come out at a time now, and so I couldn't use the phone, because everybody be over there, and I sure they weren't about to be like, hey, can you hurry up? <laughs> so they opened the doors at 8, and I was, like, the only one to come out, and I was like, whew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know how like all the people and the lights, and I be like going crazy because I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Come on, my nose. Yo, so I was gonna tell you. So April was like the other day. She was like, yeah. She was like in something. What was that she told me? She was like, oh, she was like, and Harley's rent is late every month, and I have to get a notice. And the notice is like, it's late every month. And then she tells me that they made a mistake on the thing. And she's like, so, I don't know why they made a mistake every month. <laughs> no, well, they literally do. Like, if she doesn't understand that I get employee discount, so my yeah. rent is going to post for a normal price. Yeah. But my employee discount has to be added every single month. And my my discount still isn't even right from last month. Yeah, because she was like, it's 575 and I was like, look. That's not even right. She said, that's what the paper says. I don't know. I just be listening to these things, and I just be sitting there, like, trying to figure out what's real and what's not. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to just remember her, but I was hardly close. No idea I have to look. Cause she was like, yeah, she's like, so what I do is I take my Social Security and I put away $500 every month to give to Harley. No, she does not. The check literally says from Kathy Sellers. I I just was like listening to this, and I'm like, I said, well, why come Harley didn't tell me this? I said because I talked to Harley about this, you know, and she didn't mention. She was like, don't you mention it to Harley? I was like, why not? You know, I am. She's like, because 
You don't need that stress. I said, it's not stress. I just want to find out what's going on. That's what she right tells now. me everything. That's what she tells me about saying stuff to you. She's like, we don't want to tell your mom. We don't want her to stress about this. And she knows I'll call her out on the bullshit. Because I'll sit there and listen to it and be like, this don't make no sense. I have a very good bullshit meter. And so I'll be like, What? <laughs> Oh, because so Amy texts her, not Amy, but my friend Amy, and she was like, hey, she was like, um, I ordered her, like, a commissary box. She ordered me a commissary box, and, like, I never got it, and so it's delivered, and who knows? Apparently, it's lost in the building. I don't know. But anyway, so she was telling her that, and she was like, oh, yeah, she was like, don't put any more money in her account. I'm just going to be the one to do that because someone's taking the commissary. And I was like, huh? <laughs> What? Yep. Uh, was like, so I didn't put any money on your account for the phone. She was like, because I didn't. She told me not to. And I was like, what is she talking about? She was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my. I was sitting there like, does she, like, I didn't want to tell my friend, like, no, don't listen to her. Put money on there. <laughs> but I was just like. Like, I don't know. Sometimes she loses it. I said, she told you she gets more delusional than I do. And she was like, yeah, I kind of get that. She was like, I was lost. I was thinking, I'm talking about this commissary box, you know, and I'm like, I don't know. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought the thing went out. But, yeah, and then she told me she was like, and then she's moving into Mexico. She said, then she told me she's going to go to Arizona. And I was like, Carly is not moving to Arizona. I was like, unless she had, like, some big-time deal or something. I said, there's nothing there but Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix is nice, and there's a couple of bigger cities. I was like, but I was like, it's the Midwest. No, when I told her, I told her, I was like, yeah. I said, she, I was like, I really want to move somewhere, like, with Alicia. But I was like, but I can't move anywhere because I can't move right now. I have to stay here, like in Bellamy because I don't have anybody that I can live with and she'd be the only person I can live with but she lives in New Mexico and she wants to move to Arizona and I told her I was like but I can't do that (laughs) this girl only be saying half the story where does she want to move at in Arizona Phoenix oh yeah Phoenix is not bad I've been there a couple of times when I flew, and I remember going out and about for like an hour or two. And I didn't get to see it long term, but oh wait, no, I did. I went to a basketball game. Yeah. Yeah. Why did she want to go to Phoenix? She just said that God put Phoenix on the heart. different. Uh, see, the thing you have to think about it when God puts something on your heart like that, you got to wait and keep praying and let him give you more direction. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. She, that's why she's not like rushing anything. Yeah, she that's just says that one day she knows she's going to be there. He might tell her, he might send her five other places first. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've been trying to get her to move to Florida with me, but she was like, uh, she lived there when she was younger, so she was like, I just don't want to feel like I'm taking, like, a step backwards or something. Yeah, but what part of Florida did she live in? She lived in Jacksonville. Okay, then, so The problem with Arizona, there's not, like, you don't have, like, a bunch of choices. It's just one. Why don't you just go to Dallas? Texas? Yeah, you got great time ball. No, because if I go to Dallas, everybody's going to be like, I'm over there too, and you can stay with me. Can I tell you something? Amber is not moving to Texas. Here's why. That's what she told me. Let me just tell you why, and I'm going to be honest. She'd be lying about these insurance policies. And then she tried to play that with me on the phone the other day. Knowing I was the one who filled the insurance policies off. The ones that she got off Uncle Tommy. And I was the one 
because she was the train wreck. I was the one called in, got this 401k, did all this stuff, right? Okay. And I even saw, that's when I found out she owed on the house. And I go, hey, Brenda, why is there a mortgage on the house? The house was paid for. And she went through this long spiel about this, this, this. I said, hey, Brenda, this money was set aside over here in my account for me to go to college. I know it was over $60,000. How in the heck, where did that go then? Why didn't you say, you know, once I called her, she knows I call her out on her bullshit. So that's how she does it. But here's why she's not going to Texas. When she did what she did, when Uncle Tommy died, whether she had reasons to or not, I understand where she was coming from with those people popped up out of nowhere and pretended they were saints. I know exactly what she's feeling right now. People pretend they were saints and they did all this stuff, and I'm like, where the heck were you at? These, that's how her, his, that was to his family. She shunned them out, and never she took them out. I don't know if you remember, but they weren't in the obituary. They didn't do all that stuff, wonder whatever. And then they left the house that day, pissed from grandpa's, didn't even go to the funeral. I mean, it was a nightmare. Well, that's where Cindy and them live, and all those sisters. She's not going to do that because of that. Because she's, then she's going to have to deal with that again. And she doesn't need that for her mental health. She might say that. She might go visit all that. But she's not moving it out. <laughs> She's not going to Houston unless it was like in Galveston or something like that on a beach or something. But Dallas, she got a lot of opportunities and it's a big city. I love Dallas. I mean, yeah, it's not near the beach, but you got Galveston, that's a couple hours away. Then your friend would be close to New Mexico and she'd be close to Arizona. Yeah. And you got Great Bad Mall. <laughs> <laughs> It's not far away. There's a bunch of big, um, there's a bunch of speaking groups there. There's big convention centers. Guess who's on tour together? Yeah. Zach Williams, King, and We the Kingdom. Cool. I know. And then Song of the Year, you got to vote on Caleb because I don't know, it's so hard. So the choices are Good God Almighty by Crowder. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Good God Almighty, that one. And then, um, uh, Grapes the Gardens. You know which one that is? Uh-huh. Um, so Grapes the Gardens by Elevation Worship. And Zach Williams, There Was Jesus. And then Toby mm-hmm. Mack, Hill is on the way. They're all song of the year. I was like, oh, God, that's hard. I mean, you know, naturally, I'm going to go for Zach Williams, but then I also love the Elevation Worship song, Grace Gardens. Yeah, I love that song, too. It took me forever to find out what the name of it was, because I was trying everything but Grace to Gardens to find it. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, I was like, Jesus, what is the name of this song? And I kid you not, the, you know how, like, a song it plays, and then the lady goes on, that was such and such, such and such, and she came on. She was like, that was Elevation Worship, and Brandon somebody, and she was like, Grapes to Gardens. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was so glad, because I had been waiting, trying to find out, like, this one, anyway. oh. Oh. Did you know that um, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce? Yeah, yeah, I saw it on the news finally after watching the news after a long time. I finally got to see it. I was like, oh, I was so sad. But I kind of was mad at her, though, because he does have severe, he has mental health issues, and I hate that she, like, I mean, I don't know the whole story, but I hope she's not leaving him because of that. Because he does, like, he's bipolar and he has a lot of mental health things, but, like, I mean, that's still her husband, you know what I mean? But, yeah. I don't know, it could be more than that. But. Baby, say hi! Hey, Sadie. Say hi! Hey, Sadie, baby. Have you seen the dog commercial with the SUVs and they're, like, all sitting in the car seats? No. <laughs> uh, went to driving, and there there's this lab sitting in a car seat, and the lab is in an actual car seat, you know, uh, with the straps on the front and everything. And I was like, oh, that could be Sadie, but she needed a little, she needed a little newborn one. Baby, <laughs> you want to do car seat? There's like a there's like a dog stroller that I would have bought. Baby, you just t- took that off my phone. She just whacked my phone. <laughs> Can you put it on 
already lose the check with the IRS again because, uh, so I don't have to get Ingram to do that because she'll try to take my money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't care about, I mean, I know she does things and all that, but then, like, it makes me mad that she's lying to me, telling me she's giving me $500 and it comes from Kathy, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. <laughs> she just wants to play hero sometimes. She just wants to what? Play hero sometimes. I know, and I let her do it because, you know, I just think what's the harm in it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's just annoying. There, yeah, when I sit there and don't get the truth, I just don't know. I'd be like, it just don't make any sense. I'm like, what are they talking about? You know. <laughs> I don't have a view of the sun anymore at the outside, so that kind of what? Sucks. Yeah, but I mean, I got a mattress that is not have holes in it now, so well, that's good. Yeah, because I was having to like sleep on the middle part, so I mean, I guess you give and take, you know? Because you know, I yeah. need it for that. I've been praying for it and been saying, Jesus, I need. I need a comfortable mattress. I need one that's not... You have one minute remaining. But you got to remember, Jesus is very literal. <laughs> it's like me, so, like, he gave me what I wanted. <laughs> but I didn't say, and, can I please still see the outside? I didn't say all that, but <laughs> he gave me what I wanted. Like, here you go. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I walked in there. I said, I see you, Jesus. I know what you're trying to tell me now. i got to be a little bit more specific when I pray. <laughs> but anyway, alright, T. Well, I wanted to tell you that I love you very much, and I will talk to you again. I love, I love you too. Uh, you got work today? Yeah, four. Okay, we'll try to see if you can find out about the RS because I need to put more money on my account, and I try not to aggravate Aunt Brenda. You know what I mean? How much do you need? Uh, I don't. I mean, I'm saying if you can get that handled with the IRS, it'll be enough to be something to put on there for a while. You know what I'm saying? Until you get the song. I know, but do you, I know, but do you need some right now? I mean, in about an next. Thank you for using Global Telling. Well, hello there, lady. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I got moved to another ward, so. No, what happened? Uh, no, I actually got moved to a better ward. I get to keep my socks. You, you, you get to keep your socks? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put my headphones in because I'm in the car with uh, Taylor and his dad and they're being wild. So hold on, give me one second. Yeah. One second. One second. Hold on one second. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, so why did you get moved to a different ward? I guess, well, because you progressed through the system. I mean, because so, I don't be getting write-ups. I don't be breaking the rules and stuff. Oh, okay. So yeah. is, it, is it like a good thing, maybe? Well, yeah, you get to keep your, you get to keep your long slip. You have 60 seconds remaining. What the heck? 60, 60 seconds? I, what? Yeah, because I didn't. I, only had, I called you with only 70 cents because I didn't go to the machine yet. But uh, meds were coming, so I was like... I'm going to have to go get my coat and lock down. But I get to come back out. I'm out until um, 2 p.m. today. Okay, do you want to call me back? Yeah, I'll call you back after meds and all that because we have to let the top tier go and all that stuff. Okay, cool, because I have plan I need to talk to you about. All right, is it bad? No, it's not a dream I had. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, my God, is it on today? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Can you hear me? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, you sound. Not I like, like I can hear myself when I talk. Like, I can hear myself when I talk. Yeah, a lot of people. Huh? I said it's a lot of people. Where are you? They got me at this uh, place where these people keep trying to read my mind, and they're trying to extract thoughts out of me. And if you don't, if you don't listen. They can, like, take you in there and waterboard you and stuff. So I just, I'm hanging out over here in the corner. Because I don't want to be trying to, like, 
figure out what I'm thinking or what I'm processing, you know, because, like, we have to be careful with things like that because, you know, like North Korea and um, China and places like that, they can, like, take over, you know. What are you doing? Not here. These, these people here do these people here do everything that's legal. They put chips in your arms or you just depends no, I'm like saying is it waterboarding illegal? Hello? Yeah, and so it's putting chips in your arms and like all that. But I um I don't know, like I just try it's just so loud and like and there's like all these lights and I don't like lights and I don't like a loudness, you know, and all that and so I just try to stay from that part because I don't want him to call me, get me and take me over there, you know. Yeah. But this this one lady right here uh, she said that they were doing that to her, and they tried to put bed bugs in her room, and they were trying to, like, get the bed bugs to, like, eat her. And then the one lady had ants, but they brought her out, and they had the ants all over her. So, yeah, I know. You have to stay away from them. But what are you yeah. doing today? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. You didn't have to work? Yeah. What? How did you get today off? I know. <laughs> is it crazy? Like, is there is there people trying to read your brain there? No, not here. No, not here. Okay. Do they try to come by to be like, hey, I need to extract some thoughts out of you or anything? No. 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 Okay. That's good. If they do, you just think, like, of all the, like, codes and stuff, and the codes will, like, throw them off so they can't extract things. That's what I have to do. You start thinking of the codes, and I just... I'm not sure. 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 Like that. And you, you, like, throw them off. So you can do, like, French or Portuguese or something, you know? I kind of like throw them off, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to see um, what you were doing. And, um, well, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Did you um? Did you swim with the dolphins? No. Oh. Because, you know, dolphins, they can, like, read people's minds, and they're, like, therapeutic, too. So it's okay, like, if you're at the beach and, like, a dolphin tries to, like, read your mind, that's okay because they, like, try to help you and stuff, you know? They can actually see themselves in the mirror, too. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, so, like, if a dolphin does that, it's okay, but don't let the people do it. Okay. What are you going to do, do? What is today? Like, what day of the week? Today is Sunday. Oh, did you go to church? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You did? Uh-huh. That's, that's good. Did you, um, did you learn anything new? What? Did you learn anything new? No. I always do. That's good. Yeah, me too. I guess I'll go to church, like, in a little while. But the church I get to go to here is just um, me. And I have, like, my uh, my different friends in here. So I have my dog, 
and sometimes put my dog in my cake. Uh, and when I don't, I don't like when she does that. When she eats my cake, I don't like it. But she was kind of hungry, so I'm looking at my room right now because I have my dog in there, right? And then you know what? It's so crazy about it. Then there's this freaking crazy nut job that he walks around all the time like in this like ninja gear you know and he okay i i don't i can't see them out the windows anymore right so because i don't have a window anymore like i lost my window so i don't have one right and i can't see them out the window anymore so i thought okay well this is good because like they'll be gone you know this sucker was standing in the shower when I tried to get in the shower. It was like, yeah, I know. Okay, this is a ninja dude. He walks around in this like ninja girl, not like not like ninja turtles, but like uh, the Chinese people that did the waterboarding, like that kind of ninja. Yeah. <laughs> You have to admit, you know, don't don't ever let him don't ever let him come around. And so they have wait, I gotta ask her. Miss Miss you said there is um beast there is people defecating in there? Yeah. Yeah, and they were they were defecating in the shower. They don't care in Yeah. They're what? They're what? What is that? Mean? Okay. That means they're pooping in the shower and leaving it. Yeah. I know. And she found uh, flies in the. Uh, she found these flies, and these flies are trying to get. Why? Why? Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Like what? Like how you are. Like how you are. Because I have to keep my. If I keep this up to my mouth, they have these cameras everywhere, and like you don't want them to read. Like what you're saying and like uh, stuff like that because the people that watch the cameras they'll be trying to like read what you say and then uh, if they read what you say they might can get what you think and so like I just try to hold the little thing up to my face so they can't see me from there you know what I mean like w well soon they won't be able to see me at all you know what I'm saying like soon they'll be, I'll be invisible when I am they won't be able to see me at all, you know. Can you can you see me right now? Am I invisible yet? No, no. So this lady said I wasn't invisible yet, but I will be, you know. But yeah. Anyway, I wanted to call you and just tell you I love you and um. When I get away from these people that keep trying to attack me and stuff like that, you'll be able to see me, like, instead of being invisible, you know? Hopefully. Okay. okay. All right. What are you going to do, like, um, today? Is it, what, what time is it? Well, well, today is, well, today's already over. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if it's light or dark or not because I, I don't get to see, I don't get the moon and the stars or the sun and, like, the palm trees because the, the, I have palm trees I used to see, but I don't get to see them anymore. <laughs> But anyway, all right, well, I'm going to go because I'm probably going to go back over here and listen to these people because I was trying to play cards with them. They have cards, but they won't let me play cards with them, so. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I know, because I am not allowed to play cards. Because they they want to do like bad stuff and like I don't do bad stuff, you know, so I don't be wanting to hear like the stuff that be going on, like the plans that they have and like the stuff for the mafia. And, like I don't wanna hear about that, you know. But anyway. Okay, but I'm gonna go do the rest of my uh training uh, with this lady that she's beside me who we're both working on being invisible. But she said I wasn't there yet. Uh -huh.
But anyway, I don't know, I might be. But when I when I when they let me go from this camp that I'm at, I'll I'll get to see you. But I gotta wait until they let me go because they're gonna determine to see what my brain's like because like Albert Einstein. But okay, I love you. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. What? What? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. I love you so much. Thank you for using Global Tell Link.